Oh my god, it's that time again for more things on the internet. And ahoy! There's a ghost ship over there. <laughs> it's Return of the Obra Dinn. Oh my god. It is a maritime mystery game. And holy shit, uh, I'm sure it'll go just well. But <laughs> it'll be just fine. Oh dear. Yeah, we, we found a ship. It's just drifting there. And uh, yeah, I guess we're going to figure out what the hell is going on with it as well. I don't know anything about this game. We're going in blind, which I'm sure is a great idea. But then again, a game like this, you kind of have to go in blind, don't you? Otherwise, what's the point? It's a mystery game. It's by Lucas Pope, you know, the fellow who did uh, Papers, Please. So I, for one, am pretty, pretty excited because Papers, Please was pretty fantastic. And I'm hoping for something equally as great as this. Holy shit. Oh dear. Already I like the visual style. <laughs> it looks dank and depressing. This is good. <laughs> this is good. It looks garish. It looks slightly ghostly and haunted. I love it. It's fantastic. But hey, let's get to the game. Why not? There we go. Let's head on over here. Oh shit. There we go. <laughs> it is. Oh, everyone's colored appropriately. Oh yeah. Look at Chica go. <laughs> Cheek is boogieing down. I mean, the soundtrack is fantastic. I don't know anything about this game other than, uh... Uh, we gotta, we gotta find out what happened to this ship. I gotta, I had to get some footage, obviously, for all this stuff. And I got the soundtrack, which is, uh, just superb. I mean, it's fantastic, really. But beyond that, I don't know what the fuck we're doing. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be A-OK. -okay. Look at Chica go. <laughs> just boogieing down in the ocean. She seems to know what she's doing. She's fine. Let's get a quote in just for funsies. Here we go. Let's get a quote in. Here we go. Remind me to tell Jimbo his sword is the greatest <laughs> by Joe's guy 21-06-2020. Oh dear. It really is the greatest. Oh dear. Yeah, this music's great. I love that bell. Rather haunting. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we, we're going to find out what happened to this ship, I guess, is the idea. I don't know anything about the game. I guess we're going to find out. I guess we'll find out together. Why not? Indeed. Should be a grand old time. All right, well, let's get rid of the, the music and the sound effects. You can also hear the ocean. If you listen real closely, you can hear the ocean as well. I added that in as well. Oh, dear. Although I kind of want to sit on this music. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's kind of fantastic. Oh, dear. I wonder if I can finish this game in one stream. I hope so. Do you think we can get this done in eight hours? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess we'll figure it out. It depends. I suppose it depends. Is it going to be difficult? Probably. It's probably going to fucking destroy my brain. I'm, But I'm ready. I've had coffee. I'm good. Oh, and there's the music gone. So, alright. Let's get rid of the musics. And the ocean as well. Because we're going to launch the game. Here we go. <laughs> game is launched. Let's see how this goes. I'm already concerned. Oh, what's it doing? We briefly saw the, uh, the desktop. Oh, here we go. Look at all that. Look at all that. Return of the Obra Dinn is here. It's ready. I, I'm i ready too. But <laughs> created by Lucas Pope. He did things. Oh dear. Well, what's this anchor here for? Oh, that's for settings. Yeah, of course. We've got settings. Should we have a look at the settings? Why not? Okay. Monitor Macintosh. I am not on a Macintosh, but... Uh, oh. Oh, hey, look at that. You can change the colors as well. You can make it look like an IBM 5151. It's very green. Holy shit. I uh, don't know about that. We've got the Zenith ZVM1240. Uh, Don't know what any of those machines are, but hey. Nice sepia tone. Oh god, it's the Commodore 1084. Very nice. Very blue. And already I feel like Sinclair has gone too far in some places. It's very blue. Hey, that's a nice colour. That's good. It's a lot more soothing. There we go. The IBM 8503. I think I'll go with the default, though, whatever that was again. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's very, very garish. It's LCD. Uh, oh yeah, back to, back to Macintosh. Yeah, I'm ready to fuck my eyes up with this. That's the default. <laughs> that's the that's your lot when it comes to colours. All right. Uh, output sharp. Yeah, let's keep it on sharp. That's a good idea. Controls view. Oh, here we go. Ex exploring and reading. Those are two things we have to do here today. All right. Uh, so exploring is space for actiony things. Oh, can I change that to E? E is zoom. I think that's an E. Yeah, that, that appears to be E. E to zoom in. Uh, pause with escape. Open book with tab. Yep, that's easy enough. Reading. Close book with tab. Uh, right, left, escape back. Table of contents with Q. Okay. So not a lot of controls. Game might be a bit loud, actually. Can I do something about that? Might be able to. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, I didn't lower it that much. So let's lower it a bit more. There we go. 
Let's lower the game's volume just a tad. I think that'd be just spiffy. There we go. Okay, uh, controls are simple enough. There's not a ton of stuff to do there. Look sensitivity, perfect. Uh, we got nearly motionless, sluggish, just slow, just side of perfect, perfect. Far oh, slow side of perfect. Fast side of perfect. Reasonably fast, unreasonably fast, and parity of control. Tempted to go with parity of control for just a for just a lull and a half, but no, I guess that's uh that's that's just uh, unreasonable probably. <laughs> it's far more unreasonable. Invert vertical look, I will not. Audio volume is good, language English. What kind of languages do we have? French, German, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, Russian. Polish and oh my god, I'm not even gonna begin to guess. <laughs> Let's keep it on English. Oh, it seems like it's the sensible choice. I'm just gonna lower that volume maybe just a tad more because I don't know, seems pretty loud to me. <laughs> seems quite loud to me, but then again, I'm kind of loud as well. All right. There we go, yeah, I think this will be just fine. Begin, let's go. Created by Lucas Pope. Um, all right. One, two, three, no fate solved. All right, we're picking our save file. I guess we're gonna go with this one. No fate solved. Oh, ding ding, here we go. Hit that subscribe button. That's that stupid sound. Lost at Sea, 1803. The good ship Obradin. Built in 1796. London, 800 tons. 18 feet draft. Uh, Captain R. Witterell. Crew of 51 men. Last voyage to Orient. Cape Rendezvous. Uh, Anna? I don't, I don't know. I can't read that last one. The font is really bad. Uh, contact East India... Company, London office for inquiries or testimony. Righto. So what? Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Just click to move on. The Honourable East India Company. Attention, Chief Inspector Insurance and Claims London's office. The Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. Righto. I guess that's my job then. I'll do that. I can do that. I can do that. I'm fine. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Did the game freeze or what? Oh, there we are. Formouth, England. Oh. Company man woke me up. It's 1807. Oh. Said you'd need ferry to the Obred Inn. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you, Ken Shabby? Not many eager oh. for that job. You've joined us at just the best time. We just got started. Who's He's ready for maritime late, mysteries? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I didn't ask. What's in the box? I don't know. Oh. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. <laughs> What's in the box? Hey. I don't know. Oh. Carefully. Carefully. <laughs> Don't destroy the box. Oh, hello there, Ken Shabby. Welcome to the maritime adventures of... Oh my god, the visuals are great! Look at this game! Oh my god, this is great! Hey there, buddy! How you doing? You doing good? You doing alright? Okay. Right, so this is what the game looks like. Just... Oh shit! Oh, that's my hand. That scared the shit out of me, alright. So, I'm an insurance fellow, I guess? We're doing an insurance claim on this this ship? I guess it's return from being missing? Alright, I don't know anything about the game. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Click. That's how you do it. Up we go. There we go. I don't know anything about the game beyond this point. I had to take some footage, you see. So, I know this part of the game, but beyond that, now I'm on my own. <laughs> so I captured some, some lovely video footage, but I just I don't know anything else. Oh, dear. Hello! Is there anyone down there? <laughs> oh, I remember this. <laughs> oh, there's a bell. Ding, ding. <laughs> Be sure to click that bell button and subscribe. What the fuck is that? The fuck is that? The fu oh, hang on. Uh, uh, E, was it? Yeah, E to zoom in. There we go. What the fuck? I watched another streamer play it a while ago. Oh, God. Can I finish it in eight hours, do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, my goodness. Um... Somebody watching me from a boat over there. I'm already a bit suspicious. Maybe it's Gura sending up a message. Ah. Hi, Gura. <laughs> oh, lovely night for it, I suppose. Bloody hell. Although this... Yeah, it's looking a bit run down. It's not quite Pirate Week yet, but I thought this game deserved its own stream anyway. Shit, yeah, that sail is really fucked up. Oh, oh shit! The master's all... Yeah, that's some hasty repairs. What the fuck happened here? Look at this place. It's all majorly fucked up. Alright, let's find out what happened to this place, then. Okay, it's kind of strange, your time travel to solve a crime. Oh, I like that. I, I was wondering, like, what am I supposed to be doing here? Do I get to go back in time? So, you know, that's... I'm already intrigued. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm, I'm just a bit put off by whatever that is. <laughs> what is that? 
There's someone out there. Hello. So I feel like I'm being watched. I'm a bit nervous now. All right. All right. I'm an insurance investigator, so I guess we're doing an insurance claim on the ship. Um, looks to be in reasonable condition. I think we can probably salvage this, make a bit of money for the East India Company. Oh shit! What have I found? Oh, found a body. Oh, okay. Well, I think I found one of the crew members. Um, yeah, he's not looking too good. Uh, all right. Let's check. Oh, I can open open some doors. Um. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't like this. Alright, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's a good thing I know things about maritime protocol here, so maybe I can... Maybe figure some things out. Alright. Let's see. Oh, door is locked. Oi! Ah, Jesus, what? <laughs> scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Alright, hello. Um, it's too... What, it's too heavy? Why is there... Oh, there's buckets here. Hang on a sec. Hang on. Oh, so... If there's an X on the door, I can't open it. Yeah, that's that's like a no-dice situation there, but... I think I can open up you, can't I? Certainly can. Alright. Uh, Alright. At least there's no additional gurus looking at me. Right. Let's, uh... I guess we head back down to our sailor friend down there, I guess. It's too heavy! You said that. Lift it yourself! Alright, fucking hell. <laughs> Right, how do we get back down again? Uh, oh, here we are. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm so ready to time travel, though. I'm excited. All right. Good thing I'm wearing my special investigator gloves. Oh. Take it yourself or open it here. Right. Oh. Um. I guess I'll take it. If it's too heavy, I'll fuck it then. Oh. All right. Right. Let's see what we got here. We got a book. I think. Yep, that's a book. <laughs> the graphics are kind of hard to tell. Oh god, alright, hello. Um, Right. D. Right, I can press D. Return of the Obra Dinn, a catalogue of adventure and tragedy, 1807. Do we know it's tragedy? We only found one body. <laughs> Maybe the rest of them fucked off somewhere. Uh, they all went to Tahiti, that's what they did. Uh, preface. I trust that you are- that you now found your- find yourself aboard the Obra Dinn. I expected this day to come, and my very intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Obra Dinn is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and your completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first, or will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Pocket watch. Did I get a pocket watch? I'm, oh, it must be in the box. Uh, complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. Okay. Uh, the bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within... Uh, oh, I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. All right. Contents. The journey. The ship. The crew. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. This is a big fucking book. And look at all these chapters as well. Fucking hell. All right. Let's see. The journey. Atlantic leg of the Far East route. Oh, I can click on things. Whoa, okay. You can do a little bit of Where's Waldo here. <laughs> At some point, you find a picture of the crew and you have to figure out their identity, I think. Oh, boy. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard. So there's Europe. There's... Azores. Oh, we can move the map a bit. Africa, Cape Verde... Oh, we can go all the way down here. Can't see anything else beyond that point, though. Canary Islands, Madeira, Azores, thingy... Okay... He did say send it send it back to Morocco, so... Maybe... maybe oh, I don't know. Oh, what's all this? I don't know, but... <laughs> hmm, not sure why that's relevant. Uh, deck plans for the Obra Dinn. Okay. Uh, oh, I think this is me. <laughs> I'm the I'm the, the the footprints. Um, okay, I'm on the Orlop deck, or just outside it, I guess is more accurate. We have the main deck, captain's quarters, passenger cabins. Uh, we've got the gun deck where we got some people. Oh God, I, I I hope we don't have to remember all this shit. Um, midshipmen, stewards. This might come in handy for figuring out where things are or where people are, maybe. Uh, the all up deck has some people. Purses, office, passengers, port walk, gunner store. I can check this later, I assume. So, uh, let's see. Captain's cargo here. The la Oh, this is the lazarette. Passenger cargo, bo boson saw. Alright. Oh. oh, skim through the entire book first. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I will. <laughs> How do I escape out of it? Oh, there we go. Right click works. Right, um... 
Let's see. Uh, the crew. Complete the crew and passenger manifest. Um, right, so we got name, quality, and origin, and fate. What does that mean? Who is Robert Witterell? Uh, uh, fuck do I know. What the hell is this? There's, there's some people here. Okay. Underway. I, I'm i guessing we, we, we don't know yet. <laughs> How, maybe I have to identify the corpse, I guess is the idea. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, we've got a we've got an execution here. We've got the underway picture. We've got a photo. Oh, what? Well, no, it wouldn't be a photograph, would it? Not in not in eighteen oh seven. We've got Formosan royalty. Formosan. Is isn't that what they called? Isn't that what they called Taiwan back in the day? <laughs> isn't that? Yeah, I think that's Taiwan, isn't it? I remember Pirates of the Caribbean. We got some Formosan royalty, okay. Uh, ju and justice at sea. <laughs> Yay, shootings! This ought to be good. Okay. Oh, and that's it. So we got like three or two drawings, maybe three. Yeah, it's not a photograph. <laughs> not in this era, no. Alright, how do I. Oh, yeah, right click. There we go. So I'm supposed to find out who all these people are based on the photo? Is that what I'm doing? I'm a bit confused. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, uh, I don't know, but we've we've got the names and we've got their rank and where they're from, and I guess we have to match them to the picture. Then, oh shit! How many people are on board the ship? Oh, that's right. Uh, Fifty-one, isn't there? Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that's a lot. Oh no, sixty apparently. Um, I guess we have some passengers as well as crew. Um. Yay, we got some semen! <laughs> oh, I should have gotten that uh, South Park clip. I should have gotten that. It's semen! Uh, oh boy, we've got some topmen, some midshipmen, Captain Steward, first mate steward. So we've got some stewards as well. Oh yeah, we do have some passengers. Here we go. We've got a bunch of passengers, an artist, helmsman. Yeah, so we got the standard, standard crew uh, outfit there, I guess. Uh, life at sea. Sketches aboard, life aboard the Obra Dinn. Oh, we just saw that, didn't we? Uh, oh god. Oh god, that's all these people. Okay, uh... <laughs> Alright. Bit overwhelming. We have to find out who all these people are. One, loose cargo. Okay, part one. On the cargo deck. Wait, what's that? On the cargo deck. What's on the cargo deck? Two, a bitter cold. Oh, are these all... Okay. On the all-up deck again? What's... Hang on, what is this? Chapter three. Murder outside the first mate's window. Oh, is this telling me where to go to check for things? Okay. The calling. Eh. Why am I skimming through all this stuff? I, I can't solve anything just yet. Just yet. Unholy captives. On the cargo deck. Soldiers of the sea. Uh... Why, is, why don't we start at... Yeah, that's part seven. Part eight. The Doom. Uh, on the gun deck. Okay, where should we start then? At the beginning, I guess. Uh, oh, and there's... Yeah, oh, that's the bargain chapter that is, suppo is supposed to be hidden. Oh, yeah, it just says outright. This chapter will remain unknown until you leave the ship and return the book to me. H.E. Uh, who's H.E. again? Oh, hang on. Um... Uh, Wait, what's the key for, uh... Shit. What's the key for going back to the table of contents? It's, it's not... No. Uh... E? Oh yeah, it's E. There we go. Um... Uh, hang on, yeah. The, is it the journey, or...? Uh... Oh no, it's even early. Ah, Henry Evans. That's who it was. I think that's H-E. Um... So, that was the bargain. Uh... I feel like I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here. Escape, and then we have... Oh, and then the end. <laughs> the end. Outside the captain's quarters. Inside the captain's quarters. Inside the captain's quarters. Inside the captain's quarters. Okay. We also have a glossary. We have a glossary as well. Uh, Captain. Head officer in command of the ship responsible for directing the other officers ensuring the success and safety of the ship's voyage. We've got mates. G'day! This officer or tradesman that supports and assists their superior general mates to run the ship, etc, etc. Good thing I know most of all this already. You've got a bosun, 
Alternate uh, Bo Boatswain Bosen Foreman in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail the ship. Gunner, shooty people, military officer in charge of weapons and military procedures on the ship. And we got the purser who deals with the monies, administrative official accounts for all cargo value and trade transactions, manages a small item store for the crew, <laughs> commissary and ship. We have a surgeon, of course, ship's doctor in charge of the crew's health, gen capable of general care and medical procedures as required, carpenters fucking build and repair things, tradesmen responsible for maintaining the integrity of the ship's wooden structures, Helmsman, helmsman, they uh, use the ship's wheel. <laughs> Control the ship's wheel and general movement in the, to the moment in navigation. Stewards, uh, an officer of high-rated crew members performing general duties for the comfort of their employer. Uh, midshipman, officer in training, assists various officers and trainsmen in order to learn ship operations, usually a privileged status. Topman, they're on the sails, right? Higher-rated seamen specialize in working above deck. Oh dear, who's ready to crash the... Crash the ship. <laughs> I know I am. Seaman, uh, low level crew member responsible for general manual labor on and below deck. Rigging, uh, the network of ropes and chains supporting the masts and. Oh, this is just general ship stuff now. Main deck, exposed to the weather. Gun deck for shooting things all up deck, mid deck. Okay, do I need to know all of this? I mean, I know most of What the fuck is this? <laughs> okay. That's that's like the the uh, the most macabre LP I've ever seen in my life. You pop that record in and you hear sad Satan over and over again. All right, a uh, uh, table of contents with Q and open and close the book with Tab. Ah, there we go. Finally out of that nightmare. <laughs> I got trapped in a book. All right, Memento Mortem. Remember death. Oh God. Um. All right. Oh, why is Latin so creepy? Oh, it's got the skull on it. Okay, great. Right, well, uh, I'll just get going then. See you later there, buddy. Don't die to the elements. Right, okay. Well, I've got my pocket watch now. Or compass. What is it? Is it a compass or a pocket watch? Um, alright. So what the fuck, how do I get it out and shit? Oh, I can right-click to zoom in as well. That's easier than pressing E. Not that much so. Oh, Gura's gone. Oh, wait, no, there she is. <laughs> Hi, Gura. Assuming that is... Uh, I mean, it could be someone waiting for me to, to to be vulnerable, and then they're going to board the ship and stab me in the grundle. All right, well, let's have a look around. Oh, yeah, I did find a corpse. I did find a corpse. Oh, here we go. So he just whips it out automatically. Okay. Uh, right. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> it's, uh, we're going to fuck ourselves a clock. What's going on? Captain! Oh. Open the door! Oh. Kick it in. Ah! Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! <laughs> oh god, it's a Scottish ship. Huh. Exactly what I give you! Oh shit, what? Okay. Kapow! Oh my god. <laughs> Kapow! Uh, oh dear, well, yep, you didn't do too well. <laughs> Black! <laughs> Jeez, even at that range, yeah, that's gonna fuck you up. Oh dear, what the fuck is this back here? the fuck is this back here? I don't know. Alright, we got this fellow in a hat. Clocks a, De a DeLorean. Alright. Uh, careful not to get shot in this freeze frame here. Uh, I can move around a bit by the look of it. Oh wait, who the fuck are you? Hello. Who are you? Oh, he's got a knife in his mouth. What the fuck is going on here? We've got ourselves a merry little mutiny here. Escape via the cage! <laughs> Okay, alright. So, um, what am I supposed to do exactly? Uh, hello? What am I supposed to do? Whoa! Oh, what if I. Oh, okay. Oh, well, uh, well, there's that. <laughs> um, was I supposed to do something there? Uh, uh oh. Alright. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I'm in over my head this time around, I think. Alright. The end? Question mark. We're, oh, we're starting at the end. We're going backwards, are we? Okay. The end. Alright. Outside the captain's quarters. Location of the corpse. Three others were present. Who is this? How did they die? Captain! <laughs> oh, okay. So... So this part tells you where the body was? And I guess... So, okay, so I'm supposed to find out who's this. Who's this and how did they die? Uh... I don't know. Who was he again? Let's see. 
Captain, open the door. Kick it in, lest we break it down and take more than those shells. Oh, this was the audio part then. You bastards may take exactly what I give you. And then he got shot. Um, oh, is that what the X is for? The uh, Is the X supposed to be... the? Yeah, the person who got shot is the X. Okay. I think that's... Okay, all right. Can I do anything? No, all right. Um... Outside the captain's quarters. Uh, yeah, let's l l move from that. Location of the corpse was here. Okay. So the... So, okay, so the... Okay, right. Um, how, how do we actually uh, tell... <laughs> how do we tell the game that we've figured it out? Uh, uh, oh, God. Uh, okay. Three others were present. Oh, and this is... Oh, this is the drawing. Okay. So we know... Uh, well, we don't know. Unknown is this person. Uh, there's this person. And there's this person. So if... Oh, okay. Uh, unknown. Yes. Uh, well, all of them are unknown. Um, but how do I figure out which person I'm looking at? Like, I remember this guy's hat. But I remember him. He's in one memory. Oh, what's this? Memories where this person appears can be in in navigated from here. Right. This soul appears in one memory. First memory, 126. Show memories on... Oh! Bookmark. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. Alright, well, we only have the one, so... Yeah. Do I, do I really need to bookmark? I don't know. Oh. There we go. I guess I'll bookmark him, although I don't think he's terribly relevant to this scene. Um... Alright. Oh, hang on. There's another one up here. Oh, is this the guy? Oh, this is the bald guy with the knife in his mouth. Okay. Uh, he's also in one memory. Well, we only have the one memory, haven't we? Unknown. This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. This blurring indicates that you don't yet have sufficient information to determine their identity. Okay. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Okay, carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Okay, um, so yeah, he's blurry as fuck, so I, I, you know, I guess we can't figure anything out there. Who's someone who died? Was it, was it this fella? Hang on. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's blurry, but I can still tell this is the guy who died. Um, okay. This unknown soul met an unknown fate. <laughs> Alright. You don't have sufficient information to determine this person's identity. Await further clues. Please explain. Oh, that's the Pauline Hansen selection. That's the option when you're Pauline Hansen. <laughs> please explain. Try anyways. Um, please explain. Alright. This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. Okay. Indicates you don't have enough sufficient... Okay. Righto. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Okay. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. If I remember correctly, the ones wearing the wide hats had rank. Oh yeah, these guys look like officers. Yeah, they're definitely wearing those kind of uniforms. Faces become unblurred when information necessary to identif them, identify them has been revealed in some way. Okay. But this is the guy who, who, who died. He got shot, so I guess we put that in, right? Unknown. We don't know anything about him. Uh, alive. Alive in... Oh, God. People can be alive anywhere. Africa, Atlantic Island, Azores, Canary Islands, Cape Verde, East Indies, Europe, Middle East, United Kingdom, and West Indies. Okay. You can be axed. You can be burned. You can be clawed, clubbed, crushed, decapitated. Yay. Drowned. Oh, wait. Crushed as a... Yeah. You can be crushed by a beast, a cannon, cargo, rigging, and stones. Stones? Why the fuck would there be stones on a ship? <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, there's more. Eaten. Electrocuted. Expired. Exploded. Fell. Fell overboard. Rigging stairs. Yeah, you can fall a bit. Froze. Illness. Killed by a sword. That's very specific. You can be killed, but only by a sword. Knifed. Poisoned. Shot. Oh, by arrow, cannon, or gun. Well, he was shot with a gun, so yeah, we can put that down now with that, right? So there we go. Just, yeah, there we go. Was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. I want to look at the rest of them, though. What else is there? There's uh, shot, speared, spiked, strangled, struck, suicide, and torn apart. Okay, wait, you can be struck by hooves, tail, and wing. Right? <laughs> you can be struck by all these things. I mean, I guess you can. But 
Hang on. Oh, we're strangled. No, no, no. I want to go to struck. Yeah, you can be str on a, on a ship. You're about to be struck by hooves, tails, and wings. Yeah, no, not likely. I don't think. Shot by a gun, but there's also torn apart and suicide. Suicide by gun, knife, noose, or spear. By spear. That's a bit of an odd way to kill yourself, but sure. <laughs> that should add bugger to death. <laughs> sure. Yeah, they really should add some funny options here. All right. By an unknown attacker. Um, well, he said Captain opened the door, didn't he? And then he's like, nah, fuck you. And yeah. okay, so we can also, yeah, hang on, hang on. Uh, shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. Uh, Captain, here we go. Captain Robert Whitterell from England. Um... Don't know who he is, though, but... Hang on. Uh, yeah, no, I, I guess I won't bother, but he seems to be an officer because he's wearing that uniform. Plus, he's standing very close to the captain, so is he, like, the captain's mate or something? Hang on, this unknown soul... Try anyways? Uh... Uh... Yeah, no, there's actually a lot of officers. Oh, you can set it to unknown officer if you don't know, but you've sort of thought of the rank, I think is how that works. Because, yeah, there are quite a few officers, actually. So if I set this to unknown officer, it doesn't really do anything anyway. Okay, we're shot with a gun. Uh, by Captain Witterall. Okay. Righto. Um, right. Uh, what do I do now, then? <laughs> what do I do now? Uh, inside the... Oh, here we go. Part two, inside the captain's quarters. Right. Uh, hang on. Tab. There we go. Close that book. Right. Um, oh, we're back again. Okay, great. Um, so I can just sort of take my time and look around then. Not that there's much to see, I don't think. We were pretty thorough. I can't go back here just yet. Um, can I open doors? Can I... No, can't seem to open doors here. Ooh, it's like a spooky freeze frame. <laughs> now I just want to, like, you know, put strange things on them. Give them, like, funny hats, straw moustaches on them and such. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, all right. Yeah, we have. The, yeah, that's the bald fellow with the knife. Okay. So there were four people in this scene. Um. Oh god. If I miss someone, is that going to be a problem? <laughs> I'm going to try and be as thorough as possible. All right. So what do I do now then? Uh. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, should I, am I supposed to figure out? Oh god. All right. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. My brain is already melting. Oh! Door. Doors open. Creepy fucking ethereal doors open. Now we can move on to the next scene. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh, we're back. Oh, we're back to, to reality now. Alright. I got a pocket watch. Um. Oh, here we go. There's a new body in here. Hang on. How did that door open? <laughs> okay. That's a bit spooky. This one's still locked. But, okay. I guess... I guess the doors are open now. How does that work? Alright. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of bodies here. Oh, I found a knife, I think. <laughs> At least I think that's a knife. The graphics are a bit weird. Okay. Oh, we can wander around the back of the ship now. Um, oh, yeah. Now I still see Spooky Gore out there watching me. Alright. Um, so, oh, is that the other side of the... Yeah, that's the other side of this door. So, alright. We can have a bit of a look around. Um, although there doesn't seem to be much to do here anyway, so... Alright, corpsey, let's see what you're up to, I guess. Oh. Hey. <laughs> That's enjoyable. Where are they? Hmm? Must be in here someplace. Hmm. <laughs> They're at... Hmm? The bottom of the sea. Huh? What's at the bottom of the sea? So I dumped all the treasure. Oh. 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 Uh, fuck. <laughs> all right. Oh no. Is that? Yeah. That's Hat Boy. Hat Boy is dead. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. So he gets knifed. That's fun. Is the other guy still dead? Is this? Yeah. The sequence of events is he got shot. He had an axe on him as well. And then he came in here and tried to. Oh my god. <laughs> he just got speared in the shoulder. Captain, why are you not wearing a shirt? Are you? Are you even wearing pants? I don't know. Oh, there's his gun. Yeah, took a while to reload them back then, so I guess he didn't bother. Uh, or he didn't really have the opportunity. Oh, hey! Here's this guy again. He's still got the knife in his mouth. <laughs> Look out below! Oh, dear. 
So, uh, yep, you're fucked. Oh, and that's the end of that scene. Okay. Well, they don't give you a lot of time here. Um, right. They don't give you a lot of time to search these things. Righto. So there's that. Is that chapter two? Yep, part two. Here we go. So we're seeing the end first. Uh, oh boy, I have so many questions. Okay, who is this and how did they die? Um, well, we know he was knifed, so he met with an unknown fate. Um, and knifed was here, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. Knifed by an unknown attacker. Well, it was the captain again, wasn't it? So, Captain Rob Robert Witterall knifed him in the neck. Fuck, do I know who he is? Uh, he's not an officer, I don't think. If we look at the... Hang on. Uh, no. Can we look at the... Here we go. Two others were present. Uh, we have you, and we have you, of course. Yeah, you were he heading down there as well, weren't you? All right. Knifed by R. Witterall. Oh! So, hang on. Oh, so, hang on. You're, you're the... You're the captain, I think. Uh, hang on, two memories. How, how do I know that this is that guy, though? I mean, it's it's reasonable to assume. He looks kind of captain-y, doesn't it? But, I mean, who knows? <laughs> uh, but then again, the officer that got shot before is not in this picture, and he is. So, I think it's reasonable enough to say that you're the captain. So, let's go. Oh, here we go. What's this? This person's face is no longer blurred, which means they can now be identified. Oh, okay. Hey, that works. He was buggered to death. Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Okay. Uh, right. Use the book's maps, crew manifest, and artist sketches, pages two to four, along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. Okay. Right. Uh, here we go. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. <laughs> oh, no. You have to figure out who all these buggers are. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Uh, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Decisive information is rare. I, yeah, I feel like this is the easy part at the beginning. You will have to make assumptions using partial information. <laughs> it won't be easy. <laughs> it won't be this easy all the time. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good lur. Okay. Uh, well, fairly certain you're the captain. Um, and has he died yet? I mean, he got speared in the shoulder, but I don't think he's dead yet. There we go. He didn't die in that scene, at least, because it just said there was one person who died. So I think you're the captain, and that's all we have to go on right now. I don't know how you died, if you even died. Maybe you didn't die. There is an, there is an alive uh, uh, section, isn't there? Although, unfortunately, it looks like you have to figure out where they are if they are alive, so fuck knows. <laughs> all right. Where are they? Uh, they're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Yeah, the ex is the person who's relevant to the scene who dies, right? Oh, uh, right. Two others were present: uh, Captain and Knife Boy. Right, gotcha. Location of corpse. Uh, yeah, it's here. There we go. Is this even really all that necessary? Probably not. Look, who knows? Might be more helpful later on. Okay. Um, right. What do I do now? <laughs> Oh god, I'm so confused. Hey there, buddy! <laughs> How do I know who you are? How do I know who anyone is? This is getting ridiculous. Okay, well, you're dead. Um, uh, you're uh, dead as well. Oh god, it's missing part of his face. Let's go through the creepy ethereal door again. Let's find another corpse. Maybe we'll figure out something. There isn't- yeah, there's another body here. Oh look, there's the spear. <laughs> there's the spear, the knife, so... Where the fuck is the captain then? We got- we got- Two, okay, there's two knives here. One of them was responsible for knifing this guy in the neck. And there's another knife and a spear and God knows what. All right, let's see who you are. You the captain? Let's find out. Oh my God, it's quarter past 10 on death o'clock. Oh. oh, someone's choking on their own blood. Oh, the guy who was knifed in the neck probably. Bre oh, bre <laughs> Oh, he was whacked. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Knife here. Now we know where the second knife came from. It's right in his side. Jesus Christ. 
This captain is badass. Look at him. He's just like, oh, I don't care if you stab me in the kidney. Fucking wacko. Oh, that's the oh, that's the guy who had the the knife in his mouth, and then he went kasplat, and he's like, oh, that didn't work. Jokes on you. I already have another functioning kidney. Oh, he's still dying out. He's still dead. Uh, this door's open now. All right. Oh fuck! What the? Oh, there's a dead uh, waifu here. I think she's dead. She's having a nap. But <laughs> all right. Um, all right. There's a there's a lady here as well. Um, the plot thickens. There was a waifu involved. I don't think she's sleeping though, because uh. Don't think you'd sleep through all this. Oh no, rip in peace waifu thing. When are you gonna play The Sims? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> when it, it, it when it exists, <laughs> when they port it, I don't know. All right, inside the captain's quarters. Oh, who is this and how did they die? Fuck, do I know? Captain lost a kidney after a wild weekend in Tortuga. <laughs> oh dear, it's his jokes on you. That kidney was already fucked from my drinking. All right, who is this and how did they die? Oh, I don't know who Bald Man is. Met an unknown fate. Well, uh, assuming he died from being smashed in the head by a spear. That's the best way to use a spear, by the way. Just bludgeon someone in the face. Um, well, let's see. We got clubbed. Crushed. No, he wasn't crushed by any of those things. Decapitated, drowned. Uh, nope. Nope. Speared. Meh. He wasn't really speared, though, was he? Not really. He wasn't speared or spiked. He was bonked in the head, so I think clubbed might be okay, unless it's really specific and you need to have a club. <laughs> Probably a low-level crewman. <laughs> oh, dearie me. All right, by an unknown attack. Well, we know it was the captain, so let's pop him in as well. There we go. This unknown soul. Yeah, I have no idea who the fuck this is. Who is this guy? Uh, await further clues. Yeah, not really sure. Let's have a look. Hang on. One other person was present. Uh, it was the captain. You know, was, you know, I don't know. Is the game going to tell me if I got this right or not? When do I get told that? I guess you'd have to figure out who they are and how they died first. Or if they're not dead. See, we, we correctly identified him, but I don't know what's happened to him yet. So maybe we find out then. Um, right. Who the fuck are you? Oh, Christ. All right. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> uh, oh, there was no dialogue. There was just bonk. <laughs> just bonk. <laughs> All right. So there's that. Um, I, I, oh, I also found a dead wife. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> um, All right. <laughs> the plot thickens. There be a dead waifu here. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, not sure why. There's just a lot of death here. Okay. Bonk. Dead. Gurgle, gurgle, shot in face. Um, but this, oh god. Can't they segment this off so it's like, you have to pick between this number of, because I, I have, hang on, yeah, there we go, how do I get to the, uh, hang on, E, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go, E. Um, uh, here we go, crew manifest here. And, no, they don't segment it off at all. I just, I just have 60 people to choose from. Uh, that's great. Well, at least I know who one of them is. Got that. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now, let's head through the ethereal door. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. I'm already very worried. Um, how am I supposed to do this then? Oh, we found another body. He's on a... Oh, okay. Rightio. Oh, yeah. There's dead, uh, dead waifu as well. Uh... Definitely seen better days. Bit more skeletal than I would like, but uh, it's all right. Um, possibly a broken jaw, or maybe that's just how the skeleton is. I don't know. Oh, there's Guru again. Hello. <laughs> Guru's here, everybody. She's, she's just spying on us. Ahoy! Ahoy! <laughs> all right, then. Um, well, I guess I'll see what you're up to first. And then we'll check uh, Waifu Corpse. Why not? Okie dokie. Abigail. Abby! Your brother. Huh? My friend. Oh. I shot him. <laughs> I shot dead. him dead and I enjoyed it. <laughs> okay. I'll be with you yeah. soon, my love. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Please forgive me. Oh, he's going to sepulchre himself. For everything. 
Oh. Oh, brat! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, he bukkake his face with a fucking flintlock pistol there, by the look of it. Alright. Oh, whoa, what was that? Something flashed on the screen. What was that? Can I actually do something now? I don't know. Waifu's still there. Um, alright. What was that button that briefly appeared on the screen? So you're still dead. You're all still dead. Alright. There was something at the bottom of the screen. I missed it. Is there something I can pick up? No? Alright. Alright. So he got shot in the in the face. Or shot himself in the back by the look of it. Oh man. Did anyone see what that was at the bottom of the screen? I completely missed it. Oh dear. Can you re- I can just- I can only assume you can replay these. You know, further review them and, f you know, figure out more things you might have missed, maybe. There was something at the bottom of the screen. I know- yeah, I saw something. I- it wasn't my imagination. Hmm. I wish I'd seen that. <laughs> That's annoying. Alright, um... Right. Location of corpse, uh, is there. Well, we know it's the captain, so he's probably hanging out. Uh, let's see. Captain Robert Witterall met an unknown fate. Oh, well, we know he killed himself with a sh with a with a gun then. So hang on, that's suicide. Here we go. Suicide by gun. There we go. There's no nothing else there that works. Oh, here we go. What's this? Correct. This may or may not be correct. Oh fuck. <laughs> Thanks, game. I thought you were going to tell me I got it right. <laughs> Fates are validated in sets of three. Huh? What does that mean? Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information type set into the book. Oh, so I have to get three people correctly identified and figure out how they died, and then it'll be sealed in the book. Okay. I think that's what they meant. Uh, right. We got the, oh, the audio log as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's just him. Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. Right. Is there an Abigail on board? Your brother, my friend... Okay. I feel like we've got, actually, quite a bit of information there. I feel like we can work with it. Um, because the captain did shoot someone a moment ago, but then again, he may have shot multiple people, so maybe that's not terribly helpful. Your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. Well, let's see if there's an Abigail on board. I tried to clip it, but didn't go back far enough. Oh, yeah, I should have should have done that myself. Bugger. Yeah. All right. Well, I could just press buttons furiously next time. Um, all right. Let's see. Abigail. Um, oh, how do I go to... There were people present. Um, oh, there was no one else present. It was just him. Uh, right. Captain... Robert, yeah, shot himself. Okay. Right. Can I check the... Yeah, I'll just check the book and... Oh, hang on. Uh, table of contents. Yeah, there we go. Right, table of contents. Uh, oh, God. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I have a tummy ache. Um, all right. Uh, a sketch. Yeah, let's check the sketch. Yeah, yeah, I want the sketch with all the people in it. There we go. Uh, or maybe I don't. No, I'm thinking about this backwards. The sketch isn't going to tell me anything. No, no, I, yeah, I want the manifest. Here we go. Right, let's see if there's an Abigail on board. Marcus Gibbs. Oh, we got a Gibbs on board. Uh, he's American, though. That can't be right. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, here we go. Abigail Hoskett Witterall. Oh, yeah, Witterall, the, the, the captain's wife. Okay, passenger from Scotland, okay. He's from... No, he's from England, okay. Um... Hang on a sec. No, was I... No. No, I was thinking of something else. No, alright. I thought the Scotland might help there. Wasn't the first guy Scottish, or maybe, yeah, maybe not? The accent kind of sounded Scottish, so maybe. Hang on a sec. Hang, uh... So, alright. Passenger Abigail Hoskett Witterall. Uh, right. How do I put this in the book? Um, well, we don't know how she died just yet anyway, so... Oh, God, this is really confusing. Who is Abigail Hoskett Witterall? I don't know. It's probably not the... No, probably not the Formosan girl. No. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't know. This interface is confusing the shit out of me. Uh, that's a fun name. Edward Spratt. <laughs> uh, all right. I feel like we can figure this out. Um, n- no, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. How do I figure this out? Um, can I revisit the scene? Oh, I'm in the scene right now. Right. Can I pick the thing up then? There's... there's dead waifu. Considering this is... hang on, hang on. Uh, location of corpse is here. Uh, doesn't tell you... oh, here we go. Captain's quarters. Uh... Well, it's technically passenger cabins here, but this is... is this seems to be... Hang on. Yeah, because... Yeah, yeah, alright. I mean, it stands to reason if your wife dies, you pop her in your bed, right? Assuming this is his bedroom. <laughs> Okay. Oh god, I wish I hadn't missed what it told me. I want to pick up things. How do I pick up things? Can I pick up a knife? Can I just- please? Oh shit, alright. Um, how do I get my pocket wash out now? Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, well there's the door. I'm not ready to leave yet though. Um. Uh, alright. Can I do anything? I can zoom in. That's the best I can do. I can't seem to pick up anything. Clicking does nothing. Uh, what the fuck is... Hang on. It, oh, okay, Q also allows me to move left for some reason. Alright. Uh, Alright. Uh, yeah, we already know how he died. How did you die? How do, how do, I, how do I go to you now? Uh, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, what do we do? Oh no, I've been streaming for an hour and I haven't found anyone yet. I got 60 more dickheads to go. Alright, press E to... Oh, sh- hang on, what the fuck is this? He's glowing. He's glowing. What is this? Eh? Oh, open book. Alright. Open the book while examining a face to flip directly to the sketch. Oh, okay. Did you think this is what they meant? Because I was- I was pressing the E key. Did it say press the E key to do this? I don't think you can pick anything up in this game. I don't know. I haven't seemed to have done it so far. Um, all right. So we know this guy is... Oh, here's the officer. Shot by gun by R. Witterall. Oh, he's not blurry anymore. So we should be able to figure him out then. If he's not blurry, we should be able to figure it out. I feel like that's a very insulting mechanic. <laughs> it's like, all right, we've unblurred the face. You should know who this is by now. <laughs> it's If not, you're a dummy. Oh, dearie me. Do I know who any of these people are? Actually, that might be helpful, because if, if a face is unblurred, it's like, well, it's got to be one of these people now. All right. Shot by gun. Who are you? This unknown officer. Okay, he was shot in the first one, wasn't he? So, uh... Wait a minute. What did he say earlier on? Hang on. There we go. Abigail... Your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. <laughs> I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. All right, well, if we can figure out who Abigail is and who her brother is... Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I, can I do this? I can do this! There we go, one waifu identified. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, so, oh, hang on, yeah, press tab to book. There we go. Um, so I guess that's the captain's wife, then? I mean, she's sitting here, so why not? Um, uh, what was it again? Abigail something. Hang on, here we go. Uh, oh, fuck, I've lost her. <laughs> Where's she gone? Oh, here we go. Abigail Hoskett Whitterall, Scotland. Passenger. I don't know much else, though, unfortunately. I, I know she's dead, but don't know how she died. Maybe dysentery. <laughs> Maybe dysentery. All right, and she's unblurred, so we should know. I think that's just for identifying them by name, though, and not how they died. Because I, uh, well, okay, I do know how he died. He got shot. Assuming that this is the only guy the captain shot, should we take a stab in the dark? I don't think we can get away with a stab in the dark here. Um, I don't know. Um, okay, let me think. Uh, this interface is confusing the shit out of me. No one else was present. Right. Dead waifu was here. Um... Who are you again? 
Oh, Stabby McThroat Man. There we go. Uh, oh, that was Hat Man. There we go. Hat Man with a gun, so part of the firing squad. <laughs> okay. All right. So he could be a gunner. I don't know. And then there's you. Who are you? The guy who was shot. Um, yeah, assuming the captain didn't shoot anyone else. Um, is this guy... All right. Hang on. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He did say... Ugh, okay, fuck. Uh, too much information, hang on. Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. Assuming that this is the only guy who shot, then Abigail's brother will hang on. Uh, be, 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 be. Uh, how do I go back to him? Uh, oh, here we go. And then tab. There we go. This unknown officer was shot by the captain. Um, so, yeah, assuming the captain didn't shoot anyone else, we can always change our mind, right? Question mark. Identifying people. Uh, bookmarks, deduction ratings. Okay, don't know what that is, but I can't select it. All right. <laughs> I was hoping that would be a help button, as if to say, uh, please tell me how to do things. All right, this unknown officer. Um, all right. Uh, well, he's an unknown officer. He's wearing the, the uniform, so probably an officer. And hang on a tick. Um... Abigail... Oh, did we figure that out? It's crossed out now. Abigail Hoskett Witterall, Passenger, Scotland. Okay. Um, oh, hang on. Scotland. Waifu, also Scotland. And he is an officer. Hang on. Uh, Scotland, yeah, there we go. Passenger, Abigail Hoskett Witterall. Oh, her middle name is her maiden name, William Hoskett. My, yeah, your brother. Okay, hang on. I think we've... And he, yeah, first mate. I guess he would be one of the people to sort of be there at the end of all things, so... And he was Scottish! He was the guy who said, Open the door, you twat! And then he got shot. So I think... I think that's right. The game's not going to tell me yet. Oh, I have to get three right, so... Okay. So far... Ooh, that's... Ooh, that's going to come back to bite me in the ass, isn't it? So I have to get three right before the game actually tells me if I've got anything right at all. Oh, that's fun. Oh, this is going to take forever. Oh, God, this is going to be a Thursday stream, isn't it? All right. Uh, we shot with gun. All right. I think I'm I'm reasonably certain that these two are right. We've got to figure out a third one, though. Um, oh, God, and he's blurry. And then where's the other guy? Is this the bald guy? Not him. Uh, oh, here he is, because he was clubbed by the captain. There we go. I already put that down, but... No, don't know about the ball guy, so... Yeah, and I have identified what I think is the captain's wife. Yeah, no, she's definitely the captain's wife, but we don't know how she died yet, so that doesn't really help much. Um, I guess we'll look for other scenes then. We'll find some more dead bodies. <laughs> this is what we're doing today. <laughs> Time to find more corpses. Oh, dear. Oh, shit, what's happening? What's happening? The end. Oh. X. X. So many X's. I'm guessing those are the dead that we found in that chapter. The four people died in this chapter. It was horrific. Right, what do we do? Um... Eh? The end. Also on the map for some reason. Okay. Uh, alright. <laughs> I don't know anything. Alright. Uh, right, good. Um, oh wait, we do have a new dead body we can look at. There we go. Hi there, this is a dead skeleton wife. <laughs> Alright, let's find out how you died. Hopefully it's not dysentery, otherwise that'll be embarrassing. Here we go. Alright. Oh no, it's... it's 20 to... to 7. Oh. What the fuck is going on? Get back inside. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, that's definitely the captain's wife. She's Scottish. Uh, oh, shit. Down she goes. There's been a storm. Oh, fuck. It's not a storm. It's not a storm. Okay. This is a, uh, this is a uh, kraken. All right. We got a kraken, everybody. <laughs> I was not expecting. Okay. Mythological creatures are in this game. All right. That's great. Hang on. Where's my marine panicking? I'm going to need that now. Yeah, there we go. No, no, no. No. Yeah. Uh. No! Ahoy there, matey! Ahoy there! Ahoy there, devil. Um, alright, I wasn't expecting a fucking kraken, but there you go. 
Oh, oh wow. Just so, hang on, the Kraken picked up the mask and just went kapow. <laughs> right in the fucking face. Oh dear. Oh no, <laughs> help me. <laughs> oh, there's more people. Oh God, we gotta be quick otherwise they'll, they'll fuck off from the scene, won't they? Hello there, devil, how you doing? Oh, this guy's trying to shoot at the crack. I don't think that's gonna work, matey. Oh, there's more people here. Hello. Help! Get the- What the fuck happened here? You don't have any legs anymore, sir. Oh, no, I need more time! Oh, fuck off. <laughs> what game is this? This is Return of the Obra Dinn. As- as the book tells you. <laughs> oh god, it's a- it's a maritime mystery game. Oh, Chapter 7, The Doom. It's made by Lu Lucas Pope, the guy who did uh, Papers, Please. Uh, it's a- it's a much different game, I can tell you that. Alright, Part 8, The Doom. Oh, we're starting at Part 8, are we? <laughs> oh god, we're all over the place. We started at the end and now we're at Chapter 7, alright. Um, we've already figured out that this is the captain's wife, namely because- I mean, yeah, hang on, if we go back and check. Um, yeah. Yeah, she definitely had a Scottish accent. <laughs> like, what did she say again? Hang on, I can- yeah, there is a transcript. Here we go. Martin, where's the captain? Have you lost your mind? Get inside! <laughs> I want my husband. Where is he? The shite. <laughs> He's below deck. Come here! And then smack right in the face. This papers, please, looks fun. Yeah, we did stream it a number of years back. It was a good old time. Oh dear, it's Lucas Pope like two for two. I think these are the only games he's made actually. He's only done two of them as far as I'm aware. If he makes another one, I'd like to check it out. This corpse was moved post-mortem. Oh yeah, because she was found in the bed. <laughs> but she was whacked in the face here. All right, uh, 10 others were present. Oh yeah, there were a lot of people. Oh, this fucker was here, right? There was Mr. Mr. Uh, knife in the mouth guy. There were other people. There was these, I didn't remember. So oh. Did, did I see these two? Okay, well, at least the game's going to- I think- it, Yeah, oh yeah, I didn't see any of these people. I'm glad the game is helpful enough to just say, Look, here are the people that were in the scene, whether you saw them or not. Because I didn't see any of these motherfuckers. Alright. Uh, okay. Some of them are blurred and some of them are not. So if they're cleared, if they're unblurred, you can figure them out. Well, I know- I know- Okay, well, let's, let's get this out of the way. I know you are- Someone who has met an unknown fate. You were smashed in the face. <laughs> Clubbed? By an unknown attacker. Uh, let's see. It wasn't a person. Oh, here we go. By enemy or a beast. Let's go with beast. Nope. Oh, what happened? Well done. Three fates great. Oh, we got them right. Okay. Oh, there we go. Abigail Hoskett Whitterall was smashed in the face. Ah, you- yeah, I had a feeling you were- yeah, you were the Scottish fella and he- yeah, he's mentioned a brother. He mentioned his wife's brother, there we go. And we, of course, we know the captain. There we go. Are we making an LP? What's going on? Oh, I the wee sea beast is buggering the ship! <laughs> oh, <laughs> shite, he's all over the place. Table of contents. Um, I'm guessing these little notches mean we've got three three people on our belt. We've figured out three people. So three down, uh, 57 left to go. That's a good start, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's a start, why not? All right, um, right, can I go back to the scene though? Am I allowed to do that? Uh, close book. Oh God, what's happening? <laughs> oh yeah, we're back on the scene. Okay. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's the waves. I thought there was like a big sheet of metal over it. Okay, uh, so yeah, um, right. Wasn't expecting a fucking kraken, but okay. <laughs> Mythological creatures are on the menu, boys. Space to do actions, okay. Um, I'll do that in a tick. I'm glad you're telling me how to do things now. But I'd rather just have a look around first. Um, Kersplash. I'm gonna look around at the other people. Uh, oh, hang on. So there's you, looking absolutely terrified. Oh wait, how do I do this again? Yes, there we go, E. Um, so you're this fella, he's blurry by the look of it, so no chance of figuring him out just yet. There's you. Uh, there's a lady person. Another lady person. Okay. There's you. Oh, hang on a sec. These? Hang on, you're blurry. Uh... Oh, you're not blurry, which means I should be able to figure out who you are. You too, okay. 
don't know how I'm supposed to figure out how who you are. Although I'm guessing based on... Hang on a sec. I'm guessing based on... On the outfits, I guess you could say they're not crew, or maybe you are, I don't know. The other one seems to be wearing like, yeah... Yeah, I don't think you're crew, you might be a passenger, so I might be able to narrow it down, maybe. I don't know, then we got this fella with the hat on. <laughs> Looks more like a train conductor. He is blurry as fuck. Ladies must be passengers. <laughs> no, oh yeah, in this time, in this time period, yeah, there wouldn't be any lady crew, would there? We've also got you over here. Uh, is he blurry? No, he's pretty clear, actually. Apparently we're supposed to know who he is as well. I mean, we know who you are. You got smashed in the face. Um, oh yeah, I didn't see these two guys as well. There's you. There's this fellow with a hat. He's still a bit blurry, though, unfortunately. Um, right, there's you as well. Here we go, Mr. Spearman over here. Okay, Spearman. I did spot this guy as well earlier on. Who are you? Uh, oh, okay, at first I thought he was the bald guy with the knife in his in his mouth from earlier, but no. There's that fella, don't know who the fuck that could be. Oh, I see someone else. Hello! <laughs> How are you doing? There's this fella. Apparently I should know who this guy is as well, I don't see how. Unless this is the guy that she was yelling at? And then he gets fucking whipped away? Wait, how many people am I supposed to be looking for here again? I've forgotten, hang on, uh... Uh, chapter. Here we go. The Doom... Chapter... Oh, part, rather. Part... Ugh, the interface is a bit confusing. I, I'm still not quite sure what I'm doing half the time. Uh, oh, here we go. Ten others were present. Okay, have I... Have I seen ten people? One... Two, three, four, five... Six, seven... Eight... Nine, ten... Uh... Eleven, twelve. Okay, there's actually twelve people here. Ten others were present. Well, who am I missing, then? There's this fellow. Who are you? Oh, there's Knifey McGee. Okay, Knifey McGee is here. And also this fellow who's been, uh, torn apart a bit. Uh, that's that fellow. Okay. Not so good. Not so good for him. Hang on, if I look back here... Uh, hang on, how do I get the... Here we go, yeah, let's get the, the photo back. Here we go, sketch. So, there's Knifey McGee. Uh, torn apart fellow is this one. He's well, he is hanging out with these guys, and he is helping him. So maybe they're part of the same lot of people. I don't know, because it seems to me people are sort of with their own sort of groups, aren't they? You have got the officers here. You've got uh, I don't know, sort of like the extraneous people here. You got shooters here. You've got this lot here. The foremost and royalty here. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's actually relevant, but we'll see. He's half the man he used to be. <laughs> and rightly so. Alright, um... Where's the rest of him? <laughs> oh dear, I see what looks like just a vague lantern out outline there. Alright. Okie dokie. Well, I don't know if I can figure anyone out. Oh, hang on, I was going to check something. Um, What was I going to check? Oh uh, yeah, I was going to check. Hang on, where's the... Oh, this interface could be a little bit less confusing, but I, th I think I'm figuring it out. Um, here we go. Um, uh, yeah, let's get the transcript out. Who is Martin? I'm trying to figure out who that is. Because she, she sent it to someone who's actually in the scene, so it makes sense. Where is the captain? Have you lost your mind? Uh, well, yeah, I'm guessing whoever she's yelling at is Martin. Is there a Martin on board? Hang on a sec. I know how we can maybe figure this out. Oh, hang on. Uh, Martin. Well, he's obviously in the scene, but let's have a look at the... Not the sketch. Uh, is this the manifest? Yeah, here we go. Um, let's see. Well, hang on. Um, hang on. Zoom in. Who are you? Um, well, he, he appears to be an officer, so that's a start. Um, so he's... Uh, hang on. Where, where, where do we go? Hang on. Officer... Oh, fuck. All right, hang on. Um, <laughs> which screen? I mean, I'm, I don't want this screen. Where am I? Butcher, cook... Oh, why are they all random now? First mate, fourth mate... How do I get to that other... Hang on. Do I have to... Check the book? And then... Ah, here we go. Right. Unknown. Ah, here we go. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> Jesus Christ, finding all these menus is a pain in the ass. Um, unknown. Uh, he is an officer. 
Let's see. Hang on. Officers go all the way to... Oh, here we go. Uh, we've got Topman's, Midshipman's. Where do... Uh, right. Oh, I think officers end here. Because, yeah, Gunner's mate is going to be an officer. I think. Oh, here we go. Martin. Third mate. Okay, well, hang on. Let's check all of the... All the people. Why can't I go up anymore? Oh, probably because I already figured out the, the uh, captain and the first mate. Now they're not on the list anymore. All right, we got a second mate, third mate. Well, first I'll do a quick check and see if there are any other Martins on board. Um, nope. 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 It'd be really shit if there's people with the same name. <laughs> That'd be really annoying. Um, Samuel. No, all right, so there is only one Martin on board. Um, so I'm guessing... Okay, well, hang on. And he is an officer, so I'm guessing you're not an officer. Uh, you don't look like one, so yeah, I think it's fair to say... Oh, he he's an officer, though. But considering he's closer to her, it probably makes sense. And he was telling her to get inside and all that shit. I think it's fair to say this is probably Martin, then. I think that's a safe bet. Um, here we go. Uh, you are Martin Perrot, third mate. There we go. Um, oh, we still have to figure out how he died, though. Um, and he didn't die in this scene, by the look of it. Close call, though. Bloody hell. Alright. As for the rest of them, I have no fucking clue. Um, hopefully we can find out later, but right now, I've got nothing. I've got th this pair here. We've got this guy. We've got Spear McGee here. There's also a sword stuck in the tentacle as well. These guys really tried to get this thing to fuck off. Don't know if they were really all that successful, though. Uh, there we go. Alright, I guess we've done pretty much all we can do, so let's press space. Uh, alrighty. What the fuck's happening now? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh no, everyone's turned into a ghost. It's turned into Scanner Sombre. Have I streamed that yet? I don't think I have. I've got to do Scanner Sombre at some point. Alright. Alrighty. Okay, no, I can't get up to the upper deck. What am I supposed to do then? Go back to Dead Waifu. Oh, hang on, what's this? Oh, someone's glowing. Oh, I guess... Oh, we're going to find out what happened to Halfman here. <laughs> here we go. Oh, what's happening now? Huh? Okay. Right. Oh, fo oh, follow the spectral trail of intrigue. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Okay. Where are we going? And okay. What's happening then? Oh, we've got a new body. Oh, here's uh, Torso Boy. There he is. We found Torso Boy. Did we just? And we're in present day. Did we just summon a body here? What the fuck is going on? I guess I guess I have such such bad awareness that I'm like, okay, I found one body, found some ones over here, but now we've found a new one over here. I didn't notice it when I got on board. Unless it's like a ghost apparition or something like that. It's like this pocket watch is now showing me, hey, this fella died here. Alright, well let's find out what happened. There we go. Oh my god, alright, Harmsy McGee. Oh. Ah, what? Oh, shit. That's a lot of shooting. Oh, dear. Oh, I think we found out what happened to him. Oh, God, yes, sir. There's, there's some legs gone. There we go. Hello. Oh, he tried to stab this motherfucker with a sword. He has a scimitar here. Oh, God. Um. Oh, he's unblurred, so we should know who he is. Um. Although, I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, we got Spearman over here trying to do his job. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we're now we're going backwards in time, I think. Okay, we got this fella here. Who are you? Uh, oh, you're that fella who was climbing before. Oh, it's a piggy! Hello, there's a little piggy in a cage. <laughs> here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> there's this guy. Give me a gun! Right, oh! <laughs> oh, there's a goat. There's a goat in here. <laughs> there's a goat in here. Oh, no, I'm not done yet. I've got to check this motherfucker. Who's this? Oh, fuck. All right, hopefully, they, yeah, they'll, no, they'll, they'll let me check again, won't they? 
Uh, part seven. Yeah, we are going back in time. I had a feeling, because I mean, you know, <laughs> it was already in, in two pieces and being dragged off by the other guys, so... Now we're going back in time in each chapter, which is really going to confuse the shit out of me by the look of it. All right, who is this? How did they die? Uh, well, I know how he died. <laughs> Fairly know how he died. Uh, not decapitated. Crushed? Uh, by a beast? He wasn't really crushed, though, was he? He was more sort of like, yeah, torn apart. I Yeah, I remember that. There was a there was an, an, an option for that by, un, uh, by beastie. Yeah, he got torn apart by Beastie. No idea who he is, though. Um, hmm, that's the tricky part, I guess. Um, this unknown soul was torn apart by a terrible beast. Um, <laughs> no, no transcript, just death. Okay, there's that. Location of corpse, over here. Uh, twelve others were present. Um, there was this fella, this fella, this fella. I didn't see any of these people. Those tattoos should be a clue. Uh, they could be. He's got all swirlies on him. Um, hmm, not sure. I mean, it's the only thing that even remotely is a clue. I mean, I don't know anything other than the fact that he got torn in half. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, he's unblurred, which means that's the game's way of telling you, you should be able to figure it out, chump. There were some other people present. There were a ton of people, actually. Uh, and then there was Martin. Uh, all right. Righto. Okay. Should be able to figure this out. Yeah, fuck to I know. All right. Um, I'll come back to it. <laughs> I'll come back to it. Um, right. Who are you? Who are you? You're this fella here. You're blurry as fuck, so I don't know anything. Just, just hanging on for dear life. <laughs> oh, is the goat okay? Goat's not on the crew manifest, even though he's arguably the most important crew member. <laughs> Where's the goat? <laughs> it's like Jurassic Park all over again. Where's the goat? And uh, this fucker's probably going to eat him. Oh my god, what's happening over here? <laughs> this is, uh, all right, there's three fellas that were on a thrown across on a lifeboat. I can't identify them though. Hang on, maybe if I get a bit closer. Right. Uh. No, they're a bit too far away. I might be able to find out who they are later. Maybe. Uh, oh, you're Speary McGee. Who's got these guys here? There's you? You're that guy, Beardy McGee. And we've got a couple of other guys here. Who's this? This is this fella here. Not looking like he's having a grand old time. And you with a gun. Um, uh, he looks kind of officer-ish. Well, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Okay. He's I just know he has an impressive hat. <laughs> right, I'll have a quick look around see if I missed anyone. Oh, hey! You're hidden away here. Um, oh, that's Martin. Assuming that is Martin, I think... I mean, it's fair to say it is. He got a gun out to try and shoot him. Uh, who are you again? Oh, you're that person. What's he holding? Eh... Uh, don't know. He's <laughs> holding his lunch in a bag. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Uh, right, where's the door then? I think I've explored this well enough. Although, you know, who's to say? There might be clues all over the place to figure out who Mr. Torn and Half was. Uh, all right. Where's the door, though? Uh, where's the door? <laughs> How do we get out of this scene? I've got to go to another one. We can revisit them later, right? Um... Uh, where's the door? Is it... Is it on the other side? Where's the door at? Okay... What's going on? Not sure. Where is door at? Fuck's sake. Oh, hang on. Action with space, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry. I forgot about that bit. <laughs> okay. So now we can actually access new dead bodies within the freeze frame in the past. Okay. Oh, there you are. Hello. Uh, yeah, you look a bit dead. Are you all right? <laughs> Let's figure it out. All right. Okay. See, now I'm very confused. So now we can find people who died within the same scene. Okay. Uh, oh, where are we going? <laughs> all right. 
lead the way. I have no idea. The the font cloud of oh of mystery is taking us to a lovely place. Oh, we're gonna find out what happened to the goat. Wait a minute. Oh my God, the goat broke out. <laughs> The goat is free, or maybe it died horribly, I don't know. Probably dead. Uh, alright, we found another body. Let's find out here. Is this part six? Are we working our way backwards? Oh, get to the main twitch bit. Here we go. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, yep, that kraken is murdering the fuck out of a lot of people. <laughs> Hold on to something. Oh. Hold on to what? <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, what the fuck? Oh! <laughs> Uh-oh, I think someone gunpowdered this person. Uh, I think. The graphics are a bit weird, but I think that's what happened. Someone blowed up. Who are you, then? Oh, I can see who this is. Uh... Blurry fella. Don't know anything. Alright, there's also you. Also blurry. Alright. Uh, it is explosion a a fate? Oh, we found the door this time around. Uh, righto. Okay. Oh, there's the goat. <laughs> Assuming this is the same cage we saw earlier, the goat may be out. It may be at large. All right. Who are you? Uh, oh, you're this fella before he got torn in half. Oh, he's he's the one who owns the sword. Okay. Oh, what the fuck's happening here? Hang on. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I've got too many guns! <laughs> They're all wounded! Oh, feck it. There we go. Who are you down there? Oh, you're that fella. Alright. I've got too many guns! Uh, is there anyone else I might have missed? I guess the game will tell me. Or maybe it won't, because, you know, there were more bodies in that first scene. There were 12 put people as opposed to 10, so maybe, a, I don't know, maybe this is a bit inaccurate. Five others were present. Uh, you and you and you and... Oh, Christ. And you and you, I didn't see you, but I remember you and you and you and you. Yeah, you were the one with the guns. Who was this then? I didn't see this. Okay, on the main deck, you got this fella. Who is this? How did they die? Don't know who it is, but let's see if we got explosions. Yeah, here we go. Exploded. <laughs> he exploded. He just, he just exploded. That's just him done. All right. Uh, get to the main bit quick. Hold on. Hold on. Throw it. Throw the powder. Yeah, he got exploded. The graphics are a bit weird, but yeah, he exploded. <laughs> it's a bit tricky to see. Okay, location of corpses here. Yeah, he got blown up. How did we even find bits of him afterwards? The the guy was torn in half by by the uh, by the kraken, but the explosion left pretty much a uh, perfect corpse here. Can we say that? There's a hang on. Where was the body? Oh, this is the past. So there we go. All right. Well, we're done with this, I guess. Ooh, oh my head. <laughs> Look. So uh, we're on a bit of an angle here. Somehow I'm able to walk steady here towards the door. Let's find that person that we missed though. Oh shit, this might be him. Hello. I just noticed him. Uh, yeah, this is him. Um, he looks like he's having a pretty bad time. <laughs> All right. Can I figure out the fates of people on the same... On 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 a, on a different because this because we know that this is the per where someone died, but if we can say hey this guy is most likely dead, can we put his fate in? I guess there's no reason not to do it, but then again he might show up later, so maybe I'll I'll hold off because this isn't even this isn't even hang on what chapters? Yeah, we're on the Doom chapter seven. There's like two other chapters. He might die in bargain or escape, so let's not say he's dead just yet. He might be okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we've checked everyone here. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just walk out the door then. Right. Oh, uh, we're not off to a great start. We've only how many people have we gotten right? Like three or maybe four. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what do we do now then? Uh, what do we do? Just there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Chapter seven: The Doom, Part Six of Eight. Uh, didn't we just do this? Uh, yeah, this is the same scene. Next. Um, yeah. Oh, looks like we can leave at any time. Okay, so we can revisit scenes. And we can leave at any time through the door. So that's handy. Okay. Um, so what am I supposed to do now? We're not even remotely done with that chapter. Um, 
Where's my next body then? I was sent to this body and then this body. Why aren't I being sent to a new body? Oh, I've got a headache. <laughs> this game's kind of confusing the shit out of me. Alright, maybe I guess we have to find a body on our own then. Alright. Um, yep, that's that there. <laughs> right. I'm not seeing a lot of evidence of, like, Kraken damage here. Oh, I guess there was the mast. Yeah, they... Oh, so that's why the mast was under repair here. That's why they had to... To, to rope it together. There you go. Yeah, so we've ex we've figured out why that happened. <laughs> because the fucking... Fucking Kraken was like, oh, I'll just borrow this to bop a waifu in the head. Alright. Um, uh, what are we doing? Where are we going and what are we doing? Oh, shit. Uh, well, right, let's go down a deck. Can we just explore some new decks, I guess? Right. Door is locked. Alright. Uh, alright. Door is also locked, because that's what the X means. I know that. Um, right. Can we go down all the decks? Uh, oh, they're all locked off for now. Oh, I found a body, everybody! <laughs> well, I don't even think I need to visit the scene to see what happened to this guy. He got squished. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we can't really... Ex oh, yeah, no, we can keep exploring and looking around. What the fuck happened here? Oh, my God. Alright. Jesus, what happened here? There's a knife. Can I open this door? Oh, shit. Yeah, there's plenty of bodies here. There's this guy who was knifed. There was Cannon Crush Boy. Um. Oh, shit. There's plenty of doors we can open here, actually. Uh, where are we at? Hang on, now might be a good time to check the, the map. Um, I think, hang on, uh, let's see. That's the, yep, that's the main deck. Okay, we're in the gun deck now. Stewards, midshipmen. Oh, yeah, hang on, we can totally use the maps to figure out who is who based on where they are, maybe? I'll hold off on doing that in case there's an easier way of figuring things out. Like, maybe people will be mentioned by name. <laughs> I have a feeling the game's not going to be that easy on us. Like, hey, Marcus, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing, Ted. <laughs> I'm just uh, deciding to knife you in the back. You, you what, mate? <laughs> <laughs> well, we know how this person died. <laughs> and we know their name. I have a feeling they're not going to be that easy. It's going to get more difficult, I'm sure. right -oh. oh, God, it's been an hour and a half of streaming. I'll never get this done in eight hours. Although I'm going to try. All right, we did find a body... I will check that one in a sec, though. Let's go with Cannon Boy first. Oh, hang on. There's a couple of other rooms I can look into. Uh, there's a cannon here? Someone put a cannon in their room. There we go. There's this place here. Right. So, I know where two bodies are, at least. Right. Well, let's check this fella, then. Cause of death, uh, squished by cannon. I think we've already figured that out. Oh. Oh, shite. Oh, no. Where? <laughs> there we go. Alright, well, hang on. We already know what happened to you. There we go. You're this fella. Um, I already know what happened to you. I can't name you yet. Oh, this is just for identifying them. I, can't I... Oh, can't I figure out how he died yet? Alright. Oh, wait. We're still on part six? What the fuck? I'm so confused. This is probably not part six anymore. Alright, fucking hell. Oh, hello! <laughs> Someone else got squished as well. So much squishing going on. Here we go. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Who's this fella here? Uh, oh, that's that fella. Was that the guy that was blowed up or was that the guy that got blowed up? Yeah, we're going back in time so we have to take that into account. Although, that's just going to give me more of a headache, I think. Hello. Oh, I, I recognize you. You're Martin. You're the guy with the beard, of course. There's this fella. What the fuck happened here? Ooh, what the fuck happened to this fella with the top hat? This dapper fellow was completely fucking eviscerated. Oh, I can't wait to find out what happened to him. All right. So this is... This is during the Kraken battle, I guess. Okay. Wait a minute, so if we're working backwards, the last part of the Kraken battle is Waifu getting smashed in the face. So what happened to the Kraken then? <laughs> I guess we'll find out in a later chapter, but alright. Uh, who is this and how did they die? Well, uh, you got crushed by a cannon. There we go, that's good. By stones. <laughs> Don't know who the fuck he is. Um, 
All right. What happened here? Sir Loose Cannon. Oh, he's the one who died. She's healing over. Find your footing. Blech. Okay. Four others were present. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, let's have a look around at some more things. Oh, now they're doing this again. They could have done that before, and I would have found my way down here much easily, much more easily. All right. I have to know what happened to this guy. <laughs> Look at him. He is just two legs and an arm attached to a torso. It's just fucking nothing. All right. I have to know what happened to him. Also, this guy got squished as well. Right. Let's go to next dead body. Yes, we get to find out what happened to you. <laughs> All right. Let's figure out what happened to this dickhead. All right, let's go. Yeah, he's, uh, no, that's not him. No, that's the last guy. Hang on. Yes, take me over to next dead body. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that before. Uh, right, here we go. Oh, we're in present time, right? Yeah, this is present time. Guru's still out there, just watching me. Right. What the fuck happened to you? <laughs> what the fuck happened to you? Oh. <laughs> the fuse! But, oh, yeah, well, that explains why you turned into paste. <laughs> Alright, well, there's you. Uh, you got shot by a cannon, I guess. Yeah, there it is. Kablamo! Oh, my God. What's happened here? Oh, here we go. Oh, there's this guy again. He's alive, and he's got legs. So he lit the... F oh, no, you lit the fuse, and then Kablamo. Oh, it's Knife Boy again. So, here we go. Oh, and there's Hatman. He's back again from the from the first chapter. Well, technically the last chapter. It was the end. Uh, oh, I see a foot. Who are you? Oh, I can't really see from here. All right. Well, you got exploded. Is there anyone else out there? Oh, is that a person out there? Oh, is, oh it might be a Kraken tentacle. Oh, yeah. No, it's definitely... Yeah, there's definitely some Kraken activity here. Who are you? Can't see anything, but there's definitely someone there. <laughs> the Kraken just picked up the cannon and went, There you go, fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's sentient, what do we do? <laughs> it, it, it can think, it can think tactically, what the fuck do we do? Jesus Christ. And this took place like several chapters before the end. So, I uh, don't know how they dealt with this fucking thing. Alright, who was this and how did they die? Um... Wait, two people died? I mean, there was Top Hat Man who was blown apart. Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Exploded? It's more, yeah, it's more accurate to say he was shot, right? And I, yeah, here we go, and I can go with cannon. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Haven't seen Jack Sparrow anywhere, no. Well, I mean, all the rum's gone, so he's nowhere to be found. <laughs> uh, by an unknown attacker. Um, could I say... He was blown up by the Kraken. He was blasted with a cannon. Wielded by a beast. Here we go. Uh, was blasted with a cannon by a terrible beast. I mean, technically, technically, he was shot by, by a terrible beast. So that could work. I don't know who he is, though. This guy with top hat. My only second guy, though. Who is this and how do they die? I don't remember. Was he the guy that was crushed? Is he the fellow that was crushed? I guess so. Hang on, he was crushed by a cannon. Okay. Assuming this is the right guy. I couldn't actually get a good look at him, though. The fuse! <laughs> and then he died. All right, uh, location of corpses. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. I can find out where they both are. Uh, Wait, they were both in the same place? Isn't the cannon, like, here, though? Oh, I guess it's just being vague, all right? It's like, it's in this general area. Four others were present. There was you. There was Hattie McGee. I remember you. There was you, crushed by cannon, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, hang on. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, you were the one who lit the fuse, knife boy. You were there, don't remember seeing you. Uh, yeah, well, at any rate, I don't know who he is anyway, so. We'll just go with fates for now, that seems to be the sensible thing. We just go with fates and we figure everything out. There we go, I wish I could look at this guy, but I can't see him. Hello. I can't really see him. But yeah, we had two deaths here. One got squished with cannon and one got shot. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna double up on deaths now. Uh we had yeah, tattoo boy here. We had knife in mouth boy here. There's hat man. 
And yeah, you were the guy that was squished. The other bald guy was squished. Okay. Right. There we go. He got completely kablamoed. There we go. And there you can see a cheeky tentacle in the background there. Yeah, I can see the suction cups now. Righty oh. Alright, uh right, let's move on then. Here we go. Where are we going then? Over here. Oh hang on, no, we're going here. Oh. Okay, yeah, now we can find out what happened to you. Although we already know, don't we? We already know what happened to you. You got squished. <laughs> let's go. Uh uh, where are we going? Okay, don't lose the, the fart cloud of of death. Oh, where is it? There it is. Okay. Fart cloud of death takes us here. Right. Oh. I'm beginning to regret doing this whole thing blind. I, I haven't played this game before. Although, uh, if I played this game before, I would probably already know all the answers. So it wouldn't be all that, all that interesting to stream, would it? Alright, let's figure out what happened to you then. Although we already know. He got squished. Oh. How else is he? Oh. No. Blaze oh. spark. Oh god. Oh yeah, this is before the cannon fire. Ah! All right, yeah, bro. There we go. There's that guy. He got squished. <laughs> there we go. I see a spear over here. Oh, this is before the cannon went off. Belay spark. Oh yep, there here they are. Here we go, there's these guys just hanging around. There's... Beardy McGee over there. Yeah, here's where the... There's Hat Boy, Knife Man, and Tattoo Boy as well. Uh, so this guy got squished up by the Kraken as well. And then we had... Let's see, who are you? There's Bald Guy. There's so many Bald Guys, this is gonna be rough. And there's Top Hat Man, before he got blown out. Okay, so you got squished. Um, Hang on a sec. Were you? Hang on, who was squished by the cannon? Oh, I found his hat. <laughs> Alright, where's everyone else at? Oh, that's the end of that scene. Okay, not too many people to work with here. Um, I'm a bit confused now. Hang on a tick. We found out how this guy died. Uh, oh, hang on, he's different from the other guy then. So, hang on, was he the guy that was squished by the cannon? Okay, I'm a bit confused now. Who was this and how did they die? Well, okay, we know how they died. He got squished. Uh, he got squished. Um, I don't know. Hell of an explanation on the insurance claim for reasons for damage to the ship. Bloody great beast from the depths of the ocean break checked us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm going to put log this into the report here. Um, are we are we insured for for uh, uh, unholy abominations? Oh, we are. Okay, great. <laughs> so let me just check the check the book here. Oh yeah, yeah, we definitely yeah. Yeah, we're definitely budgeted for that kind of shit. <laughs> Kraken. Kraken, yeah. Damaged by Kraken. Yeah, there we go. It's written right here in the handbook. Um, so how did he die then? Uh, he got squished. Uh, squished is not a thing. Oh, but crushed is, right? Yeah, there we go. He was crushed by... Was he crushed by the cannon or was he crushed by a beast? Cargo rigging stones. Uh, hang on, I need to go back to the scene. I actually don't remember... Yeah. Load, move by hands. Oh, this isn't the guy who died then. This is a guy giving instructions. Move by hands. Aim, level, ready. Uh, fire! Um, alright. Oh, I heard a door opening, so there's probably a door back here now. Um, there we go. Although I don't want to leave just yet. I want to figure some things out. Uh, but it's good to know where the door is. Oh, here it is. There's the door. Right, you can't open doors in... No, you can't open doors in the past. Um, I can barely open doors in the present, fucking hell. Um, so, hang on, yeah, how was this guy killed then? This is the guy by the cannon. He got squished by the... Wait, hang on, he wasn't squished by a cannon, he was squished by... By Tentacle Boy. Uh, hang on, tab to open book. Here we go. This unknown stole... He was crushed, not decapitated, he was crushed by a cannon. Uh, probably a beast. I don't know who he is just yet. No one said any names. And technically he was crushed by the cannon, yeah, but I mean, it was the Kraken who did it, right? So, I think that's more apt. That being said, though, hang on, can I get the book back out again? Can I go to... Ooh, okay, shit, I pressed the wrong key. Um, I didn't want to go back to the beginning. Um... We're on chapter seven, so here we go. The Doom. 
uh, let's see. Oh, we're not even done with the Doom yet. We have part one and two still. Um, oh, hang on a sec. So this guy is different from this guy. Well, then, where the f hang on, where the fuck did he go then? If he wasn't crushed by the cannon. Uh, hang on. Y yeah, he was crushed by the cannon. So I think I've already made a mistake. Who the fuck? Yeah, okay, he wasn't crushed by, or maybe he was. Can I revisit this? Can I revisit this? I, d I don't know. Hang on, how do I replay scenes? Okay, he- well, at least he was definitely crushed. I, I wish there was a way you could mark something down as, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Because he was the one that was blowed up. That was- that's Top Hat Boy. Yeah, he was blowed up. Was he crushed? But- oh, hang on, he wasn't the one who was crushed by a cannon. You were. Yeah, that's right, because you're the one whose body I found to play this scene. So, what the fuck happened to you in the previous scene? The previous scene is where I was told you died, but I couldn't couldn't find your body anywhere. Maybe I can go back to that scene and check later. <laughs> I don't know. Hang on. Let's go through the door. Let's go through the door for now. Oh, this is getting confusing. Alright. Yeah, you were the... Okay, so you're that guy then. Open book. Open the book while the pocket watch is open to flip directly to the relevant page. Hey, that's handy. Um... Okay, yeah, splody boy. Uh, yeah, alright, hang on, I can revisit the scene. Yeah, there we go. I can go back to it, part four of eight. I'm now a bit confused as to who the second guy is. Because he isn't the guy that was under the cannon. The fuse! Oh. oh, wait, hang on, if I can find... Was he... Yeah, he. I mean, considering where he was in the previous scene, uh, I think he was also eviscerated by the cannon. Um, do you think that's an adequate explanation? I can't see his body anywhere. No, that's Top Hat Boy. Okay. Oh, hang on. Maybe back here. Oh, no. I can't go through doors either. Uh, nope. Okay. Hmm. What am I doing? I can stand on the path of a cannon explosion, though. Um, maybe he was taken out by the Kraken before this? No, because it was immediately after the cannon went off. So yeah, I guess he was blowed up by explosion. Although I can't find his body anywhere. Uh... Alright, that's a bit confusing. So he's not the guy under the cannon here. Uh... I love this terrifying music though. This is great. Alright. Uh, where's the door? There it is. I can leave out the door at any time. Hmm, um... Not sure what happened to that guy, then. Uh, how do I get the... hang on. Yeah, here we go. Tab to relevant page. Uh, so this is bald guy. Was crushed by a loose cannon. Well, I, yeah, I guess he wasn't anymore. Um... What, was, what happened to him? I guess he was shot? Shot by cannon. Was blasted by a cannon by, uh, by the beastie. By beastie. There we go. I couldn't find his body, though. Um... Maybe I, sh I need to be more well, thorough. Why? There are two people who died in that scene. And this guy, prior to his death, was by the cannon and he was also with this guy. So I guess both of them were just blowed up by a terrible beast. I couldn't find his body to scan, though. I don't know why. He chucked out the... I don't know. I can't see a body anywhere. Unless he's the next part. Oh, except I don't know where to go next. <laughs> uh, Hang on a sec. Part four... Oh god, I keep pressing the wrong button! Hang on, uh, b -b 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 -b. uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're working backwards. Part six, part five, part four, part three, part two. Oh, it tells you, on the bow. Oh, that's where I should be searching. Okay, on the bow. I'm guessing on the same deck then. Okay, on the bow. Wait, where am I? <laughs> Spatially, I don't know where I am right now. Oh, here we go. Um, I'm here. So if we head in this direction, okay. Right, let's have a look at the bow then. Um, uh, I'm not seeing any dead bodies. A lot of overturned chairs and stools, though. Oh, and we found the, the shitter. There's only one of them? <laughs> Fucking hell. Let's hope none of them died of dysentery on the ship. Bloody hell. All right, um, maybe there's someone here I can have a look at. Uh, no. That one's locked. Um, all right. Hmm, this is all very confusing. 
Uh, nope. And nope. Right. Uh, oh, no, can't go up the steps just yet. Uh, anyone here? No. We see a uniform, though. Uh, what uniform would that be? Uh, if it's just hanging here. Um, that's a body. All right. Uh, oh, we're in the stewards area. Okay. But there are multiple stewards. Which steward is this one? <sighs> All right. That's not helpful. Uh, there's more than one on the ship. Oh, here we go. Knife and blood. Yeah, that certainly helps. Hey, there we go. Well, I mean, a body is a body. Let's just go with this one. Maybe we have to do these out of order eventually anyway. All right. Oh, no. You're cut. <laughs> oh, no. Leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Oh. Tell Pete's mother I... I, I tried my best. I. To oh, pull him back to save him. is that uh, is that is that the the first mate? Brennan, bring this the first officer. Oh. Okay, let's have a look and see who's died here. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I was right. Yeah, first mate. Yeah, <laughs> the, the the Scottish accent was a dead giveaway. But <laughs> oh no, he's dead. <laughs> Shade. Although yeah, here's the dead person here. Uh, this fella. All right. Uh, all right, where's the... Oh my god, what's happened here? Where's the Kraken at? <laughs> all righty. There we go. Oh, is that... Is that Knife Boy? Yeah, that's Knife Boy. <laughs> I can recognize him now. Uh, shit, what's going on here? Uh, that's Hat Boy. I remember Hat Boy. And then we have... You. Oh, we have Dead Officer here. God, we got multiple deaths here. Officer guy with hat. Shit! There's his hat, but I don't know where the rest of his head has gone. And, uh, that's all she wrote. How's this related to the Kraken, though? Has it- oh, I guess it's not struck yet. Yeah, this isn't- yeah, that's right, we're going back in time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kraken was probably after the ship supply of deep-fried kebabs. Oh, dear. Do, do, do we have any- do we have any Middle Easterners on the ship? Possibly. Here we go. Escape. Wait, hang on. Is this a new chapter altogether? Oh, hang on. We're not done with the seventh chapter yet. In the midshipman cabin. Who is this and how did they die? I am actually not sure how he died. Um, I probably should have stuck with him a bit longer. Uh, okay, this unknown soul met with an unknown fate. I, I need to go back. Oh, no, don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mother I, I tried my best to pull him back to save him <laughs> from the brink of insanity. Uh, you tell her yourself, Brennan, bring the surgeon kit. Oh, okay, that's not Brennan then. Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. Okay, I don't know who Brennan is. Fucking hell. Um, location of corpse. Uh, oh, he's in the midshipman's quarter. So, uh, hang on, let me check the list. Hang on, who is this? Uh... You don't have sufficient information to determine this person's identity. Uh, try anyways. Uh, unknown, uh, let's see. Unknown passenger. Unknown, hang on. Oh, uh, here we go. Midshipman. Uh, oh, there are only three as well. Hang on a sec. Are you a midshipman? Let me d double check. Yeah, well, well, he's in the midshipman's cabin. So possibly. Okay, possibly. There are only three of them as well. Hang on, three others were present. There was you, we know you, uh, Hat Man, who isn't blurred anymore, so we should be able to figure out who he is as well. We know how he died. He got, um, was he the one that was bonked? No, he was the one who was knifed in the neck. And uh, then we got Knife Boy. He was the one that was bonked in the head. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Clubbed by the captain. But <laughs> yeah, he was, uh, yeah, he was knifed. So, all right. We can probably figure out who he is as well. Well, he's... He's this fella here. Um, all right. Location of corpse. Huh. Well, I mean, he wandered here, so is it fair to assume that he went back to his his quarters after he was knifed? Because he's like, I'm just going to take a little bit of a nap. Uh, it's possible. Can I go back to the scene? Uh, oh, God, my pocket watch is all shaky. There's a lifeboat in here, or is that a hammock? <laughs> I think it's more a hammock. All right. Um, oh, yeah, bed's here. And there, hang on, there are three beds here. Assuming this is a, yeah, this is a bunk bed here, right? It's, it's, it's not a lifeboat. <laughs> it doesn't look very buoyant. 
Also, this is a shit place to store one as well. So, and there are three midshipmen, so assuming, hang on. Not sure about the uniform just yet. I guess I can come back to that. I don't even know how he died. Hang on, uh... Uh, don't leave me. I tried my best to pull him back to save him. Bring the surgeon's kit. Okay, it doesn't say anything about how he died. Well, let's follow the trail of blood, I guess. <laughs> Why not do that? Ah, uh, that's not helpful. <laughs> it's a lot of death over here. Um, yeah, how did this guy die? I'm unsure. Alright. Yeah, I guess we can come back to it. Alright. Let's go and check some more bodies. Let's see. Alright, let's see what you're up to then. Alright. <laughs> Went to sleep off a knife wound like they sleep off a lightsaber stabbing in Disney Star Wars. I know. Not fatal. All fine. Oh. Hey, a door. Uh, oh, there we go. My arm is not long enough to reach the handle. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Oh. I guess I'll follow it. There we go. Right. Who are you then? There we go. We got this fella. Oh boy. Alright. Who are you then? What's all this shit, damn but, oh no! <laughs> Someone else got clubbed to death, but... What the fuck is going on here? Oh, we might be able to figure out what happened to the other guy. Maybe at a past point in time. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, here we go, he's just crawl- This is the other guy, right? Hang on, let's see. Yeah, that was the guy. He's got a knife in his back, so I think we've figured out what happened to him now. Okay. So we might not be able to immediately tell how someone died, which is rather annoying. Uh... Oh yeah, there's there's uh, Hoskin. There we go. He's the fellow who's like, oh no, he got he got shanked. Is there anyone else up there? No, I don't think I can see anyone. Okay. Uh, okay. Who's the fellow who died in this scene then? At least this fellow here. Who's this? This officer was killed by Hat Fellow. Um. And then we got oh god, we got Faceless Boy over here. All right, that appears to be it. God, there's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on, I can't keep track of everything. Right, can I go back and say, okay, we know this guy was stabbed in the back, and I can assume that's probably fatal, but... <laughs> in this day and age, it's it's only one stab wound to the back. Alright, who is this and how'd they die? Well, we know how this guy died. He got clubbed in the face, there we go. By an unknown attacker. Uh, yeah, don't know by whom just yet. Uh, can we find out who this is? No. Here are the other people in the scene. Yep, we know the first mate. We know this fella. He Oh, he's the one who got stabbed, right? Yeah, there's no one else from this scene. So, I guess we can say you got knifed. Here we go. Killed by sword. No. Knifed by... Yeah, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. Um, Alright. Yeah, apparently we're supposed to know who this guy is. Hang on. Uh, he's, uh, uh, yeah, we got the bookmarky thing. Six memories. Here we go. This soul appears in six memories. First memory is... Which one? Uh, the Doom. Uh, oh yeah, he was with the cannon, wasn't he? And his... Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Uh, bookmark. Get me back to the bookmark page. Six memories. Here we go. Uh, perished in the end part two. Yeah, that's when he got... That's when he got stabbed in the neck. Uh, show memories on deck map. Depicted at Justice at Sea sketch. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, look at this. You can see where they went. Oh, that's going to be helpful. Hang on. Who's this then? The Doom Part 3, the Doom Part 4, and then we ended up here with Escape Part 5, Escape Part 6. Okay. So we can kind of actually follow... Okay, that's going to be helpful, although maybe not this early on because we haven't done enough just yet. Uh, yeah, don't really know enough just yet. All right, let's keep going then. Where to next, Pocket Watch? <laughs> Where are you taking me? Oh, this fella here. Oh yeah, I'd love to know what happened to you. <laughs> you don't have a face anymore. Jesus Christ. You don't have a face anymore. Uh, oh. uh, where are we going? Are we... We're just going over here. <laughs> Not a very long trip. Okay, here we go. So, this fella here... I mean, he doesn't have a face anymore. Alright, let's see. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Hang on, wait. 
Ah, hang on. <laughs> you can stop it. You can be like, uh, no, I don't want to go back in time. Let's see now. Uh, <laughs> that's great. I changed my mind. I don't want to say this. <laughs> All right, in we go. All right. Oh. East, huh? Oh. oh my god! You fresh bastard! Oh dear, is my is my chat dead? Oh dear, my chat might be dead. Oh, what's happening? Ball! Oh my god! Well, okay, now we know what happened to his face. Alrighty. Uh. Boom! Okay, we know what happened to you. Who were you shot by then? Oh, this fella. Oh, that's why Hattie McGee clubbed him in the face. Yeah, there he is. He's here. What's going on then? And you're... Uh... Oh, you're Hoskin. All right. See so where this fella. Oh, there's his club. <laughs> I always leave me cabin with a club. So, mutiny. Oh, what's happening here? Shot in face by you, and that's why he clubbed him. Uh, oh, yep, he's still here as well, but... <laughs> hmm... I'm a bit puzzled as to what... Yeah... So you were stabbed. We know you were definitely stabbed now. Um, oh! He was stabbed in here, though. Okay. Oh, I think I know what happened. I think I know what happened. It's a bit vague by the audio, but this fella ru ru uh, ran off. Said there's a mutiny going on. Oh, but who shot who and for what reason? I hope we don't have to figure out who was behind a mutiny, because this might be rough. Oh, hello there, nobody. Uh, you joined us at a great time, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> this game is hard. Alright, who is this and how do they die? Well, we know how we died. <laughs> Fucking bukkakied by buckshot. This is great. Oh, uh, he got some grape shot to the face. Uh, he was... Shot, here we go. Shot by a gun. There we go. By an unknown attacker. Uh, do we know? It wasn't Hoskett who shot him, it was some other fellow. Uh, Captain cannot be trusted. Oh, shit. Okay, we, we know that he's the guy. Oh, okay. Here's, this is the guy that instigated the mutiny, and he also was the guy who died. All right. Captain cannot be trusted. Do you have a plan? Yes, we take the ship and sail east. Mutiny! Oh, and I guess the little guy that got stabbed back there. The uh, mid the midshipman? Is that who it was? Fresh bastard. No! Pfft. Oh, and then he got shot. All right. So, Mr. Mutineer over here got his face shot off. Um, he does appear to be an officer of some kind, but I don't know what kind. So, might have to come back to that, unless we check the picture here. Who was the guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think he's an officer of some variety, but I just don't know who. And this is the guy who shot him, and then this guy clubbed him in the head. <laughs> All right. Not a lot of information other than how people died. And still, this is working out, I think. I think we're doing all right. Well, oh, hang on. I see the body. It's up here. Uh, excuse me there, fellas. <laughs> oh, God, it's really creepy when they're silhouetted like this. <laughs> I'll club you in the dick, I will. What the fuck is going on here? So, we got a mutiny and also swords and bodies being thrown overboard. Okay. This is fucking bedlam. Where's the Kraken at? Oh, it, yeah, it probably hasn't appeared yet. All right. Um, oh, we're down here again. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a bit of whiplash here. Where are we going? Oh, yep, here we go. Back we go, back we go. I know what we're doing. Oh, Christ, where are we going? Uh, uh, I want to know what's going on with that fucking thing. What, what's Gura planning here? Jesus Christ. There is a Gura out there. Ah. <laughs> All right. If this game doesn't have sharks in it, I'm going to be very disappointed. Right-o! I think this... Let them go. Oh. Well, let them go overboard. Oh my god, okay, I was gonna say, him being thrown overboard is probably a good way to die. But, uh, no, alright. You are shooty. Oh my god, it's the, it's the woman from earlier on. There are other people. Okay, who are you? You got shot. And then thrown overboard afterwards, okay. Who are you? Oh, you're Beardy McGee. Hang on a second. Uh, weren't you in the cannon room down there shooting the Kraken? Maybe there's another Beardy guy and I'm just, uh, losing the plot here. There's so many people on board. 
Oh, that's Hoskin. Okay, I know who he is. Uh, there was Hat Boy. Let's see. Oh, hey, that's the captain. He's got a gun on him. Oh, this, yeah, this was, must have been shortly before the end, right? And you're probably Knife Boy. Yep, that's Knife Boy. So this is before the mutiny, I guess. I mean, during the mutiny and then at the very end. Then we got this fella here. This fella here is also dead. Oh. Hello there, Rainbow Unicorn Girl. How you doing? You joined us at a great time. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> this game is very confusing. They started off nice and easy when there was just a handful of people to figure out, but I don't know. What's going on? Part three. But weren't you in part like six and seven and eight? Weren't you in manning the cannon downstairs? Maybe, the, maybe I'm confusing you for another bearded boy. It looks okay. I'm a bit confused now. Location of body. Here we go. He's over here, <laughs> thrown overboard. Who's this and how they die? Well, we know he was shot at least. Um, so let's go with that. Um, he was uh, suicided. No, he was shot by a gun. Uh, by an unknown attacker. Yeah, I don't know who that woman is. Uh, we'll figure that out soon. Let them go. And then he was shot like that. Okay. Right, let's keep going then. Um, I'm really confused. Hang on. Can we go back? <laughs> uh, can we go back here? Because I feel like we've gone completely off the fucking deep end here. No pun intended. Yeah, here we go. Uh, the Doom part 6, part 5, part 4, part 3, and... Uh... Hang on a sec, so we... Hang on, the do hang on, the Doom and... Who are you from then? What chapter are you from then? Oh god. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm confused. What the... Hang on a sec. Oh, the Doom and... Okay, hang on, let's just thumb through some pages here. Hang on, what part are we on then? <laughs> oh no! What part are we on right now? Shit! Hang on, where are we? Okay, let's try and find out where we're supposed to be, because I'm horribly confused. Uh, on the cargo deck. What the fuck? What are we doing here? Why haven't we finished the Doom yet? Why are we not on it yet? There's two more parts. How come- we've done two parts. We've done more than two parts. Where the fuck are we here? Uh... Wait, there's more? Oh, conclusion. Oh, yeah, we haven't done anything yet. Um, bargain. Yeah, we're not ready for bargain just yet. Um, um, oh, hang on a sec. There's stuff here. Escape. Oh. Oh, have, are we on the wrong chapter? Oh, no, I think we're on the wrong chapter, because this is... Yeah, this is the guy who was stabbed and... Uh, oh, okay. Actually, this would explain everything. Because, yeah, he was alive during... Chapter 7, right? Yeah, he was manning the cannons and shit. Yeah, he was down here shooting cannons. Hang on, I can check this, can't I? Four others were present. Uh, oh, that explains everything. Oh, I was confused as fuck. I thought we were on the same uh, on the same scene. So yeah, no, he was manning the cannons in Chapter 7. And then all the way over here in Escape, he gets shot by a lady person. So I'm on a completely wrong chapter here. Uh, I would rather not do that. <laughs> Can we go back to this one? I would rather stick to one chapter at a time. Oh, uh, it's waifu time. Let's go see waifu first. Also, how do you save this game? Is there an autosave? I hope so. Pfft. There better be an autosave. I better check. I better hit pause the game and check that shit. There we go. There's a waifu. Yeah, uh, pretty good. There's a pretty good waifu. Hang on. Uh, where's Will Smith at? Where is Will Smith at? Oh, God. Yeah, there he is. I found him. There we go. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, that's hot. That's pretty good. That's hot. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty. Ahoy. <laughs> oh god. I, I don't want to look up a walkthrough for this game, but I'm already very confused. By the way, I caught my dad singing Taylor Swift. I approve as a Swifty. Oh my god. Your father, though? That's a bit strange. Um, alright. I want to go back to this chapter. How do I do that? Um... Because I'm already very confused as to who that guy is. Uh, I didn't see his body, and I... Then there's this fella, and I don't know. Alright. Alright, I'll just let the game take me where it wants to go, I guess. Uh... Let's see. Who else fucking died here? Hello? 
Oh, is it this guy? Oh, it's this guy. Hang on. Yeah, it's this guy down here. The guy who had no time to check earlier. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. <laughs> oh, dear. He met with a terrible fate, this one. Uh, right. Well, let's follow the fart cloud of death. Oh. All the way to... Where are we going? <laughs> it's so nearby. Why do you take me on this wild goose chase here? Right. New fella to check. Who is this guy? Okay, let's find out. Move quick. Oh no, Paul, look out! Stop! Oh dear. Let them go. Oh no. Uh. Okay. Oh, you're the beardy guy. Oh yeah, he's not dead yet, and you're the one who shoots him. Just kapow. There's other people as well. Um, there's you. And there's... Uh, I think that's other waifu. Uh, it's not Captain's waifu. It, yeah, it's that one. Alright. Righty-o. But you're the one who died. Um, there we go. Oh, he's unblurred as well. Uh, considering she shouted out Paul, is it reasonable to say that she's Paul? There's the captain there. Oh, there's other people. Uh, don't end just yet. I gotta check these dickheads. Who's this? Uh... That's the first mate, and that's Hatman. Still don't know who he is. Um, I should be able to know because he's unblurred. Uh, oh, there's more people. Uh, oh, that's the guy who was stabbed. Oh, he overheard these people. That's right. That's how he knew there was a mutiny in the first place. Oh, God, there's a lot to keep track of here. All right, let's see. Part two of the escape. Let's see. Last one. Move quick. I have a feeling we can find out who this guy is. Uh, last one. Move quick. Oh, you'll not take the last boat. Paul, look out! Stop. Let them go. No. Pfft, damn. Ooh. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing this guy's Paul then. Because <laughs> Paul, look out. He didn't look out well enough. <laughs> it's, um, let's see. Well, it depends. I mean, we could probably check his uniform and his rank, right? Well, we know he was stabbed. Let's see. He was stabbed by... Oh, he was killed by sword. He wasn't knifed. Okay. By an unknown attacker. Yeah, I don't know who the beard guy is yet. Uh, this unknown soul. If Well, if we can find out who Paul is. Let's see. Um, no. no. Oh, Paul Moss. Well, assuming there's no one else named Paul. Let's have a look. Uh, Lewis Walker. No. Abraham Akbar. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. That's an even better name. Um, all right. All right. Uh, no, there's no other Pauls. Uh, so let's see. Okay, what is he, though? He's a... Oh, God, I lost him. <laughs> Where's Paul at? Uh, I have lost Paul. He is here somewhere. Uh, I have lost him. <laughs> I have lost... Oh, there he is. Paul Moss. First mate steward from Wales. I didn't hear an accent. Do you think accents play into this? I mean, we did see the uh, the first mate's uh, accent was Scottish as well, as well as waifu. <laughs> Where's that shite head of a cat and where's he at? Uh, he's probably Welsh. I don't know. I didn't hear him. Can I... I wish I could, like, instantly replay the scene. That would be really handy. Well, he's named Moss, so I guess it really doesn't matter with his what his accent is. So he's the first mate steward, possibly... Um, wait, we might be able to tell also if we go, hang on, 12 others were present. Uh, can I look at the whole picture? Hang on, let's check the whole picture. Um, hang on, there we go, uh, life at sea. Here we go, a sketch, uh, where is he? Oh, there he is, Paul Moss. He's with these other guys, he's, he's with one, two, three, four, I mean, he's hanging out with the, the officers, so maybe... Maybe he is a steward, yeah, because the stewards would be hanging out with their respective officers. So I think we're on the right track with that. One, two, three, four... Yeah, I think we might be on the right track with that. Then again, who knows? Um, alright, uh, let's move on then. Ugh, God, this is really rough. Oh, here we go. Oh, looks like we're in the right spot for all this, so yeah, here's the overheard mutiny. And then we got, Jesus Christ, son, what happened to you? <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, well, I guess we're going to find out. All right. Let's go back to that deck. 
Oh yeah, I'm getting some serious whiplash here. Like, when you're in the past, you're in a completely different place to where you are in the present. Oh! Let's go downstairs. Um... Try to get a better picture of what's going on here. Um... Here we go. Hi! What the fuck happened to you? <laughs> He's missing an arm. What happened? Oh. Put me down. Oh. Let go. Easy now. You're in a bad way. You're in a bad way. Oh. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Oh. Your mate was torn apart. The, that, the beast is dead. Oh good, the Kraken's dead. Oh. How did you kill it? Huh? We didn't. It left with the storm. Oh. The captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. Huh? You should rest. Curse like that. Does that bit for nothing? That's quite the accent. He said nothing. I remember nothing. <laughs> oh dear. Well, all right. You're dead. Oh, he just expired, I guess. I mean, the missing arm would probably be a way to go. Oh, he's the guy with the hat. Apparently, I can figure out who he is already, but I just, I don't know. How the fuck am I meant to know any of this? All right, we got, oh, you're there. And you're there. Wait a minute, both of these guys were here, and then, oh, and, and is that Hoskin again? He's showing up all over the place. Comes out of his cabin. Who the fuck are you? Uh, oh, you the, no, you're not a steward, you're a midshipman. You're the, are you the guy that was stabbed? Oh, actually I can check, can't I? Hang on. Highlight him and, Knifed unknown. Yeah, I think he was. Yeah, yeah. So we got we got stewards here. Yeah, I think these the this these guys here are midshipmen and these are stewards. I guess. I don't know. It's a bit hard to tell right now. I, I'm sure we'll figure this out eventually, or maybe not. I guess we we might be fucked. All right. Um. Okay. So yeah, he was here. I guess if we're following the chain of events, I guess he dies, these two start talking about mutiny. But then he, one of those officers blasts the other officer in the face. I don't know, I'm a bit confused. We'll have to figure this out. Okay, part one. Oh, are we done with the escape? I think, hang on, let, let's see if I can thumb my way through this. Part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, part six. Conclusion, okay. We're done with the escape then. Okay, who is this and how did they die? Um. Is bled out something? Uh, let's see. Burned, decapitated, drowned, crushed, clubbed, eaten, electrocuted, expired, exploded, fell, froze, illness, killed, sword, knifed, poison shot, speared, suicide, torn apart. I mean, there is expired. Expired. Expired from, oh, but expired from old age. Uh, no, that definitely didn't happen. <laughs> Yay, the elderly might die on this ship. Okay. There's no bleeding out or anything. Um, decapitated, crushed, drowned. How would you say he died then? I mean, he looks like he kind of bled out from his wound. Uh, strangled, struck, suicide, uh, torn apart, I guess? I guess. Torn apart by... Was, I don't know. Maybe, oh, he might have been like... Uh, no, maybe someone sorted him, so maybe he wasn't torn apart, although... Yeah, I'm going to say unknown for now, because I'm really not certain. Um, can we check and see where he is in other memories? Uh, oh, here we go. Three memories. Here we go. First memory is... Uh, this one. Uh, oh, all the way back with the Kraken part. Yeah, I might have to explore that later then. Uh, I wish I could visit all the chapters sequentially to see what happened to a person. All right. I'll figure out what happened to you later. Oh, hang on, we can follow a blood trail. I guess that might be helpful. He was dragged all the way over here and... Oh, that's weird. Yeah, maybe he wasn't killed by the Kraken because his, uh... Bleeds a lot here, but then the blood trail stops here. Yeah, I think I was right to say, uh, probably not killed by Kraken. Probably not torn apart. There's the captain looking kind of mopey. <laughs> oh, there's the door. All right. Um, I guess once we've, uh, seen some other scenes, we can maybe, uh, figure out things a bit better. Let's, let's, uh, let's get the full story going, shall we? Right, escape. Had a lot of deaths and- oh, hang on. Oh, what does the one line mean? If it's not a cross, what does it mean? Disappearances? 
four wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. Uh, who is this? What fate befell them? I don't fucking know. Um, um, I remember she, she shot someone. Um, okay. Disappearances. I'm not sure. I guess we'll look into this later. All right, well, let's just figure out who's next then. Oh, it's, oh, that's right. We're done with the chapter, so it's not going to lead me to another body. Right. Um, we're not done with chapter seven, though. How am I not done with chapter seven? Let's go back to chapter 7. Um, how am I not done with this yet? On the bow, part 2 on the bow. Okay. On the bow, part 2. Okay. Mm. Well, we're finding more bodies. Uh, maybe I missed someone over here. Uh, right. Maybe if I replay this, it'll t get me back on track again. All right, part four of eight. We want to get to part three, don't we? Okay. There we go. And then Kablamo. Um, right, yep, got that all sorted out. All right. Well, it's kind of irritating that you have to go back to the bodies in order to follow the order of events. Oh, shit, hang on, isn't there a... No, hang on, how do I get to the... Oh, hang on. If I if I highlight him, right? Uh, oh god, this interface is really confusing. Hang on. Um, hang on. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Highlight him. Boom. Here we go. Two memories. Uh, perished in the Doom Part Four. Location of corpses. How did I get to that screen where it shows you like you know the 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 series of events? Uh. Okay. Well, I'll head to the door then. How do I get to the next body in this chapter? It didn't show me anything. It didn't show me where the next person is. Unless he's... No. No, okay. I already looked at him, yeah. Uh, already looked at you, yeah. Explosion. Maybe in here and I didn't check? Uh... Is there anyone dead here? No? Alright. Uh, this is annoying. Uh, don't want to look up a walkthrough. Where do I go for the next part of the chapter, then? Um, there's a book here. That doesn't do anything. Oh, hang on. Um, yeah, they tell you, don't they? Yeah, on the bow. Oh, well, that's helpful. Um, on the cargo deck. For part eight. Yeah, not ready for that yet. Um... On the bow. Maybe on the top deck. Uh, why didn't they point me in the direction of the next corpse? <laughs> okay, it's not any of these guys, because I haven't found them yet. Hmm. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? How's the game so far? I've been considered picking it up. Um, I'm confused as fuck, but it seems kind of interesting, so there's that. <laughs> on the bow of the ship. Hang on, let me just check the, uh... Hang on. I am confused. This interface could be a little less confusing. Uh, Alright. Deck plans. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. The, see, this is what I wanted. Oh, here we go. This how it... Oh, wait. Hang on. Yeah. Three, two... Hang on. Yeah. I want to see the beginning of this. There's the Doom Part 8. Part 7. Part 6. Yeah, this is what I wanted. How did I get this earlier? Part 5. Part 4. Part 3... Fuck. <laughs> Let's see. Escape part one. Yeah, see, I went to the bow and I, I got to escape. I want to continue on with chapter seven. Where the fuck is that, then? There's the end. Yep, that just goes all the way over here. Where the fuck is this body that I'm looking for? It'd be great if the game just actually showed me where it is. It's not in here. We've already dealt with all these bodies. What am I missing, then? Okay, and this guy here was on a completely different chapter, wasn't it? That was... Yeah, that was Escape Part 6. Oh, fuck. Where am I supposed to go, then? <laughs> uh, I, got, I guess i got to find a dead body on my own. <laughs> Irritating. Um, all right, well, hang on. I can probably sort this out myself. Um, I say probably, but no, I'm kind of confused. Oh, did I see this body? Yeah, part three. Okay, part three is here. 
Maybe I missed one. Part three is... Yep, yeah, okay, that's... You got squished. And then you also got squished. Yeah, we already found all that stuff out. Where the fuck are we going? Um... Here we go. Oh, hang on! Oh, hang on! So, hang on. Blah, 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 blah. Hang on. There it is. Hang on a tick. I'm a fucking idiot. Hang on. Uh, the ship. Yeah. 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 See, I'm an idiot. I went to the wrong fucking side. I went here when the instruction was... Um, hang on. The instruction was to... Hang on. How do I get back? There we go. Wow. This interface is really fucking with my head. Um, the ship... The... Hang on. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the doom. See, yeah, there you go. Hang on, no, not here. There we go, you have to work backwards. On the bow. I went to the stern rather than the bow. I'm a fucking idiot. There we go. It's alright, everybody. I think I've found the right thing now. We found another dead body. It'd be great if they actually pointed me in that direction. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't for some reason. Well. <laughs> okay. Maybe this guy did die of dysentery. Oh my god. <laughs> we got a diuretic explosion. Someone died by diarrhea. Guess that's why they call it diarrhea. Diarrhea. <laughs> oh hang on, no, he didn't die by diarrhea. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's where the Kraken is. Um it's I've been waiting for him forever. Yeah, this is yeah, there we go. We're finally back on track again. There we go. Oh, Alright. E S. Okay, so... Alright, what, why is he... Okay, I'm a bit confused now. He's not in the drawing. E.S. Okay. I could probably use those initials with uh, the crew. Hopefully there are no other E.S.'s. Alright, who are you then? Uh, oh, you're um, 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 uh, uh, Paul from earlier on, I think. Yeah. What's going on here? Oh, hey, nice sword there, buddy. <laughs> Here we go. Got this fella here. Oh, I can't see him. Which bald man are you? There are so many bald guys. Oh, were you the one that was blown out of the ship? I don't know, because there's this guy as well. <laughs> when the majority of the crew are bald, this is just not really something we can go on. This is not really something we can go on. Finally, we made it to part two of this fucking thing. It took me forever. Who was this and how did they die? Well, he was, he was squished. We know that. Who is this soul? E.S. Well, actually, we might be able to find out who he is after all. Uh, he was crushed by a beastie. This unknown soul. Okay, he, let's look for, um... Let's look for initials then. Uh, he's not, well, he's not Edward Nichols, probably. No, E.S. Uh, E.S. E, 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 Emil, no. E.S. E, oh, uh, it could be Edward Spratt. Uh, we'll see if there's any more. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not an Emily Jackson. Uh, it wasn't. It, it, was, it wasn't that time, you know. <laughs> it wasn't done back then. It just wasn't a thing. Um, you don't take a lady's name. That's a very silly thing to do when you're being attacked by a kraken. Es. Uh, Es. I'm just checking if there are any other Es's just in case. Uh, no. Uh, nope. No, it looks like we found our ES here. Uh, where is he? Shit, I've lost him. Not Emily Jackson. Oh, here we go. Edward Spratt. Artist England. Oh, hang on. ES, Edward Spratt. He's an artist. He drew the picture. Ah, that's why he's not featured in the picture and why he has initials here. He signed it. He's the artist who drew all this shit. Ah, there we go. I was wondering, I was like, who the f why, does, why is it just an initial and why do we not see him? There you go. So he's the one who drew all these, I guess. He's an artist. There we go. Um, I think it's fair to say we've figured out who he is, but unfortunately we need to find some more people to know for certain. Although, I am fairly certain that ES is, I mean, you know, he's the only one with those initials on board. Artist. He didn't draw himself. And he got squished by B. So yeah, I think we're, I think we're on the right track with him at least. Oh, now we can finally look around. Great. There's so many baldies, I know. It's going to make every... Well, I hope we don't have to use their lack of hair as a way to identify people, because they're going to be here all fucking night. Is that a boot? It's a leg there. <laughs> Dead or alive? Uh, probably just asleep. 
Yeah, I think, yeah, this is at the very beginning of the Kraken attack, I guess, so everyone's still sleeping and such. Yeah, he's like, what the fuck is going on there? <laughs> oh no, Mr. Spratt has dysentery, and then he's got killed by a Kraken. Alright, well, uh... Oh, now you'll give me another spectral trail. Well, I'll check it in a sec. So that would be handy. Why is your hand shaking? Yeah, I know, it's like, uh, help. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes the pocket watch will show you to the next, uh, yeah, we're, it, it'll, uh, it's shaking because the pocket watch will show us to the next dead body. I don't know why it didn't send me over to this guy. That was very unhelpful. I got stuck for ages figuring out where the next guy was. I actually went to an entirely new chapter. And now my brain is melting. Hey there, hammock boy. Oh, number 45. Hmm. What if that means something? 45. Do the other hammocks have numbers on them? Uh, oh yeah, they do. Number 43, number 44. Hmm. Does that mean anything? Hang on a tick. Um, is there a number on the... Hang on a sec. Are there numbers on... Yeah, that's not the right page. Uh, the crew. Uh, oh, there are numbers. Oh, oh shit. Hang on a sec. Oh, the numbers might correspond. Oh, we've figured this out. Fuck yeah. Yay. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use their hammock numbers. Number 43. I know who you are. You're number 43. Who are you? Hang on, 43. I got you, motherfucker. I don't know how you died yet, but I figured you out. We're going to get some names. Unlock the power of Gib. Uh, 43. Uh, Marber the Topman from New Guinea. <laughs> okay. So we how do I select him, though? Uh, here we go. Uh, uh, which one is he, though? Wait, hang on. Can I not select him? Uh, okay. Oh, you cheeky son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, I suppose that would be too easy, wouldn't it? But maybe in other scenes we could see them getting out of their hammock and then I could use the numbers to identify them. Ooh, that could come in handy. Here we go. Oh, I'll just give you the power of Gib there. I'll complete that. There we go. <laughs> we did it. Good job. We did it. Good job. Oh, dear. Right. Um. Well, it was a nice idea while it lasted. <laughs> we got hammock numbers which might correspond to people. Uh, we don't know now, but maybe that could be useful for later on. Maybe he's bald. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be even worse. Damn, I thought I had a- I was really onto something. Because look at all these hammocks. We can figure out who everyone is. Uh, hang on a sec. Are you, is this your hammock, sir? Is this your hammock, sir? Hello? Yeah, you're the bald guy who I can't find the dead body of, I think. You're not knife guy. No, you're not knife guy. Right. Uh, might be able to figure out... Eh? Uh, I can't see his tag. Where's his tag? Hang on, where's the tag usually set? Okay, the tag is here. Number 41. Um, can't see his tag though. I suppose that would make things a bit easy. But, assuming they're hanging out here by their hammock, which might be a bit of a stretch, but... Hmm, number 41. Actually, you know what? We can maybe take a guess here. Oh, hey, and he's not, he's not, uh, he's not fuzzy. He's not fuzzy, was he's not blurred. So the game's like, hey, you should be able to figure this out. I think I may have figured something out. Hang on a sec. So, based on his uniform, he's... Oh, I can't really tell by the uniform. Um, not yet, anyway. Um, maybe when I figure out who wears this outfit. Um, he's wearing a similar outfit, I guess. Maybe the same one. 41. Hang on a sec. Uh, 41. This guy... Alright, well, hang on, let's let's have a look then. Uh, hang on, 41. Let's see who number 41 is then. Number 41 is Wei Li, a topman from China. Does he look like a Chinaman? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> He's bald, so I mean, that's great. <laughs> um, oh shit, hang on. Um, did I... Uh, uh? Did I... Yeah, yeah, I redeemed the power of Gib. <laughs> I redeemed the power of Gib, that's fine. Alright, no, I did that. Um, Right. 
You look vaguely Chinese. I wish I could get a better look at you. There's the Atopman. Oh, hang on. I can... Can I see where he is on the map? Um, well, he's not on the sails or anything like that. He's just kind of hanging out down here. He's not doing anything on the sails. Uh, it's a bit hard to tell, really. Yeah, no one's really on the sails. Well, you're not an officer. Um, you're on blood. I think that's the game's way of saying, hey, you can figure it out. Number 41. I mean, yeah, I think it's reasonable to assume this. We don't know how he died yet, but we do know that... Well, not we don't know for certain, but it's fairly certain that you might be Whaley the Topman from China. We can keep an eye, eye on him, though, and see if he actually does any Topman duties, because I'm sure he'll show up again. So... I mean, he's not dead yet. We'll see how he dies. Maybe he'll die climbing the sail, and then we'll know for sure. But, <laughs> but yeah, looks like we can find out numbers. Oh, nobody has to get going. You have a good one there, nobody. Um, right. Can't see your tag. Oh, hello. We've got these fellas here. Uh, oh, that's, um, 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 uh, uh, we've already figured you out. Uh, third mate, Martin Perros. Yeah, we, we know who Martin is. Um, we don't know how he died yet, though. And he's got this fella here with him. Oh! Yeah, yeah, he's not blurry either, and I think I know why. Um, I think I know why. Uh, Martin Parrot is the third mate. So, since this guy's carrying food next to him... Uh, and let's see on the picture here. Um, here we go. Martin Parrot, third mate. Here we go. Third mate is... Uh, that's... No, that's the captain. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Th third mate. Yep, he is right next to him as well. So, he, he was crushed by a cannon. I think this guy might be... Where we go? Here we go. Third mate steward, Roderick Anderson. Possible. Let's give it a shot. Roderick Anderson, third mate steward, was crushed by a loose cannon. Considering he's helping him out, I think it's fair to say he's the third mate steward. Um... Oh, well, the game will tell me if I've got three right, so I might be completely off base. Well, that makes things challenging. Um, yeah, I mean, I would be surprised if he's not the, the, the third mate, Steward, considering we're fairly certain that he is the third mate. Um, because we know, because, you know, she's shouting out to Martin. And, yeah, I think it's fair to say that he's him. All right. Ooh, oh, this one has an X on it. <laughs> Wait, does that mean he's dead, or does that mean he's number 10? Are we going Roman numerals here? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh god, you could go a bit faster. Here we go. Winston Smith, the carpenter from America. Uh, uh, well, we can't identify the body anyway. We, the, the game won't let us pick him out, alright. So I guess we'll keep going. And we got number 56 over here as well. Um... Yeah, nothing to really work with here. But I feel like we're making some headway here. Yeah, we'll keep- well, I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on those, uh, hammocks now that I know. Also, their position in the ship. I mean, we gotta actually maybe keep track of that as we go along. But alright, enough of this shaky, too much caffeine hand here. Let's- let's get that going. Hey, there we go. Where's the next body? Alright, we're going from here to here to here. Oh, there it is. I can see through walls and shit. So, we're not at the very beginning of the Kraken attack, apparently? Why the fuck are you here? Why are you dead? What's going on? Hang on, what's going on here? <laughs> Alright. I am intrigued. So, before the Kraken arrived, looks like they were... ...dowsing someone's head in water. What the fuck is going on? Oh, well, at least they're guiding me this time. If they could just keep doing that for the rest of the game, that would be just great, because it took me fucking forever to figure out where he was. Alright. Let's see. Where are we going? Oh yeah, we're going over here. Alright. Is there a sprint button? Uh, not really. <laughs> Wish I could go faster. Hey there, buddy! How the fuck did you die? He's just, uh, slumped over here. Alright, we'll figure it out. Over my dead body, you bloody dame! Huh? <laughs> How is that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat! Huh? Get in the boat, then. You killed my brother! Oh. What? There was an accident. The robes. Oh, that's a lot of information. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. But oh my god, there was a lot of information dropped there. Um, all right, there's this fella here, getting clubbed in the head. He's unblurred as well, so he should be relatively easy to figure out as well. 
Um, I'll go over tr the transcript in a sec as well. Oh, apparently we can know this guy as well. What about this fella? Uh, no, nah, he's still blurry. Uh, there's this fella here. Who's this? Blurry as fuck. Carrying something. What's he carrying there? Not sure. Okay. Um, oh, the goat's back. <laughs> goat's here. Yeah, he was around during the, the Kraken battle. Okay, can't go through the door just yet. Right. So this is just before the Kraken's attack then. Okay. Um, if we can revisit the uh, order of events, that would be great. In in linear order would be really helpful because this is very confusing. Um, all right, so there we go. I think that's, yep, that's part one of the Doom. We're finally done with this chapter. It took me a trillion years, but we're here. All right, who is this? How did they die? Well, he got bonked in the face. We know that. Yeah, he was clubbed uh, by an unknown attacker. Apparently, we should know who it is. Uh, let's check the transcript, though, because there was a lot there. Let me on. Over my dead body, you bloody Dane. Okay, so the dead person is a Dane. This unknown soul was clubbed by an unknown attacker. Okay, let's let's have a look at nationalities here. Uh, looking for someone from Denmark, I guess. England, England, Austria, France, England, England, America... England, Ireland, Austria, Poland, Scotland, England, Italy, England, England, Formosa, India, Sweden. No. Sweden, uh, Ireland, England, England, Persia, Scotland, China, 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 China. China all the time. England, New Guinea, England, Russia, Russia, England, Denmark. Here we go. Lars Lynn from Denmark. I'll see if there's another Dane on board. Wales, India, 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 Sierra Leone. Oh, wow. We got someone on board from Sierra Leone. Fucking hell. Uh, actually, he should be pretty easy to spot. Um, England, England, England is my city. Ireland... There is only one Dane here, so Lars Lind, the seaman. <laughs> seaman, all right. Um, I think that's a decent thing, although I don't know who attacked him. Let's go back to the transcript. Let me on over my dead body, a bloody Dane. Eh, how's that? There's no cause for trouble. Boys, get in the boat. Thought I'd forget. You killed my brother. What? That was an accident. The ropes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Lies. I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Someone's brother died. Hmm. Is that enough to go on for anything? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, yep, that's the end of this chapter. Um, who is this guy? Can we find out? He's Yeah, let's see if he died at some point. Unknown. Uh, two memories. Let's see, he was in... First memory is this one. What's the other memory he was in? <laughs> Tell me what the other one is. Uh, two memories. Let's see. Show memories on deck. Depicted in under... Okay. Show memories on deck. Okay. He was in the Doom Part 7. And uh, Doom Part 1. Mm, that's not very helpful then. Okay. But someone who had a brother who died. I'm assuming on this ship? Or it could be completely unrelated. <laughs> um, but I'm... I, I think we're good on him though. Lars Lind Seaman was clubbed by unknown attacker. Three others were present. This guy... This guy? Who was this guy? He was the one who was killed. Who's this guy? Oh, the probably the guy on the boat. Yeah, and then this guy on the boat. This guy on the boat. And... Well, no, he was the one who clubbed him in the head. How am I supposed to know who he is just yet? Uh, maybe by uniform? Oh, well, I'll head through the door and we'll think about this later. <laughs> Humph. Okay. We're not doing too well. Um... But let's see. I, I think once we get all these scenes down, it might things might get a bit clearer. Oh, that's a lot of dead. <laughs> oh yeah, the Doom chapter did have a lot of dead. And I don't know what the uh, the the there's crosses and then there's forward slashes. I don't know what the forward slashes are. Disappearance. Uh, seven wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. Who is this? Who is this? Okay. Oh, is disappearance like they're gone and we don't know what happened to them? Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> that's even worse. Oh, God. And that's a lot of disappearances. Shit. <laughs> All right. That's fun. All right. Uh, are we on board for any chapters here? What's the next chapter? Okay, we've done the Doom. Uh, the bargain is not here just yet. Uh, we've completed Escape, I think. Yeah, we completed Escape, and then there's the end. Okay. Right, then. Um, 
uh, what are next then? Where do I go next? <laughs> oh god, they're not showing me the way to go. Oh god. Alright, um... Oh, hang on a sec. We can find out where to go next on... Hang on, let's see. Oh, we can't do the bargain, we've done the skate, the end, the doom. Soldiers of the sea. Alright, let's figure that out on the cargo deck. Uh, we have access to the cargo deck, apparently. Alright, down we go. Um, no, we don't. This is not the cargo deck. This is the... Hang on. This is the... This is the gun deck. Yeah, we only went down one floor. Uh, wish you'd show me where bodies are on the map that I haven't found yet. Uh, right, that's where... That's where... Oh, Mr. Artis died. <laughs> Not of dysentery, but of tentacle. He was hentied to death while taking a shit. That's the worst way to go, honestly. <laughs> I can't think of anything worse. Uh, there was Stabby McGee, there was this door. Why is it all fuzzy? I don't know. Why is it all fuzzy? Uh, this is not the right deck, though, is it? Are we in the right place? No, someone knocked the candlestick down. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I, I, oh. What the fuck is that? My pocket watch is... Eh? The pocket watch is showing that this is a body. Where? Eh? Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's a leg. Wait, hang on. Wait, wait, the pocket watch wor works on, s on severed limbs? <laughs> what the fuck is going on now? Slack the lifts and lower the boats. The whole crew will be on us. Give it up. Oh my god. There's a shot. What's happening here? Well, you got shot. We know that. Uh, that's not Knifey McGee. Okay. Knifey McGee with a rope around his. Oh, that's where his severed leg was. Okay, severed leg. He must have been shot and then plummeted down and his leg popped off. Who did the shooting, though? Who the fuck are you? Alright, you're someone new. There we go, you're... this person. There's also a waifu here. Oh, it's one of the, uh, the, uh, Form Formosans. Okay. From Taiwan, from the very existent nation of Taiwan that isn't called Taiwan yet. Who the fuck are you? Oh, apparently I should know who you are as well, that's not good. My head is a mess. Oh, there's um uh, the 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 Dane that we just figured out who he was. Uh, what is happening here? Oh, there's the goat. Oh no, those are piggies. Where's the goat? <laughs> I gotta know where the goat is. Where is Goaty boy? Oh god. All right, new chapter. What is even going on anymore? Murder. Okay. Murder, Chapter 3. Wow, we're going all the way back to Chapter 3 here. We went from 7 to 3 here. Outside the first mate's window. Alright, uh, corpse was moved post-mortem. Okay, well, we know he died via shooting, so I guess there's that. Um, and then, yeah, he was shot by a gun. And I guess, yeah, because the rope was around his leg, I guess he fell down and his leg was torn off. And Okay, and apparently we can follow... We can follow severed, severed limbs. Okay, that's interesting. By an unknown attacker. I don't know who he is just yet. Here we go. On your toes, boys. Uh, oh, there's Taiwanese. How can you do this? Load her up. We best push off. Let me go. Give her here, will you? Captain. Oh, no. Sl slack the, the lifts and lower the boats. The whole crew will be on us. Give it up. Bam, and then shot. All right. Um, okay. Oh my god, alright. Oh, alright, yep, just take me somewhere else then. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I didn't even see you. Oh my god. What happened here? <laughs> alright, uh, wait, there's a couple of bodies I can check. There's one here and there's one here. Why can't I check? Oh no, that's just the gunshot. Kapow! Okay. There's someone here that was hanged, I guess? What the fuck is going on here? Alright. I'm... Oh, okay. Yep, let's go. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> We're going from a severed leg to, uh, the hanging. Well, Alright, off we go. Here we go. Oh, all the way over here. And this is present day. This, this game is giving me a headache. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing at the best of times and how I'm supposed to figure out who is who. Okay. 
here we are then. How the fuck did I miss that body getting up on the boat? It's like, oh yeah, it's just this guy here. Right. Let's figure out who you are then. Who the fuck are you? Hok Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. Quiet. What the hell's going on? As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, oh. I sentence you to death by firing line. Oh. Hmm. Mr. Oh no, waifu. When you are ready. Oh. Right, sir. Well, that's a lot of name drops. Well. Oh. Fire! Oh my god! Boom! Oh shit, no, it wasn't a hanging. Oh, this is the- hang on, this is the firing squad from- hang on a sec. Is this this scene? Hang on. Life at sea. Here we go. Uh, yeah, justice at sea. Oh my god, this is the sketch. We get to relive the sketch. Here we go. Yeah, this is the sketch. We get to live it for real. There we go. Yeah, this. there we go. There's people saying, yeah, this. there's this guy. That's that guy. Oh my god, we're living the sketch for real. So there's the captain doing things, and yep, you got shot. <laughs> there we go. Yep, there's the captain. I can see where everyone is. Well, not everyone. There's some people back there. Here we go. Yeah, I can see where everyone is. Yeah, I can see where everyone is. There we go. There's the... No, oh, those are the piggies. Those are the piggies. Where's the goat? There's a chicken here! <laughs> Someone just let out a chicken. He wanted to see the... He wanted to see the execution. All right. Apparently, I'm supposed to know who you are as well. I remember you, Top Hat Man. Um, okay. We got Forky McGee. Oh, there's the goat. There's the goat. What's that on his back? Is that a monkey? Why is there a monkey on his back? There's a monkey on board? It's not exactly good eating, but okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. We got to actually be in the photo. That's great. Um... All right. Who is this and how did they die? Well, hang on. Let's go back to the transcript here. Here we go. Hok Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasqua. All right. Well, if we find a body, we can maybe that was murdered. Maybe we can we can figure that out. But OK, well, at least we know his name, this unknown soul. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see. Very distinct name. Uh, shouldn't be hard to find. Um, uh, oh, there he is. Hock Sing Lao. Oh, he's one of the Formosans. He is a passenger. Met with an unknown fate. Uh, he was... He was executed. Is there executed? No, but there is expired and exploded. I guess we'll have to go with shot then. Shot by gun. By an unknown attacker. Um, uh, there were multiple people. <laughs> uh, can I add multiple people? <laughs> <laughs> he was killed by an enemy. Uh, how do I select multiple people? Or maybe I go with the captain? I guess I could go with the captain because he ordered the execution. Uh, I guess we'll see. 28 other people were present. Oh, all the other Formosan royalty were there. Um, let's see. Oh, hang on a sec. Okay, yeah, we know you're Hock Sing Lao. How many... Of them, uh, yeah, hang on. Yeah, there's only four Formosans on board. Well, that actually shouldn't be too difficult then. Um, right, we should know who Waifu is. Yeah, there's only one Waifu. Yeah, she's unblurred. Okay, find out who Waifu is. Unknown. Um, hang on, where are the Formosans? Uh, there we go. All right, Hock Sing Lao, we know who he is. We've got Bun Lan Lim, It Bing Xia, and Shio Tan. Oh, fuck. Uh, um, uh, which one of those is the girl name? I don't know which one of those is a girl name. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Uh, transcript. Hang on, go back to transcript. Wasn't she, like, she was, yeah, he's, 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 you know, he's done nothing wrong. Miss Lim, it's too late. Ah, there we go. Fucking brilliant. Miss Lim. Let's see if we can find out. Uh, Formosa. Oh, Bun Lan Lim. There we go. So that's you. I haven't seen you die yet, so, um, there's that. Now, if we had to guess the last two, we could probably do that, but then again, it wouldn't really bear fruit, because I don't know how, if they're dead or not yet, so, uh... Yeah, even though... Yeah, you can try anyways, um... 
We can absolutely guess the identity of these last two. Uh, yeah, but there's no point in doing that just yet anyway. But, you know, yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. I mean, one half of the Formosans is a, is a start. It's also this shady fellow here. This fella here. Uh, there's a whole bunch. Of, yeah, there's a lot of people here. Uh, even Edward Spratt was here. Oh, yeah, because he drew this picture. Wait, is he in the scene? Let's see if we can find him. There we go. Oh, yep, there he is. <laughs> we found Edward Spratt. Yep, that's him. So he was here when he drew the picture. Uh, don't know how he drew it because he's kind of sitting from here and how the hell do you see all of these people from where you are? It's like, how do you see all of this from where you are? Oh dear. There we go. Who are you then? Oh, you're, uh, yeah, yeah, your waifu. Okay, waifu is sad. Okay. There we go. And you're like, hey, stop this at once. Do not kill him. Uh, although he did confess to the murder, so there's that. Who are you? Oh, you're that fellow with the hammock. Wait a minute, I think I already identified you. Anyway, you're, uh, Wei Lee. I just don't know how you died yet. <laughs> then we got this fella. Uh, no clue. <laughs> no clue at all. Alright, and we got some shootings. Oh my god. <laughs> just shot all day. Hang on a second. Shit. You guys are terrible at aiming. <laughs> Only one of them hit. <laughs> Only one of them hit. Oh dear, that's a lot of missing. There we go. Wait a minute. Well, if if only one of them actually hit the target, does that mean we can actually determine who was directly responsible for his death? I guess so. Because they don't let me select multiple people, and I have a feeling that uh, having the captain execute them, or having um, who's yeah, hang on, check the check the transcript here. Uh, do do do. It's captain of the ship. Do do do. I sense you to death by firing line. Mr. Wolf, when you're ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. Aim, fire. Uh, who's the guy who said fire? Was it him? Uh, possibly. Um, was it you? Who's that? Oh, no, it was probably you, the one going fire! There we go. Um, well, shit. Um, even if he doesn't count as the one who killed him, I think we know who Mr. Wolf is now. If we can find him. Hang on, let's find him in the list. We also know how he died as well. This unknown soul was blasted with a cannon by a terrible beast. Uh, is this Mr. Wolf? Uh, Christian Wolf the Gunner from Austria. Oh yeah, what was his accent again? He was like, ready? Uh, yeah, I guess he could be from Austria. I guess he could be. Oh, hey, I think I got something right. <laughs> well done, three more fates correct. What, who did I get right? Who did I get right? Okay, yeah, yeah, that is, yeah, that's Christian Wolf. Okay, and we know how he died as well. Same thing with Edward Spratt. And Roderick Anderson. Oh, okay, I was right by with that as well. Hey, all right. Yay, it's six down, a whole fucking lot to go. Hang on a sec. So I got those three right. Did I not get this right then? Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, because... Okay, maybe if we set it to being killed by... Hang on. Here we go. Um, Oopsie-daisy. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get the notebook out. What the fuck is going on now? Yeah, uh, okay. Next opportunity I get, I'm going to change that to uh, to Mr. Wolf, I guess. Hang on. But What am I doing? Oh, there we go. There's another body here? Shit, how many people died here? <laughs> All right. Oh, I can check my book again, I think. Yeah, here we go. All right. Um, right. Let's go back to... Hang on. Uh, life. Okay. Well, at least he's easy to find in the sketch. Here we go. Mr. Shop Person. There we go. Uh, can I not select him? Uh, okay. That's not helpful. How am I supposed to then... Oh, right. Hang on. He was shot, but yeah, he's in this picture. Yeah, he was the guy who was executed. Right. So let's set that to... You were killed by Mr. Wolf. We know that now. Um, yeah, the gunner. Here we go. Christian Wolf. Okay. Oh, but we've, we've solved three, so we're going to have to solve another two then before we uh, unlock that. Okay. Okay. So we got it wrong the first time around, but I think we're right now. I think we're all right. 
Let's follow the spectral trail of in of justice. Here we go. Here we go. Justice at sea. That's what we're doing. All right, where we got? Oh yeah, there's the old corpse we found there. How did I miss all this shit coming on board? How did I miss that? Fuck. All right, here we go. Ooh, a wrapped up body. Ooh, it's Christmas come early, boys. I can't wait to unwrap this present. Oh. Hello. Hmm? Who is there? Hmm? Who is that? Is someone hurt? Hmm. Senor Nichols, is that you? What are you doing down here? Oh, hello, yes. Hello. Oh, fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. Oh, what, watch your step. Here, let me help you. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Someone was stabbed. Oh, oh, you're the murder victim, I guess. I guess. Here we go. Oh, it's a guy with a via Malin. This, <laughs> hence the music, I guess. He's old Viamelin. Right. Well, we know how he died. Who, who's the who's the dickhead who stabbed him then? Oh, I apparently should know who this guy is as well. He's wearing an officer's hat, so I guess an officer. Shit, <laughs> stabbed by an officer. Uh, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> There's been a multiple murder here. Oh, hang on. He's the guy who was executed. Hang on a second. Is there any bodies around? No. Alright, double murder then? Wait, no, uh, if he's the guy who was executed, he's not dead. Okay, he's not dead. I guess he was just knocked out? What's going on here? Why did you stab this guy? <laughs> what is wrong with you? What's going on here? Alright, well, um... Alright, I think... Okay, no, I'm, I am confused as fuck. The corpse was moved post-mortem. Yeah, because the body was moved up to the uh, to the main deck. All right, who is this and how did they die? Um, well, let's check the transcript again. Hello, who's there? Who is that? Is someone hurt? Eh? Uh, Senor Nichols. Se oh, Senor. Oh, okay. So it might be Spanish. What are you doing down here? Hello. Yes, all fine here. Just uh, sorting some things out. Watch your step. Here, let me help you. Blech. All right, and then he died. Um... I'm guessing he got shanked. Let's go back to the scene just to make sure. I mean, you know, it seems like he was stabbed. Um, here we go. Yep. All right. Um, can't really see a knife, but I mean, it looks like that's how you would kill a person at close range like that. So yeah, let's go with he was stabbed. Oh, uh, oh. Here we go. Who was this person? How did he die? He met an unknown fate. Oh, and the captain, did he mention in the previous chapter who who was murdered? Hang on. Well, okay. We know he was stabbed. So, knifed. We know that by... Oh, but we don't know who attacked him, so I guess that doesn't help. Uh, oh, wait. Yes, we do. Hang on. Blah, 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 blah. Who, who, uh, blah, blah, Senor Nichols. Okay, who's Nichols then? Hang on. He was stabbed by Nichols. Because... The only other person in the scene is the 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 uh, the guy who was executed. So hang on. Uh, uh, oh here we oh here we go. Yes, and he's an officer, Edward Nichols, second mate, England. Okay. Well, shit. Uh, this is a really easy one. <laughs> we know who so many people are here. So hang on. He was stabbed. This unknown soul. Who? Hang on. Who was he? Hang on. Let's check. Yeah, we can check the transcript from other other uh, parts of the chapter. Uh, Hock Sing Lao, you've been found guilty by confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasqua. So is this... Yeah. Oh, so he was knocked out by Nichols. Edward Nichols framed him... Oh, shit. Okay. No, no, okay. Yeah, this is a really easy chapter. I guess it is chapter three. So, yes, it is rather easy. Oh, God. Although chapter 10 was the last chapter chronologically, and it was the easiest. <laughs> um... Although I'd argue this one was easier than chapter 10. Um, so, all right. You were murdered. Here we go. This unknown soul was... Okay. Um, 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 uh, what was the name again? Um, uh, I should have just put it in. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Nunzio Pasqua. So this is the guy who was murdered then. Nunzio Pasqua. Oh, shit. Uh, let's not go crazy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nunzio Pasqua, here we go. Passenger from Italy. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, sin- Senor spelt with a G and not Senor as in... Yeah, I probably should have picked up on that earlier. I didn't notice the accent, but yeah, I guess... Yeah, I guess I- Italian, Spanish, similar. So let's see. Nunzio Pasqua, the passenger, was knifed by Edward Nichols, second mate. So that was easy. That was really easy. Um, right. And then... Hock Seng Lao was framed for the murder after... Yeah, he was clubbed in the head by this twat... But not killed. He was just knocked out. Why did he knock him out, though? That's really strange. I guess we'll find in later chapters. Okay, so this is... Did we already... No, we did not identify him. He is second mate Edward Nichols. There we go. Um, Haven't seen him die yet, so we'll wait for that. But hey, um, this has been a treasure trove of information. Uh, the fuck is this? The fuck is that? Uh, oh, it's shiny. <laughs> it's shiny. It's the only thing that's moving as well. Not, notice it's the only thing that's moving as well. Uh, question is, why is it moving? The fuck is all this? I, I don't even know what that is. Uh, it's very shiny. Whatever it is, I think we found a treasure. <laughs> we found a treasure. Um... Okay. Don't know what's going on here just yet, but we found a shiny, shiny treasure. Right-o. Uh, can we go anywhere else? No. Okay. Uh, oh, we can head out the door, though. I think we've gotten all the information we need right now. Because we know how Hock Seng Lao died. And we know you died by stabbing. Okay. I think we made some pretty good progress there. And we're not done with this. Oh. Uh, are we done with this chapter? I guess we are. Wait, were there only two parts to that chapter? There were only two parts. Well, I guess it was a very short chapter. Three people died. Let's see. Uh, part one, yep, you were murdered. Hence the murder name of the chapter. And then you were killed. And then, oh, murder part three. Oh, right, yeah, there was that part too. Don't know who the fuck you are, but we'll figure it out. Oh, and that led to, okay. What does that have to do with this, though? Because this makes sense. This guy's murdered. This guy's executed for it. And then this happens. Can I revisit that scene? Hang on. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Corpse of Smooth Pope Mortem. Where is he? I can revisit it by going back to the body. Um. Oh, he was Severed Leg Boy. Yeah, um, um, uh, yeah. Let's go back to Severed Leg Boy. He's downstairs. <laughs> or was he? Was he downstairs? I think he was. Uh, I think he was... Yeah, oh, that's right. I went to the gunner's deck because I was like, uh, where, where, where is this guy? And then... Okay. Where's Leggy McGee here? Yeah, because I saw the fuzzy door. That's right. The fuzzy door's here. Bip, bip. There we go. <laughs> okay. Part three of three murder. Okay. I really should just play them all normally and then... And then just play them all in order. How is this related to what just happened? Uh... So there's that guy that was executed. What, immediately after the execution there was this? What the fuck happened to you there, buddy? Who even are you? Oh no! <laughs> he got speared in the leg. I don't know why or how exactly. Who the fuck are you? Um... There we go. Jesus. Who is he? Here we go. Oh, okay, he's one of the Formosan royalty. Who are all these people? We got this fellow. Is that Hat Boy? No, that's Beard Guy. Oh, it's a different one as well. Oh, that's really unhelpful. Where's the goat? Oh, there's the chicken that got loose somehow. <laughs> there's Piggy. He's trying to, f he's trying to free all his friends. Okay. Who's this fellow? Oh, hang on. Is that Nichols? Uh, yes, that's Edward Nichols. So, okay. What is going on here? So, okay, he. Bonked him in the head, framed him for murder, murdering the Italian guy. And then after he's executed, he's now leaving the ship with a waifu. Okay. And we know who she is as well. Okay. How that relates to the murder, I'm not sure. Although I guess this is immediately what happens next. How is this chapter over? I feel like there's so much more left to see. I feel like there's so much more left to see and we're not seeing it. Uh, all right, where's the door? I guess we're done here. Um, 
Oh boy, my poor brain. We've not figured out many people. In fact, last time I checked, we've only got like six. Alright, but that's that chapter over. I guess we can come back to it at any time. Um, alright. Um, so we figured out two people. I'm all but certain that this is correct and this is correct. Um, so that means we just have to figure out like one more and then we got it right. Okay. Um, oh, there's the chest that the treasure's in. Okay, yeah, no idea who you are. Okay, uh, let's keep looking though. The calling. Uh, unholy captives, soldiers at sea, the doom, uh, let's see, bargain is not available to us, I know that, the escape and the end, okay, let's go back to the beginning, oh wait, there's like, stuff here, the end, there's more here, uh, hang on, oh, glossary, here we go, oh, it's just the glossary, right, all up deck, mid deck, but lower, containing storage cabins, animal pens on the ship's steering tiller, Right, yeah, we've got six right, six notches on our belt. Not bad. Not great either, really. <laughs> In fact, it, it really isn't that good. Um, really isn't that good at all. What is time? Oh, fuck, we're nearly halfway through a stream and I'm nowhere near close to finishing this. Oh, Christ. Okay, uh... Right, well, let's just do another chapter there. Um, alright, loose cargo... Yeah, let's just go through this chronologically from here on out, if we can. Loose cargo, uh, on the cargo deck. Do I have access to the cargo deck? Where is the cargo deck? That's probably the operative thing to ask. Uh, we are on the gun deck. All up deck, cargo hold. Right. So, we want to go to the cargo hold for loose cargo. Let's do this in order. Uh, right. Well, let's find a dead body. <laughs> Off we go. Right. Good God. So much blood everywhere. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't think anyone made it out of this ordeal alive. Um. Oh, I can't go down that way. Maybe I can grab... No, alright. Uh, I don't think I can reach the cargo deck just yet, actually. Um. What deck is this? Uh, this is... hang on. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Where are we now? We're on the all lob deck. Have we even been here before? I don't know if we've even been here yet. What the fuck is going on? Wait, what was that? Uh, I'm seeing flies. That's usually a good sign, but I don't think I can get it from this side of the... of the room here. Oh, God. Ooh. Hey, look at this place. <laughs> There's tools everywhere. Uh, yeah. There we go. Are there any missing ones? Oh god, I hope I don't have to be that meticulous with my searching. <laughs> this guy got a hammer out from here. Oh god, oh god, swords galore in here, fucking hell. Alright. Ooh, this is quite the interesting deck. Alright, well let's just keep wandering around until we find a dead body down here. I don't think we've explored this area. Hang on. Hey! Is that a... It's a cow skull. So wait, the pocket watch can use a cow skull and figure out what happened here? Oh, well, let's find out what happened then. Right. Let's go. Next is... Oh. Oh. Mo. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. There we go. He sounds Irish. And there are Irish people on board. Oh, rip cow. You alright there, sir? <laughs> Never been on a farm, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie! Mind your shoes now. Mind your shoes, boy, or Oh, here we are. Um, alright, well, let's see. Who's vomiting? Who's who's everyone? Hang on, there's you. Apparently we can know who you are right now. Who are you? Apparently we can know who you are as well. How about you? Oh, we can know who all these people are. Oh, and there's also this fella. Uh, we can know who he is as well. Oh, he's the one throwing up, is he? So are you Charlie then? Um, wait, who died then? Oh, hang on, uh, the cow skull, right. <laughs> wait, we're looking back in time. We saw a cow die and now we're seeing this memory play out. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, hey, there are more people here. Let's have a look around. Here we go. We got this fella here. Too fuzzy to know for sure. Oh, hey, it's the monkey! 
It's the monkey we saw earlier on. He, he witnessed the, uh, the execution. What's going on here? There's this fellow. There's this fellow. What about this? This guy dead or drunk? <laughs> I'll take either explanation, honestly. Right. Uh, chapter two, A Bitter Cold. Right, oh. Well, I would have preferred chapter one, but I'll take chapter two. Why not? I kind of want to do these in order, but I, I guess that's not an option. <laughs> oh yeah, because I couldn't reach the cargo deck. Maybe I can, and I just couldn't find the way down, but hey. A large cow was slaughtered for its meat. It's it's not It doesn't count as a dead person. It's not a member of the crew, so I guess it doesn't matter. Take him to the carpenters. Yeah, no one died. <laughs> it's just a cow. Fuck God's creatures. <laughs> we don't care. If you're not on the crew register, we don't give a shit about you. Take him to the carpenters. Get him wrapped up and see to last rites. Wait, what? Take him to the carpenters. Get him wrapped up and see to last rites. Okay, someone did die, but we're more focused on the cow than the person. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hit her here. One swing. Get through the skull and stun her brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Okay, well, I'm thinking, actually, if they're killing a cow, then they're slaughtering it for feed, right? So... If we can find, if we can find a a, uh, a chef on board, right? Here, yeah. Come on, before she kicks up. Also, he was Irishy, I guess. He might be Scottish. I don't know. We'll see. Before she kicks up. Never been on a farm, Charlie. Mind your shoes now. Okay. Well, we know a Charlie then. Uh, ten others were present. There was you. There was you. All kinds of people. Wait, the Formosans were there? Only two of them though. Okay. Uh, there were these guys. Oh, he was knifed. Oh, uh, and, uh, these- if this is- this is the knifed guy in the escape chapter, and he was a midshipman, right? I think. And then we got this fella. Don't know who he is yet. But were they midshipmen? I don't know. Because he died, like, on the- in the midshipman cabin. I think it's safe to assume he did go to his cabin to die. But uh, we'll get to that bridge when we cross to it. Um, what am I supposed to be finding in terms of dead bodies here? I mean, you know, we don't give a shit about the cow. It's not on the crew register. At least we can find out who Charlie is. Okay, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, here are the Formosans. They're just sort of hanging out here. He's just having a nice sit. And you've got your spear out. Hmm, still no idea which one of them is which, though. Um... Nor do we know how they died, or if they even died yet. Uh, so yeah, let's let's think about this. Uh, this guy throwing up. He said, "You, you ever been on? Haven't you ever been on a farm, Charlie?" Oh shit. Let's see. Where is that? Never been on a farm, Charlie. Mind your shoes now. But <laughs> well, since he's the one vomiting, we're going to assume that he's Charlie. Who's Charlie then? Unless he vomited to death, <laughs> he's not dead yet. Um. Well, we got Charles Minor, bosun's mate, from France. Um, what do French people sound like when they vomit? <laughs> Charles Minor. I guess that's probably him then. Um, unless there's another Charles. There might be other ones. Charles, Henry, James, Winston, Marcus, Thomas, Emil, Duncan, Finley, Emily, Miss Jane Bird. That's a great name. From England. That's a nice bird. Don't think there's another Charlie anywhere. Uh, uh oh. Yes, there is. Um, Charles Hirschstick. Uh oh. Uh, we got a problem here. Uh, is there another Charles? They don't. He specifically said Charlie, so maybe if I can find a Charlie. There are no more Charles, although, uh, slight problem. We've got two Charles. Um, we've got Charles Minor, the bosun's mate. Um, who's the bosun? From Austria. Wasn't there another Austrian on board? Oh god, alright, this is getting to be a problem. Um, who's the other Charles then? Um, Charles Hirschstick, uh, midshipman. Okay, well, let's have a look at his uniform. Uh, well, he's standing next to this guy, and while he does have a scarf on, is it fair to say that that guy, because he's a midshipman, that guy's also a midshipman? How many midshipmen are there? Actually, that might help. Um, if there are three midshipmen, that would be really helpful. Because um, there's only one bozeman's mate, 
And that could be him, I guess, because he's not wearing a scarf around him. Uh, where are the midshipmen? Oh, here we go. Uh, there's one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, that's unknown. Okay. So one, two, three midshipmen. I'm going to take a stab at the dark and say he's probably the midshipman as opposed to the bosun's mate. He is hanging out with the other ones, isn't he? Uh, Charles Hershey. Mm, yeah. Well, he hasn't died yet, so that really doesn't help anyway. Um, but let's see about other people while we're at it. Um, who might this guy be, I wonder? Uh, considering he was looking towards this guy, I'm guessing this is the Irishman. Okay, let's see if there's any Irishmen that are always wearing an apron as well. Yeah, this guy's probably the cook then. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Surgeon mate, carpenter's mate, cook. Oh, also a butcher. Oh, okay, hang on. The butcher is Irish. And he definitely had an Irish accent. So you know what? He's probably not the cook. <laughs> it definitely wasn't English. So I'm going to say... Hmm... He's wearing the butcher's apron. Irish. Hmm. We don't know how he's died yet. It's a bit of a stab in the dark, but... Eh, not really. I mean, he's just kind of hanging out here by himself. Um, we can always change our mind later, but I think this is... I think it's fair to say, I mean, if this is this guy here... Because this guy... See, yeah, see, this guy's wearing an apron. This guy is this guy. And this guy's this guy. Oh, okay, so all three of the midshipmen are here. Okay. That doesn't really help much, though, because I don't know them by name yet. Or do I? This is the guy who exploded. Oh, hang on, I could... Hang on, If do we know how this guy died, though, is the real question. I might be able to do this via process of elimination. Whoops, wrong button. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> we'll come back to this later. That's kind of irritating that they lock you into this shit and I can't check anymore. All right, where's the next body then? Um, wait, can I just get my... No, I can't even get my book out. This sucks. I don't want to be locked into this mode. Uh, who the fuck are you? I guess this guy's dead. I guess after this I can check the book, right? Yeah, I can just check the book now. Um, right. Through process of elimination, I might be able to find out... Uh, oh wait, no I can't because I don't know how Charles died. But these are all midshipmen, so that works. Yeah, once I figure out how you died, I will just go through a process of elimination. It's like, okay, once I know for certain how you died, I know you were knifed, and I... Oh yeah, you exploded. Yeah, I remember you exploding away, trying to deal with the Kraken. Alright, so once I know how you died, I will just go through the midshipman names and figure them out that way. Unless there's like a smart way of figuring it out. <laughs> but hey, process of elimination is relatively clever. Alright, let's go to the next dead body then. Um, uh, here we go. And just left here, was it? <laughs> okay. They just left him up here. Oh, okay, he wasn't left here, but yeah. All right. Let's see what's up with this guy then. Huh? Well, hmm? same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. No. Oh. Consumption. Made worse by the cold. We spread. Oh. If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, hmm. and everyone is healthy. And him. <laughs> what are his chances? Hmm. I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. <laughs> Yay! Give him some cocaine, that'll do the trick. It was the style of the time. Oh dear, oh, we've got our dead person here. There we go. Oh, it's this fella. He is all dead and shit. Well, considering this is the point in time where he died... Uh... I don't know who it is, but can I say how he died? Oh, not yet, I guess. Alright, we got this fella here. Uh, he's not fuzzy. He's not fuzzy, um... Um, let's see. Oh, I know you. You're, uh, 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 Martin, I think. Hang on, let me double check that. Yep, that's third mate, Martin Parrot. Uh, then we got this fella here. We got all kinds of stuff to see here. We have this fella over here. Is that, no, that's not the butcher. Different guy. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> okay, 
fuzzy wuzzy. Oh my god, more dead bodies. Okay, we got this fella here. Where have I seen him before? We've seen him before. Oh, he was the guy that was crushed by the cannon. He's it. He gets crushed by the by the uh, by the kraken. I remember him. All right, and then we have yep the Formosans just chilling here. I was, I was gonna say they probably had something to do with this, but uh, actually probably not. Um, they got it. They they seem to have got yeah. Okay, who's this and how do they die? Well, hang on. Uh, let's double check this. Same as the other fellow. Lung, some lung disease, not consumption, made worse by the cold. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it. Must have picked it up at the Lascar house. I checked all hands just now and everyone is healthy. And him? What are his chances? I gave us some laudanum. We'll see. And then he died immediately after. Just bleh. I'm die. Thank you forever. <laughs> it just... He didn't even get to enjoy some cocaine. <laughs> I'll give him some cocaine and cocaine accessories. Uh, please hurry. I'm dying. Uh, uh I'm die. Thank you, whoever. <laughs> and then he went. Alrighty. Um. Right. So, um, lung disease. Uh, what could that be? Hang on. Uh, met an unknown fate. Let's see. Illness. Uh, here we go. Illness. There we go. Yeah, that works. Lung disease. And this is something else. Um, no, not really. Illness is good. We'll go with illness for now. Um, don't know who it is. Uh, seven others were present. Um. Let's see, there's you, there's you, there's you, there's you. Apparently we know who you are. Um, here we go, just hanging out here. And this guy is dancing with a lady. All right, and then we have the Formosans as well. Right, um, let's see, same as the other fella, some lung disease. Um, well, hang on, how do I, yeah, there we go. Let's leave the book. Okay. Yep, we're back again. Um, considering that we're in the, in the yeah, we're we're in the medical area, right? So, I'm guessing one of these guys is probably the the surgeon. And hang on, isn't there a hang on? Let me double check this. Um, usually surgeons don't work alone at sea. So let's have a look. Um, boo boo boo, surgeon. Surgeon, here we go. Yeah, yeah, I was right. There's a surgeon's mate. So there's Henry Evans, the surgeon, and James Wallace, the surgeon's mate. Um, hang on a sec. En Henry Evans? Hang on a sec. Uh, yeah, he's the guy who sent us the book. Yeah, I, I knew I'd seen that name before. Henry Evans is the surgeon's mate or the surgeon? It's one of the two. I'm guessing because this guy's, like, casually leaning back and... This one's actually addressing uh, Martin here. I'm guessing this guy is the surgeon. Makes the most sense. I mean, yeah, he's kind of looking over him, so yeah. I'd say... Oh, I wanted to identify him. Shit, well, I guess I can do it at any time. I pressed the wrong fucking thing. I hate that you're locked into this. Like, I want to check my book. Can't check my book. All right, all right. Let's find out who died here. At least I can also reasonably figure out who some people are. Yeah, hang on, um... Uh... How do I... Hang on, uh, b -b 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 uh... Where are we at? Murder... Oh, a bit of cold. Okay, that's where we're at. God damn it, wrong key. There we go, bit of cold... Chapter... Here we go. Uh, seven others were present. Uh... So yeah, there's this guy. Is he the guy that was leaning in the chair? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, hang, hang on, the... the yeah, yeah, that's the surgeon guy. So this, we don't know how he died yet, but we do, I'm reasonably certain that this is Henry Evans, the surgeon. Also the author of this book, uh, which is kind of suspicious. What's going on here? The plot thickens. Did you orchestrate all of this? Summon a kraken? What the fuck's going on? Henry Evans met an unknown fate. Yeah, we don't know anything about him. And he's the guy in the chair. I think it's fair to assume that you're James Wallace, the surgeon's mate, but we can change that uh, at any time. Um, and we already know who Martin is, so there's that. Is there anyone else we can know right now? No, no Formosans here. Uh, no. Okay, you were crushed by a cannon. I don't... Uh, yeah, crushed by the, the Kraken and, and the cannon. Um, you died to an illness, and you're... Hmm, okay. I don't know. There's another body as well, so let's go find that other body. Here we go. 
Hmm. Oh, wait, am I stuck? Oh no, I think I'm stuck. I can't go past that body. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I unstuck myself. God damn it. The body is right here as well. Just, just fucking point it to me right here, why don't you? Why, why do I have to go through this song and dance? All right, here we go. Dun it. All righty. Oh, what language is that? Oh, that's Russian. What's that language? Drink something. What language is that? Oh, someone's dead. All right. Well, um, we heard the name Syed, so that's yeah, uh, that's very clear. So that should be easy. Um, we also have this fella trying to give him some water. Um, see the no, he's not the guy who died shortly after. Maybe he is. Who's this guy? Um, no, that's the guy that was crushed by the cannon. <laughs> and then we have this fella here. There we go. Oh, he's the guy who dies in the next part. Uh-oh, <laughs> it looks like these guys have some kind of horrible disease. All right, and who are these fellas here? Just playing cards? Uh, all right, apparently we can determine who these guys are. The game uh, uh, is giving me way too much fucking credit, <laughs> thinking that I can figure these people out. Oh, it's Beard Guy! I've been waiting to find out who he is for ages. <laughs> all right. Hey, I wonder who's got the best hand. <laughs> oh dear. Oh shit. Um. Uh, all right. There's that. Right. A bitter cold. The corpse was moved post mortem. Okay. There was a lot of talking there. Let's let's go back and review that. Um. Stop your cheating. Worry about yourself. Oh yeah, they were speaking Russian. Wait, was that the Russian table? How many Russians are on board? And then there's Syed, Syed, get up, drink something. Okay, well, we know the person who died is Syed, because he didn't say anything. <laughs> um, he was too dead. Um, Humph. Oh, I should have, yeah, checked that. Hang on. Uh, okay. Yeah, now we've got time. Okay, let's start with the easy stuff. There's Syed. We know that Syed. And he died of an illness too, I guess. Uh, where's Syed then? Syed, Syed. So I had very easy name to spot, I would imagine. Uh, oh, oh, Solomon Syed. It's his last name. Oh, he's from India. Right. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't read Indian. I can't read um, Hindi, I guess. I don't know. But uh, Solomon Syed. Or Syed Solomon. Um, so there's that. Met an unknown fate. Uh, died to illness. There we go. Haven't I figured out three by now? Well, hang on a sec. Um, can we use a process of elimination now? Uh, let's see. Where's Syed at? Um, uh, oh, God. <laughs> I've lost him now. Uh, Solomon Syed. Seaman from India. Um, oh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four Indian seamen. Um, are there any other Indians on board of other rank? Uh, there's some Russians. We got two Russian seamen. Oh, oh, we got another Russian, but he's not a seaman. What is he? Oh, he's a topman. Ugh, okay, that's going to be complicated. Or it might make things easier, because if we can find that one Russian being a topman and not a seaman, then yeah, then that's, that's one less Russian to worry about. Um, uh, let's see, India, India, India. Oh, here we go. Ship steward from India, Zungi Sathi. Well, I don't think any of those guys are ship stewards. I mean, they're, they're in the hammocks down here with the rest of the seamen, so I don't think that guy is someone we're looking for. Um, and that's it for, uh, yeah, that's it for Indians. Okay, there's one there, and there's four here. We know who Solomon is, and there's three additional ones. Okay. One, two, I, I, I guess they would also hang out. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, these guys hang out with each other. Ah, racial segregation. That makes things easier. Oh, the tags. I forgot the tags. Oh, my God. That makes everything so much easier. You probably died of an illness as well. You look kind of sick, although I'm not sure yet. Wait a minute. Oh, hang on. Uh, can I check this? So come, yeah, so come to an illness. Yeah, he was the guy who died earlier, but he's, he's number 51. He's number 51. 
Oh my god, I forgot about that. Shit, yeah, um, yeah, it, it came back. This unknown soul is number 51. What is he? Let's see if it works. If it, uh, India. Renfred ya Rajub. Oh my god, we found him. Yes! Eat my dick! <laughs> we did it! Oh, well done. Three more fates figured out. Oh, yep, there's Nuncio Pasqua. And then we have Solomon Syed. And then, of course, we have the executed fellow. Oh, wait. Oh, Renfred. Wait, hang on. So we- wait, did we not figure out the executed man? Has he- or maybe he got solved earlier? Well, I mean, there's nine down. Uh, that's a decent- decent- yeah, decent sum there, but hang on, I'm really confused now. Did we solve the identity? Because I've been waiting on that. I was waiting on three people. Where's- uh, what's his name? He's one of the Formosans. Uh, Bun Lim Lan Lim. No, that's Waifu. We don't know. Uh, Shot Gun Sea Wolf Hong Sing Lao. Did I solve him? Hang on, let's find out if I solved him yet. I might, I might have already solved him. I don't remember seeing him though. I was kind of waiting to get another couple of dead certs before he appeared. Hmm. Did I solve him? Like, how do I- Oh, yeah, I know. I go to, uh, blah, 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 uh, murder. <sighs> Shit, I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, murder. Pasqual... Oh, it shows you with a big tick. Okay, well, that's really handy. Nuncio Pasqual got that correct. Hoxing Lao does not have a tick. Okay, let's go to someone else that probably has a tick. Let's find Abigail. <laughs> Or the captain. Either one of them is fine. Uh, uh, there he is. Uh, yeah, they give you a big old tick if you got them right. So where have I gone wrong with, uh, with Thingy? Where have I gone wrong with him? Because I still- I, I got three, and he's still not solved yet. Hox Sing Lao doesn't have a, 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 a tick next to him. Was shot with a gun by Oh, no! Hang on! Okay, he was shot with a gun, but not by Christian Wolf. Oh, yeah, but- oh, that's right. How the fuck am I supposed to figure out- Like, how do I say multiple people shot him? Because that doesn't seem to be a thing you can do. Hang on, maybe there is and I just didn't check. Um, shot by multiple people. Um... No? Hang on. No? Shot by... Eh. Uh. Alright. Hmm, okay, alright. Uh, all right. Uh, guess I'll have to come back to that one then. Um, oh, but you know what? I'm really excited that we can use these tags now. Um, hang on a tick. Uh, oh, it's got an X on it. Fuck! Wait, was this the X from earlier on? Is he number 10? Okay. He was crushed by a terrible beast. Who's number 10? Well, what's happening? This is a deduction rating. Uh, little triangles. A higher rating means that will be the- that- that it will be more difficult to deduce this person's identity. Focus on the easily deduced identities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. Uh, I'm guessing three triangles is pretty rough. <laughs> um, this unknown soul. I don't think this is Winston Smith the carpenter from America. <laughs> Just a hunch that this guy is not an American. Um, Oh, well, maybe he could be, although he's... I mean, he's hanging out with the rest of the Indian crew members, isn't he? Yeah, he is. There's Solomon Syed. There's you. Yeah, these are all Indian guys, so... And, and yeah, th hang on. This is the guy... Did he die yet? But he was the one speaking to Syed, so he is Indian. Do we know anything about him? No, we don't know how he died just yet. Um... Hmm, hang on, there might be a way we can simplify this, um... Because this guy's in his hammock, this guy's in his hammock, this guy's in his hammock, this one's empty, so I'm... If I'm to assume that that's his hammock, well, let's see what number 53 is. Let's see, number 53, if number 53 is... William Wassim. I, I, I saw his first name and I thought, no, that can't be it, but Seaman from India. We don't know how he died yet. Also, two triangles, so it shouldn't be too difficult to discern that. I haven't seen him die yet, though. Hang on, three memories. Has he died yet? 
Uh, depicted. Here we go. Show memories on deck. Let's see. Uh, oh, here we go. So we started here in a bitter cold part one, then in a bitter cold part two. Oh, then he died. Wait, he died? Oh, maybe he was seen, but he didn't die there. Okay, and then he was in. Oh, yeah, no, he didn't die because he was in this one as well. Okay. Hmm. All right. There's only three parts to this one as well, so I guess he doesn't die just yet, and we haven't encountered him dying yet. So okay. Um, but through the process of elimination, assuming this guy is actually Indian, which I mean, he looks the part, and he's hanging out with the others, and he looks kind of concerned about about his buddy there. So I don't think the X means ten. I think the X is just there to throw us off. Let's have a look. There is only one more Indian unaccounted, a seaman unaccounted for, because we got... Yeah. Abraham Akbar. William Wasim. Okay, yeah, we fairly certain that that's William Wasim. Where are the other ones gone? <laughs> Did Oh, I already solved them. That's right. So, yeah, okay. Is this Abraham Akbar? Uh, it's not solving anything. Oh, I will need an additional one. Okay, yeah, now I really know that I fucked up on this guy here. Wait, he's, uh, here, yeah. Hok Seng Lao, yeah, was not shot by, by Wolf. So, okay. So, yeah, even though he ordered the execution, doesn't count, doesn't count that he was shot by them. So, um, mm. Although I'm all but certain that you're, um, you're Akbar, so, mm. Which means you're great. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, and while we're here, we can also check out the Russians as well. They were speaking Russian, so I guess this is the Russian table. Let's have a look. We've got a Russian over there. Oh, they like playing cards in the in the picture as well. Yeah, they're playing cards in this photo as well. Right. Can we tell anything by their uniform? Oh, shit. This last Russian guy is actually in the firing squad. He's not playing cards. So we've got this fella here that does some shooting. Um, then we got this fella. We've not even seen this guy before. Who's this guy? Yeah, we haven't seen any memories of him yet. So is one of them not Russian? Wait, how many Russians are on board the ship? Let's go with that. Let's not overcomplicate things. Um, how many Russians are on board ship? Um, uh, that's not the list I wanted, but I guess I'll take it. Right, um, uh, England... Poland, Scotland, duh, duh, duh. Sweden, Wales, Ireland, England, Persia. Oh, we got a Persian on board. Uh, Scotland, China, England, New Guinea, England, Russia. Here we go. We've got three Russians. Um, three Russians. Oh, okay. There are only three Russians on board, unless I missed one. Doesn't look like it, though. It was pretty, pretty thorough. So there's only three Russians, and one of them is this guy who's not playing cards, he's on the firing squad, so one of these guys isn't Russian. So, okay. Oh, shot by gun. Um, uh, oh, we don't know by who yet, though, so, uh, humph. Okay, that's a bit of a worry. Um, can't really tell by uniform, can we? Uh, well, these guys seem to be wearing shirts, and he's wearing suspenders. And so is he. Okay, yeah, that's not really helpful. I guess we'll figure out some stuff later, I suppose. Um, oh shit, are you dead? <laughs> oh, no, but you got a tattoo of a, a lady that's grumpy and impatient on your arm. Okay. What are you? You're number 37. Who's number 37 then? Number 37 is... Number 37 is... Timothy Butement. Topman from Scotland. Okay. Well, we know that. Oh, I can't identify him. Oh, I guess if you can't see his face. Actually, that's bullshit, because we, we identified a severed leg. <laughs> What's going on? Why can't I uh, identify him now? I guess I'll keep an eye out for that tattoo. I suppose that's how we'll know. So, remind ourselves, uh, tattoo is number 37. I'll try and remember that. Um, hey, there's more people here, but I can't even see the tags this time. So, yeah, that's kind of useless. Um... Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, 47. Are you number 47? Let's find out. If there's a Russian... Yeah, who's this guy? Unknown, 47, let's see. Agent 47. Hey, Russian 47 Alex, uh, Alexei Toporov. Well, I mean, it, it checks out. 
You've got the uh, you've got the hammock tag matching his uh, his his uh, his designation there on the crew roster, and he is Russian playing with the other Russians at cards. So there's a seaman. Oh, and this actually is really handy because even though we don't know how he died, one of these other Russians, assuming yeah, this guy's probably not the other Russian because yeah, he can't be because we identified that these two guys are Russian. One of these is a seaman, and the other one is a topman. Thank God we didn't identify the topman first, because then we were like, oh great, we have to find two seamen after this. So this is Russian number one. Russian number two. Hmm, I wonder if the outfits help. Not really. Um, but we but that's a seaman, we know that. So one of these guys is a is a Russian topman. Okay. Well, that's handy. <laughs> I'm really digging the uh, the tags on the on the hammocks. Very nice. The fuck is that? Oh, it's a bag with a pipe in it. <laughs> Jolly old pipe. You know what? In a game like this, I probably should be mindful if I see someone smoking. Uh, that being said, I already know who you are, but maybe the pipe belongs to one of these other fellas. Who knows? Although, since it's next to his... Oh, there's another one in the back. Oh, hang on. There's three of them. Oh, they don't have any tags, so shit. <laughs> oh, why did you have to put the pipe next to the one that's actually marked with a number? I, I, why can these guys have a number and this guy not have a number and then I see this guy have a pipe later on and then that solves everything? God damn it. Oh, we have all these tags as well, but I can't, I don't think I can, no. Can't really identify these fellas. But we do have some numbers to work with, so I guess I'll keep an eye out for it. Alright, um, I think we've done all that we can here for now. Where's the door? Uh, oh, there it is. Alright. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, I, I, are we done with this chapter? Yeah, we're done with this chapter. I would like to revisit the execution scene because we've clearly fucked up somewhere there. Um, we've fucked up. So and now that I think about it, there were some guys that missed. So maybe only one of the shooters actually hit him and that's who you're supposed to pick. Uh, maybe? I guess we'll find out. Oh, there's blood here. Ooh. Oh, there's more blood here. More and more blood. And... Oh, I found another body. Um, I will check on Mr. Corpsey in just a tick. <laughs> I'll check on Mr. Dead Body in just a tick. I would much prefer to figure out what the hell happened to, um, Thingy. Um, 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 the Formosan fella that was executed. Here we go. Where is he? There he is. Okay, let's go back to this. Since we can only pick one person and not multiple people who killed someone. Oh well, at least we know. You have been found guilty by at least we know there aren't the multiple multiple murderers. It's too late. As captain okay. of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, mm. and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. Oh no! Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Here we go. Great, sir. Huh. Ready, men. Oh, he does sound Austrian. There we go, we know Mr. Wolf is Austrian. Okay, so here's what I've got in mind here. A bunch of people are missing with their shots. How many guys are there? Hang on, one, two, three... Hang on, uh... Yeah, there are four gunmen. Three of them missed, but one of them hit. Yeah, 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 one of them hit. Okay, so we just have to follow the bullet trail then. Um... One of the bullet trails is a hit. It's a bit hard to see. Hang on, uh, miss there, miss there, miss there. Oh, it's you! Okay. So you were murdered by... Well, not murdered, you were executed by this guy. Alright. Who is this guy, then? Um... Fuck, I don't know who it is! Oh, no! I don't know who it is! Uh, it's, it's Hat Guy, he's back again. Alright, well, now we know. You were murdered by Hat Guy. Okay, well, at least we know that now. Oh, dear. Look out, goat and monkey! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Is that the... Yeah, that's the butcher guy from earlier. That's why he's with the he's with the animals. And we got Forky McGee. Um, alright. Does the butcher have an assistant? I'll check in a sec. Um, I love how this is the same image here. It's great. <laughs> it's so good. It's this image here with everyone. Like, you can see these fellas here off to the side. 
You can't see the... No, you can't see the butchers there, but he sketched all of this out here. It's not really all that accurate, though, actually, when you look at it. Because, yeah, he's, like, leaning against the wheel here instead of standing at attention. This guy is... Uh, oh, no, he's, he's there. There we go. There's that. Yeah. Lint is also... Oh, he's got his arms crossed. Yeah, so it's not strictly accurate, either. It's not, he's really not all that accurate. I guess he just made some embellishments. <laughs> Also, this guy's covering his ears. That's that guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not entirely accurate, but it's good. Decent picture. Do we know who this guy is yet? No, but he's he's an officer. I don't know why he's all the way over here, away from the other officers, but whatever's. Do we know who this is yet? Uh, apparently we do. Oh, yep, that's third mate Stewart. Ah, oh, right. Yes, that's this guy. Crushed by a cannon. Of course, he's the steward to, uh, to Martin. There we go. Um, all right. Alright, so, uh, we still can't figure out the answer to this one yet, because I don't know who Hat Guy is yet. I don't know who Hat Guy is yet, and he was the one responsible for the shooting. Alright, maybe we'll get some more clues later on. Maybe we'll find his hammock. <laughs> that would be nice. Alright, never mind. Uh, so what are next? Uh, in terms of chapters... Oh, I found a body down in uh, another deck, didn't I? So let's go and do that. Alright. Let's go down to find that body. Oh. Uh, there we go. Oh, excuse me, squished body. Um, bu -bu -da -bu 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 -bu. here we go. We're in the right place, yeah? Yeah, there we go. I haven't really explored this area all that well. There's the cattle skull. Um, there's some chests. Doubtful there's treasure in there. Uh, there's this area. Well, hang on, where was the body? Where was the body at? Uh, is this it? Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the blood. I wonder if there's anyone on the other side as well. <laughs> here we go. Oh, we can wander around here too. Yeah, this is where I saw... Yeah, we have been here. This is where I saw the cattle skull first. Through this tiny window. I'm surprised I saw it at all. Um, let's have a look here. I found a body. There he is. There he is. Okie doke. How the fuck did you end up here? <laughs> Body never found. Alrighty. Let's see what's up next then. Huh? 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 Someone shoot the damn thing! Oh! Shit! Someone shoot the damn thing. What did you shoot? Where the fuck are we? Oh, right, we're on the side of the building here. Or the side of this part here. Uh, what the fuck is that? Alright, well, let's see. Um, you're this person. You look like a, a steward. Which one? I'm not sure just yet, but we'll figure it out. Someone shoot the thing. What the fuck is that? Um. Um, okay. Um. Uh, there's a, there's a spider crab on board. Who did the shooting then? Oh, fuck. Alright, I can see someone with a gun. I see someone with a sword. Is there anyone else with a gun? Uh, possibly? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is happening now? Um, alright. A bit confusing. I couldn't really move past that area very well. Well, maybe I couldn't, I just didn't try, but <laughs> I should probably try. Alright, Chapter 6, Soldiers of the Sea. Just a little bit off the Canary Islands, alright. Alright, a sword and a rope of some kind, or a vine, I don't know. Okay, in the port walk. Who is this and how did they die? Uh, location of the corpse was here, near the gunner store and the port walk. Um, 11 others were present, that's quite a lot. Um... Even the captain was there. Right, how did they die? Um, well, hang on, let's have a look. Uh, they make for the lazarette. Secure the hold. Someone shoot the damn thing. Oh, I think this guy was accidentally shot. I think this guy may have been shot. Hang on, he met an unknown fate. I think this guy was accidentally shot through the wall. Um, alright, shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. Yeah, I really don't know who. Um, let's go back into the scene and have a look. Okay. Oh, yeah, this guy just got a bullet right through him. Look at that shit. Okay. 
he was shot by someone. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Uh, who are you? Oh, here we go, uh, we have... What's your name again? Um, uh, Hoskett, that's right, First Mate Hoskett. Uh, he seems to be holding a gun, although he's not pointing it in the right direction. I saw another guy with a gun, is he the one responsible? Oh, come on, how am I supposed to know? Oh wait, I can probably go on the other side. Or he could have been shot by Mr. Wolf here. Is that- yep, that's Mr. Wolf, I think. Wait, no, it's not. Mr. Wolf is here. <laughs> I don't know who you are. We've got some guns. Uh, you've got a gun. You're wielding a... a sword, <laughs> for some reason. Apparently the captain is visible here as well. I can't see him anywhere. Who the fuck- okay, well, let's find out who he is. Um... Bloody hell. Alright, um... This is going to be a pain in the dick. Ah, alright, hello, who are you? You're this fellow. Apparently I should know who this is. Um, how do I get through... What the fuck is this? Oh, hello, who are you? Um, oh, that's the, uh, the surgeon? No, not the surgeon, the, uh, the, the butcher. Right? Hang on, I can check, why am I... Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, Emil O'Farrell. Okay. What the fuck happened to you? Are you nail gunned here? Who the fuck are you? Oh, here's the surgeon. That's uh, Henry. Henry Evans. Yeah, I remember him. I remember. Uh, I can't even get over here to chat with people. Why not? <laughs> I want to scan your faces. Let's go. Um, how do I get over there? Maybe I can... Uh, yeah, other side. Here we go. Oh, hello. Who are you? Um, oh, apparently we're supposed to know who this is as well. Uh, shot with a gun by an unknown person. Um, well, hmm, yeah, don't know who you are. Apparently I should know. Oh, there's Mr. Wolf. There we go, yeah. And he is the, uh, he's the gunner. So, yeah, maybe he's the, this guy's the gunner's assistant? Assuming he has one? Uh, the gunner. Uh... Hmm. Apparently the gunner doesn't have an assistant, so I don't know who you are. <laughs> it's got a very unique hat, though. Uh, alright, um... Okay, you were shot by someone. I am fairly certain you're the one who shot him, because you're pointing right at him. Uh, but I can't reach you. I don't... How am I supposed to identify you if I can't reach you? <laughs> oh, God. Maybe in some of the other chapters I'll be able to see who was holding this rifle, maybe. They're making things a bit more difficult. Who's this fella here? Um, oh, hang on, I just had an idea. Where's the map? Hang on, um... Yeah, so Christian Wolf the Gunner is on the other side of this area. Let's check the map. That, there you go, see I'm here. The Gunner's store is here, so the Gunner and someone else was in here. Purser's office. Hmm. I don't think it can be a coincidence that this guy- is he hanging out of the purser's office? The purser's office. He's just hanging out here. Do we know how he died? Unknown. Um... Hmm... Considering he's in his- he's in the purser's office, I think this might be the purser. Uh... Here we go, Duncan McKay, Scotland, purser. I... Huh... I'm gonna wait until I- maybe we'll hear him talk. But I, th I mean, there's no one else in there. I will, uh, I'll do that. We don't know how he's dead, if he's even dead yet, so we can change our mind later anyway. Um, okay, no, no, that's fine. Um, how do I even get onto the other side here? I guess we're just stuck here for now. Let's, let's try another part of this chapter. Oh, yep, here we go. We're gonna find out how you died. Find out how the butcher died. <laughs> Looks like he was fucking nailed to the wall here. Right, let's go. Onward. I gotta find out what happened here. Okay. There we go. Around the corner. Where is he? Where's the body? Where was he nailed? Uh, assuming that's what we're looking for. Uh, wait, where's the... Where did the trail lead me? Um... Yeah, oh, I see, I see where the spikes are. Uh, here we are. 
This is where the purser's office is. Here we are. What, what are we looking for? The the spectral trail didn't lead me anywhere. Uh. Oh, uh, it's back again. <laughs> okay, all right. Where are we going? Oh, it even resumes the music. It's like, okay, try to keep up this time, champ. Oh, now you'll fucking show up. Okay, thank you. Right, let's see what happened to Spikey McGee over here. Reasonably certain he's the butcher as well. I've got you. Oh. I'll get you down. Oh dear. Give me that gun. Oh, someone talked about a gun. That might help us with the previous one. All right. Uh, Jesus Christ. Someone was spiked. Yep, he was spiked. Let's have a look here. Oh, there's that fellow. That's... Oh, that's the surgeon. Oh, yeah, this is like the other side of this area here. So this guy's going to die over here. Yeah, there he goes. He's not quite dead yet, though. He's just wandering off. Yeah, he hasn't been shot yet, so I guess there's that. Ugh. Although there's a spike here. Another one of those nails. Oh, what the fuck is that? That's... There's a fucking giant crab here. What the fuck? Oh, that's water. <laughs> I thought he was tossing oil onto it or something. Okay, spider crabs on board. I hate it when that happens. Bloody hell. Pass that gun. Okay. Oh yeah, I was gonna look out for that. Yeah, I can do that afterwards. <laughs> I can I can do that afterwards. Alright, part six of Soldiers of the Sea. Let's see what we've got here. Uh Emil O'Farrell, the butcher, met an unknown fate. Um he got let's see. Uh axed no not really. Clawed? Mm, clawed? Well, let's see if there's anything better. Clubbed, crushed, decapitated, drowned, eaten? No. no. Electrocuted, expired, exploded, fro froze, illness, killed, sword, knifed. Poison, shot, speared, spiked, struck. Oh, spiked, maybe. Uh, strangled, struck, suicide, torn apart. I think spiked is a bit better. Oh, and it just fills it in automatically. <laughs> Mill O'Farrell was spiked by a terrible beast. That seems to be correct, yeah. Uh, all right, let's keep on going. That seems to be right. Before we go on, I've got you. I'll get you down. Give me that gun. Someone said, give me that gun. I don't, I can't remember who it was. Who was given a gun? Not this guy. Um, uh, not this guy. Oh, here we go. Give me that gun, he says. Okay. Don't know who that is. That's the gunner. He's not the guy who shot the guy last time, though, because he's not bald. Maybe he's around here somewhere? Oh, God, I would... Can someone please tell me who that guy is with the gun? Please. He's not even here, like, didn't he, like, pop up and shoot him? I can't even go upstairs. I feel like this scene is missing a lot of characters that were in the previous one, which takes place after this, immediately afterwards. Also, can we talk about whatever the fuck's going on here? <laughs> oh, dear. Who are you? Do we know who you are? Oh, you're, you're Charles. Okay, we don't know how, quite how you died just yet. Although it doesn't look very good. We found Charles. Who are you? Uh, you're another guy and you exploded. Okay. Here we go. Oh, these are all the, uh, the midshipmen. Knifed unknown. Okay. Oh, dear. All right. Well, um, I guess we'll keep going then. Hopefully we'll find out the guy who shot the guy on the other side of this. Oh, this is getting complicated. Um, oh, here we are. Oh, we're gonna find out how you died. <laughs> Which would be good. I- I want answers. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Alright, I want answers. <laughs> what is going on on this ship? Fucking hell, um... Let's see. Oh, God, where are we going? Oh, good God, oh... Oh, good gravy. Up here? Where? Here. Yep. <laughs> You're swirling all over the place. Make up your mind. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. This is the area we wanted. But what the fuck? Oh, here we go. Right. Okay. Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> Christ, what's happening? Oh, Christ, what's happening? Oh, my God! Okay, uh... Ooh. 
Uh, right O. But <laughs> shit. What's going on here? So there's a stabbing. There we go. Who stabbed him? Did you stab him? No, you were stabbing the crab. Okay. Crab stabbing. Uh, you... What's happened to you, though? Oh, you're on fire. That's why you used the water. Yeah, the graphics are a bit hard to tell, but that's why you were splashing water. Oh, no, wait. You're the surgeon. Who's the water boy? Uh... What the fuck? Why are there giant crabs on board now? First Krakens and now this shit. Alright, well, we know you burnt and What the fuck happened here? Uh, oh, dear. Oh, di oh, shit. Okay, well, someone's missing a head. Alright. What the fuck? Alright, everyone's got guns. Oh, wait. Were you the guy? You're the bald guy that maybe shot the guy. Yeah, you might be the one who shot the guy a couple of scenes ago. Hmm, possibly. That being said, I don't think I know who you are. There we go. Part five. Done. Charles Hershick, midshipman, uh, met an unknown fate. Well, we know he burnt to death. He's, he's got one triangle, so he is really easy to solve, so I don't, I don't feel proud about myself. But hey, you know, it's something. Right, uh, I mean, I think, he, yeah, he burnt. That's why they tried to douse the flames. Um, wait, burn, there we go, burned. Hey, there we go. <laughs> hey, we're doing all right. Well done. Three more fates correct. Okay, so, yep, okay, so he was the butcher. We were right there. Uh, yep, that was Charles Hirsch. Yeah, that was easy. There was only one other Charles, and it didn't fit that. Oh, and yeah, and that's Abraham Akbar. There we go. We're getting somewhere. Hey. Hey. Where? There we go. We're like one quarter of the way through the game. Uh, hooray. <laughs> We're doing all right, I suppose. All right. Let's find out what the next thing is. Actually, you know what? Can we determine where is the bald guy? There he is. This is the guy, I think, was who shot the guy in the first scene. Because that's, that's Hoskett, isn't it? Yeah, that's Hoskett. We've seen him before plenty of times. He gets up to all kinds of business. Oh my god. The spikes, they're everywhere. Why are there so many spikes? Okay, uh, who's this guy? Dunno. And we, it's blurry. We have no way of knowing. But I'm, once we find out who he is, we'll be able to know that the guy over there was shot accidentally by this guy, I think. Uh, so that's not helpful. Uh, oh god, um... Right. Yeah. Why are there spider crabs here? I don't get it. <laughs> oh, and yeah, there he is again. Oh shit, he was spiked. But that's not what killed him. Is that the... Yeah, that's the guy who died but was accidentally shot to death. He wasn't spiked. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing the uh, events played out the way they did. I would have assumed he got spiked to death in the kidney by the... by the crab monster. Okay. But no, he was, he was shot in the... Shot in the back accidentally on the other side of this area. Well, let's see who's next. That's who, who's next to die. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, oh shit. All right, one of these. Oh no, both of these guys. We're going for another two for today. Two people died in this scene. All right, let's go. Boom. What's the point in doing this when I'm like standing right over the bodies anyway? You're just gonna take me on this, yeah, merry little stroll around, and then I just go back to where we were. Yeah, all right. Righty o. So we've got two guys. Uh, yeah, they're not doing too well. But ah, oh, I clicked it again. <laughs> yeah. burp, burp. All righty. Jesus Christ. We're no use. Oh, vaguely Scottish. Burn it quick. Oh, that's why they set- try to set it on fire, maybe? So it's not- It's not- Oh my- Oh cr- Oh my god! Ah! What the fuck is that?! It's not just a crab, there's a dickhead on top! Who the fuck is this guy?! Oh, no, that needs a marine. That needs a marine. Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no! No! Yeah! The fuck is that?! Um... Yeah! Yeah, what the fuck is this?! Oh my god, I oh, don't like these things. Uh, but here are our two victims. Um, here we go. They've seen better days. Jesus Christ, apparently I'm supposed to know- Oh, that's the surgeon's assistant, right? Yeah, there's the- No, not the surgeon- Yeah, the, uh, yeah, that was the surgeon's assistant. And there's the butcher. Oh, and that's the part where he says, burn it! And this fucking idiot tried to set it on fire, and then, oh my god. 
and then I think you died to the fire. I can't remember. Oh my god, what happened to you? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, wasn't ready for fucking crab battles with demons riding on them. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know who the second fellow is, but I do know who James Wallace is, surgeon's mate. Met an unknown fate. Uh, we know he was de uh, decapitated, yes. I think he was... I mean, there is Claude, isn't there? There is Claude, but I think his head was taken off. We saw his head separated from his body, so we'll go with that. By a beastie. There we go. We can always change it later if that's wrong. <laughs> fucking hell. This is fucking crab bastards. What's going on? I don't like this. Uh, who's this and how do they die? Um... Well, also decapitated, probably, <laughs> by a beastie. I just don't know who it is yet. Um, apparently, I should know who it is. Oh, he's got, like, three triangles on him as well. Uh, where is he oh, in relation to this picture? Oh, yeah, that's not helpful. He could be anyone. All right. Um, what did they say again? Well, no use. Burn it quick. Okay, that didn't work. All right, we're getting somewhere, I guess. <laughs> who were you again? Who are you again? Oh, you're one of the midshipmen. Okay. Um, what the actual fuck is this? <laughs> I don't like it. It's not just a spider crab. It's a seaweed demon riding a spider crab. Don't want it at all. Don't want it. Uh, why? First Krakens and now this. Holy fuck nut. All right. Um, oh, you got spiked. Oh, you're the one. Yeah, you're the one who got shot accidentally. Um, all right. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is going on? Is anyone over here? Who are you? Oh, you're that fellow with the hat. I still don't know who you are. You're the gunner. No, you're not. You're, um... We don't know who you are yet. There we go. Oh, here's this guy. Yeah, he's the one who accidentally shot the other guy. There's the gunner. He's passing out guns, as is his job. <laughs> he's Austrian. Get all the guns out there now! <laughs> Alright, what the f Oh, God, there's more of them. Hang on. There's, there's Hoskett again. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there's spikes flying. Oh my god, they shoot spikes everywhere. Oh, shit. Um, what the fuck? I thought that, yeah, these are his legs. Oh, he can turn his head very far back. Oh my god, those are his eyes. Or well, maybe that's just where he's shooting the spikes out. Oh my god. Oh my god, but wait, there's more. Oh my god. Why the fuck is... No. Just no. Oh, oh, hey, shit, look at this guy. He's got a scimitar, he's got a turban on. Oh, dear. Who's this fella? Oh, we should know who it is as well. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Oh, fuck, hello, you. Are you alright? God, I don't think we've seen you before. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Alright, what happened to you there? Oh, you're this fella, okay. Um, oh, God, he got pierced right through the heart. Um, guess we'll see how he dies later. I guess he doesn't die at this particular moment. There's this fella as well. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a lot of deaths. <laughs> Who are you again? Uh... Wait. Oh, no, you're this officer. I thought you would have been, like, one of the little guys. No, you- well, you weren't wearing a hat, so I didn't know if you are important or not. This guy's fucking badass, though. <laughs> Look at him. So he's probably Indian, given the turban and all. Uh, can we make a guess at that, then? Whoopsie daisy. Can we make a guess at that, then? This unknown soul. Uh, France. Definitely not France. Uh, definitely not Formosan. Uh, oh, he could be Persian. Yeah, he could be Omid Ghul, I guess. He's a topman, so we'll wait and see if he climbs some ropes and shit. Um, uh, that being said, I'm not seeing any Indians left. Oh, wait, there's one. Yeah, ship steward. Well, he's not wearing a shirt, but I mean, he is in the middle of battle. So yeah, we'll, we'll come back to him. We'll come back to him. Fucking hell. Hell of a way to uh, meet the locals, huh? Bloody hell. Um, all right, let's move on to the next one, I guess. Bong, where are we going? Uh, oh, we're going to find out what happened to you next. Okay. All right, well, I'm, I can't wait. I can't wait to find out what happened to you. All right, off we go on our merry journey of, uh, of, of uh, macabre Lovecraftian horrors here. Bloody hell, we really are doing a tour de force of mythological bastardry here. Uh, where is he? 
Where's his body? Jesus, all this stuff happened on the gun deck. Oh god, no, 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 come back! <laughs> I don't know where you are. Uh... Hello? Oh god, I lost it. Hello? Are you sure I want to be up here? I think most of the action took place down here. Uh... I've, I've lost my spot here. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Hello? I think we should be down here. Uh... Oh, no. Okay, maybe we went a bit too far in some places. Hello? Damn it, I lost the trail. Where's the body I'm looking for here? Um, wait, if I just look to the place where he ought to be, right? Wasn't he, like, spiked somewhere over here? He was spiked somewhere. Is this the trail? No. That's just a light source. Uh, maybe in here? Nope. Okay. Um, I really wish I hadn't left it behind now. Maybe if I just really walk away. <laughs> Please show me where to go next. Um, Gura's still out there. Alright. Right, let's just head down here. Oh man, I wasn't following the trail. Wait, I can check in the book, can't I? Uh, damn it! I keep pressing the wrong button. Uh, Soldiers of the Sea. Next chapter is... Part 3. Oh, I don't know where it is. I mean, I, I have the vaguest idea of where to go next. Um, can I just... Yeah, I guess I'll just revisit one of these. That's the cow skull. Don't need that. Hmm, where's the body I'm looking for? I mean, they did tell me to go up, but I don't know why. Why do you want me to go up here? Oh, is this him? Uh, possibly. I don't know. Is this the guy we're looking for? Oh. Oh, that was a foreign language. I've got to go back to that. Oh. Oh. Hey! Come on, boss! No! Get there! Hey! Cats! Oh! Oh no! Shit! <laughs> Look out, boss! Bleh! Oh no! Alright. Well, you got spiked in the dick. Oh god, I really hate these things. These fucking things. Look out, boss! Oh, and this is where this guy got spiked in the shoulder. I guess maybe he's not dead. Um... Yeah, he's a bit blurry. We don't know who he could be just yet. Hmm. Don't like these things. Oh, he tried to throw an axe at him, but it didn't uh, didn't quite work. Um, oh shit! <laughs> this is no good. Oh, he is an officer as well. Oh, look at this hiding dickhead. Oh, and this guy is his uh, his steward as well. It's a pity we don't know who one of them is, so we can figure out who the other one is. Um, oh, who are you? Um, oh, that's isn't that the uh, the Dane we determined who it was earlier on? Yeah, this is a pretty small scene. I guess this is where the crabs first arrived. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's have a look at that transcript, because there was a foreign language there that I should probably look into. Oh, here it is. Um, un demon. A demon. Oh, that's probably... That's probably uh, Danish. From the... Yeah, the fella from Denmark. Okay. Oh, that uh, I thought that was going to be helpful. I guess if you didn't get the clue from earlier on with him calling him a Dane, I guess that's another way you could have figured it out. Out of the way. Beat to quarters. Enemy on board. What's going on? Stay back. It's, al it's already done for, Nick. Come on, boss. No, get down. He. Hey, catch. Okay. Come on, boss. No, get down. Okay. So he's a subordinate. And the guy... This guy's his boss, I guess? And he, yeah, and he threw the axe, that's why he said, hey, catch! Oh, I forgot to uh, mark him down as being spiked to death. So this is his boss, that might help narrow some things down. Here, catch! Yeah, that's the axe, there we go, alright. Um, I know he was spiked, so... Here we go, spiked. Or speared. Spiked is more accurate, though. Yeah, spiked by a terrible beast. Hmm... Alright. Okie dokie. Yeah, not much to go on. I, who could these two people be? Uh, can't really tell by their outfits. Seamen, perhaps? Hmm, not sure. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going for now. Um, 
Uh, right. Body up here. Who the fuck are you? Oh, I can already tell you got speared by something. <laughs> this guy got speared. That's- that's beyond spiking, my friend. Where are we going? Oh, God. Follow the spectral fart trail of justice. <laughs> Damn, being an insurance investigator really is tough, but I guess it's a lot easier when you've got a pocket watch that tells you how people died. Where are we going? Come on, boy, let's go. Show me, show me where we're going. There we go. Who's a good, who's a good pocket watch? Right. Here we go. Right. Oh. 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 Uh, oh, shit. Oh, this is where they boarded the ship. Oh, my God. Okay. So we've got this guy who was speared. Let's just record him as speared now. Apparently we're supposed to know who this guy is. I don't know. He's also got one triangle. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who he could be. There we go. So he got speared right through there. And everyone's like, oh my god, what the fuck is this? <laughs> ah, <laughs> what is going on? Oh, this stripey man. Stripey shirt man. There we go. There we go. I'm apparently supposed to know who this guy is as well by now. Oh my god, they're wielding spears. Oh my Christ. God, imagine these fucking things just climbing up on your boat. Thank God it looks like there's only two of them though. Although it looks like two is enough. Oh my God, who's this? <laughs> Someone's thrown around. I'm supposed to know who he is. I have no idea. Maybe he fell from, from the ropes here and he's a topman. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We have no choice. Okay. We are coming along, I suppose. Right here. Let's see, location of corpse, etc, etc. Who is this? How did they die? Well, um, apparently this is an easy one. Uh, he was fucking speared, wasn't he? Hang on, uh... Uh... Oh, I can scroll as well. Um... Uh, speared. We'll go with this by a beastie. Hmm, let's check the transcript again. Bloody devil, another one over here. How do I... How am I supposed to know who he is, though? Alright. Oh, well. We'll figure it out in a tick. Bong! Where are we going? Uh, oh, we get to find out who this guy is. I mean, we really ought to know. How did he end up in this predicament? Yep, that's me. I'm sure you're wondering how the hell I ended up in this situation. Crab bastards. Oh dear. You've either got cancer or you've got crabs. Either way, say goodbye to your pubes. Oh, where are we going? Oh, he fell down here. <laughs> How am I missing all these bodies just walking on the ship? Unless I'm just bringing them into existence with my pocket watch. Okay. Let's figure out what happened here. Oh. oh. The wind is alive. Oh, shit, what happened there? Oh, oh we're on top of the sails now. Oh, someone was electrocuted up here. Hey, I see someone. How you doing there, buddy? There's the door. Oh, we're up nice and high now. Oh, there's a crab bastard. He's looking up at me. <laughs> there's the other crab bastard. Here we go. So who are you? Who are you? You were uh, not having a good time. <laughs> oh, shit. All, all the top men are here. Well, maybe most of them. Yeah, God, everyone's on the sail. Oh, this is going to be immensely helpful. Oh, finally, a scene with all the fucking topmen are. That's great, thank you. This ought to really help out. Holy shit, yeah, this is gonna be really helpful. Um... Yeah, they're all here. They're all here. Well, probably not all of them, but most of them. Yeah, shit, I'm gonna scour this scene for fucking hours. I'm gonna check every last motherfucker here. Hmm, should be relatively simple, I think. Here we go, soldiers of the sea. Who is this and how did they die? I don't know. Oh, three triangles. Okay, well, I know he was electrocuted by a lightning strike, so there's that. An electrocuted is an option. Beyond that, I don't know. Uh, apparently, I'm supposed to be able to figure it out by now. Main sail hauled up, secure the braces and lower the top sail. Work fast, the wind is alive. <laughs> it gets fucking electrocuted, that's great. Um, all right, uh, yeah. I don't know how we're supposed to know this, but 
I don't know. I guess we'll have to figure it out. <laughs> we'll just have to figure it out. Um, all right. Um, uh, wait a minute. Have I got a sound bite for this kind of situation? Oh, yeah, I do. Yes, <laughs> so someone was electrocuted. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's related to the crab people, but it might as well be. <laughs> At this point, everything is the fault of fucking supernatural causes now. Yeah, I don't know who that is, but um, reasonable to believe he's a topman. So, you know what? I'm going to take the opportunity to have a look around. Right, uh, who are you? Um, right, we got you. We've got you. Did we find out who you are? Oh, we know you're Wei Li, although we don't know how you died just yet. We'll figure that out. We do actually know he's Wei Li. I guess from his hammock or something. Who's this fella? Oh, it's the Turban Boy. Hang on, oh, I can't see him. Oh, yes, I can. Hang on. There we go, just barely. Who is Turban Boy? He is a Topman. Now, hang on. He's got a Turban. Let's check all the Topmans. Okay. Because I'm thinking, hang on, Topman, Russia, England, uh, New Guinea? No, no, Turban's not in New Guinea. Definitely not England, China, definitely not Scotland. <laughs> I'm not wearing that. Um, yeah, I'm actually going on a limb here to say that the uh, guy in the turban is the Persian Topman Omid Ghul. That being said, I don't know what happened to him yet, and he gets three uh, triangles, so maybe finding his fate's going to be very difficult. I like that selection, though, because, I mean, we don't have any Indians left. Oh, we do have one left, actually, and he's not a Topman, so we know that. Right, how about the rest of them? Um, how many... hang on. Oh, that's Wei Li. Oh, and he's a Topman as well. Yeah, we already know who he is. What about this fella? This is... Uh... oh no, he's Chinese as well. How many Chinese Topmen are there? Let's find out, um, because we got one of them, more or less. Oh, fuck. There's four of them. Oh, no. There are four Chinese topmen. How am I supposed to know which one's which? Oh, okay. We figured out Wei Li. It's not going to be that hard, but let's see. We've got, we've got Wang Li. Okay. It could be him. Where are the other Chinese topmen? Okay. We know him. How about this one? That's this fella. Is he even with the other Topman? Maybe he's a seaman. Yeah, it might. But no, he must be a Topman. Why would he be up here otherwise? We have this fella. Oh, it's Knife Boy. We have encountered Knife Boy, everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can uh, maybe correctly identify him then. Um, although that doesn't really help because, hang on. Um, yeah, that doesn't help. We know he's a Topman, but... Um, but he's not one of the Russian card players. Oh, yeah, we can find out who the Russian card player is, maybe. Um, yeah, Scotland, England. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, oh, well, okay, he's definitely not Chinese. Probably not New Guinea. England, England, Scotland. I mean, it could be either one of these three. But not the Russian. We know that. Hmm. God damn it. Why do there have to be four Chinese topmen? Oh, God, Why? Why? If it, why do it have to be four of them? This is not fair. China is asshole. I know. I hate everything. Um, they kind of hang out with each other, though. I noticed. Um, uh, uh, yeah. So they seem to be like sorted either by by their uh position on the ship, their their role, or by race. Because I mean, these are all seamen, but they're also all Indian as well. So they're all together, but. Meanwhile, these guys are just all hanging out with each other. These are all probably topmen. And we have... Oh, these are... Yeah, all the waifus are passengers as well. So they're all there. Probably also a passenger. Uh, that's the surgeon's mate. Oh, there's Nunzio who was... Who was uh, murdered. He was the murder victim, wasn't he? Uh, we got this fella here. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, we can kind of narrow it down if we work real hard at this. Don't know who this is, but I'm going to use this opportunity if we can find the Russian guy. If we can find the Russian. And, oh, yep, we got him. We got him. It's the bearded Russian. Okay, and he must be a topman because he's up here. Okay, and we know he was shot. We just don't know by who yet. He was shot by a woman, wasn't he? If we can figure out who the women are, that would be great. This unknown soul. Um, Yeah, he's Russian. He's, he's playing cards with the other Russians. So hang on. Russian... Topman. Ah, this is probably Leonid, uh, Leonid Volkov. 
The other Russian is a seaman, so he wouldn't be up here. So by process of elimination, I would say that's the topman since he's up here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know who shot him yet, so that's not helpful at all. Um, but we're getting there. We are actually getting there. Because we've got this guy. He's not Chinese. This guy is. This guy is. And did I spot another one? Uh, yeah, Chinese topman. Chinese topman. Chinese topman. And there's a... Oh, God, there's a fourth one, though, isn't there? That eh, largely helps. That's sort of helpful, I guess. Oh, wait, hang on. I missed the guy down here. Um, who's this? Is this also a Chinese topman? Let's see. This unknown soul was torn apart. Doesn't look Chinese, though, does he? Also, the tattoos are a bit garish. Oh, shit, I didn't even think about that. Okay, if he's a topman, let's see if we can figure this out. Um, topman. Here we go. Uh, so... Uh, probably not Persian, although might be. Um... I don't know. Scotland, China, China... Yeah, I'll come back to this, I guess. Um, right. I guess for now we're good. Oh, is that the other topman? I wonder if I can see him from here. Uh, uh, come on. Eh, no, nah, I'm too far away. Oh, well, there'll be other opportunities. There'll be other opportunities. Right. Um, oh, is that the final chapter? Yeah, that was part one of Soldiers of Sea. Oh, my God. What a chapter that was. <laughs> Fucking crab people. Um, don't like them. <laughs> I'm Jesus Christ. And was that before or... Hang on, that was Soldiers of Sea... Oh my god, that was shortly before the Kraken. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, oh, we still have other chapters to see here. Um, uh, but it's it's kind of snacky time now. Which ones have we found yet? We've, uh, we've not found chapter one. A bit of cold, we've done that. Uh, we've done the murder, definitely done that. Uh, the calling. Not done the calling. Unholy captives, not done that either. Soldier to see the Doom Bargain is the one that's not available until we leave the ship and return the book to me. Oh, okay, so we have to leave the ship first before we can do the bargain. And then we have the escape, which we've definitely already done, and, of course, the end, which was the first one. So, yeah, we've only got a few more chapters to go, and then hopefully everything will click and make sense. Hopefully. <laughs> there we go. Auto-saved. Thank God for that. I, I was going to say, like, is there a saving of any kind? No. Probably not. Um, all right, well, um, let's put this on hold then. It is one o'clock and let's go to snacky time. Why not? I mean, I could use something to eat. Why not? Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, I need some sugar, need some LCMs. Let's go. Oh, that's tasty. Mm. Oh, that's very tasty. Nice, right, nice, Oh, how we doing, everybody? We all right? Are we okay? I have a sneaking suspicion that YouTube chat is dead. Let me just get a pop out on that. In fact, I'd like to take the opportunity to check on my cat, if you will allow me. I don't know where she is right now, and I'd like to check on her and make sure she's okay. Oh, my God. Oh, I have missed some YouTube stuff. Help, my friend has been sending me cursed South Park fan fiction. Some make me want to end a t eat a Tide Pod. Oh god, don't do that. Um... Can I get some timestamps on those? Oh my god, that was hours ago. Apologies, Rainbow Unicorn Girl, but uh, YouTube chat seems to have fucked up. Can I make a pop-out chat of that? Pop-out chat, there we go. There we go. I just want this so I can... Well, well where's Pop-Out Chat? Oh, there it is. There we go. Sorry about that. Now we can actually see what the YouTubers are uh, up to properly. Yeah, Restream Chat's kind of buggy right now. Alrighty. Yeah, I think I'll check on my uh, cat buddy. I think I'll do that. Here we go. Test. 
Oh, there we go. Should be fine. Oh. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, like I said, I'll be back in a tick. I'm just going to check on the cat and see if she's alright. I'm sure she is, but just in case. Yep. I better eat this guy and not choke to death. I'm a bit dry. Some water might help. Oh my god. There we go. Ah, now bear with us, I'll be back in a sec. Just checking on old Catum. And nobody's back as well. <laughs> I had to check on the Catoms. She's fine. Just having a sleep. That's why she's so quiet. Oh dear, but we are back. Alrighty. We are back with a vengeance. <laughs> Alrighty. We are back with a vengeance. Hello. Alright, well. I guess we better get back to it. But before we do that, there is something we have to do first, of course. Oh boy, I love it every time. Well, hey, hey, everybody, guess what? It's that time once again for the Gib Shopping Network. Oh, goodness gracious me, I love it every time. So, me from the past, can you do everyone a huge favour and sell them some things they might be able to buy or maybe not? I don't know. Thanks for the reminder, me. Today on the Gib Shopping Network, we have this charming method of drifting across the water in macabre style. Open the lid and hop right into your own coffin pool floaty. Six and a half feet of watery leisure that ensures you won't end up six and a half feet underwater. This flotation device is just what the unhinged summer fun aficionado was hoping for. Inflate it as you would any other floaty and off you go, drifting on the surface of the calm as your frontier. It also doubles as a handy real coffin should you wish to expire at sea. Here we see relatively tolerable YouTube personality Asmongold trying it out. Uh, is he still alive there? Oh yes, he's just fine. Thank goodness, we don't have insurance for this sort of thing. This highly visible and comfortable solution to not drowning is usable in both pools and the open sea, and can be yours for only six dark coloured pieces of coral. Now that's a deal to almost die for. Don't let your relaxing aquatic escapades go unremarkable. Be the talk of the town, specifically the local beach patrol and undertaker, with the coffin pool floaty. Back to you, me! Oh, thank you very much, me, and yes indeed, that is, uh... That's uh, awful. <laughs> it's bloody awful. <laughs> it's a fucking coffin floaty. It is a fucking right now. Coffin floaty. Oh my god. Oh, will miracles ever cease on this fucking shopping network? Look at it. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's just all in good fun, really, isn't it? At the end of the day, that's just a that's a hell of a purchase. I uh, buy it or don't. I guess there's that. And now back to regularly scheduled programming with more Return of the Obradin. It's absolutely a thing. Oh boy, and we're back. <laughs> Dio's Ocean Transportation. Oh dear. Oh dearie, dearie me. Oh, but we are back though. We are back. Let's get the, the game back on. Oh, we can change the colours as well. Just for funsies. I like this one. Yeah, the IBM is a fun one. Yeah, look at that. Oh, uh, it still kind of fucks with my eyes a bit. <laughs> still uh, not great. Oh yeah, and I wanted to mess around with this as well. There we go. Hang on. Uh, controls. Uh, look sensitivity. Perfect. Let's go a parody of control. Just for funsies. I've got plenty of control. What are you talking about? I don't even have to set, uh, set my polling rate any lower. There we go. My DPI is still set at a thousand. You all really want me to play the emulated version tomorrow, huh? Um, I don't know what emulated version... I don't know what uh, what game you were even talking about, but if it's if the emulated version is going to be the best version no matter what. <laughs> Alright, I'll send... 
control back to perfect. There we go. Controls view. Yeah, okay, that's all good. All right, uh, let's get back to it, though. Um, shit, we've still got some chapters to go. Oh, Soul Calibur 2. Yeah, probably just emulate that stuff. Probably just emulate it. Uh, all right. There's still a Gura out there. I don't know why she's out there, but, you know, she's, she's, she's out there. Fucking hell. <laughs> all right, um, let's get our book out. Um, I really want to do chapter one. Um, let's see, what haven't we done yet? Uh, the calling... That's bef Oh, hang on. The Calling and Unholy Captives are sort of in the same spot there. So yeah, let's try and start with Loose Cargo so I can actually get some semblance of, uh, of, of, uh, uh you know, uh, cr cr chronological events playing out. That would be nice. Loose Cargo. Um, let's see when that happens. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's only a couple of parts to it. That's good. Um, yeah, only two parts. On the cargo deck. Let's go to the cargo deck. There we go. Here we go. Let's go to the cargo deck. I'm playing every Soul Calibur game this month, uh, except for Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast because I did all that already. Ah. Nice. Yep, yep, I can go down here. It's not just a hole in the ground. Cargo deck. Is that the right place? Cargo deck. What am I even looking for? Loose cargo. Okay, did I finish? I think I finished everything. The calling. Yeah, I forgot to check. Did I actually finish Soldiers of the Sea? I think I did. Uh, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, part six, part seven, part eight. Oh, hang on a sec. No, I didn't. I didn't finish Soldiers of the Sea. Well, why did they tell me I was finished with it? Oh, I guess they didn't. They didn't do the thing. Okay, right. Um, part eight on the cargo deck. Well, I am in the cargo deck, so let's see. Um, ah, fuck, there's so many bodies here. How am I supposed to know which one I haven't hit yet? <laughs> oh, no, fucking bot. Well, it's a good thing nobody's here. <laughs> First bot of the day. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, well, you know, it, it's its ears were burning, it knew, it knew you were back, and there you go. <laughs> Fuck you, bot. Oh, dearie me. Oh, you missed the crab people. That was great. Fuck you! Oh, the crab people were great. Um, here's a, yeah, here's the remnants of the crab battle. Uh, that was fun. <laughs> um, wait a minute, there were two of them. Yeah, there was a body. Oh, this was shortly after the, um... Oh, no, wait, no, sorry, I'm in present day, okay. Yeah, there's gonna be corpses that are just piled on top of each other. Um, where's the other crab gone? That's what I want to know. There were two of them. Okay, where is this then? Hmm. I don't know. Alright. Let's head down here then. Why not, indeed? It, here we go. Hmm. Wait, have we even been here before? I think we have, but... Oh, no, wait, we haven't. This is a new deck. We're playing with a new deck, everybody. <laughs> We're playing with a new deck. Oh, dear. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, I found the other crab. It's all right, everybody. I found the other crab. It's all right. I found the other one. Oh, and it counts as a dead body. Wait, I see the spear, but where's the... Why did they wrap it up like this? Why is it in here? Where's the bastard riding the crab? Oh my god. Alright, um, I think we've found the last part of Soldiers at Sea. I don't know how we were supposed to find this, but alright, here we go. I mean, they- I guess they did say go to the cargo deck, yeah. Alright. Well, this is the last part. Oh. Oh. Boom! Oh my god! The fuck is this? Oh, okay. Well, you got stabbed a whole bunch. And you're that guy, right -o. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. We fucking eviscerated the shit out of him. There we go. We got this guy. Oh, he's back again. Oh, he's got his spear. He loves using that thing. Except when he uses a gun to accidentally shoot someone. Oh, that's Omid. Assuming that is actually Omid. What the fuck happened here? Hey, there's someone else here. Hang on. Oh, oh I don't like the snippy snips. I don't like them. There's this guy. He didn't die here. There we go. We've got... Oh, this guy again. He's a topman. We know that now. Oh, no! He's grabbing my spear. <laughs> oh, my God. What did he do? Oh, he shot him with a blunderbuss. Holy fuck. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Also, you should make a few characters in SC6 if you haven't. On the 30th, I'm having a creation thing. I might do that, yeah. Oh. 
I don't know. Depends on how much time I got. Um, I'm going to be very busy the next couple of months uh, on things not stream related for once. So hopefully I can tune in for that. A hideous monster perished, but simultaneously simultaneously with a brave but unfortunate soul. Who is he and how did he die? Well, he seemed to have gotten spiked, so let's go with that. Uh, here we go. Spiked by a terrible beast. Don't know who he is, though. He had a blunderbuss, though. <laughs> we know that. Uh, hmm, that's about all I've got. Is that all? Oh, dear. Well, there's that. All right, done. Uh, yep, that's that's all she wrote. There we go. Um, and yeah, now we've finished the chapter. Wait, where's the door? It's on the other side, maybe? Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, I thought we were done with this chapter, but no, apparently we had a dead crab to scan as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. Now we're finished. Soldiers of the Sea has a lot of dead people in it. Shit. A lot of dead and not a lot of uh, miscommunication on uh, people being dead. Or, or not being dead. Yeah, no disappearances this time. Just all crab battles. I fucking hate it. All right. Uh, well, cheers for that. That's fantastic. Now, um, now that we've finished Soldiers of the Sea, let's see if we can get this loose cargo chapter going. Uh, on the cargo deck. Well, we are here. On the cargo deck, we'll find something. Uh, do, do, do. Gotta find a dead body. Uh, gotta find a dead body. Do 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 do. Oh, oh, this is all locked up. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, I found it. <laughs> I found another leg. How the fuck do we find so many legs? This is ridiculous. <laughs> There's, we found a leg that was like up there, and now over here. Where do we find all these legs? This is ridiculous. Where would the? I guess we'll see where the leg ends up. It's ridiculous. Oh dear. All right. Well, let's just go with the leg here. And it, oh, hang on. What? Oh, hang on. Why don't I get my stopwatch out for a barrel? Oh, now I'm intrigued. Like, the, the, oh well, the barrel does have flies around it. Is it because? Wait, is my pocket watch saying like, hey, there's dead fruit in here? Oh, well, I guess we'll find out. Okay, I'm more intrigued about the barrel than I am about the severed leg. Let's go with that. Oh. 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 Nope. What happened? <laughs> oh shit. Uh, wait, who died here? Uh, it wasn't you. Uh, oh, it was you. Hello. You got squished. Uh, no, he's too fuzzy. He's too blurry. We don't know yet, but uh, what the fuck happened here? Ah, Loose Cargo is the name of the chapter. Oh dear. Oh no! There we go. Oh, that's, um... Uh, who was he again? Lars Lind, the seaman. That's right. Clubbed to death by an unknown attacker. There we go. Um, there we go. So, can't see anyone else. Oh wait, there's someone. Oh, that's Hock Seng Lao, the um, the uh, the Formosan guy. And then we got you over here. Who are you? Uh, oh, that's uh, one of the uh, Indian seamen. So much seamen going on. Right. Well, at least it's not related to the supernatural anymore. <laughs> oh dear. Ahoy! Why did that not go off? <laughs> Why did that not play at all? Oh my god. But we started loose cargo. Why did Ahoy not play? Alright. Loose cargo. Alright. The corpse was moved post-mortem into a barrel. Wait, what? Why the fuck would you store him in a barrel? On the cargo deck, an unidentified stowaway, expecting free passage and eventual freedom, was instead crushed while inside a falling barrel. Oh! Oh, there was a dead body in the barrel, and it was a stowaway. Oh, that's just the shittest luck. <laughs> Hoist away, lower away. Oh, yeah, I didn't even check the barrel. <laughs> there was a stowaway. Um, which means he's not going to be on the crew manifest, is he? So I guess... How am I supposed- Oh, I guess you just- I guess we don't care. Yeah, that's, we, we don't give a shit. <laughs> we don't give a shit. Why did Ahoy not play? I better check that. Hang on, I'll see if uh, I can get it to play now. Ahoy, matey. Sound bites. Hmm. Uh, is it uh, having some trouble today? I'll, I'll play another one. Here we go. Uh. 
Okay, that's weird. Blip, blip's not working. Why is Blip not working? Well, now might be a good time to check Blip. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Blurp, not Blip. It's Blurp. There we go. Why is Blurp not working today? Oh, I'm going to have to look into that. Um, I can just play the Ahoy, can't I? Uh, I guess I can do that. I could just play it. Yeah, I'll just play it myself. Here we go. Eh. There we go. Oh, it's got to be here somewhere. Ahoy. Where is it? I <laughs> oh, wonder why that's broken. Um, uh, is it this one? Is it this one? I think it's this one. Ahoy there, matey! Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> there we go. How you doing, Imagination Artist? Oh my god. We're doing great. We're solving mysteries. Although this one's taken a bit of a weird turn. Oh dear. Here we go. Channel points. Yeah, why is that broken? Maybe I have to get the link? Maybe I have to update the link now? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be this. Here we go. Ahoy there, matey! There we go. <laughs> don't know why it's broken. Don't know why it's broken at all. Hang on, test rewards. That would be great. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a bit weird. Test your reward. I'm trying. <laughs> uh, just enjoying my day off and about to have some red, white, and blue M Mike and Ikes. Mike and Ikes. I don't know what that is. Hmm, Mike and Ikes. Huh. Not sure what that is. Oh, here we go. Copy OBS URL. Copied. I might have to add a new one now. <laughs> I might have to do that. That seems a bit broken. Yeah, all right. Well, um, hang on. Let's see. Properties. Is this a different one? I'm going to try and fix it on the fly. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, nope, that's the exact same one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to check that later on. I'm going to have to check that. That's kind of annoying. That's very annoying, in fact. Don't know what's broken there, but I'll, I will look into it. Hang on, blurp sounds. Maybe I'm not getting any sound from it. I should. Um, yeah, that's a bit weird. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. God damn it, this is really annoying. Um, Alright, well, um, let's get back to it, though. Oh boy, Mike and Ike's is a candy in America. Why do I have a feeling I've heard of it before? I was surprised to learn lo uh, Super Scoop ice cream is a local thing. The flavors that I have is blueberry cobbler, vanilla ice cream, and cherry pie. Oh, very Twin Peaks. I like it. And uh, Nephi and I are good. She's having a sleep somewhere, I think. She's kind of like that. All right, an unidentified stowaway, yeah. I didn't even know about the stowaway. I thought they just stuffed this guy into a barrel. But no, dead person already in here. But <laughs> There was a stowaway in the barrel the whole time. And then they just sawed him over here. That's a bit weird. I guess they just never knew he was there at all. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. The next one is the guy who actually died in the scene. I'm so confused. Okay, so we saw a stowaway die. How did this guy die differently, though? He didn't. We saw him get crushed by cargo. What's going on? It was a seasonal item that was on clearance, so I grabbed five boxes. That seems like a smart move. If it's on clearance, get as many as you can. Oh. Yeah, this guy was squished. We already know what happened to this guy. Well, this chapter's weird. This chapter's very weird. Oh. Oh. No! No! Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, it was kind of muffled the first time around, so that's where the, uh, the stowaway is about to fall to his death as well. Hmm. We should know who this guy is as well, apparently. I don't know how we know. Oh, it's the exact same scene. This is the exact same scene, only, yeah, this guy hasn't fallen down just yet. Wait! <laughs> so, the Dane dropped the cargo on him, I guess. Or maybe one of these idiots did. Huh, alright. Other than that, I don't think we're getting any new information here. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, well... Hmm, yeah, interdasting. I wonder why we did that same scene twice, though. Did I, did I really have to know about the stowaway? Um, I mean, you could have done a different way to find this guy's body. I guess they would have gotten rid of him early on, because this is the beginning of the voyage, I guess. Who is this, and how did they die? Three triangles. Oh, God. All right. Um, well, he was crushed by cargo. There we go. That was easy. 
Don't know where he is, though. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Nope, no real clues there. Righto. So... Mm, some other people were present. I didn't even see half of them, though. I couldn't even really look at them. Oh, apparently you're supposed to know this guy. He's not fuzzy anymore. <sighs> Alright. Um, oh, and that chapter's done. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> That's all we had to do. <sighs> Alright. Well, I think we've learned everything there is to learn here. It's a very short chapter. I approve. Oh, get some super scoop ice cream, but it might might melt before it gets here. <laughs> if they even deliver there. Oh, there were two deaths and loose cargo. One of them was someone that was a stowaway and therefore not a member of the crew, and I guess we don't give a shit, so technically only one death. <laughs> one death on chapter one. Alright, that's handy. Um, right, yeah, that's chapter one. Uh, let's see what else we have to do. Uh, we've done a bit of cold murder. Oh, I haven't done the crawling or unholy captives. Uh, we did soldiers see the doom bargain escape the end. Okay, let's try the calling if we can find it. Um, let's see, how many chapters? A lot. <laughs> the calling has a lot, and we're working backwards again. Unholy captives. Wait, hang on, I can't seem to find any of it. The calling. Huh. Huh. Yeah, okay, maybe we can't do it just yet? Okay, I guess we have to do unholy captives first. Alright. Strange that they're locking us out of that one. Oh, maybe it's on a deck we can't reach yet. Yeah, that's probably it, actually. Maybe we can't reach the final deck just yet. All right, then. Uh, on the cargo deck. Oh, uh, the severed leg. Right, I forgot about that. Yeah, let's go to the severed leg. Let's, let's have a trip to the severed leg. <laughs> Fun for all the family. There it is. I found it. Um, apparently, we can see what happened to this severed leg. <laughs> Keep pressure here. Hold him down. Yeah. What's happening? is this 20 years my steward had never a doubt on your sanity huh. explain yourself those ungodly beasts carry a curse mm. throw them back or doom us all eh? is he talking about the crab people oh. put him in the lazarette with those things oh. he may yet find his senses come on oh that's foreign fine, what does that mean the worst part, I think Where's the rest of his leg? What language was that? Oh, I found it. <laughs> oh, here we are. <laughs> All right. Oh shit! Well, we found we found the guy who lost his leg, I guess. Uh, it's this fellow. All right. And then we have. Let's see who else is here. Oh, there's the surgeon's mate. There's the surgeon. And then we got who's over here? Uh, one of the stewards. Is he the? Is he the? Um, no, I don't think we've figured him out yet. That's the gunner, right? No, that's not. I keep... It's the top hat. It keeps throwing me off. Alright. Um, oh, we have the captain. He's there. There we go. We've got this fella here. Don't know who he is just yet. We've got Hoskett. He's there. And we've got this fella. He's being thrown into prison, I guess. For Oh, he's the one who cut off his leg, I guess. Alright. Oh, I can't find the leg. The leg's here somewhere. I could see the, the blood. <laughs> Alright. Now we did get some information there. Let's see if I can figure this out. We did actually get a lot of info there. Um, because the captain said something about his steward. So maybe... Yeah, we might be able to figure out who is who fairly quickly. Unholy captives. Let's go. Uh, here we go. Location of corpses here. Oh, I guess he died. The surgeon couldn't help him. I died from l l uh, l loss of leg. Just no more leg. Leg leg is gone. <laughs> I died from legless. Oh dearie me! All right, who is this guy? And how did he die? Well, how did he die? Uh, blood loss is not an option for some reason. Um, decapitated, drowned, alive, burned, clawed, club, crushed, eaten, electrocuted, expired, expired. Oh, no, it's specific. It's died from old age. All right. Uh, exploded. Definitely not. Fell, froze, illness. Killed with sword, maybe? Knifed, poison shot, spiked, spear, strangled, struck. Oh, no, that's very specific. With hooves, tail, or a wing. Suicide. No, uh, don't think so. Torn apart. Eh, technically torn apart. Hang on, let's go back to the scene. Can I 
just check something here. Uh, let's go back to the scene. Let's see. His leg was cut off. Ah! By a sword! There we go. By a sword. We know now. He was, he didn't expire from old age. He was killed by a sword. By an unknown attacker. Now, I think I know... I think I might know how to figure this out. You were so interested in the stowaway, you forgot about the leg. I know. Well, I, like I said, I was more intrigued by the fact that my my pocket watch was sensing a corpse in a barrel than the than the missing leg. Because we've already seen a severed leg earlier on. This is the second seven, uh, severed leg we've used to go back in time. <laughs> but, a, but a barrel? I didn't know what the fuck that was about. Um, let's have a look at the transcript again. Keep pressure here. Hold him down. What madness is this? Oh, yeah, that was the captain. Twenty years, my steward, and never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. Throw them back or doom us all. Time up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. Era dara, you fools. All is fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? All's fine, John. Okay, so I'm assuming the guy who's lost his leg is John. But I also want to see, like, hang on. Let's go and see our crew here. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So, if the cat assuming, yeah, the captain is the one saying that. I recognize his voice. And he's throwing this dickhead away. So, I'm guessing he's throwing his steward into the lazarette. Here we go. Who's this fella? <laughs> Clapping away. Having a great old time. Unknown. Uh, only two triangles. We should be able to figure this out. Leg time. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, steward. Steward. Let's see. Ship steward. Oh, Captain Steward. Here we go. Philip Dahl from Sweden. Hmm. Well, I don't know what... Hang on, where's the transcript at? Um. Uh, oh, God. Um. And to think I was... I, I thought I was getting used to this. Um, Unholy Captives. That's where we're at. Um. Right, uh, da, 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 da. there we go, uh, transcript. Uh, era, da, da, you fools, I don't know, yeah, don't know Swedish, so I don't know for sure. Uh, yeah, don't know if that's necessarily Swedish, but, hmm, yeah, he did say 20 years is steward or something like that. Sweden, yeah, I guess that's a reasonable assessment. Um... He's been thrown into prison, so he hasn't died yet, so we can't figure that out just yet. I'm sure he'll die soon. Um, and then we got him. Um, what was the name we were going with again? Uh, all fine, John. All right, let's see who John might be. Hey, come on, there we go. John is this guy. He's got a gun, so he's, he's he's part of the firing squad, which leads me to believe he's he's a seaman. So, killed by sword, unknown. Oh, well, we know who the attacker is. Here we go. We do know who the attacker is, and that's... Uh, where is he? Uh, here we go. Philip Dahl. Um, this unknown soul. Okay, let's find a John. Okay, we got John Davies, fourth mate, England. Don't think he's the fourth mate, though, is he? Well, we'll find out. John Davies. See if there's any other Johns. Um, no. Uh, no. Timothy... Marber. That's just one name for that guy. Oh, here we go. John Naples. Ah, he is a seaman. Don't know if he's from Wales. I don't remember him saying anything. Couldn't get a Welsh accent out of the guy. Uh, let's see if there are any other Johns. Okay, we've got a John Davies, who's the fourth mate, but he wasn't wearing... Yeah, hang on. Edward. Oh, yeah, no, he can't be the fourth mate. He He wasn't wearing an officer's uniform. So I'm going to hedge my bets, and I'm going to say... That it's more likely that he is John Naples, the seaman. Uh, hmm, don't know yet. Don't know. John Naples, the seaman, was killed with a sword by Philippe Dahl, the captain steward. Eh, alright, I guess we'll see if this pans out a little bit later on. Don't know if I can identify anyone else just yet. Um, who's this fella? Um, there's that fella. Yeah, see, he's wearing a... He's, what, what kind of uniform is that? Let's have a look at his proximity to other people. Um, oh, he's he's a steward then. He's wearing a steward's outfit. We know that because that's the first mate steward, third mate steward. Don't know who this guy is. <laughs> but yeah, safe to say we've found 
Nearly all the stewards. Isn't there a st Yeah, there's a steward over here as well, by the look of it. Because he's over here for some reason. Um, yeah, and I'm fairly sure that that's the purser. He's not wearing a uniform, and, you know, he was in the- he was in the purser's room, but that could be wrong still. Um, and these are the midshipmen. I still don't know the exact, um, identity of two of them, but that's alright. Um, I think we've done all we can for now, so let's move on to the next one. Next scene. Oh, where are we going? Gotta find another leg. Oh, here we go. What's this? Hey, there's more people here. Oh, we can't see who they are, though. Not right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Who the fuck are you? God, so many dead here. Uh, what? Oh, there we go. <laughs> what is going on here? So someone bled out from from a, a decap- from a, uh, a, an amputated leg shortly after someone else died. Oh, God. It's one death after another in this fucking place. <laughs> this is- this ship's not a good ship to be on. It's not like the good ship Lum Rum where no one ever dies. Oh, shit. Hey, there's Robbie. Yeah, I added him to the, uh... It's now that Frank FAC allows for, uh, a ton more slots for emoticons, I just leave him on permanently now. Got to- and then I did change my sound alerts, but, uh, apparently I'm gonna have to fix that, so, hmm. Don't know. Nobody has to get going again. You have a good one there, nobody. I'll see you soon. I- Oh, okay, what happened to you? Let's find out what happened to you. Did it. Alright. What's happening here? Oh, shit! <laughs> Ow! Oh, we had another loose cargo situation by the look of it. Who are you? Oh, that was, uh, the, uh, the, uh, artist, uh, thingy. Yeah, I've forgotten his name. E.S. That's his initials. There's the butcher, I remember him. Who is this fella here? Oh, that's, um, uh, Akbar. He's gone. Um, who's this fella here? He's got a hammer. There we go. Oh, he's been, he's been, uh, cleared up now. Who's this fella? Oh, he's been cleared up as well. Okay, they're not blurred anymore. I feel like I should be focusing on the actual victim here. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I should know who this is. Oh, wait, I do know who this is. This is one of the, uh, Indian seamen. And here's another one. And who is this? Oh, that's, uh, uh, the guy we just identified with the missing leg, Naples. And then there's that guy. Alright. More loose cargo, and then all of a sudden, the captain steward just sorted the other guy's leg off. <laughs> Why? What is going on? Hang on a sec, they mentioned- hang on, I, I gotta check this. Let me just check something here. Uh, the calling- the calling takes place before Soldiers of the Sea, so how the hell does the Captain Steward know anything about the unholy creatures? Like, how does he- yeah, hang on, if Soldiers of the Sea takes place afterwards and that's when the crabs b first appear, then how does that make sense? Where's the- why's the calling and unholy captives here and then the- oh, maybe- oh god, maybe there's something else. Maybe the crab people are not the only things we have to worry about. So we have crab people, we got a fucking kraken- oh, what's next? There's gotta be something else, isn't there? Rules of three. We're gonna have another fucking monster on board. That's great. Alright, uh, we know that's William Wasim, the seaman. Uh, I met an unknown fate. Uh, he got fucking crushed by cargo. May! All right, we got three right again. Well done. Three more fates correct. Which ones were they? There was that one, yeah, obviously. Uh, what else did we get right? Ah, there we go. We were right. That was John Naples, the seaman. Uh, also got James Wallace, the surgeon's mate, was decapitated. Oh, okay, good. There we go. Oh. Do, do, burp, burp. Yay, we're about a, a quarter of the way through now. Go us. <laughs> Shit, only, uh, three hours left to stream. Uh, we're not doing well for time. <laughs> Alright, but still, uh, not bad, I guess. At least we know who that guy is. Um, alright, so more cargo squishings. Who's this fella? Who are you? Oh, that's the purser. Yeah, he's just hanging out here with the animals. <laughs> alright. Actually, while I'm here, um, where's this on the ship? Hang on, map. Let's check the map here real quick. Uh, the ship. Where are we right now? Here we are. And right ahead of us- Ah, the carpenter shop. Ah, hence the hammer. Okay, hang on. We might be able to take the opportunity to solve a couple of other, uh, identities here. So... 
Oh, I would have to review the scene. I don't know who is who just yet. I have to re- but yeah, this is like... Yeah. I think we- I think we found the carpenter and his buddy. Because there's the carpenter and the carpenter's assistant. Ah, damn it. I mean, I guess I could just guess, but uh, I want to be sure, so all right. We'll come back. I just want to be certain. Oh god, where are we going now? Ah, more bodies. All right, more bodies. Excuse me. How do I even get up? Oh, hang on. Here we go. I can just barely see you. There we go. Okay. Next scene is over here, and then we have to go the long way because the spectral trail of death demands it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Oh, so many bodies. Oh, here we go. Who are you then? Let's find out. Oh, this is tough. I am not looking forward to some of these. Oh. So many dead. But oh no, what happened? <laughs> oh dear oh, I think we know why the cargo fell down now. What the fuck is this? Uh alright, well there's that. Um what happened to you then? <laughs> who are you? Alright, apparently we should know who you are then. Um Um Oh, he's Forkman. Oh, he's pro wait, hang on, no, he's not the butcher. We already dealt with the butcher. There we go, we got these guys here. Still don't know who some of them are. Oh, there's that fella. Oh my god. What even is this? Uh, I think we found a spiky dolphin. <laughs> what the fuck? We found one of them hellfish. Where the fuck do you think you're going? <laughs> who are you? Oh, it's the Captain Steward. Where's he buggering off to? <laughs> what is going on? There we go. Oh no, I don't have enough time to check everything. Who are you? Oh, fuck it. This game sure is neat. And it was made from the creator of Papers, Please, I know, that's why I kind of had to do it. Oh dear, I found it on the back burner for ages, and now I'm finally getting it done. Uh, I'm a bit short on time, and I've got so many more people left to uncover. I hope I figure out everyone. Who is this, and how did they die? Uh, let's see. Met with an unknown fate. Well, we know they were, uh, clubbed, I guess? Oh, by an unknown attacker? Wait, is clubbed... Uh, let's have a look. Torn apart? No. Spiked. Speared. Spiked, maybe? Did have a very spiky tail by a terrible beast. Yeah, that might be okay. I guess we'll find out. The game will tell us if we got it right. Now, I think we can figure this out. Hang on. Clear the deck. Move the... Uh, watch your footing. Hey there, what's this? Give them to me and I'll fry us or some meal for... Oh, yeah. See, that's the part I was I was thinking about. I can fry us up a solid meal, boys. One tick, gentlemen. There's a pretty shell here. Okay, that's not really relevant, but let me just have a look. We already got the uh, the butcher, but let me just have a check. Oh, uh, yeah, the cook. Here we go. Thomas Sefton, the cook. I mean, he carries a fork with him all the time, and he wants to cook up this uh, this dolphin with spikes on it. So, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, oh, yeah, we only just recently found three. Well, we'll see if this one's right or not later on. Um... Yeah, I guess that's all we can really do. No one was named or anything, so... Alright, let's go! What the fuck even is this thing? Fucking spike fish. Uh... How do I even... Oh god, how do I get up from here? Uh, oh, what the fuck is this? Okay. Alright, sure, why not? Why not indeed? Okay. Oh, now we can go up. Okay, yeah, that's easy. There we go. Alright. Where are we going? Where the fuck are we going? Oh, we're going over here. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, okay. There's a couple of bodies here. Right, oh. Okay. Alright, I guess we're going to see what this is about. Mighty O. Dip dip. Alright. Who is this? Who the f- Oh, who, who are these people? I think there's two of them. Oh. What the hell is going on? What do you 
know about yeah. these things? About the chest and your dead friends? This is me. Oh. Shell? Hmm. What shell? Probably should have mentioned the other stuff. Oh shit, what happened? What happened here? What the fuck is going on? Alright, we got a fish monster thing firing spikes. Why does everything fire spikes around here? Alright, who are you then? Someone died. Um. Oh. Oh, you're one of the uh, Formosan royalty. Here we go. Were you the second person who died? Or were you the second person? Oh no, you're the captain. You're fine. <laughs> uh, yep, you just narrowly escaped getting fucking killed here. Uh, you're still alive. Who are you then? Oh god, yeah, the spike just went right through both of them. Okay, I'm trying to have a look at him. Uh, who's this fella here? Hmm, not sure. Okay, oh, is that, uh, yeah, that's the guy we don't know about just yet. Oh, we have the spear. He's always got a spear, that fellow, doesn't he? Okay. Uh, okay, I'm beginning to understand why this chapter's called Unholy Captives now. <laughs> These abominations are here and they don't, they're not friendly. Alright, who is this and how they die? Well, at least we know how they died. Uh, they were both spiked, weren't they? Okay, uh, spiked. There we go. By a terrible beast. You were also spiked. Here we go. Beyond that, I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean, there's only two Formosans to uh, identify now, because we got these two already. So I could just take a stab in the dark, but I'll wait until I'm certain. Um, let's see. What are these monsters? Where are they from? You must tell us everything. Uh, the shell must be protected. We will all die. You talk about shell. Very dangerous. <laughs> It does, it's weird how he doesn't translate the other stuff, though. You should really tell the captain the most uh, important, uh, important information. Uh, it's rather pertinent to our survival, you see. Shit, I didn't see all these bodies here. Okay, there's the surgeon. Uh, Henry. I've forgotten his last name, but I remember his first name. Surgeon's assistant there, looking a bit mopey. Oh no, dead waifu. Oh shit, okay, so she is dead. We know that now. Um, let's see who else died. Oh, is that, uh, um, uh, the, yeah, the, the murderer, Edward Nichols. Yeah, he's dead. Don't know how they died, but we found their bodies. Okay, we also found him. We still don't know for certain who he is, but now he's dead too. Oh no, all the Formosans are dead. There was the one who was executed, there's Waifu, there's this guy, and now this guy. <laughs> oh, what a pity. Oh shit, he's missing an arm. What the fuck happened here? Uh, maybe I'm better off not knowing. Uh, what's happening over here, then? Huh. There we go. Not sure who you are. Uh, you're already dead? Yep. I mean, we're going pretty far in the past now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, apparently we should know who Spear Boy is as well. Um, right. Alright, uh, let's keep on going, then. Oh, okay, we're gonna go over here. Oh, okay. We're gonna find out what happened to Nichols, by the look of it. That shifty asshole. <laughs> he deserved to die. Alright. What are next? Uh, oh, that's it. We're done with unholy captives. Or, are we? Yeah, I guess we're done. Right, unholy captives is done. Uh, that's weird, though. Why are we done after finding a new body? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, but yeah, sure. Alright, five dead. That's always good. Oh, because oh, the next one's immediately afterwards. Maybe it's a continuation of what happened here. I'm not sure. Oh my god, there's Gura. She's alright. <laughs> Just doing her thing. Uh, where are you taking me? Where are we going? Oh, here we go. Oh, here's where the body is. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, don't worry, Gura will be back soon. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see you in a bit. Please don't kill us. Ah. Right, let's find out what happened to, uh, Edward Nichols. What a prat. Ahoy! Oh. Wait! Ahoy! I have treasure! Ahoy! But <laughs> Oh no! What happened here? Oh dear, oh, okay, fella over here. 
Oh, uh, looks like Nichols was shot. There we go, that's the end of him. What the fuck is this? Uh... Okay, it's not a spike fish, I think it's a... I think it's a, a mermaid. Oh god, is it dead rising two all over again? Uh... That's the... Oh, that's the guy who lost his arm. What the fuck is going on here? Who did the shooting? I should check that. Uh... Oh, it's the other Formosan fellow, okay. There's also... don't know who this is. What is going on? <laughs> Hey, I can walk on the water! <laughs> this is great! Time is frozen, I can walk on the water. Who's this fellow? Oh, we can now identify him, although I don't know who he is. Um, alright, let's check the other ship. Oh my god, oh, we found a dead wife, oh. Oh yeah, there's fucking- Oh, there's mermaids here! Oh my god, oh, they got six titties, this is great! <laughs> They're the stupid way around, but I'll take them anyway. Also, the, the super shiny treasure is here. The super shiny treasure is back again. Yeah, this is the treasure he was mentioning. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. A lot happened there. <laughs> Alright. A lot happened there. The calling. We will answer the call. Yeah, we're just immediately going into this chapter. And I believe this is the last chapter we have to do before... Well, we have to leave the ship to do the, the last chapter, don't we? Alright. Edward Nichols, second mate, met an unknown fate. He certainly did, he got shot in the face, uh, shot, with a gun. Uh, we don't know by whom, though, uh, we uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll figure that out soon. Oh yeah, if we figure out how the other Formosan fellow died, then by process of elimination we'll know the last guy, so that works. Oh dear. Here we go. <laughs> okay, ahoy, they're back! <laughs> ahoy! Uh, all right. Yes, wait, don't shoot. I have treasure. I'm honey. <laughs> Brett. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? Also, why did the Formosan guy shoot him? That doesn't make any sense. Three others were present. Oh, hang on. Oh, I know why he shot him. I just remembered Edward Nichols was the guy who murdered um, the Italian guy and then uh, uh, framed uh, the, the other Formosan for... Hang on a sec. Where's the photomograph? I mean the drawing. Oh, I can't see everyone. But yeah, the one who was, yeah, framed for murder. So yeah, he was probably like, I know what you did, Nichols, you prick, and then just shot him dead. Well, there's karma for you, I guess. All right. The corpse was moved, moved post-mortem. Um, all right. Not bad. Hey, you know what? I was just thinking. This guy's here. Is it a... Hang on. Let's check and see. Um, so we should be able to identify this guy now, but... I've just thought of a way that we might be able to do it. The map. Um, oh, I guess not. I can't tell which deck he's... Uh, w which room is he in. Okay, it was over here. Bosun, Bosun's mate, passengers. Eh. Nah, I guess that was wishful thinking. Um, I don't think he's the Bosun or the Bosun's mate. Although maybe... Yeah, it's possible. Fourth mate? Second mate? Nah. Well, actually, it depends. Are we... Where are we on the ship? We might have figured something out here. But I might have figured something out. Uh, get back to the map. There we go. So he's like over here. Don't know if second mate or fourth mate. Oh, well. It was just an idea. Oh, wait. Hang on. Here we go. Okay. So he could be the fourth mate. Uh, let's have a look and see. Because we're running out of officers to identify. This unknown soul... Yeah, well, we do need to know who the fourth mate is. He, oh, well, he is the last one. Actually, through process of elimination, that would that that's the easiest one to find out. <laughs> there are no other officers with the, the hat, so all right. I guess he's John Davies then. I didn't need to be that clever after all. We still don't know who killed him, though, so I guess there's that. Um, John Davies clubbed by unknown. Right, oh, um, psh, let's keep going. I'm still on the water here. I didn't need to be that clever after all. <laughs> Ah, uh, still, that was highly amusing. Oh, hey, we're going to find out who you are. Mr. Missing Arm. Who the fuck are you? Well, it'd be nice to know who the uh, last of the Formosans is. Okay. Let's hope whatever happened uh, on the boats here involved them yelling each other's names and how they died. <laughs> I don't want to be eaten by a shark. <laughs> I don't want to be groped by a mermaid. <laughs> Please help me insert name here. 
Alright, let's see if we can figure this out. Shouldn't really be that hard. I mean, honestly, I could just figure it out by just ad randomly adding names, but I want to be sure. Miss Lim. Oh, we already know Miss Lim's identity. Oh, down he goes. What the fuck happened to you? What the- Oh my god! Ah, oh, it's a mermaid! Who the fuck are you? Are you- Oh, that's Nichols, okay. Oh my god, what the fuck happened to you? Um... There's- Well, there's some fire coming out of there, so, uh, that's not good. Hmm. Okay, I wanna know where the fuck these mermaids are coming from. Uh, oh dear, waifu's seen better days. Um... Uh, I don't think there's anyone else here. Boom, 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 boom. This game's got a great soundtrack, I must say. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, there's not many people here, so at least we can... Still don't have an identity. I mean, he did say Miss Lim, so... We, know, we already know her identity, though, but at least we know how this fucker died. So we might be able to just brute force it after all. <laughs> just... Just force it. Just swap some names around. We might be okay. Alright, who is this and how'd they die? Well, it seems he his arm burnt off. Um, not entirely sure how that works, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he got burnt. Uh, here we go. Burnt. There we go. Uh, not sure who he is. Damn, you second crew Jones and Abel Seaman wide bottom for shooting me with this cannon full of cutlery. <laughs> oh, dear. Are you there, Miss Lim? Ugh, dead. Well, we know he burnt. This unknown soul burnt to death. Hmm. Oh, okay. We might still have a chance to learn some new things. Oh, hey, we're going to find out how Waifu died. Uh, she looked like she was fucked up. <laughs> Her face ain't right. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh, they're going to make me go the long way again, even though we already know where Waifu's body has been left. Right with the other ones. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have to go the long way. Oh, okay. There we go. Here we are. Oh, shit. This eye, this game really fucks with your eyesight. I just looked to, to my other monitor and everything that should be white is kind of pinkish. Oh, my poor eyes. All right. How did Waifu die? Let's find out. I have it. Hold on. What the fuck is going on? Oh, what the fuck is going on? Where the f how did she die? <laughs> uh, seems like she was in the same position as she was before. How do we? How are we finding out about her death now? Uh, uh, this guy's here now, though. Spiked in the neck. Who's this? Oh, Nichols is on this boat. <laughs> He's cowering away. Help me! <laughs> I am but a humble murderer. What the fuck is happening here, though? Fucking energy beams striking all of the mermaids? What's this here? Oh! Oh, that's how you burnt yourself. Oh, he's reaching in to get the treasure. And then there's... Uh, why is he burning to death? Alright, this is... Another fellow who's dead. And another fellow who's dead. Okay. Hmm. You know what? If this guy's a steward... Which he's got the steward's uniform. He's here with... He's... I mean, the, the the only officer here is Nichols, so... Unless I've already identified him, um, I think that might be his steward. I think. That would make the most sense. Uh, I guess we'll have a look. It's... That scene was supposed to be help helping me determine how she died. I still don't know. <laughs> the energy beam didn't hit her in the face. Um, I learnt more about other characters than I did about her. <laughs> to the lifeboats, women and children and cowardly officers first. Oh, murderous dickheads like Nichols. Um, I learned nothing about, uh, Bun Lan Lim. I learned nothing, but I... Yeah, let me just see. I have it. Hold on. Okay. Um, let's go to... Yeah, hang on, I want to scan other people. Is this the one we're looking for? Yeah, that's the guy. Let's see. Um, so, yeah, we've got first mate steward here, Paul Moss. Uh, did we correctly identify any of them? 
I think so. Third mate steward? Yes, there's a tech. There we go. So these are the stewards. We've got Paul Moss. Don't know who this guy is. Um, and we don't know who this guy is. Although we should. He, sh he should be... Th oh, hang on. Shit. Now that we know that this is John Davies by process of elimination. Well, okay. He's not in this scene, but we can at least say... I don't even know if he's dead yet. Um, um, yeah, we haven't seen him die yet. So this unknown soul... Well, okay. Yeah, this actually should be easy by process of elimination. If he's the fourth mate, then he must be the fourth mate's steward. Davy James from England. Met with an unknown fate. So we don't know anything about his death just yet. But we also have... Um, oh, hang on. Yeah, we also have this fellow. And by process of elimination, there is only one more steward left. Oh, well, that's the ship steward. Ah, mm, yeah. Well, I guess it's not going to be that easy after all. Um, oh, but no, hang on. The reason why I picked him is because, hang on, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Second mate is Edward Nichols. Second, oh, second mate steward, Samuel Galligan from Ireland. Okay. So, yeah, by process of elimination, and I am just assuming that he's his steward because he's going along for the ride, which makes the most sense. So, I'm going to say, yeah... Uh, do we know how he died? Let's go back. Okay, which one haven't we identified yet? Okay, this guy. So we got... Pretty sure your second mate steward, given your proximity to the second mate. That's first mate steward Paul Moss. We know that by his name. Um, third mate steward, that is correct as well. And he's with the fourth mate. So by process of elimination, this last remaining steward... Uh, we don't know who shot him, but someone shot him. Um... That leaves us... I hope I'm right on this. That's the ship steward Zungji Sathi? I mean, he kind of looks Indian, so yeah, that makes sense. He's the last remaining Indian that we have to identify, and... Yeah, he looks Indian compared to this guy, who... He, he looks like a dopey Irishman. <laughs> I know. Just ask some, some of my family members. <laughs> yeah, they do look kind of dopey. Yeah, he looks Indian, so yeah, now that I see that... Um... Is that the one that was shot? Yeah, the one that was accidentally shot by uh, someone I don't know yet. But we're getting there, we're getting there. At least I'm fairly certain we've identified all of these guys. I think we're right on that. As for you, I don't know what e what even killed you. Um, in fact, let's go back here. Can we actually sort of get an idea of how you got killed? Oh, shit. He's got something in his neck. Uh, I'd say, even though we haven't come across anything yet, I th that looks pretty fatal to me. <laughs> Um, here we go. Oh, wait, we haven't come across his death scene yet, so we can't, we can't force it, but, um, yeah. Yep, that doesn't look too good. <laughs> got a knife in the neck. Right, I'm, I'm fairly confident that we have at least all the identities of the, uh, of the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, stewards, so... All right, don't know what the energy thingy is, but they're smacking all the mermaids in the titties right now. Oh, they got their treasure with them. <laughs> They've all got their treasure with them. Oh, maybe it locks onto the treasure and then just goes brr and then like that. What even is this treasure anyway? Whatever it is, it's probably from another universe. Oh, well, let's go to the next one. Oh, hello, who's this? Hey, what do you know? It's the guy that we're looking for. He's up next. <laughs> I am all but certain we have the right guy. Oh, Hagen. Shoot them. Oh. oh, what the fuck is going on? Oh, we got a mermaid. We got a mermaid. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, this guy's been speared, so we know that. All right. What's going on here? Oh, oh now we know how the waifu died. In a scene that wasn't her own. She's just been clawed to death. Okay. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Well, oh, thrown overboard, thrown overboard. Nichols is still cowering. Hmm. But uh, this is the guy we're looking for, right? Ah, here's the one who shoved the knife in his neck. There we go. Just knife him. Who's this guy? Don't know. Jesus Christ. So there's two mermaids here. Oh, their treasure is- oh, I see what their treasure is now, they're little conch shells. They got little shells. Oh, that's an orb. <laughs> I was wondering what the fuck that was. Oh man, alright, so we've encountered a kraken, 
some crab demon people and uh, crab people demons and now mermaids. What the fuck? Oh yeah, there's the shell. Yeah, there we go. No points for guessing what the treasure is now. Okay, Samuel Galligan. We already know who he is just by process of elimination. And he's three triangles, really? He's not that tough. Well, you know, we know he was stabbed now. Uh, knifed by... Oh, we don't know. Wait, do we know? Do we, do we even know who this guy is? Is there, is there a chance we can know? He's still blurry. God damn it. All right, well, I guess we'll find out fairly soon. Uh, oh, and there's O'Hagan as well. O'Hagan, you're still breathing? Can you row? Help. So, Ni Nichols, shoot. Shoot them for God's sake. So, there's also an O'Hagan out here as well. Um, okay. Who's rowing then? Who's rowing then? Who's an O'Hagan? By process of elimination, there has to be an O'Hagan here. Doubt the Chinaman is an O'Hagan. <laughs> just a, just a, just a hunch. <laughs> Let's see. Are you O'Hagan? He's not blurry. Are you O'Hagan? Ah, oh, damn it. Wait, hang on. Do we know who you are? Yeah, you're the, you're the Russian. You're the Russian, uh, topman. Uh, seaman, rather. Yeah, we we identified you with the uh, the the uh, the tag on your uh, on your hammock. So, okay, well then, by process of elimination, uh, assuming this is Nichols, and it is, I guess this is Ho Hagen. <laughs> and he's he's asking him if he, he can row. Um, yeah, I don't think he can, there, friend. But <laughs> I think this is our Hagen pal. Um, yep, two triangles is not too tough. Right, where's O Hagen then? Um, let's see. O'Hagan. Where is he? Oh, here we go. Patrick O'Hagan from Ireland. He's a seaman. Um, so he can row at least. Uh, seaman. Um, we can't tell people how he died yet. But just by process of elimination here, I mean, that's clearly not him. I mean, it could be someone else was thrown overboard, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see if there's anyone else on these boats. What I want to know is how did we even get here? <laughs> that's what I want to know. How are we suddenly on these boats? Oh dear. Oh, hello there, Rom. How you doing? Schma's in the Rom house. Schma is now lurking. Oh, she's lurking as well. <laughs> she is also lurking. That's great. Oh, can I give a shout out? Meowdy, hang on. I can do a shout out, I think. I'll try and do a shout out. <laughs> uh, there we go. We'll try. We'll try. Go give Rom and Schma a follow at. Yeah. Uh, there, currently playing unknown. She's also lurking. It's lurking time. Did you know that lurking helps spread uh, the light of Gib as well? It does. You can be a pro lurker by muting your browser tab for the stream, yeah. not the volume of the stream itself, Indeed. and post lurk in chat to let us know you exist. <laughs> Those dumb asses at Twitch will still support the channel at <laughs> no cost to you. Thank you, Gibbot, for Winky your face. Very, your very glib explanation there, but uh, ahoy. <laughs> Ahoy there. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Well, we're doing pretty good so far. How much time have I got left? One hour. Hang on. Oh, it's 2.30. So, yeah, I've got some time. I think we can... How many more do I need to figure out, do you think? Um, I don't know. I've lost count. Uh, it's still a lot, though. Um, oh, uh, uh, yeah, Waifu. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, Waifu. We now know Waifu's neck was clawed out by a fucking mermaid now. We know that. Uh, clawed. Here we go. Clawed by a terrible beast. Yeah, that works. That works for me. Doesn't seem to work for the... H haven't I gotten three already? I might have made a mistake somewhere. I could always review this shit later. Right. Let's find next corpse. Oh, it's this guy. Uh, I think we already know that that's O'Hagan, but it might not be. Let's go back a bit. Maybe there's another person here. Nick. Bring the chest! Oh, I see it! Miss Lim, stay down! Oh! No! Oh! Oh god! Well, yeah, we already knew O'Hagan got spiked, but there you go. Oh, there's Waifu. Ah, oh, help! Shit. Need to put on the raincoat. Chew a cigar and enhance your inner Columbo to solve this case, I know. Oh dear. I am quite the insurance investigator. So, hang on. They've got the shells, and then, whoa, throws it right at his neck. <laughs> God, they're swimming all over the place. We got Nichols here is freaking the fuck out now. So we know how O'Hagan died. Who's this? Oh yeah, we already know, that's the, the Russian fellow. 
Topolov or whatever his name was? What the fuck is happening here? Uh oh, uh, that could be O'Hagan, I don't know. Wait, wasn't he the Russian the guy? Yeah, he's the Russian guy playing cards with the other guy. Oh, he might be the other seaman. Here we go. You've got speared as well. Oh, he's dead? Wait, wasn't he alive earlier? Oh, he's using the spear to cut his ropes. That's how he got free. There we go. All right. And then, of course, we have... Uh, yeah, we already know you. Um, uh, O'Leary or whatever your name was. Some Irish name. I've forgotten. Um, yeah, a lot happened there. I'm not sure how to really sort of maneuver my way through this one, but at least we know that O'Hagan, he died. Patrick O'Hagan. A lot of Irishmen on these boats for some reason. Patrick O'Hagan, seaman, met an unknown fate. Well, we do know he was, uh, let's see, he was, uh, uh speared. There we go, by, um... Uh, I guess a beast, yeah. No, it's, it's... I'm pretty sure these mermaids are not on the crew roster, so let's just go with that. Is that right? I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see. I mean, I'm f all but certain. I mean, we've identified everyone else, unless another one dies at some point. Oh, yeah, I forgot to check the, the transcript again, see if there's anything I missed. Mother of God! Uh, keep rowing. They are here. Bring the... Oh, no, hang on, that's not bring the chest, it's bang the chest. Oh, is that his name? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang uh, on, let's see. Bang. That might help me out. Oh, yep, they're, they're, they're definitely uncovered now. They're not blurry anymore. Let's see. Uh, this unknown soul burned to death. I guess we'll find out for sure now. Let's see. There's two Formosans left. Here we go. Uh, oh, yep, bang. There we go. It bang Sia. There you go. She finally said a name. I was just hoping, like, please say each other's names. I can't figure you out. There we go. Burnt to death. Yes! Fuck yes! <laughs> Three more fates correct. We're doing okay-ish. <laughs> Yay! She was clawed to death. <laughs> Yay! Everyone's dead. And you are Patrick O'Hagan. I mean, you know, process of elimination. Uh, there we go. There we go. It's good. It's really good. Hey, we're doing alright. No, we're near halfway point though. Um, yeah, this is uh, a rough game. <laughs> oh, but we're doing okay-ish. Alright. So, let's see if we can figure anyone else out before we go. Uh, we know you. We know you. You I've not seen before. Oh wait, yes I have. That's, uh, yeah, Alexei Toporov. Uh, wait, do we know how we died yet? Alexei Toporov. I, oh, I might have to go back and see if he was speared at all. There's a mermaid. Right, that's Nichols. Uh, that's... what's his name? Uh, he, Samuel Galligan, yeah. Okay, we also have you. Oh, I think it's fair to say this guy died uh, being clawed to death by a, by a mermaid as well. But we also know... We, oh, can we eliminate... Hey, through process of elimination, can we figure out all the Russians now? Oh, I think we can. That's Leonid, Leonid Volkov. Where was the other Russian again? Was he the other one? No, where's the other Russian? Yeah, there's the other one. Alexei Toporov. Okay, well, by process of elimination, this guy must be... Because he's the other Russian, and there are very... There's only, like, three Russians on board. Um, yeah, where is it? Oh, yeah, here we go. Alarkas Nikishin. And he was speaking Russian in this scene as well, and yeah... Yep, by process of elimination, that must be him. Three triangles, my ass. Um, although, I can't seem to solve his death, though, even though I'm pretty certain he was clawed to death by a mermaid. Stranger fates there nary is on the sea, what can I say? Um, hmm. Right. Not know if there's anything else left to learn here. Um... Oh, yeah, that's the Russian guy with... Oh, he's got his pipe as well, yeah. But we already figured out who he was anyway. But, yeah, that's uh, that's probably another way you could have figured it out. He has a pipe. Right. Uh, yeah, I think we're good here. Oh, hang on. By process of elimination, you have a lot more to go. You sure he was clawed? Um, I mean, he looks pretty clawed. Also, hello, uh, True Proxy 99 how you doing? Uh, well, there is a knife there, but I'm, I'm assuming that's the knife that you used to stab this guy in the neck. <laughs> I mean, he looks like he was pretty clawed. That looks pretty shit. <laughs> that looks like he's probably dead. Um, but yeah, oh, by process of elimination, we can also say the last Formosan is whatever that name was. <laughs> yeah, because we got them all. We got Hock Seng Lao, Bun Lan Lim... 
it being Sia, and this guy was spiked as well. <laughs> well, by process of elimination, this guy must be... Here we go, from the very existent place of Taiwan. The very existent independent nation of Taiwan, wherever the fuck it is. Oh, here we go. He must be Chiyo Tan, then. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to... Gonna have to solve some more, but I, I mean, you know, this has to be it. He was spiked by a beast, and that's got to be him. There's no, there's no way it can't be. I mean, it didn't count as one. Um, maybe he dies in the final part of this chapter. That's what I'm assuming. There's still more to do. Oh yeah, here we go. We're gonna figure. Wait, hang on. Oh, well, maybe we can see how multiple people died. Oh, except we're going backwards in time, aren't we? I better go forward. Oh. Hmm. You packed enough stores? The Aye, sir. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Obra Din. Oh, <laughs> big boat. Hmm. Oh. oh no. <laughs> Shot off. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, okay, what what are next? Shit. <laughs> Here we go, well someone was spiked, who is it? Uh, oh, this fella, yeah, we already know he was spiked though. Um, no idea who he is. <laughs> uh, there we go, just narrowly avoided being spiked himself. Oh man, we didn't learn anything new here. I mean, I, you know, I already knew he was spiked, I just don't know who he is. And then we have the last Russian. I'm gonna have to go forwards again to figure out what happened to him, because he was pulled into the water. There we go. We've got multi-titted, uh, mermaids there. The boobies are real on this one, fucking hell. And, uh, yep. No one new enters the scene, and we haven't lost anyone else either. Okay. This has been fairly conclusive. We've knocked off quite a lot of people here. Finally got all the Formosans figured out. Look at that throw. <laughs> Alright, I don't think we've learnt anything new there, unfortunately. Humph. Uh, it didn't count as one. Oh, no. Do I have to figure this out? I'll have to go forward again, I guess. Uh, okay, how did they die? Well, we know he was spiked, at least. Or speared, I guess is more accurate. Uh, here we go. Speared by an unknown attacker. No, it was by a, a, a multiple-breasted mermaid freak. Alright, there we go. Oh, you know what? Put a bag over its head, you could have a good time with it. All right. <laughs> Don't know who it is, though. Um, yeah, could this be one of our Chinese topmen that I'm looking for? Because I have no idea. I hate that that's a thing. <laughs> they all look the same. They all have goatees and shaved heads. China is asshole! Ah, oh, dear. All right, well. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think we learnt anything new here. No, not really. Most of the, uh, the earlier scenes, or chronologically later scenes, uh, were a lot more helpful in determining the identities of people here. Oh, there's the door. <laughs> there's the door. I love walking around on the frozen ocean, though. I've beaten the game before. The way you tell them apart is honestly kind of dumb. Probably the only kind of unfair clue. Oh, God. Uh, how you tell them apart? How you tell who apart? You mean the Formosans? Oh, uh, that wasn't too bad, actually. I mean, you got Hock Sang Lao, who was, uh, executed. And then there's Miss Lim, and then there's you, and then there's the last guy. One day I'll get around to playing this. Such a Macintosh graphics style. I know, actually, we're playing on Macintosh color mode. <laughs> there's multiple color modes. Oh my god! Oh my goodness gracious, the IBM 5151, the Zenith ZVM 1240. Ooh, very sepia tone, I like. Commodore 1084. Hey. <laughs> You've done Sir Clive Sinclair proud. We have the IBM 8503. That's actually quite nice to look at. I quite like that one. It's less harsh on the old eyeballs. <laughs> and then the stark opposite of that, L the LCD. Oh my god, it's like an LCM, only it's not as enjoyable. Oh, uh, let's put it back on Macintosh mode. There we go, that's better. <laughs> oh, the Chinese fellas, yeah. Um, oh, beating the game before they tell you, the, the way you tell them apart is honestly kind of dumb. Probably the only kind of unfair clue. I did find one of them. I want to say I did find one of them, but I forgot which one it was. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, which one was it? 
I got one of them right, I think. I might be wrong about that. Let me just check the whole manifest here. Uh, they're pretty much all topmen, for one thing. Um, eh, could you go any slower? Oh, okay, that's much better. Uh, let's see, topmen, here we go. Um, I figured out someone, didn't I? Oh, yeah, I yeah, I identified Wei Li, but I don't know how he died yet. <laughs> I identified him because I found his hammock number. I noticed that hammock numbers actually correspond to these, these numbers here. Um... So we're doing all right. Um, could be worse. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess I'll head through the the sea door. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Don't step on the mermaid titties. There we go. Hey. <laughs> and there's there's that chapter done. Wait, we have all the chapters done now, don't we? The calling. Yeah, the calling's done, and we also did the other one, the unholy captives. So I think we're actually done with all the chapters. Uh oh. Disappearances. Two wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. What does that mean? Okay, Alexei Toporov. Hmm. How do I revisit scenes? I've forgotten how to do that. Oh, especially, like, how am I supposed to do it when they're all in the ocean? <laughs> um, and then we have Alarkus Nishkin as well. Well, he was clawed, wasn't he? How's that an unknown fate? He was kind of clawed in the chest a lot. Oh. What's happening? Ahoy! Ahoy. Get there Storm's coming! Storm's coming! Ahoy! Okay. Are we done? Oh yeah, it's raining a lot. Alright, finish your business and then get down here. Okay, I will. Alright. God, it is raining quite heavily. Where's the, uh... Shit. Where am I going? Uh... Is it this... No. Here we go. There we go. All right. Ugh. All right. What the fuck is going on here? Now there's just a rainstorm. I hate my life. Looking at it again, I honestly get why you think that. That's not technically what killed them, or at least not what the game wants. Oh no! What does the game want? All done. We should yeah. go. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. Okay. If you have still business here, climb up and finish it. Uh. I'll make to port. Well, I've done all the chapters except for... Let's see, except for... Uh, which one was it? Was it Bargain? Yeah, this chapter will remain unknown until you leave the ship and return the book to me. So that's the last chapter we can do. I've done all the other ones. Loose Cargo, Bitter Cold Murder, The Calling Unholy Captives, Soldiers of the Sea, The Doom, Escape in the End. Alright, I guess we're going to have to go through the Bargain then. Right, yo, let's go to the Bargain bin then. Here we go. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay, this is how you exit. There we go, just stare at him. Stare at his crotch and then it disappears. Sit down so you don't fall out. Right here. Okay, dog. Don't leave yet. Why? Oh shit, why, why do I not leave yet? Wait, why do I not leave yet? I can't get the last chapter if I don't leave yet. Oh no! Wait, what happened? Wait. Well, you'll see. What? What are we? What? Oh God! What have I done? If I fuck this up, game stopped. Oh, one week later. What the? Uh, okay. The Honorable East India Company Insurance Assessment for the Good Ship Oberdin, victim of calamitous events at sea, prepared by the Company Office of Investigation. <laughs> All right, ship damaged in squall, Atlantic sunk in storm, Falmouth pay uh, payout claim at twenty thousand pounds. That's a pretty good claim. Cargo, all cargo lost. Payout claim five thousand. Uh, why was the ship lost? I thought we found it all. That was the whole point. All cargo lost. Payout claimed for restitution three thousand pounds. Uh, Captain Robert Witterall, fate suicide gun, criminal findings, murder of crewmate four, estate forfeited to the crown. That's <laughs> great. Oh, it's great, it's great being a monarchist, isn't it? All right. William Hoskett, first mate. Sh gun shot. R. Witterall findings. Attempt to mutiny estate find. 20 25 pounds is not very much. Um, all right. Attempt to mutiny. That's a small price to pay for a mutiny. That's pretty ominous, I know. Edward Nichols, second mate. Shot, gun, unknown. Criminal findings. Murder of crewmate one. Attempt to mutiny. Theft of cargo. Estate find. 75 pounds. Uh, that's not really all that much in the grand scheme of things. Not really. I would think it'd be like 10 trillion pounds or something. 
Not too little back in the day. Uh, yeah, not back in the day, but I mean, still, £25 ca compared to 75 I mean, mutiny. <laughs> Jesus. Fates unknown. Martin Parrott. Findings of merit, extraordinary valour, exceptional performance of duties, estate award, and outstanding wages of reward, uh, £90. Uh, John Davies, clubbed, unknown findings of merit, extraordinary valour, etc, etc. Alfred Clestel Boson, fate unknown, no claim made. Oh, shit. I, I, well, I didn't figure any of these guys out, though. Several years of wages. Charles Minor. Oh, oh, fuck. Was I supposed to figure these out before I left the ship? Why did they tell me I had to leave the ship to do the last chapter, then? Oh, oh and I didn't get to go back to the carpenters. I think, I'm, I think I know who the carpenters are now. I just needed to revisit that scene again. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, no, we fucked this. Look at all these people we don't know. Oh, wait. Claude, no claim made. Wait, why not? <laughs> Emily Jackson, unknown. No claim made. Claude, no claim made. Burned, no claim made. I guess because there were passengers, foreign passengers, I guess. Uh, state ordered. Oh, my God. Right, I have a feeling I fucked this up. So, can I skip through all this? A preliminary draft of this assessment has been approved by the Royal Trade uh, Guarantor. On, path, uh, on behalf of the Honourable East India Company, I certify all statements as accurate and declare this matter closed in its entirety. Maybe a few missing identities here and there, but oh well. HEIC Chief Inspector. Signed, Dick Cheese McGee. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Signed, me. Yeah, you were. Oh my god, the pocket watch remains in your possession. Well, can't I just go back then? Oh dear. What is this? The book returns to its original owner, Henry Evans, in Morocco, as requested. Uh, oh, he was the surgeon, wasn't he? We found that out. Hey. And off it goes. <laughs> off it goes. I think you can go back from the main menu. Oh, I fucking hope so. I hope the auto-save doesn't put me here. That would be fucking terrible. Oh, no, I don't have to replay the whole game. One year later. <laughs> you get a letter in the mail. Uh, you did an appalling job. Go fuck yourself. Ooh, tea. Ooh. Oh, I'm at home. In my cozy home. Got a fireplace and everything. Oh. I can't move. I'm honestly a little terrified. Oh no. Has Nanny gone senile again? Oh. Hello? Oh. Can you believe a letter at this hour? Hmm. Must be important. Huh. I'll be turning in now. Tea's all gone, so you might think about going to bed as well. Oh, tea's gone? Fuck, why is the tea all gone? Why is the tea gone? Thank you! Why is the tea gone? Oh my god. Alright, well, I did get a letter. I'm sure it's going to be very strongly worded. Dear sir and or madam, go fucketh yourself. Get out of here. <laughs> Signed, uh, Henry Townsend uh, Esquire. Um, Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. Oh, uh, uh, Henry Evans, the, the surgeon. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Rip. All right. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. Wait. What? He died of an illness? Wait, what? Well, I guess we know how he died now. Okay, sure. I can put that in the book. Although his health was generally poor, uh, receiving the Oberdin book in such an incomplete state further disheartened him so thoroughly that he was unable to recover. He got the book back and was like, It's barely even finished, not even halfway there. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm die. <laughs> Fuck. I'm die. Oh, Jesus Christ. You did such an appalling job. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to even see the book in this state. You fucked it up. <laughs> oh, I'm die. Thank you, whoever. Oh, dear. I have no fucking confidence in you. <laughs> oh, dear. He used his final moments to express the extreme regret he felt with entrusting such a remarkable task to you. We thought you should know. <laughs> Regards, Jane Bird. <laughs> no confidence. Oh, wait, wasn't Jane Bird a, a name of one of the, the crewmen? I think so, yeah. 
Oh, Christ. The ending cutscene is actually different depending on how many you figure out. So we're getting a relatively shitty ending. I, uh, yeah. Oh, forced on me by... Oh, God. Yeah, well, put this in the paper shredder, I guess. Uh, the 1800s paper shredder, a.k.a. my dog. The end! <laughs> the end! The end, question mark. Shit. All right. <laughs> Henry is dead. Oh, God, I'm not watching the credits. For Dad. Oh, Dad's disappointed in me as well. Can I skip? Yeah, I can skip that. Oh, please tell me I can go back. Begin. Rewind? Or continue? Oh, God, don't press the wrong thing. Playtime, five hours, 30 minutes, last play just now. Eight, fate solved. Continue. Uh, all right. Oh, no, we're back here again. I'm going to try the rewind feature instead. <laughs> oh, I hope it's the rewind button. Okay, here we go. Rewind back onto the ship. No progress will be lost. Thank fuck for that. Oh, I nearly had a fucking heart attack. <laughs> okay. I nearly had a fucking heart attack. I thought all that time wasted just because they didn't tell me to stay on the fucking ship. I guess technically the guy in the boat said, have you got any unfinished business sorted out? Um, is there anything else to find on the ship then? Because we've done all the chapters and found all the bodies. Uh, well, actually, I'll double check. Um... Uh, bleh, there we go. Yep, Henry Evans' book. Uh, let's see. Let's go through everything and make sure we got everything. Uh, loose cargo. A bit of coal. Yeah, I can see the X's, which means they're complete. Murder. The crawling. That's a lot of dead people. There we go. Who else is there? Unholy captives. Yep, that's, that's some dead people. Soldiers of the sea. That's a lot of dead people. <laughs> We met the crab people. That was that was horrific. I'm going to have to make a highlight of that. I was not expecting demon crab bastards. The Doom. Also quite a lot of dead people. Oh, yeah. We'll have to go back to that one. Um, uh, let's see. The Doom. We also have... Oh, yeah. That's a lot of missing people. Uh, the Bargain. This chapter will remain unknown until you leave the ship and return the book to me. Okay. So I guess we have to figure out the fate of everyone first. Then we'll know what the Bargain is. Okay, uh, the escape. Yep, we've done that. And lastly, we have the end. And yeah, we've definitely done that one. Alright. I'm surprised I found that fucking giant crab in the in the hold. I was like, wh why is there not an end? Yeah, there were there were some times I got stuck. There was uh, the, the giant crab which was at the end of Soldiers at Sea. And then there was that time I couldn't find out where uh, uh, the artist was who got uh, dysentery and then killed by the Kraken. It's like, well, where's the body? Show me where the body is. Well, you got all the info you need. You just got to put the pieces together. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Uh, let's go to... Hang on. It took me a fucking long time to figure out how this uh, user interface works. It's kind of clunky at times where it's like, oh, how do I get to the screen I want to go to? This is ridiculous. There are a few relatively easy fates you have missing. Oh, good. Let, yeah, let's have a look at that. Oh, I, I want to do the carpenters first because I'm fairly certain I know. Um, yeah, no one's fuzzy anymore. Yeah, you have no excuse not to figure it out. I guess we should go... Uh, yeah, let's get to the... I'll start with the carpenters and then we can go by uh, difficulty. Order of difficulty. So... Uh, we found Scottish Waifu. That was great. Um, yeah, uh, okay, Carpenters. When did they die? Uh, they died in the Doom. Um, hang on a sec. Best way to do that would be... Uh, I, we haven't used the bookmark system yet in a while. Um, we haven't used that in a while, so let's find... Hang on. I've got to find the crew. It's a bit higgledy-piggledy. Where is the... Eh, uh, shit. Alright, where is the carpenter at? Um, damn it, I don't even know where he is. Okay, well, let's just go back to Soldiers at Sea at any rate. Um, I don't for I've forgotten what chapter it is. And how do I replay them? How do I get back to them? I've forgotten how to do that. Hang on. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The ship? Yeah? Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Soldiers at Sea. Oh, and this is the one I'm looking for. Part 3. Um... Okay, location of the corpses here on the gun deck. Okay, uh, I am on the gun deck. Yeah, here we go. Here's the guy that was spiked. But <laughs> does it nice and quick. Okay. What's going on? Stay back. Oh. It's already on the neck. 
Come on, boss. No, get that. Hey. Oh. But ah! Oh my God. Okay. Oh, wait. Hang on. The guy got spiked. Okay. Hang on. So now we know the the ranking of the carpenters. That was the one I was confused about. I didn't know who was who because I saw them coming out of the carpenters area. This guy had a hammer on him. This guy was using a saw. Well, considering he he said like, "Look out, boss," and then throws an axe. I I guess this is the carpenter, and that's his assistant. Uh, I'm guessing. Uh, spiked by a terrible beast. Let's see. Uh, carpenter. Here we go. Carpenter's mate. Oh, they're American as well. Oh yeah, I think their accents were American. <laughs> Don't worry, we got trouble, boss. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That would mean that would mean this was this would be Marcus Gibbs. There we go. I think. Well, that's a three. That's a three triangle one. Yeah, this has to be right. This has to be right. Which means you. Oh, that means you must be Winston Smith. Hey, all right. But do it. Yeah, I, I knew it was a good idea to do that. Three more fates correct. I knew I should have go, gone back to the carpenters. There we go. He was spiked by a terrible beast, but he did blunderbuss the fuck out of that crab bastard. Oh, there's Chio Tan as well, and there's Marcus Gibbs. Yeah, I had a feeling that would be relatively easy. Yeah, three triangles my ass. Although, in all fairness, if I didn't notice them coming out of the carpentry room, I probably wouldn't know they were carpenters, honestly. Alright, it's three stars since it's fairly easy to miss them. Yeah, yeah, I, I did just notice them, and I saw them, yeah, I saw them using a hammer, and I thought, like, well, yeah, that makes sense. Alright. You know what? You have identified the missing people in the calling, right? Um... Have I? The calling? Hang on, let's go back there. The calling. We've got... Don't know about him, but he was speared in the neck. Uh, I figured out Patrick O'Hagan. Samuel Galligan, did I get him right? I didn't. Okay. By an unknown attacker. Oh! Oh, I, I know who uh, knifed him now. It was, um, it was, uh... Uh, it was... It Beng Siar. He was the one who stabbed him in the neck, so we know that now. Okay. Uh, you were clawed. Yep, I got that right. That's what the tick means. Uh, you also got burnt to death. Uh, did I figure you out? Oh, and we know who shot him. It was the uh, the Formosan. Why did I not uh, figure this out earlier? <laughs> Why didn't I solve this? Uh, oh, where are you? Here we go. Um, it was the last remaining one, Chiotan. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a one triangle. That's got to be right. Uh, so there's Nichols, finally dead. What a wanker he was. Um, let's see. Two wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. Um, just these two guys. So Toporov, all oh, the two remaining Russians, met with an unknown fate. Well, he was clawed to death, right? So hang on. Uh, clawed... By a terrible beast. Yes, of course. There we go. Why didn't I do that? Why didn't I actually set that earlier? It was really obvious. There we go. Alarkus, which is a, that's is that a Russian name? I don't think I've heard that one before. Why not Yevgeny? That's the obvious choice. There we go. Hey, hey, we're getting there. We're getting there. Nearly halfway. I guess that works. <laughs> Well, I mean, he was clawed pretty bad on the chest. His pectorals were fucked. All right. Uh, so let's see. As far as the call, yeah, I don't know who you are. Um, I'm guessing he's a topman, considering he's near the sail, but I don't know. We'll have to see if he appears in. Oh yeah, I want to go back to that scene with the lightning striking the the mast at the beginning of the crab battle because that was where all the topmen were up there, and that's how I figured out the Russian topman. Um. Uh, Patrick, oh, yep, we got him, got him, got you, got you, got you. Oh, yeah, what happened to Alexei Toporov? Hmm. I should go out and figure you out. Um, here we go, eight memories. Disappeared in the calling. Which chapter, though? <laughs> what was his last one? Uh, let's see. Hmm, disappeared in the calling. Uh... Justice at Sea Sketch. Show memories on deck. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Okay. Uh, let's see. He was in the murder part three. 
which I think was the direct follow-up to them. Kid, oh, that yeah, that's how they got into the ocean. I remember that now. So yeah, dragged them off, and the, yeah, then they went off. Okay, there we go. Murder part three. Hang on. Oh, murder part two. So he was there. Then he was there. Uh, and then the calling part one, part two, part three. Okay. Uh, should we try calling part two? Um. Uh, uh, let's pick one of the memories on top deck. I don't know how else to get there. <laughs> okay. I don't like you at all. I'm glad you're both dead. <laughs> Fucking crab demons. Jesus Christ. Too much crab demon. I'm going. I'm going. Fuck me. That's not okay. Oh, i got to make a highlight of when I first saw that fucking thing. Nearly had a heart attack. I've had too much caffeine today. Ooh, I usually go for drown, to be honest. Uh, oh yeah, that is an option. Uh, I wonder- yeah, I'm gonna check the scene and see if he drowned. Oh, oh, it's raining from up above. I was wondering what that was. Let's get one of the bodies from up here for the calling. The calling of mermaid titties. Oh, wait, hang on, here they are. <laughs> I went right past them. Uh, let's go... Ah, let's just try all of them, why not? Alright, part five of six. Hmm... Alright, I don't need the dialogue, I just need to know what happened here. Uh... There's no one else here. Here we go, who are you again? Oh, you're Nichols, of course. They dragged the mermaids up. Oh, yeah, and then they brought them aboard. That's right. So, yeah, the spiky-tailed fish things. I... yeah, all right. Now I know where they came from. Fuck. <laughs> all right, that one's not really useful. Let's try this one. Part four. Yeah, let's go back just a little bit. Uh, let's see. Where are you at? Uh, there's you. There's you. Hmm, not in this scene either. Oh, bugger. I've got to go back even further. Uh, and mm, now that I think about it, Nichols would have been right at the very end of this, so I'm not even going to get anything out of this. Uh, but I'll, I'll try. Hmm. The calling part six or six, yeah. Ahoy there! <laughs> Ahoy! 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 I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire! It's just Nichols as the sole survivor and a bunch of mermaids. Yeah, that's not terribly helpful, unfortunately. Hmm. It's either part two or three of this chapter. Oh yeah, where do we find part two or three? Um, I'm gonna have to check the map again. Uh, hmm. Uh, part two or three. Uh, the calling. Oh wait, you can find out from here. Uh, part three. Accessible only through another corpse. Right. Accessible only through another corpse. Shit. Okay. Um. That's not helpful. Um. Disappeared. Let's have a look. Oh, we already know about him. Um. Met with an unknown fate. Where the fuck is he, though? <laughs> uh. Well, let's see where he appeared at. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh. Bookmark. How do I do that? There we go. Bookmark all memories. Okay. And if I click this, yeah, I can skim through all of them. So what's the last one he's in? Oh, okay, the last one is here then. Okay, the last memory is in part three? Okay, so part three is the last time we see him. Okay. And this was part three, right? Huh. No, it's part five. Fuck. Part five is uh, four. Yeah, all right. You just check the other bodies while in the memory. Oh, I see. Hmm. I hope it gets easier from here on out. Oh my god, I've only got two hours to figure this out. I'll go over if I have to. Uh, waifu. Let's try waifu again. That is four. That's not the one we're looking for, is it? Okay. Let's see. No, nope, we're looking for part three. Okay. Shit. Alright, well I know Nichols is not part three. Um... Yeah, how, how do I get to part three? They don't show it on the map. Part three. Uh, it's not that guy. Part three. Where is part three found? Accessible only through another corpse. Uh, the calling part four. Uh, 
How do I revisit it then? So I go to part four. Uh, part three. How do I go back to part three? Um, uh, well, let's think. Like, how did we actually get here in the first place? Uh, here we go. Ahoy! Yeah, for some reason, uh, the, uh, the sound, the sound bites aren't working for some reason. Uh, the, the audio things aren't working today. I'll have to fix it. I don't know why. Uh, that's alright. I can just play it manually. There we go. Um, oh wait, I can just play it from the blurp sound page. I can just do that. I don't know why it's broken, but it, it is. <laughs> don't know why. Hang on, where's blurp? There we go. Channel points. Channel points. While you're in her memory, use the match on the stabbed guy. What? Huh? I don't know what that means. Ahoy there, matey! There we go. <laughs> I can just play it manually. That's irritating. Um, oh, you just check the other bodies on the memory. Uh, while you're in her memory, use the match on the... Oh, use the watched on the stabbed guy. Oh, okay. Let's go back to waifu memory then. And you use it on stabby boy. Oh, and that will show us that he was stabbed? Is that the point? <laughs> oh, oh, maybe we revisit it. Okay. Is this the guy? Oh yeah, we totally can do that. Is that the one we're looking for? No, that's O'Hagan. Um, oh, or is he the right one? Oh my god, what are we doing? Ah, Jesus. Oh, it's part two. Shit, um, alright. <laughs> they keep changing the rules. Okay. Hmm. It's kind of tricky when everyone's out in the boats. Okay. I know what happened to you. Just row, you fools. Uh, that's that guy. Uh, oh, there he is. That's the one we're looking for. That's the fellow. Um, yeah, don't know. Uh, we're, we're in the wrong memory, though. Uh, I need part three, not part two. Oh, maybe we'll find his body here. You have to find the body in another flashback. Oh, shit. That's really inconvenient. Hopefully we don't have to do this too many times. Okay, let's see. If it's not that body, then uh, let's see. It's not you. Is it you? No. Is it you? No. Hmm. Maybe it is him. Let's see. Come on, part three. Fuck! <laughs> this is part one. We're doing every part except part three. Oh, I can't even go back. Okay. Jesus Christ. Uh, well, at least we're getting this stupid one out of the way. Well, there he is, Rowan. You get it by process of elimination, I guess, yeah. Alright, so we got to travel back to Waifu Town, and then... There we go. Jesus Christ. I hope we don't have to do this again. This is very time consuming. Right, uh, so last guy by process of elimination would be you, wouldn't it? I guess. Is he the one we're missing? Or is it him? I think it's you. Is it? Oh god. Part three, thank god. Alright. Thank god. Right, let's see. Finally part three. Here we are. Um. So this is the last time we see the Russian. Let's go find him. Uh, oh wait, he's on the other boat. Uh, that's O'Hagan. Uh, is this him? Yeah, that's him. Oh, he was dragged down by a by a mermaid. Oh, so he drowned then. Why is that an unknown fate? It should have been fairly easy to solve that one. All right, so he's drowned. Um. I'm happy with that. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Drowned. There we go. Fuck him. <laughs> by an unknown attacker. A beast. Drowned by beast. Oh, finally. That better be right. That better be the last one. Um, oh, I still don't know who this guy is yet. But we know how he died, so all I have to do is figure out who he is. Not any way of knowing here, but he is he's Chinese, kind of? I mean, we've, all the Formosans are gone, so... I mean, he looks Asian, so that seems to be the reasonable idea. Just go with the route of racism. You'll figure it out. Um, alright. Eh. Uh, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna have to find some more people though. Um, hang on. How do I remove bookmarks then? Um. Eh. Here we go. 
Remove all bookmarks. There we go. I'm fairly certain that's him sorted out. Right, let's pick someone, uh, let's pick someone easier, shall we? Holy shit. All right, who haven't we found yet? Let's try the sketch. Um, all kinds of people. Okay, keep in mind this is a time where the stereotypes originated because they were true at the time. Arguably true today as well. <laughs> all right, so we know you. Oh, yeah, I do know your way leave, but I don't know how you died. How did he die? Let's see. Seven memories met an unknown face. Uh, bookmark memories. Hey, that's really handy because we can find out where they they last appear. That's actually a really handy thing. Oh, hang on. There we go. Last time he appeared is in... Not there. Not there. Oh, he's in a lot of places. I just got to figure out how he died. Here we are. Um. Oh, okay. He was in the Doom Part 8. Which is the last part, isn't it? No, it's not. Well, I mean the earliest part. Okay. Oh shit, that's a lot of people that disappeared, man. That's a lot of people that disappeared, man. Oh my god. Alright, the corpse was moved post-mortem. Oh, we just have to find Waifu. Okay. Well, that's handy. His last appearance was uh, in Abigail's death. Oh no, Abby. Prayers for Abigail, please. Not from Abigail. This time, prayers for Abigail. There you go. <laughs> oh no, poor Abby. Abby dead. Okay, part eight. There we go. Kaplak! <laughs> there is the cat. Oh no! <laughs> she got whacked. Frick. <laughs> Smashed in the head by a mast. Where it is here? Where it is this shite head? Blah! Oh! Oh, down she goes. Alright, uh, yeah, let's find people. Holy shit. Alright. Ah, there's that guy. I remember him, yeah. Uh, don't think we know who that is yet. Oh, uh, hello there. Nobody you joined us at the greatest time. I've done all the scenes. i got to figure out who everyone is, though. Oh, there's these guys as well. Who's this fella? Oh, there's that guy. I don't know who he is yet. Yeah, that's not the gun gunner. That's, uh, uh fuck divine open. <laughs> then we got him. Yep, still don't know who he is either. Um... Uh, we got the guy missing his legs. Uh, uh, we got Knife Boy. Still haven't figured out Knife Boy yet. That's a pity. Um, right. I'm specifically looking for someone, though, aren't I? Uh, who am I looking for? Hang on. Uh, ten others were present. Uh, who am I looking for? Oh, there he is. Uh, Wei Li. Okay, well, let's find Wei Li, then. Um, wait, see the guy climbing up? He's probably a topman. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. And if this is his last appearance, so... Uh, I guess we'll say... Dragged to his death and drowned? I guess? Oh, fuck. Anyway, if we're raiding Shma, maybe we'll convince her to get Soul Calibur 6. Possibly. Um, right. Um, I'm gonna say, if this is the last time we see him, that it's... It, it makes the most sense that he was just dragged to his death, so probably drowned as well. By a beastie? Maybe? I'm not sure. I'm fairly certain that's Wei Lee, though. He was right by his hammock, and that was numbered. So we'll come back to that later. Um, is there any other easy person we can figure out? Um, let's see. The crew. Uh, let's see. Err... Uh, we have two Austrians on board. Oh my god. Alright, um... Did we figure out who all the Russians are, at least? Um... Oh yeah, there's Leonard Volkov, where he was shot by someone we don't know. Oh, hang on, he was shot by the, the woman that's also in this scene. There we go. Do we know who you are at last? Who are you? Oh yeah, we know all, all the, the, the stewards are. That's Paul Moss. Oh, that's why he's with them. He's like, let's go to the boat, and he was stabbed by, uh, Leonard Volkov. Uh, really should figure out who the waifus are. There's two of them. <laughs> There's two ladies here. Let's see. There's... Who could you possibly be? Unknown. I don't know anything. <laughs> All right. We'll save you as well. Well, let's see. Probably not crewman. Oh, no, definitely not crewman. Oh, no, three triangles. Three triangles? Oh, fuck. All right. How did Paul die again? Uh, he was stabbed by Volkov. He was stabbed by the Russian guy. He was stabbed by, uh, by him. It was him. Yeah, he was shot with, uh, shot by this lady afterwards. Interesting that with the power of racism, you don't know the tattoo guy. Uh, tattoo guy? 
Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, the, the guy's lost his legs. Yeah, I should probably do that. Did you put that in? No, not yet. Um, all right. That's Captain's wife hanging out with the only other wife who's on board. I mean, there's this one, but she's a foremost, so that gets rid of that. Um, there's, there's no other women on board, right? So I guess we could just, by process of elimination, figure out who was who. Then again, I don't know where they are right now. Do they, where they might have died and gone overboard. Um, let's at least try and get some names here. Um, all right. Probably not crew, so let's have a look. Uh, midshipman, topman, Oh, here we go. Oh, there's only two remaining passengers. Okay. We have Emily Jackson and Miss Jane Bird. Oh, the woman who sent the book to me when I failed. <laughs> there's a way to tell them apart. Uh, most likely. Um, Emily Jackson and Miss Jane Bird. Okay. Hmm. Well, that one's got Miss in the title. So, what could that entail? Is Emily Jackson not a woman? <laughs> uh... Jackson. Is there another Jackson on board? No. Well, well, I'm thinking one of them's Miss Jane Bird, so one of them, one of them's like, you know, whenever someone's a young man, they're like, you know, master, and then they become mister. So is that the case with this? Where it's like, this is Miss Jane Bird because she looks younger than her. Like, this is an older woman. So that's what I'm thinking. Because, yeah, this looks like a this looks, look, looks like a nice right wife. <laughs> That's the creepy way of putting it, but hey, you know, it works. She looks younger. Mm, that being said, maybe the game's throwing me for a loop. Maybe the older one just uh, <clears throat> never found the right suitor. <laughs> oh, shit! Wedding ring! Look at that! I just saw it. She's got a wedding ring on. Look at that. I just saw it. At first I was like, oh, that's some... Uh, what, what is that? Is that some kind of weird graphical glitch? That, that's a wedding ring, though. I think. Actually, you know what? I will check another scene with her just to be safe. Um, hang on a sec. I just want to be absolutely sure, but I mean, I think we've kind of figured this out. There we go. Hang on a sec. Uh, three memories. Where's her last one? Disappeared and escaped. Let's go. Let's do that. Um, disappeared and escaped. Bookmark all memories. Uh, let's go with escape, then. Uh, escape. I feel like we're now going all over the place. Um, which chapter specifically? Three memories. Disappeared and escape. Which one, though? Uh, escape. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, at the end, I guess. Oh, we have many disappearances. Who is this? Oh, okay. You know what? Getting the bad ending... Getting the bad ending tells me that Henry Evans doesn't die... Because you got the book and it said he died of illness. So that would suggest that he got off the ship. Oh, yeah, he's in the boat at the end. Yeah, no, no, that's that's not that's not an interesting discovery. But still, um, oh, and Miss Jane Bird sends the book back. So I'm guessing all these people have escaped. So they're not actually dead. You're not dead. You will be or you'll die of illness if, if I incomplete. If the book is incomplete. If the book is incomplete, it's going to be like, oh, um, yeah, and you send the book back. So I'm guessing these two are also probably alive and well. Oh, uh, hang on. Let's go. I want to make sure that's not just a graphical glitch, though. Uh, where's the door? <laughs> where's there? It is. OK, found the door. Notice how one is missed and the other one is not. Why is that? Yeah, because one of them is young. <laughs> All right, where's the escape? Oh, fuck. I have to find that then. All right. Uh, the escape part. Well, final part is what we're looking for. Okay. Escape part three. Part four. Okay. No, she last appears in part three anyway. So let's see. Part three. Where do I get to part three? Location of corpse. Um, hmm. This guy getting shot. Oh, that's the uh, that's the severed leg, isn't it? Which is nearby, unless I'm mistaken. Isn't it in one of these doors? We just see a, a leg just hanging down. Uh, no. Is it on another? No. Oh, it must be on another uh, another deck. But it's there was definitely a leg here. <laughs> How no one noticed is beyond me. Oh, there it is. All right. Did it. Oh. The one above deck being dumped overboard works more. <laughs> right here. So he gets shot. Kablamo! Blah! 
So the 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 whole crew will be on us. Uh, Wait a minute, this isn't the escape, is it? Oh no, are you alright there, buddy? He got spiked. <laughs> he got spiked. Oh my god, he's in two memories. Ah, but he disappeared in the doom. Okay, and this takes place before then, so I guess he didn't die of being spiked. I think I'm on the wrong memory here. This ain't right. No, this isn't right. Yeah, this isn't right. But hey, while I'm here, let's have a look around a bit. Okay, there's Nichols and Waifu Chan. There's O'Hagan. Who's this guy who got shot? Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, I've seen. Oh shit. Oh, I've seen that fucking tattoo before. That's the that's the frumpy, grumpy waifu fucking tattoo. Um, shit. When was the last time I saw that? Uh, hang on. I'm going back. I'm going back. Oh, it was when he was, that guy was sleeping in a hammock, wasn't it? So if I find out, if I find out what his number is. Okay, now I'm getting completely sidetracked. Where the fuck am I going? Where's the escape? That's murder. That's murder. Where's escape? Hang on. Escape. Uh, okay, I've got to remember the tattoo. I'll, I'll come back to that. Location of corpse. Uh, escape part three. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm in completely the wrong place. Escape part three is this guy being... Oh, right! The guy gets shot up here by one of them. Uh... This is supposed to be the hint that one is married. The one above deck being dumped overboard works more. Oh yeah, yeah, I think I picked the wrong one. I think this is the one I'm looking for. Escape. Three of six. Oh god, an hour and a half. Can I finish this game in an hour and a half? I don't think so. But I'll try. Let them go. Yeah, this is the right one. This game has a really good soundtrack. Okay, this guy got shot. Uh, he's not Tattoo Guy. Yeah, that's Leonard Vulcan. Vulcan, rather. Um... Uh... Oh, Volkov. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck that one up. Yeah, these are... Hang on. Yeah, there's Paul. He's dead. Because she mentioned him by name. There's... The Surgeon. Uh... Still don't see a ring, though. I th but I think it's a safe bet to say that she's the other one and not Miss Jane Bird. Oh, that's the other guy that made it onto the boat as well, so I guess he's alive. There we go. Um, I'm gonna need an earlier memory, though. Because I can't see the ring. We have one more opportunity. But at least now we can kind of say, okay, they probably escaped and are alive. So, uh, let's check- yeah, let's check Paul's body. There we go. We'll check that out. Last one. Move quick. Hmm. You take the last push. Paul, look out! Oh no, down he goes. Right. Oh, yep, yeah, no, it wasn't It wasn't a graphical glitch. Yep, there's a ring. Okay, so that means... You... Are... Hang on. You are certainly... You are certainly going to be... Oh, 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 where are you? Where the fuck, where the fuck are the passengers at? Ooh, we've got a lot to do still. Um... Here we go. Uh, you're Emily Jackson. Don't know what happened to you, though. Oh, you're alive. Uh, yeah, alive is an option. Alive in... Oh. <laughs> um, uh, oh. Uh, uh, I'll get back to that. <laughs> Not sure where you're alive. Oh, shit, hang on. Did they mention it in the ending? Did Miss Jane Bird say, uh, I'm sending this letter to you from the Canary Islands or something? Uh, at least... Fairly sure that this is the young unmarried lady, so, alright. Yeah, wherever she is. There we go, Miss Jane Bird. That's a start. I don't know where they are, though. Um, do we know the other ones? Yeah, we know Henry, and we know... Uh... Okay, we got you as well. Do we know who you are? Uh, yes we do. You're Davy Janes. Fourth Mate Stewart. Also alive! Yeah, you're alive. Okay, there were four people in that boat. Paul got stabbed. Leonard got shot, and everyone else left on the ship is just fucked, basically. I still don't know Hat Guy. It's been a while. I gotta figure out Hat Boy here with the club. Still don't know him. Alright. But I feel like we're making some headway here. Okay. Let's have a look at some people that we still don't know yet. Um... 
Oh, we know who Paul Moss was killed by now. <laughs> Shit, I never added that in. He was killed by, uh, Leonid. Leonid Volkov. There we go. Yes! Yes! Suck my dick! <laughs> well done! Three more fates correct. I can't even remember the previous two we got right. So there's that. Who else? Oh, okay, we were right by that. Yeah, he was drowned. Oh, yeah, that was Wei Li, and he was drowned by the by the Kraken. He got hentied to death. Hooray! Okay, so hang on. If anyone's gone missing in in uh, the Doom chapter, then I think it's fair to say they drowned, unless we can find their crushed body somewhere. So uh, let's go back to that. The Doom. Um, here we go. Oh, I would like to get rid of that, though. There we go. Remove bookmarks. Um... Chapter 8. Oh, uh, yeah, all these people went missing. Uh, let's see. You've gone missing. You've Really? You've gone missing? The spear guy? All right. This person, Duncan McKay. Don't know who this is. Don't know who this is. What fate befell them? Let's find it. Okay, this guy. Hang on. Three, three, two. Okay. Okay, well, since we know that's Duncan McKay, let's start with him, shall we? Uh, right. Where was your last appearance? It was the Doom Part 7. On this part. Okay, yeah, I can find uh, Mr. Mr. Harvesies. <laughs> well, you do know who killed Leonard now, right? Do I? Who killed Who killed Leonard? Oh, right! Uh, uh, thingy. Yeah, you're right. Um, hang on. Uh, shh, the crew. Here we go. Leonard Volkov. Here we go. There we go. Murdered by... Here we go. Shot in the dick by, uh, where is she? Emily Jackson. So yeah, <laughs> three triangles, but no, uh, yeah, yeah, process of elimination works pretty well. Right. I should really go back to that Doom chapter that shows all of the Topmen up on the sail. That would be really helpful. Uh, oh boy, there's going to be some tough ones. I think the Chinese Topmen are going to be the worst for me. I don't think I'm going to figure it out. Also, Jurassic Park quote, where's the goat? <laughs> he looks like he broke out. He just gnawed it. Where's the goat? We haven't seen the goat for a while. We didn't see him get killed. Maybe I missed it, but the uh, goat seems to be gone. All right, uh, let's find uh, Mr. Harfies. There we go. There we go. Harfies time. All right, the Doom Part 7. I mean, this is what we're looking for. Okay. Oh, this guy's a topman as well. Yeah, I remember seeing him in, on the on the top sails. So, uh, let's see if we can actually figure this out. All right, this unknown soul was tor torn apart by a terrible beast. Uh, according, this should be two triangles worth of difficulty as well, so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, well, I know he's a topman because he went up to the sail. Um, I wish I could filter these to just see only topman. Okay, Timothy Butement, Scotland. I doubt he's Scottish. Chinese? He doesn't look Chinese. England... Oh, hang on. Oh, wait, Sierra Leone. No, that's a seaman. Uh, Lewis Walker, England. Oh, hang on a sec. Marba, a topman from New Guinea. Oh, yeah, that would explain the tattoos, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't know anything about that earlier. But <laughs> yeah, I didn't even really think about the tattoos. I was like, yeah, those are kind of garish and weird, but... um. Yeah. Are we sure about that, though? He's a topman, but I don't know. Is he? Hang on, I'll just check one thing first. Yeah, did we figure out who Omid was? Is that... Was that him? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, hmm. Hang on. Uh, I don't know. It's not a bad guess, no. I mean, he looks like he has Polynesian tattoos. So... I'd say that's a pretty good guess. Um, I still don't know who this guy is. He's been fucking staring me in the face all day. I have no idea. I don't even know what happened to him. What happened to this guy? Actually, I, I've got to know. This guy's driving me nuts. I've got to know. Eleven memories. Bookmark memories. Where was his last appearance? Don't know about this guy. Is he the Marba guy? Um, last... Oh, this... Okay, this is when he died. Put me down. Let go. Easy now, you're in a bad way. The squid, where is my Frenchman? Oh, hang on. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. Oh, okay. I figured it out now. Hang on. Well, but hang on. So he's not from New Guinea then. 
Okay, but is there a French topman? Ooh, now I'm confused. Okay, the squid's gone. You might storm apart. Verdamped. Oh, he also said verdamped. Um, hang on a sec. Um, that's also a clue that I should have picked up on. Uh, let's see. Holland. No. Scotland. New Guinea. Sierra Leone. No. Verdamped. I don't see Germany. Oh, I see Austria. Oh, he's got the fucking hat on. He is the bosun. He is the bosun. And we know what happened to him now. Or, or do we? Wait, why didn't I mark that down? Oh, right, because I I was looking at it and I was like, how did he... There's, there's no uh, selection for bleeding out, is there? Uh, clawed, maybe? Clawed by terrible beast? Maybe not? Axed? De yeah. Yeah, see, oh, yeah, that's where I had trouble. But he's he said verdamped, so it's, uh, by process of elimination, I guess his... His, uh, his native tongue would suggest that he is the boatsman, or the boatswain. Um, it is a different dude. Torn apart Frenchman. Yeah, see, that's the thing that's throwing me for a loop here, because he was very clear. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we at here? Not him? Hang on. Whoa, okay. I'm all over the place here. Uh, where's the doom here? Oh, yeah, I'm thrown all over the place here. So this guy was torn apart. This unknown soul. He's not... Oh, the Bozeman's mate is French. But he... Uh, he was the only one that I saw that was torn apart. Uh, hmm. Well, now I'm awfully confused. But he's not a topman, though. A Bozeman's mate wouldn't climb the fucking... The, the, the mast. No, he wouldn't do sail shit. I think I was right the first time around. I think I was right the first time around. I think he's Marba from New Guinea. Because no no, yeah, no Frenchman in the 1800s is going to have those tattoos. Yeah, no, I'm locking in that. Torn apart by a terrible beast. Although now we have to find someone else who was torn apart. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, there's, there's not really anyone else that quite matches him. How did he die, though? I don't know. Well, we know he's the bosun now. Or the Botswain. Um, this guy... Oh, this is the guy who got his face shot off. I remember that. We might know who killed him now. This unknown soul. Uh, hang on. He has. He does have an officer's uh, uniform. Are we short on officers anywhere? Um, brr, Charles Ma uh, Bozen's mate? Hmm, maybe. Gunner's mate Poland? Uh, also possible. Uh, hmm. Okay. Apparently, okay. Who is this guy? He's not wearing an officer's uniform? I, I mean, he is wearing an officer's uniform. Okay, well, we know he's not Martin. And we know he's not John Davies either. Or did I get that wrong too? Who's John Davies? No, he's not the fourth mate. No, unknown. I, he's not the fourth mate. This is the fourth mate. I remember that, yeah. Cause I, and, and I know that's true. Because... He's the fourth mate steward. He was the only remaining steward. So, oh god, we've got a bit of a rat's nest here. He's missing an arm. Why is he missing an arm? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. He's got his arms here. <laughs> He's got both arms to catch a gun. Um, let's stick with this scene, though, because I, I need to find the disappeared guys. We've got this fella here with a spear. Uh, no, we still haven't figured out that guy yet. Uh, I think that's the... I think that's the New Guinea fellow. Who's this guy? Uh, oh, that's Volkov. All right. Shit. All right. Who are you? Uh, huh. Don't know. Who are you? Oh, yeah, you're the... Yeah, okay, you're the fourth mate. Um, Humph. Um, let's see. Why did I go to this thing? Oh, my God. I didn't see if I can see this. There's a lifeboat with three people here. But who are they? Wait. I think I might have noticed them last time I was here, actually. Uh, or maybe not. I don't know. I don't remember this. There are three guys who were just thrown away, but how am I supposed to tell who they are? I can't identify them. Well, hang on a sec. Uh, by process of elimination, can I just sort of... Uh, no, we're missing like three guys and I can't see any of them. Captain's obviously not thrown overboard. Neither are these guys, because they're still alive. 
knifed unknown. Yeah, he's, he gets knifed uh, during the escape. He's still fine. He's still fine. Ugh. Okay, how am I supposed to know who these guys are? Well, let's see who I'm actually looking for. What's the <laughs> what's the bookmark? Uh, bookmark is I'm looking for. Oh, probably this guy. Um. Oh yeah, he's in escape. Okay, hang on. Let's go back to that location of corpses. Oh yeah, in the the lounge area. Okay, well let's find that first. I don't know how I'm supposed to find those three guys thrown out of the lifeboat. I can't seem to reach them. Um, but let's at least start with the bo bossin because. This is getting ridiculous. He's been fucking eluding me all day. Oh, there he is. Yep, let's see if we can figure this out. Right. So this is the last scene he was in. Oh, but this is the one where he's just lying there dying, right? Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, he's speaking full-on Austrian there. Don't know why I didn't pick up on that earlier. What's going on here? Hmm. This game's visuals are great, but fuck, they're killing my eyes. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, let's have a look back to another chapter then. Uh. Hmm. Okay. The the uh, the second most recent was this one. All right. Oh, back to Scottish waifu. And incidentally, Scotland is the uh, Scottish is the best accent to say the word waifu. <laughs> waifu. Where are me waifus are? Oh no, there are no more waifus. They're all dead. Or off the ship. What am I supposed to do? Ugh. Oh, where's Abigail? There she is. Hi. <laughs> Hello. She's dead. All right. Uh, so this is the last time we see the Botson. Let's see if we can find him. Who's this guy? Uh, that's that fellow. Oh, that's Knife Guy. Yeah, I still haven't figured out who Knife Guy is. Um. Oh. Oh, here he is. Oh, hang on. Oh, he got, he's got his arm torn off by the... Yeah, okay, there we go. He got his arm torn off, so let's see. Uh, torn apart by the Kraken. Hey, there we go. Fuck's sake. I just had to check the second last thing. Yeah, he died by bleeding to death, not by being torn apart in the previous part. Okay, there we go. What else did I get right? That is marble. All right, yeah, the tattoos really should have been a giveaway there. And, yep, that was, yeah, we finally figured out that Volkov was shot by Emily Jackson. Hey, there we go. Oh! Hey, I think we're halfway-ish through this. This is good. <laughs> this is good. It only took me... It only took me f f nearly seven hours. Great. But at least at this point in time, uh, I, I can quickly revisit the scenes and figure stuff out, so that's nice. Righty-o. Um, I don't think I need these anymore, do I? What are these for? I think this is for... For the boss and... Hang on, there we go. Yep, that's when he died. There we go. Alfred Clestiel is solved. All right. Let's... Mm, let's go back in the lazarette. The, oh, the bargain. We're not ready for the bargain yet, I guess. Um, Wait a minute. It wasn't... Um, it wasn't the ship's... What, wasn't the captain's steward locked in the lazarette? Uh, how are we supposed to find his body then? I guess after we leave the ship? Oh, okay, we'll figure it out when, when it happens. Still don't know who this guy is yet. Um, should we redo escape now that we know some more things? Like, what do I want to do? Um, let's go to the beginning of the Doom, because I didn't really explore that one too well. Oh yeah, we're still looking for missing people. Now, who did I get right? Did I get you right? No. Uh, who is this, and what the fuck happened to him? Who is this, what fate befell him? Don't know. Um, who is this? Don't know. Um, who is this? Don't know. Oh yeah, let's find Duncan McKay. Uh, where was the last place we saw him? Um, and I'm only, sort of like, half sure that this is the right guy. You should also take a good look at this scene. This one that we're doing here? Oh, I hope so. Because we're going in. So this is the last time we see them during Marba's bit. Oh, so they're not even in part eight. Last time we see the missing people is in part seven. So yeah, let's go back to, um... Wait, we're in that scene, aren't we? Are we? No, no, we're not, actually. No. All right. Oh, I'll have a good look at this scene. Yeah, I'll do that. Um... Oh, hang on. 
This, if this guy's spearing him, do you think he's... Hang on. Um, I'll, just, I'll double check something. Um, uh, the crew. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, bosun... Oh, shit! Hang on, is this the bosun's mate who's... Uh, well, actually, I don't know if he's French or not. Has he said anything? Charles Minor. I mean, he is with Alfred here up until he dies, although we don't see him being torn apart. Actually, actually, when was the last time we see this guy? Hang on, 14 memories. Disappeared in the Doom. Bookmark memories, okay. Last seen in the Doom. Let's have a look. So where do we see him do things? Uh... We see him on the cargo deck during loose cargo. I don't think that's terribly helpful. Uh, yeah, the murder's got too many people in it as well. Unholy captives. Oh, boy. Uh, not terribly helpful. Yeah, Soldiers of the Sea is probably my best bet of finding out what happened to him. Yeah, let's just go right to the end. Here we go. Here we go. There. Right. Um. Oh, he's... He last appears here? Oh, I guess we missed him. Okay. So, ten others were present. Uh, there we go. Oh, hang on a sec. Uh, okay, if he appears... Oh, hang Oh, we are in that memory. Shit. Okay, so this is the last time he appears. We don't see him get torn apart, but, I mean... He is hanging out with him and spearing shit. Uh... Don't know. I mean, he's with him, so maybe he is the bosun's mate. I don't know. We know who all these people are. I uh, don't know who you are. You're irritating the shit out of me. I have no idea. Um. Um. Oh yeah, we got this fella. Who the hell's this fella? <laughs> Just dragged off. Unknown. Completely unknown. Oh, and this is the last time we see him. I think he's in two memories. Only two. Okay. First memory is in murder. Okay, he's in murder. Huh, alright. Oh, is this the guy that got um, skewered in the leg in this one? With a spear. Uh, and then the last time we see... Wow, he only has two appearances in the whole game? How am I supposed to figure it out then? He got speared in the leg. Did I at least figure that out? Oh no, wait, he didn't die by his being speared in the leg. Now he's going to die. Uh, now he's going to die. Okay, so he gets speared in the leg and actually survives. And then... Okay. Well, I guess he disappears then. I guess he drowns? Yeah, drowned... by a beast. I think that's a fair assessment, given that we don't see his body. Uh, don't know. Hmm. Who is this guy? Uh, who is this guy? I don't know. He's just dragged off like this. Let's see the first memory with him in it, I guess. Damn, it's getting tricky. Yeah, he's the guy with the injured leg. Yeah, I thought I'd seen him before. Alright, uh, so... Let's go back to that then. Um... Where's that memory? Hang on, there, 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 there. Um... It, oh god, alright, hang on. <laughs> uh, we're binding off more than we can chew. Hang on, um... Where is he again? Uh, is this the one? Yes, Drowned by Beast. Okay, two memories. First memory is... Part 3 of Murder. Okay. Oh, okay, so I have to go... And now I have to go back to the leg. Okay, fuck. Where am I? Alright. He's the guy with the injured leg, yeah. Although he seem it seems like he didn't die from that. He didn't die from that wound. Yeah, here we go. And it's funny that we access the first memory with him and from a missing leg. It's not his missing leg, though. Alright. Uh... Oh, that's Tattoo Man. I still... Yeah, I still need to know who he is. Hmm. There he is. So... He's, he only appears in two places. He doesn't say anything. He gets speared in the leg. He survives, and then the last time we see him, he's been thrown off away. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well... Hmm, hang on a tick. Well, let's think about this. Um... Let's have a look at the picture again. 
Okay. We have all the information we need. Let's see. He was drowned by... Hmm. Pretty sure you knew who sh shot this guy, though. Uh, he got a spear on the leg, didn't he? He didn't get shot. Oh, yeah, I knew... I, yeah, I knew who shot uh, the other guy, yeah. Uh, who's this fellow, though? Don't know. Oh, he's at the wheel! Hang on a second! Is he the helmsman? Hang on a sec, he's at the wheel. He's got his hand on the wheel. He was here, and he was here when he was thrown off as well. Is this the helmsman? Arguably the most important fucking person on a ship. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Have we identified a helmsman yet? Oh my god, are you Finley Dalton the helmsman? You don't say anything. Oh god, oh, alright. I think we've at least ident- Yeah, I should actually check the crew roster and see who we haven't uh, identified yet. But he's at the helm at every single point in time. He's in the drawing, he's got speared in the leg by the wheel, and died near the wheel, being dragged off by a monster. So, yeah, he's probably not the bosun's mate. Gunner's mate, doubt it. Steward, an unknown steward. Didn't we get all the stewards? Yeah, we know all the stewards. Midshipman, no. He's not got the uniform for it. Topman, no. Seaman, probably not. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say he's the helmsman, actually. He's got his hand on the wheel, he's gotta be the helmsman. Why the fuck didn't I notice that earlier? He just- he spends all his fucking time here, just do de do de do Alright, uh, yeah, and I should know who shot this guy as well. Um, this is, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Nichols. Yeah, there he is. How did I not set that as well? Um, oh, probably because I didn't know who Nichols was at the time. No, I certainly knew who Nichols was. I knew who he was during the murder at- oh, oh, but the, hmm? Is this earlier than the one- no, this is- this doesn't come early. How did I not set this? How did I not set this? Uh, uh Nichols. Here we go. Hmm, okay. Haven't sold anything here yet. Um, this- oh, we don't know who he is. Um, but I can find out from the tattoo. I remember seeing it. Uh... Ugh, where would he be? Oh, he would be sleeping in his hammock. It's one of the the ones where the guys died. Yeah, a bit of cold. One of the the guys died from the flu. <laughs> he died from a lung bug. Uh, yeah, I got to relive one of these to figure it out. Um, probably the first one. Stop. Yeah, stop your cheating and all that. Okay, corpse was moved. It's on the all op deck. Dead body over there. Okay. Okay. I am fairly certain that that guy is the helm because he's just there the whole time. <laughs> he never goes anywhere. So you already knew a lot more. You just didn't put it into the book. Yeah, that that's a habit I need to get into. Right. Am I, which deck am I on right now? Uh, I am on the all-op deck. Hey, I'm right where I need to be. Uh, where's the body then? Uh, wait, am I in the right place? Uh, corpse was moved post-mortem, a bitter cold parts, part one in the all-op deck. Uh, is it one of these bodies? No, I don't think so, actually. Uh, yeah, where, d where did we find this body? Um, yeah, it was one of these wrapped up bodies, wasn't it? Where's the, uh, am I in the right place? Uh, uh. Where's the- where's the surgeon's office? Maybe that will do. Maybe we'll, oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, it's one of these bodies. It's one of them. Who's this? Can we find out? Okay, oh, yeah, see, we can just press tab while we're- yeah, there we go. We can go to the book straight from the- the pocket watch. Here we go. Yeah, let's try this one. Man, that, uh, makes things a lot easier. A bit of coal, part one of three. <laughs> Stop your cheating. Okay, I actually don't care about anyone in this scene other than Sleepy McGee here. That's the one! Yep, I knew he was there. Number 37. So... Who's number 37 then? Oh, I'm gonna be really pissed off if we've already found number 37. <laughs> uh, number 37 is... Timothy Butman, the topman from Scotland. Well, I mean, he was kind of climbing around, so yeah, okay. Uh, where is he on the drawing, though? Shit, do I have to go all the way back again? Um, okay, number 37, though. Um, I'll have to remember that. Number 37, 37, 37, 37, 37, 37. Okay. Number 37 is... 
Um, I have to go back there, don't I? Oh, I have to go back to the leg. 37, and it's right over here, so that's handy. Um, right. Yeah, there we go. Thank God I remembered this. <laughs> okay, number 37. Let's see if this is right. We, if we, I think we'll have three right if this is right. There we go. Yeah, he is a topman. He's wearing, like, a sh white shirt and everything. Oh, I love the echo. There he is. Uh, shot by Nichols. I think this guy's number 37. Uh, hang on. Well, there we go. Number 37. Wherever he is. There we go. Timothy Butman Topman from Scotland. Orc. Hmm. Might have gotten something wrong. Timothy Butman Topman was shot. I mean, I'm fairly certain that this is the guy. He's got the tattoo and the thing and everything. Was shot with a gun by Edward Nichols. That's got to be right. So what am I getting wrong then? Uh, let's see. We know that's Philip Dahl. Do we find out where he dies yet? I'll check it later. Um, Emily Jackson, yeah, probably alive. Definitely dead. Uh, do we know what happened to all these people? Illness crushed by beast. Illness crushed by cargo. Okay. Thomas Sefton got spiked. Oh, yes, the cook. There we go. And he's, of course, with the butcher. Um, who's this guy? Do we know? Okay, we crushed Cargo Boy. Uh, wait a minute. He was also crushed by Cargo. Oh, but I know, but he was crushed by, by the mermaid Cargo. He's got the hat on. And he was crushed by the Cargo at the beginning in Loose Cargo. <laughs> Alright, um, not that that really helps me any. Uh, hmm, okay. Yeah. Oh, we know he was spiked. Um... Shot by cannon. Yeah, I just assumed he got blasted by cannon as well. I, st I, could I still can't find his body anywhere. Decapitated by beast. Can you go back and check how the cook died? Um, yeah, he got whacked with a tail. Spiked by a terrible beast. Oh, hang on. Maybe he wasn't spiked because spikes mean they like get like stabbed by a by a a, a, a range spike. So maybe he was. Ah, oh, he was struck by a tail. Yeah, I remember that. Hey, there we go. You were right. Thanks for that. <laughs> I never would have checked that. He was whacked by the tail. That's right. I went spiked because he was on the tail. The spikes were on the tail. Yeah, there we go. That's right. We know that. What was the first one I got right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the helmsman, of course. F fucking, yeah, no shit. <laughs> he's, he's by the wheel all day. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're past the halfway point. I think we can do well. I think we can manage this. Um, right. There we go. I just need to fix the cook there. He was whacked in the head by a tail. I forgot that uh, that being struck uh, had, like, hooves, tails, and wings involved. I don't think there were any winged creatures, so I don't think anyone died that way. Right. Uh, do I have... To, can I remove these uh, bookmarks, or are they for something important? Um, I don't know. It's someone who gets a lot of... A lot of prominence. Oh, no, it's probably one of these lost souls here. Oh, uh, yep. All right. Well, we know he's a topman. Don't know about these other guys. Yeah, we know him. Is that the... No. Yeah, we know him. He's done. Okay. Um. Yeah, I've got to know Duncan McKay. Uh, all right. Let's go back to... Let's go back to Abigail's memory, then. We're visiting that one a lot. Hi there, uh, 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 uh Hock Seng. <laughs> I remember your name. I remember you. Right, uh, let's go back to Dead Waifu. Waifu, there we go, that's, you gotta say it right. Oh, fuck, you have to go the long way, though. Those doors just stay locked. There we go. Actually, come to think of it, how do the locked doors suddenly become open again? Okay. So, let's see. Uh, we're looking for the purser, assuming he is the purser. I think he is. He was in the purser's room during the, uh, the, uh, the crab battle. The crab battle. <laughs> um, let's see. Who's this? Uh, oh, that's Wei Lee. We already know about him. Drowned by beast. Um, okay. Oh, and that's the end of the helmsman as well. Oh, no, my precious wheel! Oh, uh, these three survive. Don't know about you. Do we know anything about Martin yet? 
Uh, third mate. Uh, no. Don't even know if he's dead yet. Have we seen him die? This is the guy who gets his head shot off. Um, that's Knife Mouth Boy. That's, uh, the, that's, uh, the New Guinean guy. <laughs> There's a sword in him. Oh, no. Okay, I'm looking for... Maybe I've got this all fucked up. Hang on, let's have a look. Uh, let's look for the purser first. Um, bookmark memories, here we go. Last appearance. Oh, okay, his last appearance wasn't in this chapter. Okay, now we got to go to Marba. And I think we can go there straight from this memory, too. That's handy. Oi! Oh, look at that. Fucking memoryception here. Do you think you can figure out where the alive people are? Um, I'll look around for some clues, I guess, but... Uh, from what I can tell, four people at least are alive. There may be more. Okay, so, um... Oh, there's you. Still don't know what happened to Spear Boy. Um... He just kind of disappeared after the, the following uh, part to this chapter. Oh, hang on. Uh, hang on. Well, there's Volkov. There's you. Who are you? That is not the purser. That is... One of the midshipmen who I haven't identified yet. Save the goat! Ah. Wow! Oh, I gotta do the scream sound. I gotta do the scream sound. Hang on, goat scream. I gotta do that. Gotta do that. Goat scream. Here we go. Goat scream. We gotta do the goat scream. Here we go. Original. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you sacrifice the goat to the kraken. Maybe he eats goat. Right, um, considering I can't find the purser anywhere, that's definitely not him. I'm guessing the purser is actually one of the guys on the lifeboat. So if we can figure out when these three guys boarded the lifeboat. So it, it isn't now, but can we find them boarding this lifeboat? Uh, we're gonna have to go back a bit. Maybe at the very beginning? Uh, yeah. Although, no, they'd probably be boarding, like, midway through the Kraken attack, so, ugh, that's gonna be an issue. Right, um, yeah, that's when we last saw three guys in a boat. There was an explosion. There was squish by cannon. Yeah, still don't know what happened with this guy. Um, he just kind of vanished and I couldn't find his body. Uh, as soon as I can figure out who he is, then hopefully that's correct. Um, that's kind of annoying. I don't even know who he is. Um, okay, yeah, here's the first one. But this takes place down in the gun deck, so, yeah, so does this, so does this. That's the explosion. I would say they were probably boarding the lifeboat before the Kraken arrived, so let's go with that. Yeah, uh, let's see. Edward Spratt, the artist, was crushed by a terrible beast. Oh, he's the guy with the diuretic explosions. <laughs> he's the guy with the wicked diarrhea. I remember him. Uh, what deck is he on, though? Uh, let's see. Uh, well, I'm sure I'll find it. I'm sure I'll find it. Oh, dear. Hang on, where's that, uh, where's that sound bite? We're gonna need it. There it is. Diarrhea! <laughs> We're gonna need that. Is he on this deck? He might be. Why didn't he go to the toilet like a normal person? Here we go, so... Yep, here he is. Doom Part 1 is what you want, yeah. Because the other ones take place almost entirely on the gun deck here and you don't get to go upstairs, I don't think. There we go, he's on the toilet, what do you mean? <laughs> I, I think he's shitting overboard, though. Um, oh, here we go, yeah, 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 yeah. So, let's see, who's on lifeboats here? There we go. <laughs> the echo is great. Omid Ghoul. Um. Oh, was he on the boat? Let's see. Uh, who died here then? Is this fella? Did he die? Oh, we don't know what happened to him either. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, that's him and his steward. Okay, and we know that he. Let's see, John Davies' fourth mate was clubbed by an unknown attacker. So we know he survives, and he doesn't leave the boat just yet. What about this fella? Who's this? Oh, that's, um, that's the Dane. I remember his outfit. Um, 
Get out of there, goat! <laughs> who are you? Yeah, uh, uh, wait, didn't I figure out who you are? You're Omid Ghoul. You're the, the Persian. I mean, you know, the, the turban's a dead give giveaway there. Um, you definitely aren't Indian because I figured all of them out and there are no Indian topmen. Uh, and you were seen there, so, alright. Did you escape on the boat? I don't even see the boat, like, where are they going? Oh, hang on, weren't they boarding a boat in this scene? You're in Doom Part 2, not Part 1. I think this is Part 1. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. The Doom Part 1 about- yeah, there we go, okay. So... Over my dead body, you bloody day. Yeah, this is the one. How is that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Before I forget. Go. You killed my brother. What? Oh. There was an accident. No ropes. Oh. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Yeah. Huh. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. He killed someone's brother? Burt. Okay. Ah, yeah, they're in the boat. Ah, hang on. That's the purser, isn't it? Is that the guy? Let's double check. Yep, that's Duncan McKay. Oh, he, he was carrying ledgers with him. Ah, oh, he's got all of the, uh, he's got all of the, uh, the, the bookkeeping shit. <laughs> I must know who owes me doubloons! Okay, so, he's in the lifeboat. He's in the lifeboat. He gets whacked. He's in the lifeboat. Yeah, these are the three guys that were thrown overboard then, I guess. So... I guess it's reasonable to say, since we don't see him die, but I mean, it's fairly... Fairly... Yeah... Drowned by beast. Is that right? I guess we'll find out soon. It might not even be Duncan McKay, but I think he is the person. He was in the person's office. It was just a sheer fucking lucky chance I saw him hiding away back there. Uh, this guy... Also probably disappeared. Yeah, I'm gonna say all these guys drowned... ...by a beast. Hmm. Also you. And then, um, the... the, uh, Dane. Okay. Right. Drowned as well. I think they all- they all fucking bit the- bit the dust. Uh, who died here again? It was, um... It was the Dane. Yeah, Lars Lind. Now, this guy mentioned that... ...that he killed his brother. In the game, I can assume. They, he wouldn't just say that if it's like, You killed my brother when we were five! <laughs> you wanker! So, I'm going to actually have a check. I think we might be able to figure out who this guy is. Three triangles, but let's see if we can find people with the same names. Um... Let's see. Charles Minor... Nope. Let's see. Weirter... We Peter Milroy... Thomas Lank... Huang Li... Okay, he's not Asian. Um, oh, we're, okay, not many people left. Um, Nicholas Botterill, Lewis Walker, Nathan Peters, uh, Hermandu Diom, Henry Brennan, Alexander Booth, George Shirley, Samuel Peters. Oh, uh, Peters, Nathan Peters and Samuel Peters, both of them seamen. Okay, well shit, they're probably related then, they have the last name. Okay, now we have to just figure out who is who. Okay, well hang on. When did this guy's brother die? Oh, we can find out when he... Let's see, hang on. Oh, cru oh, he's the one who was crushed in loose cargo. Uh, okay. So, assuming that this guy was drowned by a terrible beast, we could just assign names to them. I find that you kill my brother interesting. Yeah, I think if we just put one name next to another. Like, we've got Samuel Peters and Nathan Peters. Let's give him Nathan Peters. Let's give him Samuel Peters. Right. Um, because... Uh, assuming that you can go with Drowned by a Beast for these three, assuming that that's okay, I am all but certain that's the purser. Um, hmm. Oh no! Uh, well that didn't work. Oh yeah, I could try swapping them over. Let's try swapping them over. Because uh, I'm pretty sure these guys drowned. They're the ones on the lifeboat, right? Let's try you as Nathan Peters. And this guy. Oh, he's, yeah, he's with his brother. There you go. With Samuel Peters. Uh, yes! Fuck you! Yeah. All right. Well done. Three more fates correct. Was uh, Samuel the first one to die because he died to the being hit by the cargo? Yes, yeah, Samuel Peters dead. First one to die on board. 
Even the stowaway outlived you, dickhead, because he fell just shortly after. Okay, there we go. And that was the purser. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. We're running out of people. I am not looking forward to the Chinese Topman, though. They're, they're going to be the worst. How the fuck am I meant to figure all them out? All right. Let's see. Um, what fate befell them? Okay. And we've learned that drowning by a terrible beast is acceptable. So, and he was in the lifeboat. So we solved these guys drowning at sea. Yeah, Nathan Peters, Duncan McKay, and whoever this guy drowned by terror. Yeah, so that's going to be fine. Hmm, who is this soul? I'll get back to that. Uh, who is this guy? Well, he said he was torn apart by a... By, like, didn't... didn't the, See, he's with the bosun, right? And he said, you know, um, he was torn apart. So is this the guy we're looking for? There's not very many people left. Oh, yeah, there's also Omid. Um, but he doesn't die here, does he? Ah, oh, a bit confused. A bit confused about some of the missing people. Well, that's me. Not his fault he was crushed, I know. He's a poor dickhead. Um, Stowaway doesn't even get a, uh, a mention on the crew manifest. All right, who are we missing? Um, Omid. Okay, where was the last time we saw Omid? Uh, met an unfortunate, uh, an unknown fate. Let's bookmark his memory. Let's see where he might be. Uh, his last appearance was... Oh, his last appearance was this one. During the explosion. Hmm, okay. Well, where's the location of that one, then? Uh, oh, it's on the top deck. Yeah, explosion boy. Here we go. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I do need to figure out who the, um... I wonder if I can do that by process of elimination anyway. Because I'm curious. Um, we only have... I know most of the midshipmen. I know, Well, I know one of them. Or do I? Knife exploded. Oh, hang on. No, I need the full... Uh, hang on. There we go. I need the full image here. Okay. We've... Did we get this one correct? Yes, we did. Okay, Charles Hirschstick, Midshipman, burnt to death. We got that one right. N oh, knifed by unknown. Uh, I don't know who killed him yet. Okay, this guy exploded though, so... Oh, yeah, but we just recently found the solution to some, but... We could just... There's only two more midshipmen. Um, so it's either Peter Milroy or Thomas Lank. Eh. Well, we'll all figure it out eventually. But, um... Is this the one we're looking for? We can find out, can't we? Uh, yeah, explosion. Okay, but we're looking for what happened to Omid here. I must have missed his death. It's funny how people can die if they're not the main uh, focus of this... Of the, of the, uh, the still frame. Is that him? No, that's Marba, isn't it? Yeah. There's Marba dead. Oh, hentai! I love it! Look at shit! Oh, that's some good shit. I love it. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, we've got... Oh, I, I love this one. Yeah, this scene's great. Oh no! Oh, I've got too many guns! Who's this again? Ah, uh, that's the fourth mate. I still don't know who the fuck this guy is. Like, like, who could this guy possibly be? He looks like an officer, but I just don't know. Uh, we don't know who attacked him either, so yeah, it's pointless even trying right now. Oh, hang on. Oh shit, did we find him? Oh, he's right there. There we go. I was thinking I'd have to look around for tiny pixel hunting, but there you go. There's Omid. Um, considering this is his last appearance, I think it's fair to say he fell to his death. In fact, I think I noticed him earlier and I just didn't put him into the book. Uh, I think it's fair to say he drowned. Um, oh, but I have to say he drowned by a, a, an attacker. I guess Beast, is that... I mean, it's, it's the only thing that caused him to drown. So, yeah, there's that. I think we've figured out who Omid is now. Alright, um... Did we figure out who this was yet? Explosion. Uh, oh, that's one of our midshipmen. Okay. Okay, we gotta figure out... Okay, we gotta figure out who knifed him and who this guy is. We know he exploded to death. Hmm... Right. But I feel like we're making some headway here. I feel like we're doing pretty okay-ish here. <laughs> Fell overboard works. So, oh, is that a thing? I feel like that's more relevant. Fell overboard. Is that a thing? Was drowned. Uh, fell. Oh, yeah. I didn't. Uh, there we go. Fell overboard. Rigging stairs. Yeah, I think that's more accurate. I would say that's more accurate to what happened there. 
I mean, sure, the Kraken was responsible for all this shit, but... I mean, if he wasn't climbing around like a dickhead all day... Isn't he the guy with the sword as well? Where's his sword at? <laughs> oh, there it is. I think that's his sword and it's been grabbed by uh, Marba. <laughs> Don't worry, Omid. I will avenge your death. <laughs> oh, dear. And also look after your sister, if you know what I mean. I think that's all we can glean from this scene, though. Um. All right. I really want to know who the midshipmen were. Um, let's see. So you blew up, but I don't know who you are. What about the other one? The other midshipman. Let's go to the picture again. Um, oh, hang on. Where is it? Midshipman one. Okay, here's the exploded one. This is the other one. We don't know. He was not. Oh, but I don't know who did it. Shit. All right. Or maybe I do. Let's go back to when he died. Perished in escape past six, part six. Okay. Well, thank you for telling me for once. Okay, escape part six. Right, escape part six. Who oh, is that? Uh, go to... Oh, he's the one who died in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go to the gun deck. Yeah, okay, I know where that is. I remember that. Good thing my memory's working today. Fuck, I'd be in a lot of trouble otherwise. Right, uh, down here? I think? Is this the right place? Oh god, I don't want to see the crabs again. Right. I think I might be in the wrong place. Um, uh, yeah, this is... Yeah, this is the surgery. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, the chel chair fell over. <laughs> That's what happens when you lean on it there, surgeon's assistant. I am on the wrong deck. Uh, yeah, here we go. Find dead... No. Yeah, because this is where the, the mutiny happens, so... Ah, uh, yep, and then the blood, and then the knife. Here we are. <laughs> Follow the trail of death. Right. How can we figure out... We, I know he's a midshipman because of the uniform. Hmm. Oh, no. You're cut. Uh. Don't leave me. That's Bear Hoskett. Oh. I'll stay with you. Tell oh, Pete's don't die, I, mate. I, oh. I tried my best. I. Tell Pete I tried my best. To save him. You tell her yourself. Uh. Brennan! Oh, hang on a sec. Okay, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Um, let me see. We Okay, we know who he is. To bring him back. Is he talking about bringing him back from the explosion? Because he was holding the rope. Um, well, hang on. Let's hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, is there... We'll actually be able to know for certain, actually. If we find the... Peter Milroy. There you go. That's the other midshipman. So hang on. The other one's Thomas Lank then. Hey, I figured it out. This is probably the best chapter right now for info. Yeah, looks like it. I finally figured this out. So yeah, um, I should have paid more attention. I tried my best to bring Pete back from being exploded and he was attached to the rope. So that means you must be Thomas Lank. Oh, but we don't know who knifed him. Um... Mmm, who knifed him? Let's find out. Probably, yeah, we're gonna need another one, though. Uh, let's check the transcript again. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mother. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Pete Milroy, yep. I, I tried my best to pull him back to save him. There you go, yeah. I, I thought that was, like, metaphorical. <laughs> I tried to bring him back from his alcoholism. Uh, but no, he was pulling on a rope. You tell her yourself. Brennan, bring the surgeon kit. Oh, hang on. That's a name I haven't heard before. Who's Brennan? Hang on a sec. Who the fuck is Brennan? That's a name I haven't heard before. Uh, let's see. Brennan. Brennan. I'm, I'm guessing that's a last name. Might not be, though. Um, uh, Brennan. Brennan. Not seeing it anywhere. He must be on the ship somewhere. Brennan, uh, Botterill, uh, Brennan, uh, oh, here we go, Henry Brennan, okay, so he's a seaman from England, Henry Brennan, okay, so he was, okay, okay, let's get back to, uh, the chapter at hand, how do I do that, oh god, I just want to go back to where we're at, uh, we're at, Escape? Somewhere. Not you. Not you. Or was it you? I can't remember. 
No, that's Paul Moss. Um, yeah, we're at the very beginning, aren't we? Thomas Lank. Here we go. Uh, midshipman was knifed by an unknown attacker. Okay. Orc, no. Uh, you, Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. Okay. Are we near the surgeons? If we find a bloke in the surgeons that isn't the surgeon, then we'll know what to do. Uh, oh, better head upstairs. Are you Brennan? Are you Brennan? I, I would like to solve knife guy. I would like to solve knife guy. Uh, oh, but I'd also like to solve uh, hat guy. That would be great. Yeah, these guys have been here since the fucking beginning. Uh, damn it, he's blocking the stairway. All right, um, and I can't open doors in this state, can I? Um, actually, that makes things easier for me, uh, because that means one of these guys... Hang on, assuming that... Let's have a look. Three others were present. Okay, we got Hoskin. We've got Lank. He's the guy who died. We've got Mr. Hat. And we've got Mr. Knife. Yeah, he's up there. So, okay. Then one of these guys must be Brennan, then. What would you do if someone called your name? You'd probably be... Oh, well, yeah, he's looking in the opposite direction. He's going like, what? It's my only good ear, you see. There we go. Oh, I see. He's like, huh? Did someone call me? It's me, Clubby Brennan McGee. Yeah, I guess he's Brennan then. Okay, fair enough. Fuck, this has taken forever. And yeah, we've known about his death for a long time. Uh, all right. Henry Brennan. Let's see if this is right. Oh, yep, there you go. I mean, yeah, there wasn't, uh... There wasn't a lot of room to fuck that one up, actually. Don't know why I didn't pick up on that one earlier. There we go. Yep, and that was Peter Milroy, who got blowed up. An Omid Ghoul. Oh, did I get something else wrong? Oh, I don't know who killed the other midshipman. Okay. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, I think I can finish this game in about half an hour. I think I can do it. Okay, there we go. I'm surprised I didn't pick that up the first time around. Um, there's only so many people. These guys are fucking dead. <laughs> um, you're not Brennan, obviously. And yeah, there was only two other guys here. And he's like, you know, what? Oh, he's looking at Brennan. It's like, oh, he's, he's, he's calling your name, boy. <laughs> right, oh. Yeah, there's not really no one else here. Um, I feel like we should go forward a bit. Oh, no, back a bit. I gotta find out who stabbed him. Who stabbed this guy? All right, let's go back. And we did get Omid right as well. Okay. Which, I wonder if we can get anyone else. Yep, they're right, they're right. Yeah, I don't know who... Okay, you pro you definitely drowned in the boat because you're the third guy. Don't know what happened to you or who either of you are. Uh, right. Right, well, let's go back a bit. Find who stabbed him. I would say he was stabbed very early on in the piece, in the escape. So let's go earlier to the escape here. There we go. Um, there were a couple of scenes where, where he was overhearing it. He was overhearing the mutiny. I remember that. Uh, Paul was stabbed. When does when does the mutiny happen? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we can use the, the transcript here. You have a plan? Yes, we take the ship and sail east. Uh, mutiny! Fresh bastard. Oh, the guy who died. Okay. Okay, well, let's try and find part four of escape. Part four of escape. Brennan did just, just club a dude. I know. He's very club happy. He just wants to go to the club. Right. Uh, oh, we're looking for guy got his head blown off. I still don't know who this fucker is. I would like to know. Uh, there's Mr. Missing Face. Hey! We, oh, look, there's the rest of his brain matter. That's great. <laughs> that's so good. That is really good. I like that. Oh, that's good. Oh. I can skip that. Yeah, kablamo. Right. Oh, but who did the stabbing, though? Yeah, okay. That's when he was stabbed. Kablamo. Who was stabbed? Oh. oh. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go back a little bit more. I didn't see who stabbed him. Right. Um. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no. Let's go back a bit. You have to go backwards. It's like a manga. You have to read it backwards. Uh, what's all this, you damn fool? Kasplat. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this is probably what we're looking for. Uh, oh, we're back to Volkov's body again. My god. <laughs> uh, 
He just won't leave me alone, that Russian dude. Alright, um... Uh, he just won't stop being relevant. Okay, uh, here we go. <laughs> Not like this. There we go. <laughs> he just won't stop being important. He's in a lot of memories, actually. Okay. Blech. And then... Oh, can I go down? Uh, I can go down. There we go. Uh, that's Knife Guy. Yeah, that's right. Tat uh, waifu Tattoo Guy uh, died earlier. During murder, right? Or the calling? One of the two. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. This fucker is the guy who stabbed him. I don't know who this is. I fucking hate this guy. He's got, like, an officer's uniform, but I don't know. He's Okay, he's probably not the bosun's mate. Because we know who the bosun is. Uh, Gunner's mate. Hang on. The gun... He might be the gunner's mate. I thought I saw him during Soldiers of the Sea with the gunner. I don't know about a Polish accent, but I mean, come on, he's not a topman. He's not a seaman. Uh, he's... he's No, he can't be the bosun's mate. Gunner's mate. Well, okay, we can just uh, brute for th force this, I guess. We can just go, fuck it. Oh, we don't know who he was killed by. Shit. Shit. Uh, by an unknown attacker. Fuck. How did he die, then? Uh, oh, he was shot. That's right. He was shot by the fourth mate. Is this Olus Weirter? Uh, well, hang on. Let's let's try... Let's try this. Um, he was stabbed by Olus... Oh, here we go. Gunner's mate. Oh, I don't know if that's true or not just yet. Uh, let's just go back to Soldiers at Sea. Oh, God, which one are we going to go with? <laughs> which one is it? Uh, probably one of the earlier ones. Uh, oh, not too early, though, because it starts on top deck. Um, all right, hang on. Soldiers at Sea. Let's confirm this. Um, okay. I feel like you do know who shot him, just that you haven't put it in for some reason. I probably do, actually. Yeah, let's do that first, then, just in case. Um... Actually, no, I, I will do soldiers at sea. Um, although, no, actually, I'll go back because there's other identities I have to do there first anyway. So, yeah, you're right. I should probably just go with escape. Part something. Who's this fella who shot him? Captain can't be trusted. Boom. Um, oh, we don't have to replay the scene. We can just check and see who was present. Okay. Uh, you weren't shot by Brennan. Oh, were you sh oh, he was shot by Davies, I guess. He was clubbed by Unknown. Oh, he was clubbed by Brennan. Yeah, he got bonked in the face by Brennan afterwards. We saw it in the image. So, hang on a sec. You were clubbed by Davies. Uh. Uh. Where are you? Oh, no, not Davies. Brennan. You were clubbed by Brennan. Bashed in the face. But you were the one that shot Olus Weirter. So, fourth mate John Davies. Yes! Oh, didn't even have to revisit it that time. All right. Oh, we're doing well. Oh, we're nearly done. I, I think I think we can do this. I think we can do this in half an hour. All right. Olus Weirter, gunner's mate, was shot by a gun in the face. I mean, Jesus Christ. The hell head blown off. Point blank range. You gotta love it. Yay! More notches on my death belt. <laughs> Alrighty. We're doing good. We're doing good. Um, right. Um, that means, then, we know... Uh, escape. Here we go. We know now... That... No. Do we know about you? Yes, we know about you. Uh, Volkov, we know... We do know about Volkov. Yep, he's gone. Uh, yep, we know about you... We also know about you. Um, yeah, you're the one. No, no, you're not the one. Uh? Wait, what am I missing then? The one, oh, the one who was stabbed. Wait, who, where's the one who was stabbed then? Oh, did I already set it? I think I already set it as him being stabbed. Yeah, he was stopped, yeah, stabbed by all the sweet. Okay, so that's the escape done. Uh, except for these ones. Um, so, got you. Got you got you. Fucking finally got you. You, and you, and you. Okay, that's almost all of the escape done. Let's see who else we might be missing. Uh, we can't do the bargain yet. Let's just go all the way back to the beginning and see. I mean, there's not many left at this point, so we're actually better off just seeing who uh, who's left on the manifest. 
Rice. Oh, and yeah, the ticks show everything. Uh, Martin Parrot. Okay, I have identified him, but hang on, where was the last... Hang on, Martin Parrot. He's, uh... Oh, there he is. Uh, Martin Parrot. When was the last time... Here we go, nine memories. First memory... Where's the last memory? Okay, let's check. Okay, let's check with a bookmark, shall we? Um, he appeared in quite a few spots, actually. Yeah, he's the one officer that's unaccounted for at this point. Uh, it's not how you have such a good memory for scenes, but the memory of a goldfish for people you just literally, you literally just solve. I know, it is a bit weird, isn't it? My, well, that's the thing, my long-term memory is actually quite astounding, but my short-term memory is fucking abysmal. That's just kind of how I've always been. I'm weird like that. Like, I know, that's Abigail, I didn't even need to read her name. Well, she is a waifu, so that's kind of cheating. Right. Oh, this is the last time he appeared. Ten others were present. Wait, are you telling me the last time... Martin appeared is when... Is when the captain's wife was saying, Hey, Martin, where are you at? Where's my husband? Um... Yeah. Oh, her dialogue can, can also kind of throw you for a loop as well. Like, what does she say in the dialogue again? Yeah, that, yeah, it's just like, you know, Martin, where's the captain? I need to find him. I want my husband. Who is another man that's not the captain? Where is he? <laughs> so I'm glad we figured that out earlier, because I might have actually been... I might have overthought that a bit, because that, that could have thrown me for a loop. Right. Uh, let's see who I still have left to figure out. Um... Uh, let's see. I don't want this version of the... Oh, hang on, here we go. Yeah, we don't know how he died. Surgeon. Oh, okay, the surgeon's probably alive. Well, he'll die if we don't fix finish the book, I guess. He'll die of super cancer. Uh, we still don't know the bosun's mate, although I am... N no, hang on, I'll, I'll ch check a few first, but this is... Okay, Emily Jackson, Mr... How do we not know... Oh, yeah, I don't know if they've where they've gone. Hock Seng Lao. Uh, uh, well, how did I not figure him out yet? Zungi Sarthi, ship steward. When Where was he? I need to check all this. Can I go to the memories, please? Oh god, why can't I go to the memories part? Hang on. Um, where is he? Okay, I know where Hock Seng Lao is. Oh, I keep trying to check his dead body when I should be checking the Formosan royalty image. Right. Four memories. Perished in murder at sea. How come I haven't figured him out yet? Oh, right, because I thought he was killed because, yeah, the, the gunner was the one who said open fire. But t now that we know, and it was Brennan who got the final shot off, wasn't it? So hang on. Yeah, see, now we know who Brennan is. That's why I couldn't figure it out, because I was like, oh, it's Hat Guy. Hat Guy was the one guy that... He was the only one who didn't miss, I remember. So, actually, we can set that now. We can set that one now. Um, Henry Brennan. Yeah, there we go. Although, I don't know if that's right or not. Although, yeah, I, I'm all but certain it was Henry Brennan, because if we look at... Um, who were present. Ton of people. Yeah, he was the only one that managed to actually shoot properly. I guess we could revisit it, just to be absolutely certain, but I'm f all but certain. I think you can fill Doom Part 1. Uh, quite possibly. Beep, beep. Alright. Oh, a little under half an hour. I think I can do this. Here we go. Uh, so yeah, initially I thought the captain was responsible for his death, but then it said, uh, no, it's gotta be like... Actually, no, my initial thought was, um, okay, he was executed by a firing squad, but you, can, you can't you can actually have it be multiple people that killed him. So I thought, okay, maybe it's the captain, and then I thought, okay, that's not working. And then I went with Mr. Wolf, and it's like, okay, that's not working. And then I was like, oh, hang on, these motherfuckers have all missed him. All except for, yep, I was right, it was Brennan. And of course, I needed to find out who he was first. So, uh, he's, he's fucking dead. We got that right, I think. Who the fuck is that? Do we even know who this is? Oh, that's Marcus Gibbs. He's the, the carpenter's mate. Just hanging out here. Oh no, my freaking ears! Do we know who he is? We do, we just don't know where the fuck he is. Alright. Alright, well, I'm pretty happy we have... I'm pretty happy to think we've finally figured out how... Hock Sing Lao actually died. He was shot by Henry Brennan. 
the the uh, the book does not give a shit about uh, distinctions there. Yeah, he was executed by a bunch of them, but only one of them actually managed to land a shot, so fuck it. Right, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, you have no idea where the fuck that guy is. Let's see who else we need. Uh, loose cargo only has two people. We don't care about stowaways. Uh, right. Uh, who am I missing? Okay, let's go back and check the crew. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do the Doom Part 1. Um, hang on a sec. Uh, Doom Part 1. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go, the Doom Part 1. Didn't I already figure that out? Yeah, I, no, I figured out Lars Lind a long time ago. And then, who else was present? There was... The purser who died drowning. There's... Yeah, he drowned- he was on the lifeboat as well. Oh, I don't know who he is yet. Nathan Peters drowned by beast. Okay, well, let's see who this guy might be. Uh, well... Probably not the bosun's mate, because I haven't seen him with the bosun, although who knows. Uh, there's a bunch of topmen, there's a bunch of seamen. I haven't- I didn't see him on the- t on the, uh, on the mast at all. He didn't put in who killed him for some reason. Uh... Drowned by a terrible beast. Yeah, I did that. Oh, you mean Hock Seng Lao? Uh, no, I, I just got- I just kind of got it wrong, is all. <laughs> I figured out- I figured it out that it's gotta be the person actually fucking killed him. It can't just be the captain who ordered the execution, or Mr. Wolf who said, FIRE! I mean the Dane. Did I not say who killed him? Did I not say who killed him? Oh yeah, um, shit, and, and we do know who killed him. It was, um, uh, doodly do. Yeah, I didn't put him in yet. Um, uh, Nathan Peters, yeah, alright. Nathan Peters. We know that now. Because his brother Samuel Peters was crushed by cargo. Oh yeah, because the uh, he was there. Yeah, he was like right by the ropes when they went and then... Pfft, ow, my face. So, Nathan Peters. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. No idea why you just skipped that entirely. Oh, I've just forgotten to put some of them in, that's all. Um, who are you though? Um... Does this guy ever say anything? I, I'm pretty sure he disappeared. He's one of the three men on the boat. George Shirley, Alexander Booth. Oh, hang on. Okay, hang on. This guy is... This guy looks like he could be from Sierra Leone. Ah, because Africa, yeah. Is this guy Hamado Dion, perhaps? I don't know. Did I get any other ones correct? Okay, I know I've finally finished him off now. Did I get a recent other one correctly? Uh, correct? I, oh god. I only need three in a row. I have no idea why you just skipped that entirely. Uh, not a topman, I don't think. I mean, he's hanging around with the rest of the seamen, so... Um, well, let's have a look. Yeah, probably Sierra Leona. That, assuming he's a seaman. Lewis Walker. Eh... Right, I'm gonna leave that as is for now. Right, uh, I'm pretty sure his fate is correct, so let's see who else there is. Let's try and get some Topman, that would be great. Uh, Henry Evans, Surgeon, yeah, we don't know anything about that yet. Um, Emily Jackson, Miss Jane Bird, yeah, we know who they are, we just don't know where they've gone. Hock Seng Lao. Zungi Sathi, the ship's steward. Davy James. Oh yeah, he's one of the ones who survived. Okay. Oh, the Topmans can f fuck right off. Um, alright. Nicholas Bottle. Okay, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. There are only two Topmen that are not Chinese. There's Nicholas Bottle and Lewis Walker. Which makes me think... Hang on a sec. There's Knifey McGee, and we already know who he is. We know- we know how he died, so maybe we can just guess at this point. Speared by beast. Because I'm thinking... Yeah... Because he's with the rest of the Topmen, so alright, let's try. Oh, he's only one triangle, we should have known this by now. Alright, well, this is a Topman, he's not Chinese, so let's just guess, I suppose. Um... Lewis Walker? Eh? All right, let's try the other one. Nicholas Botterill. Hey, there we go. 
Beautiful. Three more fates correct. Alright, so we finally got Hoxing Lao done. Okay, finally. There we go. There's Nicholas Botterill, and then of course we've got uh, the Sierra Leone fellow. Oh, no, we don't. We have Lars Lind, the Dane. Oh, okay. Okay, well, at least that helps us say that we haven't got the Sierra Leone guy right. That's actually kind of helpful. Okay, so we were definitely wrong on that. Um, okay, so we know for a fact that's not Hamadu Diom. So let's go back to unknown. We know that's the case. Um, hmm. Are there any other... I mean, we have the carpenter who is African-American. Uh, I don't know if there are any other, like, darker skin characters, unless, like... No, Sierra Leona wouldn't be, like, white African. No. Huh. I don't see anyone that would fit that bill. Everyone else is white. Or Asian. Or Italian. The one Italian here. Um. Oh, hang on a sec. Um, if that's Nicholas Botterill, then we're, yeah, we're running out of Topman. Um. Hang on, we're running out of Topmen that aren't Chinese. Lewis Walker! Is that- I, that has to be Lewis Walker, he's the only Topman left that we haven't identified. And he's not- No, he is not Chinese. Okay. Good. That's good. Who is this? Oh, the guy that was shot with the cannon, yeah. Who I couldn't find the body of. He went missing with, um, um, uh, Christian Wolf. Yeah, he got blown apart, and I, but I couldn't find his body. They're playing a good game of Liar's Dice. Decapitated by a beast. Oh, he's probably an Asian topman. That we're, yeah, because we're running out of... Yeah, there's... Oh, okay, this shouldn't be too hard, actually, because we've got... Yeah, I can just... I can just guess the rest from here. This shouldn't be too hard. Because we have a bosun's mate. And I, I'm now all but convinced the guy with the spear who's with the bosun during the end... He disappears. We don't know what happened to him. No, no, no. He's not Charles Minor. Shit, I fucked that up. <laughs> no. No, he's not even an officer. Unknown. Okay, hang on a sec. Um, where is the bosun's mate? Is he with the bosun? He's here. Lars Lind. Fuck. All right, where is he? Oh, God. All right, now I have to go back to the Doom again. Um, uh, would he show up in... Yeah, I think he would show up in Abigail's memory again. Soldiers Part 2 says they've... The crab's already done for, or killed Nick, and this guy dies in part one. Oh yeah, wasn't there a Nick? Yeah, there was a Nick. Have I found a Nicholas? There's Nicholas Botterill. Speared by Beast? Uh... Hmm. When was that? Oh yeah, he died at the very beginning. Yeah, at, in part one. Yeah, he was the one who speared. Yeah, I remember now. I remember. So, yeah, he was one of the first ones, or if not the first one, to die at the beginning of that chapter. He just gets fucking speared. Um, yeah, they done Nick in. Yeah, I should have remembered that. Bleh. Alright, um... See, here's where the bosun got his arm torn off. Now, let's see. Yeah, there he is. Um, met an unknown fate. He's, let's see. He's with the bosun. He's not Sierra Leone. He's white. Alexander Booth. Mm, possibly. George Surly. Possibly. Definitely not Chinese. I'm going to say because he's with the Bozeman, he's trying to spear the fucking tentacle off him so he doesn't get hentied to death. I'm thinking this is Charles Minor. I'm thinking. Do you recognize his striped shirt? Um, I don't. No. Does he... Does he wear... Oh, hang on, no, but if he's... Well... I don't recognize it, but it is unique, so I guess... I guess if he's the bosun's, bo, uh, bosun's mate, he's got a unique outfit. Yeah, it's very stripy. It's not like the rest of the Topman. I kind of assumed he was a Topman, but then again, he doesn't climb the sails, does he? So, Charles Minor, but what happens to him, though? Isn't this the last memory he appears in as well? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go back to that, actually. What am I doing? Here we go. Uh, 14 memories. Bookmark memories. Here we go. Uh, this is the last part he appears in. Huh. Well, that's really rather inconvenient. Um, okay, so he spears him. Although, 
he says, where's my Frenchman? And then he was in, and then, ah, oh, then he was informed that he was torn apart. Ah, there we go. His Frenchman was torn apart. Ah, his Frenchman was torn apart by a manster. A beast. There we go. I think that's right, although I wouldn't know for certain, but I mean, I'm fairly sure right now. We are running out of people. Bozen's mate was torn apart by a terrible beast. I think that's probably right. Or drowned. That's another one that keeps popping up for the people that have gone missing. Right. Um, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Um, let's see. Oh, it took me a good long while to get to, to get to grips with the UI, but now that I have, it's not too bad. I, I can get around pretty well. Um, so yeah, his uniform is so unique because he's the only he's the only uh, bosun's mate, of course. Torn apart. Let's see. Still don't know about Martin. Henry Evans, the surgeon. Oh yeah, he was on the boat. Uh, who else don't I know yet? Uh, Emily Jackson. Da, 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 da. Ship steward India. Oh. Uh. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, yeah. He was the last remaining steward. He. What happened to him then? Zungi Sarthi. I don't even remember this guy. He was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. Don't remember that one. Where's his last memory? Perished in Soldiers of the Sea Part 7. Hmm, I'm going to have to revisit that one. I don't remember. Oh, was he? Oh, he was the guy who died. Okay, he was spiked. And then, no, he wasn't spiked. He was spiked and then he just wandered off. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was shot. Yeah, that's right. He was shot. Oh, yeah, by whom, though? Let's... Yeah, let's go and relive that. <laughs> okay, so do you want to know how to tell the Chinese topmen apart? Or figure it out yourself? It's pretty subtle, to say the least. I will give it a go. And then if it turns out that it's something really bullshit, I, I'll ask. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. I feel like if I just narrow it down for now, I might be okay. Um, on the other hand, though, I feel like maybe it's going to be a problem. Um... Uh, let's see, where are we going? Yep, here's the crab battle. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Oh yes, next week is uh, uh, t uh, talk like International Talk Like a Pirate Day stream, hence why we're playing this game. I knew this game was going to take a whole stream, so I had to, uh, had to do this one on its own. But next week we're doing the pirate games! Oh my god! Very excited. Yeah, here he is. Right, let's see who shot him. How do I, how do I not know who shot him at this point? I've identified so many people, how do I not know who shot him? See, he goes... Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, he got spiked. Oh, oh I've been spiked. Oh. And then... <laughs> What's happening before the shot? There's like a... <laughs> Someone just trying to fucking whack the the uh, the crab with a sausage or something. It's use that use that giant sausage there and whack it to death. It ain't working, boss. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Oh fuck yeah, this is the guy I couldn't tell earlier. I remember this. I remember. I can't even fucking see him. Who shot him? I can't even get to the other side. But this is where I learned who the uh, the person was. I think the sound of the blood hitting the floor. Oh, that's the- that's what it is. Uh, oh, that's the butcher. And then, yeah, there's where I found out where the purser was. He was hiding in his purse's room, being a dickhead. Um, I think I need another one of these, because I'm trapped here. Um, how do I even get out? Oh, there's the door, right. Yeah, I am going to try another memory. We're looking for a bald guy. Who shot him? Who was the motherfucker who shot him? Let's try another one of these. Um, I'll, I'll try finding the butcher's body and see if we can figure this out. Let's just work our way backwards. There he is. <laughs> beep, beep. Couldn't even get him down in time. Goodness me. Okay, he gets stuck. Uh, who's got a gun? Uh, there we go. So, he, yeah, here's him wandering here. He's just pulled the spikes out. That's kind of a shitty thing to do. Like, you, some people might just assume he was spiked. It's a good thing I heard the gunshot. Uh, right. This is not the guy who shot him. He's bald. So, okay. Let's try another one, then. 
How could how could the uh, the guy who shot this guy be missing in this scene? Surely he would be here. Uh, let's look for. Here we go. Let's see. Zungi is actually one of the hardest to figure out. Um, yeah, I'm having a damn time of it. Here we go. I'm looking for a bald guy. Um... Oh, I found him! Is Yeah, oh my god! It's the fucking Frenchman! <laughs> hang on. Yeah, no, hang on. I think the Frenchman was the one who shot him. Yeah, he's dead and all. That's great. Uh, we got the wrong guy, though. Where is... Hang on, he's... Uh, third mate steward. Which steward? He's the ship steward, isn't it? Purser... Uh, no, that's a fourth mate steward. It's, uh, oh, here we go. Zungi Sarthi. We figured him out by process of elimination because he was the only one left. Shot by... This only, this will only work if we're right about Charles Minor, which I'm fairly certain we are right. Yes! Fuck yes! Oh, God. Oh, God, help me. Okay. That's bullshit. You can hardly see him, but I guess he's the only bald guy there, so they are reasonable. There we go, he's finally fucking dealt with. There we go. Oh. Oh, yeah, and that was Lewis Walker as well. He's the one with the, uh, the, he was the one with the knife in his mouth in the end. He actually lasted quite a while. Okay, we are getting close to the end. Oh, ten minutes. Now I doubt we're going to do this because we have a whole other chapter with the bargaining, haven't we? Okay, um, let's... Ooh. Good news is, we are figuring out some things. Bad news is, I'm still missing some really, uh, really confusing ones. Okay. Philip Dahl. Oh yeah, we didn't know what happened to him. Three memories. Bookmark memories. When does this guy even appear, other than the one time we've seen him? I remember seeing him be th thrown in the lazarette. Um... Wait, he was present for this one? In... The Calling Part 6? Where was he? Well, the Calling Part 6? Oh god, I don't want to have to do the calling again. Uh, I, I believe you. <laughs> Let's just say I believe you. He was there for the calling. Uh, he was also there for uh, Unholy Captives Part 2. So, oh yeah, when the cook was smashed in the face. And finally... He was there when John Naples was killed. Who was he again? Oh, yeah, he was the one who got his uh, his leg cut off with a sword. And then he was thrown in the lazarette. So what happened to him then? How am I supposed to figure out what happened to him? He's been... Oh, maybe if I go down to the lazarette. Um, uh, that being said, we've seen all the scenes, so... Uh, where's the lazarette then? Let's check the map. Um... Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. The lazarette. It's at the very bottom of the cargo hold. Okay, so I'd focus on the alive people and the Chinese topmen. Uh, I'll have a quick look in the lazarette, but yeah, I, I definitely want to do that. Alright. Let's see. Ooh! Okay. This place has seen better days. Are we at the... Yeah, there we go. There's the lazarette. Oh, that's where we found the leg. Ah, oh, here we go. And then he was tossed here. Uh, well... Good thing it was right over here. But it's locked up, though. There's a padlock on it. Hmm. Maybe his dead body is there. Uh, how do I get in, then? Uh, Alright, well, we'll, uh, we'll come back to that, then. Padlocked Lazarat. Probably has his dead body inside. Um, right, well, we'll get back to him later, then. Um... God, we are so close to finishing this. Who are we missing, other than the living people? And the Chinese topman. I'd rather not have to deal with them just yet. Oh yeah, George Shirley and Alexander Booth. Okay. Also Sierra Leone. Okay, I don't know who he could possibly be. Who could he possibly be? Who haven't we... Hang on, let's check the photo and see who we haven't found the identity of yet. Uh, Emily Jackson... Who haven't we found yet? Okay, we haven't found you yet, but I know that you're not uh, from Sierra Leone, so... And you're a Chinese topman. You're not from Sierra Leone. Hmm. Asian topman, perhaps? He's... he's... but... Hmm, okay. There are no more topmen that are... Uh, wait, no, there are, but hang on. 
Oh, maybe he's... Ugh, no, I'm confused now. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Well, oh, we've already seen that scene before. Yeah, we don't... We know those are the three Formosans. Um, there's Winston Smith. Hmm. Hmm. This is a bother. So, let's see. Huang Li, Ji Zhang, Li Long, uh, Li Hong, and uh, oh, the guy I shot in Hitman. Okay, I remember that. <laughs> I remember. There's only three Chinese topmen that I haven't found yet. So actually, if I can figure out how they died, the process of elimination shouldn't be too difficult. I'm shocked I actually haven't found out what what their fate is. I don't know who he is. Um. How come I don't know the fate of any of those guys? That's really weird. How come I haven't found out what happened to any of these guys? Um... Hmm... I don't know. Well, yeah, hang on. I'll, I'll go back to the drawing and I'll see who I haven't identified yet. So there's him. Where was the last time we saw this guy? I remember this guy is one we haven't found the name of. So... Let's see. Where did you disappear? I guess I'll have to look at the ones we haven't identified in the drawing. Right. Uh, this unknown soul was decapitated by a terrible beast. Oh, he was decapitated by the crab bastards uh, with uh, James, yeah. Don't know who he is, though. Um, hmm. Let's try another one. <laughs> let's try another one. Uh, oh my god, hang on. Uh, let's... Hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll try another one. Okay, let's let's pick someone else. Um, uh, the crew. No, not there. Uh, yeah, here we go. Right. Uh, who else haven't we found? Are you a are, are you Chinese? I think is he kind. Of, he's kind of Chinese. Like I don't know. Mm, uh, maybe I don't know. He looks he looks more Caucasian to me, but I don't know. Um. Okay. Oh wait, hang on. There are Topmen here. Ah, yes. I forgot about these guys. That's the electrocuted guy. That one was speared by a beast. Oh, so I do know what happened to it. Yeah, that's the guy on the boat during the calling. And this is the guy who was fried during the, uh, near the beginning of the, do of the doom. So, how do I not know these guys yet? Can I tell by their outfits, maybe? No, that wouldn't work. Oh, uh, bunk beds, maybe. One got electrocuted, one got decapitated by a crab, and one got speared by a mermaid. Yeah, that was mermaid spear. That was electrocuted. And that one got his head chopped off. But how am I supposed to know who is who? There's also him. Okay, yeah. Actually, these are the Chinese topmen we're looking for. So he's not one of them. I wonder if I could just... Yeah, okay. I wonder if I can just guess this one. So, not a Chinese topman. Probably not from Sierra Leone. Yeah, there's two English guys left. Alexander Booth? Or George Shirley. I wonder if I can just force this. Hmm, damn, I don't have enough. Don't have enough to work with. Hello there, nobody. You joined us at a good time. We're nearly... Nearly done. I have a feeling I can finish this. Probably not in the next four minutes, but that's okay. We'll keep going. I'll go over. It's fine. He's... Yeah, I mean, we've got three Chinese guys. I'm trying to think. Three seamen. One of them's from Sierra Leona. One of them is from England, and the other one from England as well. And we know he's not from Sierra Leona because it didn't solve it. All right, let's let's try this out. Okay, if he's not from Sierra Leona, is he English? He, he, he can't. We can't be from Sierra Leona. He's not Chinese. Let me let me just check. When was the last time he appeared? Oh yeah, he disappeared in the Doom, Part One. Uh. Yeah, so, but when does he first appear? Yeah, if I can figure out who he is, we already know what happened to him. He disappeared with the, on the lifeboat. He does talk when the Dane gets close. Oh, he does talk, okay. Uh, all right, well, let's go with, oh, yeah, where's the corpse here again? Oh yeah, right, uh, club boy upstairs. Hmm, this is tricky, but I feel like, I mean, if there's three Chinese topmen, I feel like we can just shuffle them around and guess. <laughs> And there's only three of them, and we know how they died. They didn't get killed by someone we don't know. Is this the guy we're looking for? Yep, that's the one. Beep, beep. <laughs> All right. 
So does he talk here? Let me on. <laughs> Over my dead body, you bloody day. Hmm. How's that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get oh, is that him? For I forget. You killed my brother. So this what? the Cockney no, guy actually, is the uh robes. the Peter's brother, right? Yeah, and then you got the Dane. Hang on. Yeah, we, we know that this is Nathan Peters. We know that's the Dane. Here we go. We've got the purser. Can I replay this one? Okay. I gotta listen a bit more carefully now. So there there is a way we can tell if he's from Sierra No, he can't be from Sierra Leone though, because we've already determined he can't be. He's not Chinese. But yeah, which one of them of the is he English? And he must be. Let must me be. On. Over my dead body, you bloody day. Huh? How's that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. <laughs> Get in the boat. Oh shit, oh, yeah. No, he has he has like the black brother. dialect of English. What? He does Oh, yeah, alright. Oh, he does. He is English. He oh, is li I you're right. No, yeah, he talks like um uh you know, um, I'm trying to think of an example. He's like, you know, hey, bruv, get on the boat. Come on. This is all getting fucking crazy, isn't it? Let's get going. Get on the fucking boat. Shit, we're all going to die here, aren't we? Um, yeah, um, oh, KSI. He sounds like KSI. <laughs> there you go. There's the example I was thinking of. Yeah, it's the, it's, it's distinct. It's a bit subtle, but it is distinct if you know what you're listening for. All right, bros, here we go. This is my my new YouTube video, mate. Oh, but he's dead. He dies. He drowns. So, all right. He's English. I okay, yeah, he's definitely not from Sierra Leone, although I already knew that. So, yeah. So is he George Shirley or Alexander Booth? Hmm. Don't know. You can actually see this guy in loose cargo right next to the crushed dude. Yeah, you can. I remember that. Oh, is that why he was like it was an accident? Hmm, what am I getting wrong then, though? Well, he's either Alexander Booth or George Shirley at this point. No? What am I missing, then? He's definitely not- he's not Hamadou Diom. He's not Sierra Leone. Although that makes me wonder who the fuck he is at this point. He's not Chinese. He's one of those guys. Um... If we can figure out who the Sierra Leone guy is... Shit, who am I missing? <laughs> We got George Shirley, he's an English seaman. Hang on a sec. Is he George Shirley? Who's the other seaman that we're missing? Um, wait, all, no, okay, all the seamen are here, right? Oh, except for the ones shooting. Um, who are we missing? Hmm, no, those are all... Let's see. So those are the Russians. We know the, we know the Peters brothers. Oh, we don't know this guy either. And we've pretty much got the top men except for the Chinese ones. That's Philip Dahl. Oh, unknown. Unknown. Shot by the cannon. Hmm. Oh, hang on a sec. Hang on. So if, if they, these guys are hanging out. Okay, that's a top man. For some reason, he's just here. But these guys are hanging out and these are all seamen, right? Nathan Peters, seaman, seaman. Okay, for whatever reason, he's just hanging out here, but the rest of these guys are seamen. If they're not participating in a fucking execution. Um, I could take a stab at the dark and say... Alexander Booth? No? Okay. George Shirley. I haven't figured out enough yet. Um, then we got this guy. This is... Spiked by a terrible beast. Is this George Shirley? But he's Chi- hang on. There are no Chinese seamen, though. Oh, is he the guy from Sierra Leone? Oh, shit, hang on, who is this guy? Hang on, hang on, hang on, Let, let's look for him. Let's look for him. That's something I should have done a long time ago. Let's actually look for him. Um, hang on, let's get rid of all these bookmarks. This is- hang on, hang on. Uh, George Shirley seaman was spiked by a- Hang on a second. Let's just check something. When does this guy die? He dies in Unholy Captives Part 1. Unholy Captives Part 1. Ah, the body on the... Okay. I feel like I just have to figure out which one is which. 
You can barely see this guy in loose cargo, right? The crash dude. For that, I recommend going to Unholy Captives Part 1. Oh, yep, that's where I'm going. Um, so where is it then? Uh, here? Is this it? It's one of these guys. Oh, yep, that's the one. Um, is this the one with the two dead people in it? I mean, one of them was the Formosan guy, right? What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? Oh, he's talking to the last remaining Formosan. This is your fault. Okay. We will all die. Talk about it. He talk about a shell. Shell? What shell? Shell oil. It's going out of business. Oh my god. Ah. Right, let's have a look around. That's the captain. We know that. We have a Chinese topman that got electrocuted. Great. That's helpful. We've got uh, the surgeon Henry. We've got his assistant. We've got dead wife, a guy with missing arm, and uh, Nichols. That's right. Nichols is dead. Let's see. Who are we looking for? Okay, there's Martin. There's... Oh, here we go. We've got a seaman here. He's the guy that was shot out the window, right? The one I can't find the body for. And there's... Oh, there's this guy. Okay, so yeah, they are seamen. Yeah, they're not on the sail or anything, so this is probably a good time to... to find out who they are. Who's this guy? Uh, that's the guy who lost his leg? Yeah, he's the guy who got his leg chopped off. Right. Let's see. We know about the Peter brothers. He's Nathan. Uh, he's the guy who got crushed. Yeah, William Wasim. He got smashed by mermaid cargo. Um, oh, and there's Lars Linda again. And that's Akbar, isn't it? Yeah, Abraham Akbar. Crushed by beast. <laughs> Which beast was it again? I can't remember. Oh, he got crushed by the cannon and the, 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 uh, the kraken. Uh, there's... Did we figure out who he was? Yeah, we did. Okay, that was Charles Minor. A minor inconvenience. Uh, oh my god! Oh, don't spike the goat! What's we got here? We've got, of course, the uh, the bossen. He's yeah. We got him. We have got. Eh, come on. There we go. We got the formosan. Yep. The, we already know the last remaining formosan. We've got a mermaid. Um, oh, and we got the fella behind him as well. Who's this? Eh, come on. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> how do I? How do I get to this guy? Uh, He's got an earring. Oh, hang on a second. This guy... Oh, this is the guy from Sierra Leone. He's got like the... He's got the earring and... Oh, he does have a darker complexion. Okay, the fucking sketch is useless. The sketch makes him look like an Asian guy. Or at least... Or white. I mean, it's... He does not look dark at all. Compare that to... Him. Compare that to him, you can uh, sort of make it out. Yeah, the sketch tricks you. That's bullshit. You can definitely tell that Winston Smith is African American, but this is a little bit vague. But no, you can see you can see that he's he's black. But what the fuck? It's, okay, all right. So that's the guy from Sierra Leone then. Yeah, he's he's not. Uh, yeah, here we go. Hamado Dion from Sierra Leone was spiked by a terrible beast. Okay, and he was spiked, wasn't he? Yep, looks like it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely locking him in. That's bullshit. I had to go back to the scene to see his complexion and also his earring. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think we're good. Can we brute force these guys then? Can we? I don't know who is who. This unknown soul. I mean, it could be Alexander Booth and the other could be George Shirley. Mind you, Booth does sound like... Does that sound like a name you would give to a, a black English guy? George Shirley. Come on, please do something for me. Come on. Yes! Oh, we did it! Oh, I just had to figure out who the fuck the Sierra Leone guy was. Oh, come on! You can't see he's black in that image. Come on! Fucking hell. And that's George Shirley. I don't know if we were supposed to figure that out in a different way. And that's Alexander Booth, and yeah, he's English. He sounds like KSI. I've got it. There we go. I think you can tell them apart by hammock numbers. Uh... Yeah, possibly. I haven't actually checked hammock numbers in a while. Yeah, I could probably do that. Alright. I'll probably have to do that now, actually. That's a good idea. That is a good freaking idea. 
Don't know where Martin's gone. Don't know where... Where's Henry Evans, the surgeon? Oh, yeah, he's alive-ish. We know he's going to send the book back and then die if we don't figure it out. Emily is alive. Jane Byrne... Jane, Miss Jane Bird is alive. Philip Dahl we haven't found yet. Davy James, the force... Oh, the force ship, uh, ships... Uh, force mate steward. Yeah, yeah, he also escaped. Um, That leaves us with... Oh! Uh, that leaves us with... Okay, we only have to figure out who the uh, top men are. And you know what? There's three of them, and I think we all know... Hang on. We all know how they died, right? So let's go to the sketch. Let's just shuffle around. I mean, chances are slim. And if we get these three right, then we, we'll be fine, right? So he was decapitated. I mean, at this point... Huang Li... Let's just shuffle these around, and if we get them all right, then we get them all right. Electrocuted. Uh, maybe your Zhang, Maybe? Uh, let's shuffle them around and see what we get. Oh, this might take a while, actually. Li Hong. Incorrect. Okay. Let's do it backwards. <laughs> okay. Your Huang Li. Uh, your Zhang. And where's the other guy? There we go. And your uh, Li Hong. Nope. Okay. Mm, this might take a while, <laughs> Do you want to know how to tell them apart now? Oh, yeah, I should check them in their bunks and stuff, shouldn't I? In their hammocks. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, Let's see. Hang on. Check the... Ugh. I just need to know who one of them is and then I'm fine because then I just have to shuffle two names together. Four memories. Okay, let's see how many memories everyone has. Let's see. Four memories. Four memories. Five memories. Hey, he gets an extra memory. Let's go with him. Bookmark all memories. Okay, I feel like we can figure this out. So he shows up here. Ah, sleeping in his hammock during this part, right? He is also here. Ah, uh, he is also... Okay, so he's alive here as well. Uh, ooh, uh, yeah, he's got a lot. Yeah, he gets electrocuted and dies. So I don't think anyone mentions anyone by name here. Let's go here, because that's where the hammocks are. So let's find Solomon Syed. Okay. I guess we could just keep trying to shuffle through the names, but it might take a while. So I might just actually try and figure this out normally. If we go to the hammocks, and then we check the numbers. That's how I figured out who the, um, who the, uh, the Indian, uh, crewmen were as well. Well, most of them, anyway. Uh... Oh, hang on, am I, uh, am I in the right place? Uh, no. Uh, yes? I think I've gone the wrong deck. Um, here we go. I mean, there's only six combinations to try, that's true. But I would like to try and figure this out. If at all possible. Um, where are all the hammocks? Oh, uh, i got to find the, uh, the doctor's office. Here we go, that's below one more deck, I think. Uh, no. Alright, where the fuck am I going? Hang on. Um... Boop-ba-doo. All up deck. Okay. I'm getting lost on my own ship now. I want to keep this ship once I'm done with it. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, no, not just yet. Um, uh, where's the body I'm looking for? That's not the surgeon's office. I am in the all up deck, though. A bitter cold. Corpse was moved post-mortem. Bitter cold one. Body was moved post mortem. Well, where did it go then? Wait, I've forgotten how to access this one. Where, where do we go? Uh, wasn't it a wrapped up body? Is that what I'm looking for? Uh, oh, it might be this one. Hang on, let's find out. Yep, that's one bit of coal part one. Right. We'll get to the bottom of this. We only have to find three of them. <laughs> Okay, let's check the hammocks here. Um, so we got the Indian guys, we got them all figured out. There's a bunch of people in hammocks. Oh, I can't identify them from the hammocks though. How do I do that then? We figured out this guy based on his tattoo, so let's have a look. Um, okay, we've got number 39. Damn it. Why are they sleeping with the cover over them? 59, 39. Hang on. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. 59 and 39. So we've got 39 being 
Xi Zhang. This is irritating. I know this is Xi Zhang, but I can't actually identify him visually. Number 40. Who's number 40? Li Hong. Oh god, yeah, well, they're all in the right place, but... And number 41 is, uh... Wei Li. Oh, we know who that is, at least. Okay. Um, can I identify anyone? 38. Uh... Huang Li. Oh, there's Huang Li. Who's this last guy, then? Number 59. Who's this last guy, then? 59. George Shirley? Uh, okay. Oh, the English guy. Yeah, the seaman that we got earlier. Okay. He sleeps... Oh, but he's an Englishman. Okay. <laughs> well, that's throwing me for a loop. So, he sleeps with the Chinese fellas. But, um... One, two, three, four. Oh, how am I supposed to tell? Wait, can I check? Uh... How the fuck am I meant to know this? I can't scan any of them. I can just vaguely make out some shapes. Hmm. I can vaguely make some shapes, but... Maybe I need another memory or two. Oh, I see your wiener. Unfortunately, I can't use that to identify you. Oh, wait, that's George Shirley, isn't it? Hmm, how am I meant to figure this out? No one has a tattoo, do they? So I can't tell who they are, like uh, this fella. <laughs> I've forgotten his name. Uh, he was... He was uh, fucking... Hang on, he was this fella, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, he was Timothy Butement with a tattoo. Oh, he's got the sleeve on him in the, uh, in the picture, so you can't cheat. <laughs> he's got his sleeve up in the drawing. So you can't tell what his tattoo is here. That'd be cheating. This, unfortunately, doesn't help. What can you see from the hammocks? Um, not a lot. Um, nothing I can identify, at least. Hello there, nobody. Uh, oh. I can see they've all got... Okay, are some of them wearing, like, long pants, maybe? Oh, they're all wearing shorts. Well, maybe he isn't, but I don't know. Um, let's see. Is that, oh, is this guy wearing, like, stripy socks? Ah, uh, that might help. So close. This guy's wearing uh, stripy socks. I think I get it now. Stripy socks. No socks. No so. Oh, hang on a sec. Your shoes look like that. Your shoes look like that. I can't really see your shoes, but I mean by process of elimination. Okay, who has the stripy socks? 39 is... hang on. 39 is... 39 is Zhi Zhang, who has the stripy socks. Zhi Zhang, stripy socks. Zhi Zhang. Uh, I can't really see who's wearing socks and who's not. Um, hmm, can't really see. Although, now that I see it, he's wearing, he's wearing these shoes, right? No, not these shoes. Um, he's wearing... Yep, that's George. <laughs> Don't wake George. Ah, there we go. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, 38. Oh, shit. We figured it out. 38. Um, 38. So you're number 38 because you've got the shoes. You were the electrocuted one. 38 is your Huang Li. There we go. Okay, so now all we have to do is just shuffle these two together. I don't see who's wearing socks and who isn't, but hey, here we go. So, you're either Ji Zhang or Li Hong, and we'll just swap the two. Are you Li Hong? Let's see. Li Hong. Ah, there we go! <laughs> just look at the one guy's shoes and you got it. <laughs> Ooh, I never would have guessed. <laughs> I mean, I probably might have picked up on it eventually, staring at the tags all day. There we go, they're fucking shoes, man! For the comparison, I recommend the electrocution scene. Uh, that's all right, we figured it out. <laughs> he had very distinct shoes, you see. And although I didn't see the socks guy, uh, you know, uh, it all works out. Right, oh my god, we got the Topman done. We got the fucking Topman done. So looking at the shoes is pretty out there. It is a bit, that's kind of bullshit. They really should have done some better clues than that. Oh dear. Right, but we are left with very few. Um, let's have a look. Shit, yeah, we are doing really good. Um, tick, 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 tick. Davy James, fourth mate steward. Philip Dahl, captain steward. Emily Jane Bird. Em Emily Jackson and Jane Bird. Henry Evans, surgeon, Martin Perry. Okay. So, who are the... At this point, we've got, like, two people left. Philip Dahl it was thrown in the lazarette, so until I can find a way to open that, um... He's kind of out of the question. 
I also don't know what happened to... I don't know what happened to Martin. Last time we saw him was during the Doom and he didn't die. So, okay. But we do know about Henry Evans. We know about the ladies. And we know about Davy James. Okay, they're all on the same boat. So I guess what we have to do is... Hang on. Let's get rid of this. I don't think we need bookmarks anymore. Or maybe we do. I'll, I'll, I'll try it later. But the ones that survived... Uh, let's find the surgeon. Henry, where are you? There you are. Okay. Met with an unknown fate. I am guessing, considering the last time we saw them, all those four was in a lifeboat, and I don't remember seeing the lifeboat thrown away. Oh, and we know that Henry Evans survives. We know. We spoiled it for ourselves by getting the shit ending. <laughs> well, that's handy. Otherwise, I would have been like, oh, uh, did they die? I don't know. So, I'm going to say alive. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I have to figure out where they went. Um, hmm. How can we figure out where they went? Well, I doubt the Middle East. United Kingdom? Oh, I doubt it. A bit far away, right? The West Indies, Europe, East Indies, Cape Verde, Canary Islands, Azores, Atlantic Island, Africa. If we figure out one of these, then I think we can just sort of give this same fate for the rest of them. As a hint, you will not find this information in any memory. Shit. What am I supposed to do then? Yeah, well, it can't be in the drawings. Um, right. It's not in any memories then. Glossary. Back cover. No. <laughs> okay. Um, so they're alive, but where are they? Oh, the journey. I wonder if we can figure out where the ship was headed. The Atlantic leg of the Far East route. So maybe... Uh, shit. Actually, easiest way to get to him would be to go to the drawing. There we go. Um, he's alive. The West Indies? Hang on, is that right? West Indies. Hang on. Oh, the journey. Oh, Atlantic leg of the Far East route. Oh, Far East. Okay. Atlantic leg of the Far East. Okay. Atlantic... Uh, uh, let's see. Atlantic... Atlantic Island? We'll go with that. Oh, but we have to match some more. Hang on. Uh, where are the ladies? Oh, uh, there they are. They are alive. And if I just solve three of them, right? Atlantic Island. There we go. The other one. Alive at the Atlantic Island. Nothing. Do I have to solve... Oh, don't make me solve four of them now. Come on, game. There's Davy James. I remember him. He is also alive, I think, at the Atlantic Island. Hmm. I actually don't know how you saw the ending and still didn't know this. Um. Oh, yeah. No, no. Here's the thing. I don't remember where they were. I know that Miss Emily Bird said, said that they were staying somewhere, but I forgot where they said they were. Um... So, evidently not there, though. Uh, must be somewhere else. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Oh, they show all the dots here. Oh, hang on. Hang on a sec. So, okay, let's see where the journey went. Uh, in loose cargo. So, they, so they took on or unloaded some cargo here in England as they left port. Flipped through the entire book from beginning to end. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe it's here. Uh, trust your phone, so any intention, regrettably. Failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows your present on presence on the Omer Din is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. Next few pages, make a uh, complete chapter guaranteed to the French office in affairs in Morocco. Oh, that's hang. Oh, wait, is Morocco an option? Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. Hang on a tick. So, where did... Hang on, where did this end? I, I'm pretty sure we got it now. There's the escape. Huh, I would have guessed the Azores, because this is, this is the escape. Like, this is where they got off. This is the chapter where they left in the escape boat. So I thought Azores, although the Canary Islands, Madeira, Africa. Ah, uh, yeah, it's got to be Africa, because he wants it sent to Morocco. Ah, there you go. Hang on, hang on. Let's get the last remaining... Yeah, let's see if this works. 
Henry Evans, alive in Morocco. Uh, oh, Africa. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, Morocco is a country in Africa. Yeah, I know that, but I was looking for it on the list. So if I add a few more... Yep, there's Davy Jane's. You're not in Atlantic Island. You are alive in Africa. Oh, there we go. Fantastic, we did it. Well done. Two more fates correct. Wait, two? I thought it was meant to be three apiece. Hey, there we go. I mean, well, that means the, the ladies are there as well, right? They were in the boat with them. My only two fates, though. Boy, there we go. My only two fates. They're meant to be solved in bunches of three, right? Uh, okay, never mind. I mean, okay, if you want to give them to me in twos, that's fine, because I know now that you are in Africa, and you are also in Africa. Come on. Hey, there we go. Why in groups of two now, though? Well done. All currently solvable fates. What was that? All currently solvable fates something. Maybe correct? Yep, there we go. All good. Why are we solving them in twos now, though? All solvable fates have been solved? Uh, aren't we missing some people? Oh. There is nothing left to do on the Obra Dinn. There isn't? I, I haven't gotten to the Lazarette yet. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to find, uh, 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 Roll Dahl. <laughs> hang on a sec, where's, um, hang on, the crew. Aren't I missing, like, one, hang on, yeah, well, Philip Dahl, the Captain Steward. How come I didn't find out what happened to him yet? That's weird. Unknown. I got everyone else. Oh, I, yeah, also, where the fuck is Martin? I haven't seen Martin either. Well, four is, uh, not divisible by three when last I checked. Uh, yeah, but they still could have solved them by three and I still could have been fine, right? Why two? Oh, I guess... Yeah, I guess, yeah, because then if it was, like, th three and then it would have been one, yeah, and then, yeah, you you've got to make it at least somewhat challenging, so it's like, yeah, uh, split it in twos and now you've got to figure out the last two, yeah. Um, but what, what of Martin Parrott and Philip Dahl? They're the only ones I haven't figured out yet. I also don't know where they are. Last time we saw Philip Dahl was, uh, was he was being sent to the Lazarette. And the last time we saw Martin was when uh, Waifu died. <laughs> he had a sword and he, he fucked off somewhere. But according to the game, we have solved all possible fates on the ship. So does this mean we can leave now and I won't get a shitty ending? <laughs> is, that a, is that a thing? Possibly. Oh, I better leave this uh, memory now. Okay. It's my first day. <laughs> it's not, but uh, let's say it is. <laughs> let's say that it is. There we go. It's my first day. <laughs> I gotta get the uh, sound uh, sound redeems working again. I don't know why they're broken. I'll look into it. I will look into it. Right. Oh yeah, maybe I can check it by going... Hang on. Do, 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 do. Advanced audio properties. No, nope. alright. I'll have to look into that. Um, I'll have to do that after the stream. Right, but let's leave. Um, I think I can leave the ship. Oh, hang on. We have one a whole entire chapter left, right? So, but I can't get it unless I solve... Unless they're solved in the last chapter. So, I think... I think we can leave the ship and not get a shit ending. I think. Uh, oh, well, I guess we can always rewind if we fuck up again. All right, farewell, Oberdin. We're gonna disembark. Uh, hope the goat's all right. <laughs> Don't know where he went. He's somewhere. Rip in peace, everybody. We're going home. All right, peace. <laughs> you do get the complete insurance assessment now. Oh, okay. Eh, fuck it. I get money. Who cares? <laughs> this is insured for a lot. We should I go. Oh. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. Eh. All righty. Uh, oh, we can go back if we want to. What the fuck? Did everybody die? Uh, no, actually. We have four confirmed survivors. We do have four confirmed survivors, actually. Um, let's see. Yeah, we've got... we got some living people. I don't know where they are, though. Here we go. Alive in Africa. Alive in Africa. Alive in Africa. Oh, and where's the surgeon again? Uh, alive in Africa. There we go. So we do have four survivors. Um, oh, actually, we might have more, because we're still missing two people. Oh. Oh, here we go. 
There we go. Close up shop there, sailor. Hey, this guy's got animation. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> this guy's real, unlike all the other people. <laughs> Sit down, you idiot. Alright. This guy actually has animation in him, unlike everyone else that's in, like, a freeze-frame memory. I guess I move as well, uh, but I'm just hands. I'm just hands. I'm like hands from Spongebob. It's fantastic. Right. I think we did relatively okay-ish. I'm only half an hour over. That's not bad. Only took me eight and a half hours to figure this out. Maybe that's good. <laughs> All right. One week later. <laughs> oh, dear. The Honourable East India Company Insurance Assessment for the good ship Oberdin, victim of calamitous events at sea, prepared by the Company Office of Investigation. Okay. Uh, ship was damaged uh, and sunk. Okay, it sunk in the storm. Oh, I see. Twenty thousand pounds cargo gone. Five thousand pounds. Let's see. More cargo. Three thousand pounds. Multiple cargoes. Captain uh, killed himself after murdering a crewmate. Four of them. Estate forfeited to the Crown. Attempted mutiny. Estate fine $25. Theft of cargo. Estate fine $100 for Edward Nichols. Oh yeah, the murderous dickhead that he was. Martin Parrott. Uh, unknown findings of merit. Extraordinary valour. Exceptional performance of duties. Estate awarded outstanding wages and reward of £90. That's a lot. John Davies, fourth mate, clubbed in the face by Henry Brennan. Uh, murder of crewmate one, estate fine 15 pounds. That's, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, let's see. Alfred Klessel, torn apart by a beast, findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties, estate award, outstanding wages of 70 pounds. Charles Minor, uh, torn apart by a beast, criminal findings, murder of crewmate, estate unknown, expense claimed, $15. Um, it was accidental. I'm pretty sure I made it look accidental. Oh yeah, I guess you can't really make anything an accident in this game. Ooh, handles. I know, handles are the best. Oh dear. Ship handles. Henry Evans, surgeon. Fate alive in Africa. Findings of demerit, abandonment of crew and vessel. Estate award and outstanding wages of 50, 50 pounds. That's not too bad. James Wallace, surgeon's mate. Decapitated by beast. Uh, findings of merit, extraordinary valour. Estate awarded outstanding wages and a reward of 50, 50 pounds. Okay. Uh, Winston Smith, carpenter. Spiked. <laughs> findings of merit, extraordinary valour. Oh yeah, he blunderbussed the fuck out of a spider dickhead. Uh, a crab bastard, yeah. Spider crab bastard. Uh, estate awarded outstanding wages uh, and rewards 60 pounds. Marcus Gibbs, carpenter's mate. gets He only gets 30 pounds though, even though he was... Yeah, he was good. Estate unknown. Outstanding wages donated to pension fund. Great. Uh, Thomas Sefton, the cook. Struck with a tail. Estate awarded outstanding wages of 40 pounds. Emil O'Farrell, spiked findings of merits, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarding, outside of wages and reward. Uh, he was the butcher, yeah. Uh, Christian Wolf, the gunner, shot cannon, beast, findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded, outstanding wages and reward of £70. Olus Wieter, gunner's mate, shot by gun, J Davies, criminal findings, murder of crewmate one, attempted mutiny, <laughs> estate fine, £50. Duncan McKay, purser, drowned, beast, findings of demerit, abandonment of crew of vessel. Well, he paid for it with his life. Estate awarded outstanding wages of £50. Uh, Finley Dalton, the helmsman, drowned by beast. Estate awarded outstanding wages of £30. We don't give a shit that he was <laughs> at, at the wheel at all times. What a fucking trooper. Edward Spratt, the artist, crushed by beast. Uh, estate awarded outstanding wages of £50. Abigail Hoskett, Witterall, passenger, fate, clubbed, beast, no claim made. Nunzio Pasqua. Oh, he was the Italian uh, guy that was murdered. Uh, knifed by E. Nichols, no claim made. <laughs> He's Italian, you don't need no money, it's okay. Emily Jackson, alive, Africa. Criminal findings, murder of crewmate. Oh yeah, she shot the shit out of uh, Leonard. Uh, findings of demerit, abandonment of crew and vessel estate, find £35. James Bird, oh, only find £10. She didn't do no wrong. Alive in Africa, findings of demerit, abandonment of crew and vessel estate, find £10. Bun Lan Lim, passenger, clawed, no claim made. Oh yeah, because we don't know anything about the form hosts. Burned, criminal findings, murder of crewmate, estate unknown, expense claim, £25. Uh, Chiotan spiked, criminal findings, murder of crewmate. Yeah, but he was a prick. <laughs> estate unknown, expense, uh, 25 claimed uh, £25. Hock Seng Lao, shot, gun, H. Brenham, no claim made. Oh, we didn't even mention that he was executed. That's right, we couldn't do that, so that's interesting. 
Because they would have fined the shit out of him if they could find his estate. Uh, Zhangji Sarthi. Are you Hercule Poirot or Benoit Blanc or Sherlock Holmes? A mixture of all three. <laughs> I am... I am investigator insurance man. He was executed for a crime he didn't commit, I know. Poor Hock Seng Lao. He didn't deserve to die. Zungi Sarthi, ship steward. Oh yeah, that was the guy that was shot by uh, by Charles Minor. Yeah, state awarded outstanding, wa outstanding wages of £35. Philip Dahl, captain steward, fate unknown, criminal findings, murder of crewmate. Oh yeah, he, he, um, yeah, he sorted the leg off of uh, uh, Peace, didn't he? Findings of demerit, failure to perform duties, estate fine £35. You really fucked up on your duties there, buddy. Paul Moss, first mate steward, uh, killed with a sword by L. Volkov. Yeah, I think he was killed by Lennon. Findings of demerit, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded outstanding wages, and a reward of £45. Okay, that's interesting because Paul was murdered by Volkov in an attempt to hop on the vessel and try to abandon ship. So, because he never abandoned ship and was stabbed to death, despite his intent, his estate is still awarded money. <laughs> it's like, uh, it doesn't matter if he tried to escape. He didn't. He got stabbed. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Samuel Galligan. Oh, he's the Irish guy. Yeah, second mate steward. Knifed uh, by, by CR. Uh, criminal findings. Attempted mutiny. Theft of cargo. Estate fine. £50. Pounds. Roderick Anderson, third mate steward, crushed by a cannon, estate awarded outstanding wages of £10. Davy James, fourth mate steward, uh, live in Africa, findings of the merit abandonment of crew and vessel, no claim made. Interesting. Peter Milroy, uh, midshipman, um, exploded, findings of merit, extraordinary valour, estate awarded outstanding wages and reward of £40. You get £40 for blowing up, that's extraordinary valour. Fantastic. Uh, Thomas Lank, uh, knifed by Rioter. Oh yeah, he was the one who was stabbed in the back. Estate awarded outstanding wages of £30. Charles, this is going to cost us quite a bit of money. Uh, the Queen ain't going to be too happy. Uh, Charles Hirschstick, midshipman, burned. Findings of merit, extraordinary valour, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded outstanding wages and reward of £50. Omid Gull, topman. Oh yeah, he was cool, he had a sword. Fell overboard. Findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded, outstanding wages, and reward of £35. Timothy Butement, Topman. Shot by gun by... Yeah, you know, Nichols shot him. He's the guy with the tattoo, right? Finding of merit, extraordinary valour, great frumpy waifu tattoo. Uh, estate awarded, outstanding wages, and reward of £35. Huang Li. Oh god, the Topman are here. Electrocuted. Findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded, outstanding wages, and £35. Decapitated by beast. Same deal. £35. Uh, speared by beast. Criminal findings. Attempted mutiny. Theft of cargo. Estate fine. Oh yeah, Li Hong was the Topman that went with the, uh, with, uh, Nichols and his lot. So yeah. Wei Li, Drowned, Beast. Uh, extraordinary Valor, Exceptional Performance, Duties, £45. Alright, nice. He Drowned by Beast. Wait, how did Wei Li drown again? I forgot how he drowned. Oh yeah, he was grabbed by the Kraken, that's right. Nicholas Bottrell, Speared uh, by a Beast. Estate awarded Outstanding Wages, £25. Yeah, that's not bad. Marba, oh that fucking guy. Torn apart, uh, yeah, was he ever. Findings of merit, extraordinary valour, exceptional performance of duties, estate unknown, outstanding wages, and rewarded donated pension fund, £45. Lewis Walker, the topman, clubbed by, uh, the captain. Oh, yeah, he was the guy with a knife in his mouth. Criminal findings, attempted mutiny, estate fine, £25. Leonard Volkov, shot by Emily Jackson. Criminal findings, murder of crewmate, estate unknown, expense claimed, for £15. Ah, we'll just take that. Money in the bank. Alarkus Nikishin. Uh, clawed. Criminal findings. Attempted mutiny. Theft of cargo. Oh, that was the guy that was clawed by the mermaid. Yeah, whatever did happen to all those mermaids? They kind of buggered off. The, the kraken buggered off. The crabs were killed. The crab bastards. Alexei Toporov. Seaman. Drowned. Beast. Criminal findings. Attempted mutiny. Theft of cargo. Estate unknown. Expense claim. £50. Nathan Peters. Drowned. Beast. Criminal findings. Murder of crewmate. Findings of demerit. Abandonment of crew and vessel. Yeah, that's what you get. £25, dickhead. That's what you get for clubbing uh, a Dane in the head. Lars Lind. There he is. Seaman. Uh, clubbed by N. Peters. Estate awarded an outstanding wage of, uh, wages of £15. John Naples. Uh, who was he? John Naples killed... Oh, he was the guy who got his leg cut off by F. Dahl. Findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties. He took that amputation like a champ. A state awarded outstanding wages and rewards, £25. Renfred Rajub, the seaman. Uh, illness. Oh, he was one of the guys who died of illness. 
He had the lung disease. A state unknown outstanding wages donated to pension fund, £15. Abraham Akbar, crushed by beast. Findings of merit exceptional performance and duties. A state awarded outstanding wages and reward of £25. Oh, what 8am stream? W 8am stream? Oh my god, hello there. AK, how you doing? <laughs> Is it 8am over there? Oh boy, what's the time here? Nearly 6pm. William Wasson, crushed by cargo. Findings and demerit, exceptional performance and duties. Oh, he was the one that was crushed by the mermaid, wasn't he? State awarded outstanding wages and reward, £25. Solomon Syed, he died of illness. I remember him. Outsta uh, state awarded outstanding wages, £15. How many more left? Oh, only a few more pages now. Hamadu Diob, oh god, that guy took way too long. Spiked, findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties. Uh, unfortunately, the human shield he tried to use didn't work out too well. A state unknown, outstanding wages and reward donated to pension fund, £25. He was a bit of a bitch, though. Um, Henry Brennan, oh, it's Hat Boy. Mr. Clubby McGee. Knifed by the captain, finding murders of crewmate one, attempted mutiny, a state fine, £50. Alexander Booth, uh, oh, he was the, yeah, he was the guy who died on the on the escape vessel, didn't he? Yeah, findings of demerit, abandonment of crew and vessel, state warded, outstanding wages, five pounds. He was, uh, KSI. <laughs> Patrick O'Hagan, oh, the Irishman that was speared by the, uh, by the mermaid. Criminal findings, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo. Well, 8.39 to be exact. Yeah, it's 6.39. Oh, sorry, 5.39 for me. It is not 6 p.m. <laughs> it is not 6 p.m. How you doing though, AK? Hope you're well. Uh, we've only got one more chapter to do. I'm just reading through my, uh, my claims here. Seems like we're doing quite well. Uh, George Shirley shot by a cannon. Okay, so he was shot out by a cannon. I couldn't find his body, but he was blasted to oblivion. Findings of merit extraordinary valor. He turned into bits like an absolute pro. A state awarded outstanding wages and reward of £25. Samuel Peters crushed by cargo. A state awarded outstanding wages of £15. He was the guy who died first, right? A pre preliminary draft of this assessment has been approved by the Royal Trait Guarantor. Total claimed £29,285. On behalf of the Honourable East India Company, I certify all statements are as accurate and declare this matter closed in its entirety. Please don't sue me. H-E-H-E-I-C, -E Chief Inspector. Signed with an X. There we go. <laughs> Signed H-H-N-R, uh, what's this, like, Andrew Garfield. <laughs> hey, we did a thing. The pocket watch remains in your possession. He was executed for a crime he didn't commit. Poor Hock Seng Lao. Right, let's send the book back. The book returns to its original owner, Henry Evans, in Morocco, as requested. Ah, oh, they said that in the bad ending too, didn't they? I should have known. Well, I've been awake for almost 24 hours straight, so I'm fine, I guess, for now. Oh, boy. Well, thank God we're at the end of the game, pretty much. You could use some sleep by the sound of it. But we do have one more chapter to do, so... We only have two people to identify, so it shouldn't take that long, right? One year later. Oh, I'm back again. Hello. I got my tea. There's no more tea! I want my tea. Oh. Oh, no. The tea's all gone. I'm so sad. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> oh. What's happening? Nanny? What's happening? Br Bring me some more tea. If there is no tea, I shall break your legs again. Ooh, I've got candlesticks. Oh. Oh, let's go indeed. Why does it smell dreadful? I'll be turning in now. Yeah. Tea's in the kitchen if you need more. Hey, there's there's not a lack of tea this time around. Yay! The good ending means you get plenty of tea in the kitchen. And also, we, we get more than just a letter this time around. We get a whole package. Let's see. Uh, I can't read any of that. Let's see. Something about London. When you do well, she leaves tea on the stove. When you've got the shitty ending, she says there's no tea left. It's like karma. If you do a shit job, it's like, no tea for you, sir. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Chief Inspector, I hope the letter is better this time around. I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. Oh, he succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. <laughs> package. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you along with the means to complete it. 
<laughs> he's like, okay, you missed two people, but I think you can figure out the rest for, me, for yourself. It doesn't seem terribly miffed that I didn't finish it. Uh, as for the three of us that remain, the Obradin is a distant memory and a dreadful tra- chapter in our lives that we we wish to forget. Do not write back. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Regards, Jane Bird, uh, etc., etc. All right. There we go. So we've got... Uh, oh, that's the letter. Uh, we got the book. Okay. Oh, this tale belongs to you now. Please finish it. H-E. All right. Henry has sent us the book back again. Is there anything new here? Uh, escape in the lazarette. How can I check the lazarette for the final chapter if I'm not on the ship anymore? Hmm. I've done everything else, haven't I? The only crew members I don't know anything about right now are Martin Parrot. We don't know anything about him. And... Paul Moss? No, Philip Dahl. Okay. Those are the only two I don't know anything about. Um, so that's weird. So the game's like, ah, it's fine. <laughs> you can't get these two. I, I'm guessing you can't actually figure these two out on your own. Uh, all right. So do I need the book for any reason? Don't know. Check your drawers. What am I supposed to do now then? How do I get back to the ship then is the thing. Oh, hang on. What's this? I got another present. What's this? I hope it's a new oak pipe. What is it? The fuck is that? Oh my god, it's a severed hand! Um... Uh, Nanny, there's a severed hand here. I think I found out what was smelling up the place. <laughs> it's a monkey's paw. Oh yeah, it doesn't really look all that human, is it? Oh! Oh, is this the pet monkey on the ship? He was riding the goat. And, oh, and he was on Henry Evans' shoulder as well. Those are the only two times I remember seeing him. Was he in other scenes? Oh, I might have missed out on important monkey scenes. Oh, I remember him riding the goat during the uh, execution. Is this the same monkey? I assume it is. Okay, got a monkey's paw. Ah, we're using the severed monkey's paw just like we're using the severed legs. Oh, I see. So the monkey knows something that we don't. Ooh, okay, let's find out then. Let's go. We will de- we will delve into the Obradin one last time. Here we go. <laughs> Psych, got you. Now nah, we're going. Here we go. All right, we'll go. There we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. I forgot that that's a thing. That's funny. Nope. Is this the ship? We need to go. Right. Hmm? What are you up to? Well, you up to? Nothing good. Oh shit, what the fuck happened? Where the fuck are we? We're back on the ship, I guess. Oh, we're in the lazarette. I recognize the open doors here. Oh, okay. How did we get through the locked door though? What what is going on here? Monkey got shot. Why did you shoot Monkey? Is that... That's Henry, isn't it? Yeah, that's Henry Evans. We already know who he is, though. Who was he talking to? Uh... Let's see. He was talking to... Oh, Paul Moss. Oh, he's dead. Wait, no. He's... Yeah, he's the one who died, isn't he? Who's the one that's still alive? Yeah, where's... Where's, uh... Where's Davey? Oh, but this would have maybe taken place before that. Wait, I'm not done. I gotta check Monkey! Oh, no! <laughs> shoot him! Oh, no, I didn't get to check anything. Uh, the monkey. He wanted to give us access to the lazarette, so he shot the monkey to give us a body part to see this. Oh, because the door was locked. Oh, yeah, there was a lock on the door, and we couldn't get inside. Oh, shit. Okay, so he tied a rope around the monkey, threw him in, and then murdered the fuck out of him, so he could then bring him back in, cut off the monkey paw, give it to us, and then we can use the... Ah, uh, because that's where the monkey died. He threw him in the lazarette to die so that we could go back and actually... Oh, that's fucking genius. That's fucking genius. It's like, well, we can't get in here. Uh, can we find something? Uh, yeah, the monkey will do. Yeah, we're just going to fucking kill the monkey. There we go. Bring him back in. Cut the paw off. There we go. Now we can use the uh, we can use the, 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 the watch. I forgot what it's called. It was Latin. Uh, <laughs> we've got the pocket watch and now we can see 
where we're going. In the Lazaretta, friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. Oh, no. Oh, poor monkey. Oh, F's in the chat for poor monkey-san. He's dead. He's dead. He's just fucking dead. There you are. Collect your things. Wait, where's the key to that door? Gone. Damn, there's no time. We need to go. Right, in you go. What are you up to? Nothing good. <laughs> Two others were present. There was Henry Evans and there was Paul Moss. Okay. What did we learn from that, though? I don't think we really learnt anything. Location of corpse in the lazarette. So we finally made it. Okay. Oh, but wait. There's more. How many chapters do we have in this one? Part five. Oops. Ah, I fucked it up. Bargain. How many are there? Oh, <laughs> there's the monkey paw. Oh, I should have a look at all of them, actually. I should have a look at all the little pictures. Loose cargo. It's loose cargo. <laughs> a bit of cold. A cattle skull? Oh, yeah, we uh, started that chapter by, yeah, by seeing the, the cow die, I remember now. We have murder. Oh, the, the chest with the, with, the, uh, with the shell in it. The calling. There's the shell, <laughs> of course. Unholy captives. Uh... Oh, that's the ship's deck with the, yeah, with the net on it and the, yeah, right, the blood and everything. We found all of them. Uh, yeah, that's where, yeah, that's where they all were brought in after they were all dead. Soldiers of the sea. Ah, yeah, yeah, we got the spear and the sword. Very nice. We've got the doom, where we've got a kraken up to no good. <laughs> we've got escape with a lifeboat. And we have the end. Which has a gun in it. That's right, I remember that. But now we're on Bargain. He's got a monkey's paw. <laughs> oh, that's macabre, but I like it. Okay. Um, so... What are we supposed to get out of this, though? Oh, shit, there are other bodies here. Who's this? Who's... Oh, it's Philippe Dahl! Oh, we found his body! He, Of course he was locked in the lazarette. Of course he is. Okay, well, we found the, the captain's steward. He was locked up. Um... He looks pretty dead. I don't know if he's dead or wounded. We'll find out. Um, all right. He's got a mug of ale. Oh, is that the chest with the, the shell in it? I'm guessing so. Is there anything here? No. There's a... What the fuck is that? Is that a sword embedded into this place? Oh, no. Rip monkey. He got fucking blasted. Look at that shit. Sorry, monkey. You gotta go. Fucking blammo. <laughs> he just got fucking blammo. Oh dear, I hate to see it. He's just dead. There's one dead monkey. Oh dear. Have I got a gunshot? I think I've got a gunshot somewhere. Where's my gunshot? Uh, I don't know. Where's my gun? I, I'm sure I've got a gun. Where's gun? Here we go, I've got a gunshot. <laughs> monkey dead. <laughs> Alright, oh there's another dead body here as well. Oh, is this Martin? Oh, that explains why I couldn't find the fucker. There's Martin. There we go. He looks like he was spiked to death. Uh, can I mark that in then? I don't know how, uh, Philippe died yet. Yeah, these are the only two we need here. Martin Parrot and Philip Dahl. Uh, yeah. That's third mate. Oh, I can't figure out his fate until I actually see it. I forgot about that. Um, all right. Let's go, then. There's not too much left to do now. Uh, what am I looking for? Uh, uh, boom. Am I looking for Martin? Yes, there we go. Alright, Martin's up next. Once we've figured out how he's died, um, yeah, there's only two left to figure out. A third shell! Hmm. Captain didn't toss them all! Leave it! Help me lift this! Oh my god. Well, set you free. Oh. Set whom free? Give it the shell. Do it. Oh. Oh, they caught a mermaid, didn't they? In the net. And brought it aboard. Throw it over. Oh. Lock the door when you leave. Oh, that's why it's locked. Get the tail, boy. Oh. Yay! <laughs> it's a floppy fish lady with six booba. Oh, the ship. Okay. The yeah. yeah. See you at home. 
Wait. <laughs> oh, he's gone. All right, what's going on here? Oh, shit! Okay, yeah, there we go. So, he got spiked by a mermaid. By accident, I would say. Uh, that's Paul, I believe. No, that's Davy James. Okay, so these are the survivors, and that's... That's Paul, but unfortunately, Paul didn't make it. Uh, yep. Oh, yep, we gave her the shell. Right, we'll give you the shell, and we'll get you to leave. Where are the other ones? Weren't there, like, three of them? Or four of them? Or maybe it was just two of them. I'd lost count, actually. Still don't know what happened to, uh, Philippe there. Maybe spiked as well. There's spikes all over the fucking place. Alright, but there we go. There we go, we've sorted some things. Right, what are next, then? There we go. Oh yeah, well, we can finally seal the deal on this one. Finally figured out what happened to Martin. Bloody hell, he's been gone forever. Alright, Martin Parrish, third mate. Uh, he got spiked, didn't he? He got, uh, spiked by a terrible beast. Terrible she was. So many titties. Alright, we just have to figure out what happened to Philip Dahl then, I guess. Which I'm guessing we're gonna find out now. Uh... Nope. Mermaid? Oh, shit. What the, what the fuck is that? Uh, well, something died in there. Oh, is that one of the mermaids? Oh, that's one of the mermaids, I think. What the fuck happened here? What the fuck is going on? Oh, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that one. Oh, shit. <laughs> is that the captain? I think that was it. Yeah, yeah, that's the captain, all right. <laughs> oh, that's where the sword went. <laughs> Stab the shit out of the mermaid. Oh, there's the shell. Here we go. In exchange for freeing the mermaid, the mermaid would send the Oberdin back. This is the namesake bargain that drove away the Kraken. Oh! Not early enough, unfortunately. Oh, no. <laughs> was the captain even aware that his wife was dead at this point? That'd be pretty fucking depressing. Probably found the body and said, I'm gonna take her to my quarters. We also have... Oh, he's got a shell. He's... I, he might be dying. Or dead already. He's in a different position. Oh, they had to get the shell from him, didn't they? Alright. Here we go. What are next? The la In the lazaretta, captured beast fought against its jailer and was spared for the speared for the trouble. I'll kill everyone, every last one of you monsters. One other person was present. Uh, I was just the captain. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't think we have to solve anything there because we don't care about mermaids on our crew register. What happened to Philip? Oh, another mermaid death. I guess I'm all right with that. Spare the titties. You can actually see a glowing shell in the distance when we're back in the Oprah Din. Oh yeah, I noticed that. Oh. I thought that was like someone just spying on me from a distance. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Uh, he shot the other one. <laughs> he shot the other one. Kapow! Get rid of Kraken or I murder you all. Oh, and there's where the last one is. Uh, yep, Philippe's still dead. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, no more mermaids. Uh. No, I'm sorry! I'm a sorry. <laughs> okay. Alright. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. We still can't tell how Philippe died just yet. I thought that was just uh, someone spying on me, like Guru. Ah. Okay. I guess we're just seeing the story play out now, instead of actually solving deaths now. Although we still have to find out how Philippe died. Oh, it'll probably be in part one. An unholy creature's defiant shrieks were greeted with a fatal bullet. <laughs> Call it off, damn you! Alright, I think we have one- yep, we have one more part to go. Boom. Scan a sombre time. Oh, we're gonna find out what happened to Philippe Dahl at long last. I wonder how he died. He's just sitting there with a shell. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Just trying to break out, maybe? What's this? Quicksilver. Mm -hmm. Oh god, what happened? Oh. Oh shit, what happened to him? My <laughs> god in heaven! Fuck! Oh no! What happened to your boy? Oh shit, oh right, yeah, you did the same thing that um, 
Uh, Ik- Ik- Ben Sang- what, Sai, whatever his name was. Why, why the fuck did you put your hand in it? Not a good idea. You burnt your hand off, didn't you? Look at you, you fucking idiot. You burnt your fucking hand off. <laughs> you see that big ass hand you got there in your- in your picture? Well, now you don't have it anymore. <laughs> He tried to get the shell out for some reason, and then, yeah, burnt himself. Well, at least we know what happened to him now, that's good. And that solves the entire mystery. That was pretty easy. The sounds of him getting locked in. Hmm, or maybe even breaking out of restraints or something. Okie dokie. Well, that's, that's pretty easy, he just burnt himself the same, uh, the, uh, the same way as the Formosan fella did. So that's easy. Philip Dahl, Captain Steward, met an unknown fate. He burnt to death. Hey, there we go. Well done. All fates correct. Yeah, we did it. Oh, all 60 of them. Fucking hell. We did it. Yep, Martin Parrot also solved. Oh, yeah, give me all those notches. Yay, we did it. <laughs> we did a thing. Good job. Good job. We solved everything. If I had the time, I'd go through the entire series of events in order. Maybe I'll do that at, uh, on another stream, maybe. Maybe I'll just play through the game and just, like, watch all the events play in sequential order. That could be good. I don't really have the time for it right now, though. I'm an hour over. i got to end a stream. But, there we go. We've finished that tale, I think. Are we done? Make a video of it. I could do that. Yay! <laughs> Yay, we did it. Give me that fucking shell. Why does the sh why do the shells shine so brightly that they actually have motion? I never got that either. Oh, all right. Coolio. Oh, there's the door that we leave out of. Well, goodbye, mermaids, and roll doll. You you're dead now. But <laughs> yeah, Martin was locked in. He's fucking dead. There we go. All right. Well, why was he locked in actually? Oh, oh, I'm gone. But <laughs> why was? I guess he just went in of his uncle. Maybe he wasn't locked up. Uh, well, I think we can say that this case is closed. Oh, I've got a diamond. There we go. Oh, I wear my gloves even when I'm not investigating. Oh my god! That's a game, I think. I think that's a game. Is that a game? The end! <laughs> we did a thing. Oh, we did a thing. Is that it? Hey, there we go. <laughs> Shit. Well, Lucas Pope. Oh, for my dad as well. <laughs> Lucas Pope is now two for two now. If he makes another game, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> I like both of his games. Oh, remember he cut off a dude's leg earlier. Yeah. Oh, I know why he was thrown in, but I, I, I wonder why Martin was in there. That's what I was wondering. I remember why uh, F Philip was uh, thrown in there, but... Yeah. Japanese localization? Oh my god! <laughs> you can play this game in Japanese. Oh my god! Hey. Maybe this is what happened to the crew of the Mary Celeste, eaten by a kraken. <laughs> I wonder if you can beat the game by, like, making all of the fates bullshit. Like, everyone died from dysentery. <laughs> everyone got ate by a kraken. Uh, which is believable, frankly. There we go. Oh, here are all the voice peoples. Jesus Christ. Oh, but, uh, did somebody voice... Wait, some some characters didn't have voices, did they? Of all 60 characters, there are people that didn't have a voice. Oh, and some people voiced multiple people. Oh, would have liked to have been in this game myself. It's just, Hello there. You got a bit of dysentery, have you? It, what the... F is that a giant spider crab? Oh! <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, oh dear. Oh my goodness gracious me. That's quite the game. I'm surprised we actually completed it. I mean, I went an hour over my eight hour stream time, but fuck it. I, I was worried I would have to do a stream on Thursday. Oh dear. Oh, there's the Italian violinist who got stabbed. What a fucking terrible situation. So many people died. The waifu died. So many waifus died. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, let's see, 56 crew members in total died, and and one starway. So that's 57 people in total dying. Are we going to say that the cow is people? Are we going to say the monkey is people? Probably not. <laughs> Monkeys aren't people. 
Well, not gonna lie, I was a bit worried there at certain points. Oh, uh, yeah, I feel like I got lucky sometimes. I, feel, I felt like I got lucky. I, the, the, sh the shoes was the worst part. That was the worst bullshit. I'm glad I noticed it. I noticed the socks and then I was like, uh, I can't see the socks. Oh, but the shoe is distinct on this guy. And then it was just like a toss up between the last two anyway. <sighs> Those Chinese topmen. What the fuck, man? Chinese asshole. I know. <laughs> this is the worst. All got a nasty dose by sleeping with the loose mermaids. Oh dear. So many multi titty wanks. Good times. <laughs> Six boobers. You can have a lot of fun with that. You can have a lot of fun with that. I know I would. <laughs> oh, Christ almighty. Oh. That was quite an excellent time. <laughs> oh, there's the credits. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we did it. Oh, hang on. Let's change the colours so we can... Hang on. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, let's go with the IBM. It looks like sunset. There we go. That's the return of the Obra Dinn. Good shit. I like it. <laughs> and this is uh, prep for next week's stream, where we'll be doing pirate stream. Oh my god. Now, because we've already done all of the Lego of the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, uh, episodes, uh, we're done with that game. Uh, which means we'll probably have more time to do more um, uh, thingy. Uh, sea of Thieves. Um... So, if you've got that game and you want to join the crew, I'm sure we'll have some openings there. If you're on PC or Xbox, because there is cross-play, that is certainly something we can do. Um, but there's also other stuff we'll be, we'll be doing as well, because we usually do a bunch of games for Pirate Stream. I, I had a feeling this game would need its entire... It wouldn't, would need an entire stream, though, so I decided to give it its own one. But there you go. Gearing up for Pirate Stream. It's going to be a grand old time. Trade wins. Uh, do I even have that? I don't know. Oh, dear. Alrighty, that's pretty good. That ship sailing. Oh, well, PlayStation, we can see if these is there now, too. Oh, do you think there's cross-play with PlayStation, Xbox, and PC? That'd be pretty fucking handy. That'd be great. Oh, God, this game fucks my eyes. If I look at anything white, it just looks kind of pinkish. Oh, okay, not the best on my eyes. I think so. Hey, there you go. So, just about anyone can play. If it's on the Switch, it probably isn't, but you could probably play it on that, too, maybe. I don't know. I think there's only spots for like four crew members though, but yeah, I think we can get a full crew in if we're lucky. I think so. Oh boy, so what is there to really mention before we find someone to raid and close out a stream? Um, nothing really. There won't be a Thursday stream. Um, I'll pick a later point in time to maybe s play this again. Maybe I'll do it on pirate stream if I have time where we'll just go through the entirety of this game. Uh, go through all the, the little, uh... The little, uh, yeah, the whole story just in, in chronological order. Oh, not getting me on Sunday, unfortunately. Oh dear, that's a pity. Um, although, interestingly enough, Thursday for me is the 19th, which is Talk Like a Pir International Talk Like a Pirate Day. <laughs> so, um, I might do a Thursday stream next week. Play Concord. Ah, uh, you can't. <laughs> it's gone already. It's dead. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I have trade wins yet, but uh, I might look into it. I might see it. Oh dear. I put trade wins in the suggestion bow box. Oh dear. Um, yeah, uh, let me think if there's anything else I have to remember before we go. Um, yeah, I gotta remember things. Uh, we're doing pirate stream next week. I will probably do a Thursday stream as well. Yeah, and oh yeah, I could do, uh, I could do, um, Sid Meier's Pirates, because it's on the 19th, I won't have to change the date so we can get all the pirate talkings. That'd be great. And then I could also probably do all of the story and... I mean, we're not doing investigation, so it might take like an hour or two to do all that. Can't do Wednesday either, that's alright. Alrighty, there you go. There's Return of the Obra Dinn, that's a thing. Hey, <laughs> let's get some music going, and some waters. There you go, there's waters. <laughs> There we go. That's Return of the Obra Dinn done. Dusted. <laughs> Let's find someone to raid before we go. Shall we raid someone? Let's find someone to raid. Um, here we go. What will our raid message be? Uh, monochrome cheek. I know. Yeah, I monochromed all of it. Actually, it matched uh, the color, the color of the background. Look at her dance. She's so happy. Um. All right. What will our raid message be today? Um. Um. I don't know. Um, oh, how about um, uh, uh, there we go. 
Uh, about this. Kind of silly, but we'll do it anyway. There we go, unless anyone's got a better idea for a, a raid message. I don't know. Here we go. That looks kind of fan dabby dozy. There we go. There we go, and I'll do one for uh, non-subscribers as well while I find someone to to raid here real quick. It is taking a while to load up for some reason. Why is he doing that? <laughs> uh, Twitch raid. Uh, where is it? There it is. I don't like typing it in because it takes so long. There we go. Maritime Mystery Ahoy! Alright, let's see who we're raiding today then. Uh, we've got some people. So I wonder if, um, oh hang on. Yep. Shmar is live. I wonder if anyone has any less viewers. Uh, no, we'll just, we'll just raid Shmar. Some people. So I wonder, hey, it's me. <laughs> Shut up, me. Okay, uh, yeah, let's raid Shmar. That should be good, I think. Alright, so we're gonna raid some Shmar. Should be good. So there you have it. We did it. We solved the mystery of the missing peoples on a boat. <laughs> it was an enjoyable time, I suppose. Nice stuff. Um, yeah, alright. Um, I probably won't do a Thursday stream, so tune in next week. Oh, I'll do a plug. I'll do a plug. Why not? There we go. Ah, hang on. Well, at least Gibbot works. Be sure to follow Gib Gaming on other social media platforms. There we go. Discord. Fantastic. And there you have it. That is a stream. Tune in next week for the official Talk Like a Pirate Day stream of 2024. It's going to be absolutely piratical. You're going to love it. I know I am. Oh dear. So more, more seafaring stuff on the horizon. Oh boy. You are not going to want to miss it. But hey, that's it for Return of the Obra Dinn. It's a good time. I enjoy it. I highly recommend it. It's fantastic. So yeah, there you go. That's, that's a thing done and dusted. So thank you very much for joining me. For Return of the Obra Dinn, I've been me, you've been you, I hope you've enjoyed the Maritime Mysteries, and I'll see you when I next see you. So until then, be sure to not lose your boat to some hentai!